During the dark and windy night, an evil spirit outside caught a whiff of a pleasant fragrance. The corners of the evil spirit's mouth dripped with droplets of saliva. It seemed like this scent was something extraordinary. Suddenly, the evil spirit's eyes opened wide, and it immediately rushed towards the source of the fragrance. This was a rare opportunity. I must find this extremely rare eternal life body and consume it, instantly achieving immortality. And the eternal life body that this evil spirit was seeking happened to be none other than Chinchanan, one of the many unlucky transmigrators like me. Looking at other transmigrators from afar, they were all sweeping through their journeys, starting at a high level. However, when I transmigrated to the realm of cultivation, my meridians were blocked, making it impossible for me to cultivate. I was despised by the major sections. But the most outrageous thing was the elder's words. Chinchanan, you are not worthless. You are the legendary eternal life body. Consuming you will lead to immediate ascension. How exciting. How thrilling. And as for this outcome, all I can say is that if I can't cultivate, so be it. But to add such a setting to me and make me endure these three years, subjected to countless attacks from monsters and demons, enduring physical and mental torment, and forcing the sect to launch multiple counterattacks, the old man had no choice but to break through the void and bring me here to hide. Thinking about this, I can't bear it any longer. Damn it, I've had enough. Why do other transmigrators thrive while I have to suffer like this? Only the heavens know if I'll still be alive in the next moment. How can the heavens torment me like this? If you have the guts, strike me down with lightning. As if to confirm my words, a divine thunderbolt suddenly descended from the sky, and I immediately withered away. I quickly bowed deeply at a 90 degree angle to apologize. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was just joking. This can't go on like this. I should go back and save energy by sleeping. Perhaps tomorrow, the old man will be riding on an auspicious cloud and surprise me with a roast chicken. And at that moment, a soft and gentle female voice reached my ears. Suddenly, I felt a chill behind me. Who are you? You scared me. When did you come in? But in the next second, the girl suddenly leaned towards me. Then she muttered to herself. I've tried it. I've tried it. This is the aura of the eternal life body. As I looked at the girl in front of me, I couldn't help but feel frustrated. I was actually kissed by her. It's a disgrace. Naturally, I didn't have a pleasant expression for this scoundrel who forcefully kissed me. I immediately pushed her away. But apparently, my resistance gained this girl's approval. She actually wanted to force herself upon me. How could I tolerate that? Before losing my virginity in the end, I asked, Are you human or ghost? Upon hearing this, the girl's heart stirred, and she couldn't help revealing her true form. This directly frightened me. Quickly change back, the innocent girl from just now. And then I suddenly remembered the old man's words. He clearly said that as long as I stayed here, everything would be fine. Now I'm done for. I'm about to be drained dry by the fairy in front of me. But this fairy clearly isn't following the usual script. She directly bit into my shoulder. What happened to the flower thief you promised? Could it be? Am I going to die again? My 21 years of virginity, including 3 years of reincarnation, are still unable to be resolved, right? In the end, I alone have to bear everything. Just then, a powerful force erupted from within me. Has my long-awaited cheat code finally come online? I obtained the invincible domain, which means within a 2 meter radius, I am unrivaled in heaven and earth. Outside of 2 meters, I'm a loser. I knew it. How can a transmigrator not have a cheat code? And the enchantress in front of me was also suppressed by my aura. Heh, you damned enchantress, it's my turn to go wild now. Let's see if you can withstand my invincible domain. But obviously, this enchantress didn't believe that I could transform from a piece of meat on the plate into an invincible existence. She continued to boast arrogantly. Do you have no idea in your mind? So excited. After all, your attacks can only tickle me at most. Behave and lie down obediently. Let me enjoy your contribution. At least you can make some contribution in the end. Looking at this enchantress who was eager to die, I straightened my back. Come on, let's see if I can handle you. The enchantress didn't have any defenses and entered my attack range. Let me show you what it means to be unrivaled in heaven and earth. I threw a punch, and the whole world was blasted with a huge hole. This is what they call breaking through the sky. Witnessing this unparalleled scene, even I am impressed by my own handsomeness. This is definitely not a dream. I fucking flew straight up from where I stood. I, young master, will no longer have to live a life of hiding and evading. And my cheat code continues to remind me that the host has eliminated three heavenly, ghostly, and celestial maidens, gaining 10 points of domain value. For every 100 domain points obtained, the invincible domain range can be increased by 1 meter. The current invincible range is 2 meters. However, how to obtain domain points has become a major challenge. But when I think about it, if my invincible domain covers the entire continent, 
What else do I have to worry about? I'll have everything I want, be it gold, silver, or treasures. Just when I was immersed in this fantasy, this unreliable cheat code poured cold water on me. The method to acquire domain points needs to be explored by the host. Since when did they expect the host to figure it out by themselves? Damn it. Is this system so irresponsible? It seems like this host of mine doesn't please the system. I'm afraid I'll starve to death before figuring it out. I haven't eaten for several days already. However, what I didn't know was that above the firmament, my punch directly pierced the passage connecting the upper and lower realms. The heavenly path was also trying to repair the devastation caused by my attack attempting to cover up the traces of my destruction. But this scene had already been noticed by the monsters and demons within a hundred miles. What pierced through the sky? It's a miracle. Could it be that some divine treasure fell into the moral realm? Even the cultivators further away witnessed this historic moment and speculated that the celestial phenomenon indicated the descent of a divine treasure, and chaos would soon ensue. However, things were just so coincidental that a truly formidable sword from the upper realm fell down. The scene shifted to the previous Xuanwu immortal domain which was in a state of peace. Suddenly, the once intact immortal tower collapsed in an instant, and the culprit was, of course, the earth-shattering punch I had just thrown. There was not a single place left undamaged in the surroundings, and even the most magnificent immortal tower was directly demolished by that strike. A magnificent and impressive-looking sword flew out abruptly, finally regaining its freedom. As that divine sword departed, a wave of fury emanated from the collapsed immortal tower. It was the true master of the sword, enraged by the sudden loss of their precious treasure, calling out for their underlings. Under the tyrannical might of the divine sword, dozens of powerful auras swiftly approached. Though they all appeared arrogant, they respectfully bowed to the divine sword and said, Greetings, divine sword. The divine sword wasted no time and directly stated the reason for summoning them. The divine sword's lifelong treasure, which had been refined and cultivated in the sword casting tower for thousands of years, was attacked by an unknown fist shadow and fell into the mortal realm. I command you to retrieve it for me at all costs. Anyone who dares to pry, die. Above the nine heavens, the voices of the twelve mighty immortals resounded through the sky, obeying the order. As the protagonist, I finally woke up. I can't believe I fainted from hunger, how embarrassing. Luckily, no one saw it. Looking at the scattered soil in front of me, I couldn't help but hesitate for a moment. Should I eat some dirt to fill my stomach? But I immediately dismissed this absurd idea. I never reached the point of eating dirt in the 21st century. It seems like I'm regressing as time goes on. However, another question puzzled me. There's a formation in this temple set up by an old man to prevent monsters and demons from entering. It shouldn't be possible for them to break in. Yet tonight, a Foundation Establishment Realm female ghost managed to intrude, which doesn't make sense. Could it be that the old man is no longer capable? But then I realized, even if something happened to the old man, there's nothing I can do. After all, I'm just a weakling, unless my invincible domain can move with me. If the domain can follow my movements, then I would truly be invincible. Ha ha, let's give it a try. I attempted it, but unsurprisingly, I failed in the next moment. As I felt the instant outside the invincible domain, I quickly withdrew my hand. Damn it. Coming into direct contact with the outside world without the protection of the domain felt eerie and horrifying. There must be something unclean out there. I better stay inside the domain value obediently. Come to think of it, there's no way the system would let me exploit a bug. The most important things now are to fill my stomach and gain domain points. But if I leave the invincible domain, I'll be like a lamb to the slaughter, completely foolish behavior. While I was pondering, a scolding voice caught my attention, and the scenario of a girl descending from the heavens, just like in a harem novel, unfolded before my eyes. I couldn't help but stare at the fluffy-haired girl descending from the sky. This can't be a dream, right? At that moment, a scar-faced man, who didn't look like a good person, walked in. Be obedient, don't think of escaping, or I'll slap you to death. Although the burly man had a menacing demeanor, the fluffy-haired girl clearly wasn't intimidated. If you have the guts, kill me right now. Let's see how my father deals with you. Watching everything unfold before me, I couldn't help but move backward. This has nothing to do with me. Can I hide if I can't afford to provoke them? I'll leave space for them to fight, but I quickly realized that these people should have food on them. There must be some. Finally, I won't have to starve. However, the fluffy-haired girl's focus was on me. How can there be a mortal here? But I'm not the same person I used to be. I now have a cheat code. I acted immediately. This is my territory. And without my permission, who allowed you to enter? And now that you're here, you dare to talk back? It's obvious that you don't regard me highly and have disturbed me while I'm enjoying my leisure time. So, be sensible and hand over all your food, 
or you'll regret it. But this fluffy-haired girl was even more shocked. This mortal is too arrogant. Do you dare to provoke Li Xiao? You're seeking death. On the other hand, the scar-faced man clearly didn't buy into this. He lifted the little fluffy-haired girl with one hand and menacingly said to me, You stinky beggar. It seems like you want to die. He then used an extremely sinister technique and warned me to be careful in my next life, telling me to control my foul mouth. Watching the menacing weapon approaching in front of me, I couldn't help but feel afraid. After all, it was my first time facing a long-range attack. Who knows what could happen? As the thick smoke dissipated, I was amazed to find that I was completely unharmed. I immediately spoke to the scar-faced man in front of me, you bastard, I didn't even intend to kill you, but you dared to try and kill me, you're finished. Once again, the fluffy-haired girl's worldview was shattered. It seemed she couldn't fathom how a mere mortal could emerge and scathe from such an attack, but it was the scar-faced man who was clearly the most frightened one. Unable to understand what had just happened, his scarred face covered in cold sweat. I sneered, you bastard, you think you can kill me, you're 10,000 years too early, I'll stand right here, if you have the guts, come and fight me, this enraged the scar-faced man, and anger consumed his entire mind, he then sent out a blood glowing Ling Bao knife, I don't care who you are, but if you want to die, I'll grant your wish, without hesitation, this bastard came straight at me, falling into my invincible domain, your life and death are in my control, seeing my unguarded appearance, the little fluffy haired girl couldn't help but worry, she was about to intervene but realized it was too late. The scar-faced man, seeing that I seemed defenseless, couldn't help but grin in delight. A mere mortal like you will surely die today. However, in the next moment, I caught his confidence strike with just one hand and mocked him, really? Is that all? You didn't put any effort into it. Did you forget to have your milk this morning? The little fluffy-haired girl was even more shocked to see that I had effortlessly caught it with two fingers. The scar-faced man instantly turned pale. You! Then it was time for me to show off. I advise you to think about your actions carefully in your next life. I casually threw away the blade and easily killed the burly man in front of me. The system prompt appeared again, stating that the host has killed a triple heaven cultivator in the golden core realm and gained 500 domain points. Upon realizing this, it felt like I had discovered a new continent. It seems that killing cultivators can also earn domain points, and a golden core realm cultivator is worth 500 points. What about higher level cultivators? I can't even dare to imagine. The system panel appeared once again, showing the current total of 510 domain points. Should I use them? Without hesitation, I immediately chose to use them, expanding the invincible domain by 5 meters. I hope the host will continue to excel and gain even more domain points. Seeing this scene, I couldn't help but jump up in excitement. I am getting closer to ruling the world. My display of immense power left little Fluffy in a state of shock, unable to calm down for a long time. Could it be that this mortal is actually one of those legendary experts from beyond the mundane world? I didn't pay any attention to little Fluffy at the moment and was instead captivated by the storage ring in my hand. But I can't access the cultivation resources without the appropriate cultivation level. It was only then that I remembered little Fluffy beside me. This frightened little Fluffy, who started to report everything in a jumble. I couldn't help but be speechless. I hadn't even asked yet but little Fluffy kept babbling non-stop. I interrupted directly, stating that the scar-faced man was dead. Can you open the storage ring? Little Fluffy caught the storage ring and straightforwardly replied, Of course I can. Suppressing my excited heart, I asked, Can you take out some food from the ring? Then I raised the roast chicken that I had been longing for and wildly danced with it. In my heart, I kept thinking that once I unified the cultivation world in the future, I would also have the ability to protect the old man. But in the next moment, little Fluffy directly knelt down on the ground and said with a face full of admiration, Senior, I am performing a three mouths eating one chicken routine. I didn't know what little Fluffy was up to. Then, little Fluffy hesitantly spoke, Senior, you saved my life, which means we have a destiny together. Can you accept me as your disciple? As if afraid that I wouldn't agree, little Fluffy added, Senior, I am very capable, but obviously, I had no interest in the girl suddenly wanting to become my disciple. I even wanted two more roast chickens. However, this little fluff was determined not to give up. The senior is like a great opportunity, and today I must seize it. But I simply pushed her away. Women only slow down my chicken eating speed. Besides, even if I wanted to take her as my disciple, what could I teach her? I can't possibly teach her how to play mahjong or poker. It's better not to mislead her. But the problem now is that I can't leave my invincible domain, and going outside would be suicidal. It seems pretty good to have someone as a tool to find food and drinks for me. I put on a mysterious and inscrutable look. For someone who wants to become my disciple, they must transform 
transcend six cycles of reincarnation. What makes you think I should take you as my disciple? This stunned little fluff in front of me, leaving her standing there dumbfounded. Then I spoke again. However, since we have a connection, I will give you a chance. I'll reluctantly accept you as an honorary disciple. Once you pass the test, I will formally take you as my disciple. Upon hearing this, little fluff realized that an opportunity had come and immediately prostrated herself, knocking her head crazily. Disciple Ling Bao pays respects to the master. In her heart, she was constantly delighted. Fantastic. With a master's guidance, my strength will surely skyrocket. At this moment, the system panel appeared. Host is bound in a master-disciple relationship with Ling Bao. Reward. 100 domain points i didn't expect that taking on a disciple would also earn me domain points wonderful i've unlocked another method of gaining domain points ha ha ling bao was also dumbfounded not understanding what had come over me then she quickly flew away from me saying master when was the last time you took a bath you stink hearing ling bao's complaint i couldn't help but blush being chased and hunted every day how would i have time to take a bath but soon I regained my composure. Disciple, take that large vat outside the temple and let the rain fill it up. It's time for the master to take a bath. Ling Bao, who received the command, happily ran off to prepare. After Ling Bao left, I couldn't help but become curious and took a sniff. Is it really that bad? As I took a deep breath, that smell instantly almost poisoned me to death. It was indeed a bit overpowering. Outside the house, Ling Bao placed the large vat waiting for it to fill with rainwater. At that moment, Ling Bao suddenly felt a terrifying aura emanating from the forest. A pair of emerald eyes widened in fear, startling Ling Bao. Then, she shouted loudly towards the house, something's wrong, there's a golden core realm tiger demon hiding outside. If it were before, I might have been trembling with fear, but now, this is definitely an experience package delivered right to me. Domain points, here I come, with Ling Bao's dumbfounded gaze. I swayed my sexy stride and leaped out. Let's go. Let's hunt together, my disciple. But the tiger, at this moment, was trembling abnormally. I was lured here by the fragrance, but when I saw that man kill a ghost with fists the size of a sand pot and another person who was incredibly terrifying, I wanted to leave. However, that fragrance was just too enticing, and it kept drilling into my mouth. Seeing nothing outside the house, I couldn't help but extend my hand. Fishing requires bait. How can one lure a tiger without bait? I've never seen anyone resist the temptation of the eternal life body. Observing my actions without understanding, Ling Bao couldn't help but ask, Master, what kind of martial arts technique are you displaying? However, I was currently testing whether my invincible domain could isolate the aura of my eternal life body. Subsequently, unable to resist the continuous allure of my eternal life body, the tiger demon couldn't endure any longer. Who could resist this? Without hesitation, it leaped out of the bushes and charged toward me. But I remained calm and composed. I am a man with an invincible domain, and a mere tiger demon is insignificant. However, the influence of my invincible domain on my scent still needed further investigation. Meanwhile, Ling Bao was already in a panic, and it would be false to say she wasn't scared. After all, I was completely motionless. Clearly, the tiger demon's mind had been clouded by the fragrance I emitted. Just as there were stories of men becoming furious for their lovers, now we had a tiger demon becoming furious for eternal life. But as the adorable big cat entered my invincible domain, it couldn't help but shudder. What? What's going on? Why can't I move? I looked at the large cat in front of me and couldn't help but laugh. What bad intentions can a kitty have? It just wants to eat people. Unfortunately, you wanted to eat me. It's time for you to make your final contribution, little kitty. Ling Bao was also dumbfounded. Master, you just stood still and defeated the Golden Core Realm Tiger Demon. Then I ordered her to kill the Tiger Demon. Ling Bao was even happier, saying, Yes, Master. Drawing her large cleaver, Ling Bao thought to herself, Indeed, becoming a disciple was the right choice. I must hold tightly onto my master's thigh and enjoy the benefits of following him. In the next moment, Ling Bao gathered her strength and struck the tiger demon, but her sword shattered instantly. Ling Bao was startled and then cried out, Master, what should we do? I didn't want to show off, but circumstances forced me to. Is it really this difficult to be an invincible man? Immediately, I picked up Ling Bao's broken sword and faced her. Watch closely, I'll only do it once. With no technique whatsoever, I simply raised my hand and delivered a strike. However, this was a strike from me, possessing the invincible domain. Even if it was just a casual strike, it beheaded the entire dimensional host, slaying the Golden Core Realm Eightfold Celestial Tiger Demon, and earning 800 domain points. I sneered contemptuously. Ling Bao was dumbfounded, 
Although she had anticipated it, the reality still shocked her. I actually killed it with just one sword strike, and the system reminded me once again that the invincible domain could actually be upgraded. Feeling great, I took on the role of a carefree boss. Disciple, I'll leave the rest to you. Remember to cut the meat as if you were cutting pork. Ling Bao received the sword in a daze. Meanwhile, I started studying my invincible domain. The invincible domain system 1.0 is unbeatable in terms of strength, consuming 800, domain points to upgrade to 2.0, unlocking the ability to manipulate all living beings. Suddenly, an important thought came to my mind, so I ordered Ling Bao. The Tiger Whip is a valuable item. Make sure to keep it safe. Don't lose it. Ling Bao's face turned red, and she replied, Understood, Master. A thought crossed my mind, and I asked the system about the skill of manipulating all living beings. But this system was truly a dog among dogs, refusing to reveal anything. I had no choice but to give up and upgrade to see what would happen. The system also provided a user-friendly prompt. The system is upgrading, please wait. With a ding, the system successfully upgraded and activated the new ability to manipulate all living beings. After reading the introduction to the new ability, I couldn't help but exclaim, Damn, this is incredible. Manipulating all living beings means being able to awaken their intelligence and control everything within the invincible domain. Seeing such an amazing description, I quickly called out to my lackey disciple. Quick, bring me two blades of grass. Ling Bao seemed to struggle to adapt to my sudden change in demeanor, hesitated for a moment, and then ran off to comply. I wanted to see if the ability to manipulate all living beings was as powerful as described. Ling Bao returned with the blades of grass, saying, Master, wild grass. Taking the wild grass, I began to pretend, injecting energy into the blades of grass continuously. My dumbfounded disciple stood in place, drooling uncontrollably, as if possessed. Slowly, she approached me clumsily. Seeing the scene, I couldn't help but feel a chill. Could this girl have developed a desire to eat me? In the next moment, Ling Bao even pounced on me directly, saying, Master, how did this clump of weeds suddenly turn into a spiritual herb? Realizing her attention was on the grass in my hand, I let out a sigh of relief and pushed her away while sending her off. Then I continued to look at the grass in front of me. It had not yet reached my desired goal. I wondered if I could achieve that next step. Ling Bao was also captivated by the scene, occasionally making strange sounds. In response, I directly reprimanded her. Don't make a fuss. If you keep bothering, I'll throw you out to feed the dogs. After nourishing it for some time, the so-called weed gradually transformed and with a bang, it turned into a little spirit. Seeing the little spirit in front of me, I couldn't help but rejoice. Success. Ling Bao's worldview shattered instantly. She transformed, master. The newly born little spirit trembled in fear. I turned around and scolded Ling Bao. Why are you shouting so loudly? You scared her, you know? But my goal is far from over. Once again, I condensed another blade of grass into a pill. This is the gift I give you as your master, and this pill contains the essence of life. Seeing the Ling Bao still in a daze, I couldn't help but urge. What are you still standing there for? Hurry up and take it. I'll protect you. Upon hearing my urging, Ling Bao snapped out of the immense surprise and said, Thank you, master. Your disciple will not disappoint your expectations. I didn't pay much attention to it and turned to the other little spirit at the side. From now on, I'll call you little Ban. It seemed to respond to me by making chirping sounds. Ling Bao was still immersed in joy. Master is truly amazing. With just an ordinary weed, Master can casually squeeze it into a spiritual pill. Then, she swallowed the pill in one gulp, and a tremendous life force swiftly gathered around her body. Ling Bao was even more astonished. Did I break through just like that? It's incredible. At the same time, I received a notification of Ling Bao's breakthrough. She went from the Foundation Realm 6th stage to the Foundation Realm 7th stage, gaining 50 domain points. I looked at Ling Bao in front of me, completely dumbfounded. Is it really that easy? I simply squeezed a pill, and she broke through? The system explained again, because the host and Ling Bao have a master-disciple relationship. Whenever Ling Bao breaks through, the host will gain domain points. The higher the cultivation level, the more domain points. So, if I take on more disciples in the future and help them continuously improve their cultivation, won't I have no trouble expanding the invincible domain? The first ability of manipulating all living beings is so useful. I wonder if the second one will be just as good. He he he. While I was contemplating, a sense of unease suddenly arose in my heart. With a loud bang, 
a sword descended from the sky and pierced right in front of me, through the roof. It frightened me. Even Ling Bao couldn't help but look at the rusty sword in front of us and say, Master, could this be the general's immortal treasure? As for me, I had no idea. Immortal treasure? Can you eat an immortal treasure? Ling Bao then explained, Master, don't you know? That powerful being punched the sky, creating such a huge hole. My dad said a celestial sword fell down, and they're still searching for it. Meanwhile, I pretended to know nothing and said, that's a pity, I didn't get to see it with my own eyes. Then, I reached out and grabbed the rusty sword. This sword looks so weak, what effect would it have if I repaired it with the power of all living beings? As I infused it with my strength, the rusty sword gradually shed its rust and revealed its true appearance. Ling Bao was fascinated, saying, this sword is so beautiful. After some modifications from me, the sword seemed to have become much stronger, but if I wanted to break it, I could do so with a little force. It was indeed useless to me. Sensing my power, the sword trembled. So, this is what they call an immortal sword. I casually tossed it to Ling Bao, saying, you like it, it's yours. Ling Bao was excited and couldn't stop exclaiming. After she caught the sword, the whole atmosphere changed. It was as if facing a fierce flood beast. Feeling this terrifying momentum, Ling Bao speculated, Master, how powerful are you? You don't even care about such horrifying power. Then, tears and snot, she looked at me. Master, you're so good to me, but as the person involved, I didn't feel much. After all, it was just a useless old sword, but my act of showing off had only just begun. I activated the power of all living beings and said, watch closely, I'll show you something else. Suddenly, the dilapidated small temple transformed into a luxurious courtyard. Watching my magic-like transformation, Ling Bao stood there numbly. Even the hole in the ceiling was fixed. Looking at the renovated courtyard, I couldn't help but say, Indeed, this befits the dwelling of an extraordinary hermit like me. All right, stop daydreaming. We've been busy all night. Let's rest for now. However, this little creature fell asleep so quickly. Is it because she's weak from just transforming? Just then, the newly repaired roof was smashed with a large hole. A giant figure appeared in front of me, saying, Ling Bao, I didn't expect there were still people from the Nine Sword sect alive. Subsequently, several more holes appeared on the house, and the muscular man, still oblivious to the atmosphere, shouted, Li Xiao, come out and face me. Ling Bao directly hid behind me, trembling in fear. It's over, we're done for. The big man continued to recklessly roam around, incessantly shouting. As a result, more people arrived at the courtyard, saying, he, who would have thought this remote mountain had such abundant spiritual energy, but the newcomers in front of me seemed to disregard my presence. Upon seeing little ban on my shoulder and even a transformed spirit grass, I want this land. But the big man who arrived first didn't back down, saying, get the fuck out of here. I discover this place first. You better get lost. Then, it seemed like both sides reached a consensus. Let's have a fight then. After these two old guys finished their performance, my voice slowly echoed, Hey, who does this piece of land belong to? Shouldn't we ask the owner of the land first? Especially that guy who kept demolishing my ceiling. Well, I'm not happy right now. This big man sees me as nothing more than an ordinary person and dares to boast arrogantly. Owner of the land? You? Then he burst into laughter. A mere youngster like you, the owner of this land will belong to me, we bat in, from now on. I can demolish it however I want. What can you do about it? But the withered old man on the other side didn't agree and said, Remember who you were. This land can only belong to my skeleton sect. Who can tolerate these extremely arrogant individuals in front of them? Then let's turn it all into my domain. But the problem now is that they are not within the range of my invincible domain. However, my most powerful pawn isn't just for show. She directly spoke and used her mouth to confuse them. Meanwhile, I acted like a master, nodding repeatedly. The big man was successfully provoked by Ling Bao's words. It was you who killed Li Xiao of the Golden Core Realm. Although I'm invincible, it's only within my domain. It doesn't mean I'm not afraid. The big man's aggression immediately shifted towards me, and the withered old man beside him acted like an onlooker, waiting to watch the show. The big man charged directly at me, saying, As a lowly mortal like you, we bat in, I have killed countless. Tens of thousands of tormented souls were refined within this treasure by me. The withered old man on the side seemed to have had enough, saying, We bat in, stop pretending here. As for you too, hand over the immortal treasure, and I'll let you keep your whole bodies. To this, I felt even more disdainful and said, hand over the immortal treasure? Screw you. At this moment, they also entered my invincible domain. Just as I was about to show off, Ling Bao, on the side, suddenly became furious and shouted, shut up. How dare you speak to my master like that? 
do you want to die? Then she turned to me, speaking with a hint of grievance, it was him who ordered Li Xiao to chase and kill me. If I wasn't only at the Foundation Realm and unable to defeat his Golden Core Realm, I would have definitely twisted his head off and used it as a chamber pot for my master. Seemingly provoked by Ling Bao's increasingly audacious words, especially the mention of using his head as a chamber pot, the big man couldn't hold back anymore. He directly deployed his magic weapon and attacked. Regarding Ling Bao's filial devotion towards me, how could I possibly disregard it? I saw myself raising a single hand within my domain, controlling everything. The big man's proud blood seal instantly became immobile, but it wasn't over yet. I pointed at the big man and said, in your cultivation, hand it over. The big man froze in place, looking incredulously at the scene before him, what's going on? my cultivation. Afterward, those bastards who had been causing trouble in my house all fell to their knees, their cultivation regressing to the foundation establishment realm. I casually said, I remember the foundation establishment realm is the lowest cultivation, followed by the foundation realm, golden core realm, nascent soul realm, and there's something called consummation realm above that. You couldn't defeat the golden core realm, so I weakened them to the foundation establishment realm for you. You should at least be able to give them a good beating now. This vivid scene frightened the withered old man to no end, and he instantly withered even further. But I didn't pay any attention to him and instead patted Ling Bao's head, saying, go and take revenge. It's more satisfying to do it yourself. As for the big man whose cultivation I suppressed, even though he was on the verge of death, he kept cursing incessantly. Of course, why would I bother with a dead person? I maintained an indifferent stance and said, yes, yes, keep blabbering. What can you do to me? Go on, Ling Bao, take him down, finish him off for me. Ling Bao was also full of confidence and said, yes, master, after I chop him up, I'll cut off his whip and keep it for you. This really gave me a headache. I don't need human whips. Ling Bao went straight to attack him, saying, you despicable scum, I will avenge my deceased brothers. But the big beard showed no fear whatsoever and chuckled, heh, you can't kill me, even your father couldn't, and you, though I may be suppressed to the foundation establishment realm, it's easy for me to kill you, but our Ling Bao is not easily intimidated. She charged right in. The big beard couldn't bear to show weakness and directly summon his armor to counterattack. But Ling Bao had a celestial weapon bestowed upon her by me. How could she not be able to cut through a piece of broken armor? A towering slash descended with a howl, reducing the once arrogant big beard to nothing. The withered old man in the sky concluded that the celestial treasure must be the weapon in Ling Bao's hand. Ultimately, greed triumphed over reason. However, just as he was about to make a move, the old man instantly froze in place, afraid to make a single move. I almost forgot about this old man. He hadn't survived all these years for nothing. Seeing that there was still such an unfathomable monster like me around, he immediately chose to flee. Ling Bao, with a twisted expression, looked at them and said, You were just bad-mouthing my master. Don't run away. I'll be very gentle. He he he. Ling Bao unleashed several beams of light, turning the remaining escaped individuals into targets, piercing through them. At this moment, the system notification appeared. The host's disciple has killed three cultivators in the Golden Core Realm, earning 1,500 points of domain value. So it turns out that I can gain domain value when Ling Bao kills people. This is quite a good deal. Nice. Use domain value. My domain value has also expanded to 22 meters. Ling Bao, who was now excited, came running back and said, Master, what should we do with those people? Should I chop them all up? After all, they're not good people. They belong to an evil sect. The withered old man immediately retorted, you're slandering us. Then he knelt before me with a thud and said, Senior, our sect has been a righteous and reputable one for decades. How could it be an evil and crooked path? It must be a misunderstanding on your part. He immediately shouted, What are you lackeys standing around for? Hurry up and apologize to the senior by kowtowing. Then he switched to a flattering expression and said, I hope the esteemed senior will forgive us small-minded people and spare our lives. Immediately, under the leadership of the withered old man, those lackeys one by one banged their heads on my floor tiles, making a loud sound. Looking at this seemingly sincere group of people in front of me, I couldn't help but feel a twinge of guilt. However, I'm not the kind of person who can be appeased by a few words from this guy. Those moves you just played were full of vengeful spirits. Do you think I'm blind or something? This old man is extremely cunning and immediately led his lackeys to charge at me. Kill him for me. Facing this group of lackeys, I displayed a sense of ease and mastery. With a swing of my hand, I turned the lackeys in front of me into experience points. But even after killing so many, it was only 450 points, not even as much as a cultivator in the Golden Core Realm. Then, taking advantage of the delay caused by the lackeys, the old man directly escaped. Ling Bao anxiously said, Oh no, the master of the skeleton sect has escaped. If he manages to get away, 
he will surely reveal the news of the celestial treasure, and more people will come. Meanwhile, I wore a calculating expression. Yes, what should we do? What should we do if they don't come in sufficient numbers? The scene shifts to the Skull Palace. And that small fry, whom I intentionally let go, is now thinking viciously. I can't defeat that brat. I must make Grand Elder pay for me. Just then, a subordinate from outside the house rushes in, shouting, Something bad happened. Something bad happened. The ancient ancestor who ascended to immortality 5,000 years ago has appeared. He's about to meet Grand Elder. Only you're missing. Upon hearing this, the old man says, Oh my. The ancient ancestor. The ancient ancestor has appeared. Now. I have my backer. Immediately, the old man hurriedly rushes to the ancestral shrine, and quickly bows three times and kowtows nine times before the imposing ancient ancestor in front of him. And the ancient ancestor also displays great dignity. This immortal is about to descend upon the mortal realm, by the order of the esteemed ancestor. Upon hearing these words, this scoundrel can't help but smirk. The strongest in the ghost region is only at the nascent soul realm, but who knows what level the ancient ancestor has reached long ago. The ghost skull sex dominance over the world is just around the corner, but how could such a cunning plan escape the notice of the ancient ancestor in front of him? Immediately, a terrifying pressure emanates, and upon sensing this immense power, this group of small fries is instantly frightened. What happened? What happened? The ancient ancestor is angry. Then, the ancient ancestor calmly says, put away your scheming thoughts and focus on serving me. Otherwise, I'll easily destroy you all. Now, these few small fries instantly settle down, not daring to have any more rebellious thoughts. And the first command issued by the ancient ancestor is to search for the celestial sword that fell from the upper realm. Upon hearing this, the old man sees an opportunity and shouts loudly to the ancient ancestor. Ancient ancestor, I know where the sacred celestial sword is. The ancient ancestor, upon hearing the news of the sacred celestial sword, couldn't help but be moved. Quickly, tell me, where is the divine sword? Upon hearing this, the old man couldn't help but be taken aback. On the spur of the moment, he came up with a resounding name for my small temple. Immortal temple. And here, I have long used my golden finger, to completely erase all traces of fighting. And my servant, Ling Bao, has integrated even more into his role as a servant, taking care of my daily life. As for me, I only need to enjoy this moment of tranquility. Although this life is good, the range of my domain is currently only 22 meters, and the source of food still depends on Ling Bao going out to gather. And when I just obtained domain value, I was only invincible within the domain, unable to control perception, just an ordinary person. But after leveling up, with the skills of all living beings, I finally gained a sense of control over everything within my domain, and my perception became more acute. However, even if I am invincible, I am ultimately confined to the domain. Outside the domain, I am just an ordinary person, unable to even protect Ling Bao. Is there any way to level up Ling Bao or something similar, so that I have assurance when I go out? Watching Ling Bao's fantastic interaction with Little Ban, I suddenly had an idea. Since I can transform small plants into spirit herbs, even giving them spiritual wisdom, could I also give Ling Bao a buff? With this thought, I grabbed Ling Bao and said, Come with me quickly. I have a treasure I want to try on you. Seeing the excitement in my eyes, Ling Bao couldn't help but feel a little scared. Master, what do you want to do? Facing Ling Bao, who was still in confusion, I increased my output. Ling Bao, I have a way to enhance your cultivation. It might be a little painful at first, but as long as you endure it, you will experience an otherworldly pleasure, like ascending to the heavens. How about giving it a try with me? Upon hearing my messy explanation, Ling Bao couldn't help but blush. Enhance cultivation. A bit painful. Otherworldly pleasure. In Ling Bao's mind, these words kept combining, leading to a conclusion. Could it be? Could it be that Master wants to cultivate together with me? Then, with a shy expression, Ling Bao said, Master, maybe we're progressing too fast. I'm still a novice. You know, isn't it too inappropriate? Unaware that Ling Bao's thoughts had already gone in a different direction, I directly increased the power of my words. Of course it has to be the first time, once more won't have the same effect. Ling Bao couldn't hold back any longer upon hearing this, and with a punch full of embarrassment and anger, she struck at me. Seeing Ling Bao's fearful appearance, I earnestly comforted him. Don't worry, don't worry, it's only effective the first time. However, Ling Bao still hesitated, as if there was one last line of defense holding her back. Then, various thoughts swirled in Ling Bao's mind, and in the end, he made a decision that went against her ancestors, perhaps to encourage himself. He shouted loudly, All right, I'm ready, master, come on. And I still didn't realize that our conversation was not on the same wavelength. I praised her, Good, truly my excellent disciple. Later, you need to focus your mind, otherwise there might be risks to your life. Remember, okay? Ling Bao also prepared himself. 
Come on, let's begin. But soon she realized that something was off. With a dumbfounded expression, she asked me. Master, can people really die during dual cultivation? However, I had no mood to pay attention to Ling Bao at that moment, and directly placed my hand on top of her head. Activating my Golden Finger 2.0. Golden Finger, grant me power, infuse vitality. I spoke up and asked, how does it feel? Ling Bao, at that moment, also sensed the changes within her body. A tingling sensation. But suddenly, Ling Bao asked, Master, so you really were just helping me cultivate? I couldn't help but be stunned by his question. What else would I be doing? Hearing that, Ling Bao seemed visibly disappointed. However, I had no time to ponder over Ling Bao's words in such a situation. So I instructed Ling Bao to focus and told her that I would be using a powerful technique on her. Pay careful attention and feel the energy as I enter your body. In the midst of a flash of lightning, Ling Bao continuously muttered a few lines that couldn't be recorded. At this point, Ling Bao finally reached the threshold of her current capabilities. But on Ling Bao's side, her status panel showed no change whatsoever. Why hasn't there been an upgrade yet? Let me try harder. Then, I increased the intensity of my actions, continuously escalating the output. A more majestic energy flowing through my fingertips and into Ling Bao's body. Hold on, hold on. However, the result was Ling Bao crying out, finally unable to hold on any longer. She collapsed with a loud crash, continuously murmuring through his pain. Master, it hurts. It hurts so much. As I watched Ling Bao in agony, I couldn't help but doubt myself. Could I be harming Ling Bao with what I'm doing? With the continuous increase in my output, Ling Bao was in so much pain that she began questioning her life choices. Oh no, my body is about to burst from the energy. But I didn't stop because of that. Instead, I encouraged Ling Bao to hold on. You'll undergo a transformation if you endure. But if you can't endure, you'll die. Memories from the past started appearing in Ling Bao's mind. The image of her striving and practicing relentlessly. Seeing those memories resurface. Ling Bao couldn't help but find motivation. I can't die. I still have to travel the world with my master. How can I die here? Relying solely on this belief. Ling Bao's aura continued to strengthen, causing thunderous strikes from the heavens. All of which were completely blocked by my invincible domain. But it seemed that even the heavens couldn't bear it anymore. And they scolded. Do you think I'm dead? Under my watch, you dare to defy fate and change destiny? However, I had no mood to pay attention to it. I simply embraced Ling Bao and asked, How are you feeling? Are you feeling better? Ling Bao, with a flushed face, replied, Master, Ling Bao managed to endure. As I looked at Ling Bao in front of me, curiosity arose in my heart. In this world, there are a total of nine ranks. And supposedly, there is also the legendary tenth rank. I wonder what rank Ling Bao has reached now. However, that so-called heavenly Tao directly exploded, completely ignoring me, and still dared to be affectionate with each other. I'll strike you two down, you despicable couple. Although I, who possess the invincible domain, am fine, the animals in the surrounding forest suffer greatly. Moreover, a demon king has appeared among them. With such a commotion, could it be caused by the celestial treasure from last night? The nearby demon king spoke with lingering fear. The thunder tribulation was so terrifying. If it had struck me, I would surely be doomed. The snake king agreed, saying, Not only us, I'm afraid this entire mountain would vanish forever. As a thrifty and frugal man like me, naturally, I wouldn't waste the thunder tribulation that had just occurred. I utilized it all, transforming it into nourishment, allowing Ling Bao to absorb it completely. The three demon kings, seeing this scene, were stunned. It seemed like the thunder tribulation didn't harm them, and we were all still alive. Look, there seems to be someone in the center of the thunder tribulation, and she's actually a young girl. The heavenly Tao exclaimed indignantly, Damn it, you cheat, shameless people, remember this, I'll definitely strike you down next time. After the thunder tribulation dissipated, the three powerful beings reached a unanimous decision, and charged towards us. I didn't pay much attention to the appearance of the three demon kings in the sky. At most, they were three experience points. The snake demon also commented, She is not a spiritual being. She's a living person. I didn't expect her to have such a realm at only 18 years old. The fox demon girl widened her eyes in astonishment. This girl's talent is extraordinary. She must be an unrivaled genius among the human race. If nurtured properly, she will surely become an outstanding figure. I don't want the celestial treasure anymore, but I must obtain this girl. And Ling Bao's realm continuously broke through from the foundation realm crazily advancing upward, accompanied by a series of system prompts. My domain value also increased rapidly. At this moment, I was in a great mood, completely unaware that the nearby monsters were staring at Ling Bao, planning to snatch her away. The fox demon, disregarding martial ethics, directly rushed forward. But this is my future disciple. Two of you, step aside. However, the stubborn old bull wouldn't let it go easily, grabbing onto the fox demon girl. You're talking nonsense. 
I want this girl too, even if I don't want the celestial treasure. While the fox demon girl and the old bull were arguing incessantly, the green snake took advantage of the opportunity and joined in. Disciple, I'm here. Seeing this, the fox demon girl couldn't bear it anymore, directly revealing her true form and pouncing. The snake demon was even more shocked. Are you playing for real? Just as an extraordinary battle was about to unfold, the old bull suddenly appeared, putting a stop to this pointless dispute. In critical moments, it's still best to rely on the old bull. Both the fox demon girl and the green snake brother were halted by the old bull's command. Then, the old bull walked over and said, why can't we just ask the girl directly, let her choose whoever she wants to be with, wouldn't that make everyone happy? Just then, our Ling Bao woke up, seeing Ling Bao regain consciousness, I stopped my actions and asked, now that you're awake, how do you feel? Ling Bao, with an excited expression, shouted, I've already broken through the triple heaven of the golden core realm. As Ling Bao's master, I couldn't help but feel a strong sense of accomplishment. Now Ling Bao will be able to gather food even faster. Ling Bao patted his own cheek. The cultivation level of the golden core realm is already at the elder level. Am I dreaming? Seeing Ling Bao in a daze, I directly threw the storage rings containing the experience orbs at her. Here, take the rewards I'm giving you. Ling Bao, looking at the storage ring in his hand, couldn't help but stand there in a daze. Master, these cultivation resources are comparable to half a sect. You're giving them all to me like this. Meanwhile, I pretended to be indifferent. Of course, I'm not interested in these things. But the truth is, I can't cultivate at all. I can't even open these things. Besides, with my invincible domain, I have no use for them. My current goal is to expand my invincible domain to the entire immortal realm. At this moment, the silent demon kings also spoke up. Disciple, looking at the three powerful beings in front of me, I confirm their identities. They are all demon kings. The old bull flexed his muscles, truly worthy to be my future disciple. You have good taste. I am a nascent soul realm demon king. Then he took out several demon pills. Here are three golden core realms condensed from the essence of three major demons. If you become my disciple, these three golden cores will be your initiation gifts. Seeing this, the green snake brother pushed the old bull aside. Step aside. Who do you think you can fool with these three broken golden cores? What I have here is the resplendent youth immortal fruit. By consuming it, you can maintain eternal youth. Currently, it's the only one in the mortal realm. If you become my disciple, this will be yours. The crucial point is that I'm also very handsome. If you have any thoughts about me in the future, I can consider it. Upon hearing this, Ling Bao fell silent. If it were just the resplendent youth immortal fruit, it would be fine. But adding you, as I looked at the green snake brother's immortal fruit, I couldn't help but be moved. I also kind of want it. However, Ling Bao seemed to be drooling. As the person involved, she had already been swayed. This resplendent youth immortal fruit is every girl's dream of eternal youth. The snake demon was even more proud. There is no one in the world who can resist the temptation of this immortal fruit. Exchanging the fruit for a disciple is worth it. The fox demon also appeared, introducing herself. I also have nascent soul realm cultivation. Although I don't have any initiation gifts, if you are willing to become my disciple, I will take you as my daughter. Then, you will be the young sovereign of my ancient fox clan. I can mobilize the entire clan to help you ascend as an immortal. The old bull and the green snake beside me were stunned. This woman is not a good person. She actually resorted to such a sinister trick. She's not even concerned about her reputation. The fox demon continued to tempt Ling Bao. Come on, walk with me as your master. But Ling Bao's next words broke their defense. I don't want it. The three demons were struck as if by lightning. It seems they didn't expect this. Ling Bao proudly said, I already have a master. Following my master, becoming an immortal or a god is a piece of cake. My master is the best and the most badass in the world. And the fox demon was furious, asking, who is your master? I made a stylish entrance. Naturally, it's me, the great one. The fox demon looked at me as nothing more than an ordinary mortal and immediately wanted to come and teach me a lesson, but I displayed an indifferent attitude and completely ignored her. The fox demon and her companions felt the need to defend Ling Bao, saying, if you don't speak, I would have thought you were this girl's servant. You, an ordinary mortal, don't deceive this girl. The old bull's momentum kept rising. It seemed he wanted to get rid of me to make Ling Bao see the reality. To this, I was even more disdainful. Come on, let me see what the so-called demon king is. The old bull couldn't tolerate this provocation and charged at me directly. But in the next moment, something shocking happened. I stood there calmly without dodging or evading, and I blocked the old bull's full force attack. Mr. Bull, put in a little more effort. Did you forget to graze before leaving? If you continue like this, I won't give you a tip, and you'll end up eating dirt. Other two bull technicians, come at me together. Let me have a good experience. In an instant, these three individuals collapsed on the ground, crying and begging, saying, Senior, 
please don't kill me. They didn't resemble three nascent soul realm level demon beasts at all. Seeing this, I knew it was time to implement my plan A. Is that so? Then I'll give you a chance. Submit to me or die. Think it over. You only have one opportunity. Only the old bull took the lead and prostrated himself on the ground, saying, I, old bull, am willing to submit to you, senior, and serve you faithfully. Following suit, the fox demon and the snake brother also imitated, not daring to have the slightest rebellious thoughts. Seeing the performance of the three demons, I was very satisfied and immediately said, From now on, you shall address me as your master. Rest assured, following me will bring you many benefits. Then I used a little trick. I infused three streams of spiritual energy into their bodies, and they immersed themselves in the transformation. At that moment, the heavenly thunder appeared once again, exclaiming, You, it's you again. One person defying fate was not enough. Now there are three. Today, I will smite you and show you the invincibility of destiny. The three demons, seeing the heavenly tribulation descending, couldn't help but feel afraid. They had just escaped the clutches of danger, and now it was happening again. This time, they were truly doomed. Seeing the three demons lying flat, I stood in front of them and said, Don't panic. Take cover behind me. With me here, the heavenly tribulation poses no threat. As the thunderous roar of the heavenly tribulation sounded, the result became evident. It couldn't break through my defense. Then, with a wave of my finger, I divided the power of the heavenly tribulation into three parts and infused them into the bodies of the three demons to temper their bodies. In the sky above, the heavenly tribulation, seeing its thunder tribulation transformed into nourishment for the three demons, couldn't help but be furious. It cursed. Damn it. Wait for me. Next time, next time I will definitely smite you. After the heavenly Tao dissipated, the three demons began to practice diligently. Then, sincerely, they said to me, Thank you, master, for enhancing our aptitude. I had a mischievous smile on my face and replied, Oh, by how many grades did it improve? The snake brother calmly said, Master, please wait a moment. Let me test my aptitude using the aptitude stone, corresponding to the colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, purple, black, and gold, which correspond to the nine grades. As he held the aptitude stone in his hand, it instantly turned black, leaving the snake brother dumbfounded, saying, damn it, it turned black. The fox demon and the old bull also tested their aptitude and obtained the same result, an eighth grade black aptitude. They were excited, twisting and turning around. In response to this, I made an effort to control my expression and calmly said, it's just an eighth grade aptitude, nothing significant, it's a small matter. Even a ninth grade aptitude is easy for me. Stay calm. Then, the three demon kings once again prostrated themselves, devoutly kneeling and bowing. Ling Bao, curious, said, I also want to test my aptitude. What grade am I now? The fox demon, with sharp eyes, handed the aptitude stone to Ling Bao, saying, Miss, you should also give it a try. I was also very curious. I had only casually enhanced their aptitude, resulting in 8th grade aptitudes. I wondered how high Ling Bao's aptitude would reach when fully enhanced. Ling Bao's stone began to shine brightly in her hand. The colors of the stone appeared one after another until it reached gold. However, the moment it turned gold, it instantly extinguished. The fox demon and the snake brother, seeing this, couldn't help but be puzzled. They wondered what was happening. Even if it wasn't a ninth grade aptitude, it shouldn't have turned transparent. Ling Bao looked at me with a grievance, and I was also somewhat at a loss. Then, Ling Bao burst into tears and cried out loudly, I have no aptitude anymore, it's gone. I couldn't help but think that something was wrong with the plot. Where is the golden color? The snake brother couldn't help but speculate. Could it be that Miss Ling Bao has already transcended into an immortal? When Ling Bao heard the snake brother's words, she radiated with energy and enthusiasm. She exclaimed, Master, Master, I must be an immortal now. I didn't feel much about this situation. After all, it fit the storyline. I then proceeded to act convincingly. In the mortal realm, the highest aptitude is ninth grade but there are qualities higher than the ninth grade. Ling Bao's aptitude now surpasses the ninth grade, so it can't be measured. Then, I told the three silly demon kings, as long as you follow me and perform well, not only will you have the qualifications of immortals, but even ascending to the heavens would be insignificant in my eyes. Feeling the overwhelming confidence emanating from me, the hearts of the three demons couldn't help but secretly say, our master must be someone from the higher realm. If we can ascend to the heavens by staying by the master's side, it would be a dream come true. We have firmly grasped onto this thigh. I couldn't help but curl up the corners of my mouth. I'm getting better and better at this act. Suddenly, the snake brother said, Master, since Miss Ling Bao already has the aptitude of an immortal, we should celebrate. Take me to catch a dragon turkey king and offer it to you and Miss Ling Bao. 
Hearing the three words Dragon Turkey King, I felt that it must be extraordinary. It must be delicious. The fox demon explained, the dragon turkey king contains a trace of divine beast bloodline and has delicious meat. It can be considered a delicacy in the mortal realm. Eating it is good for Ling Bao and the master's health. As the fox demon continued with her mysterious explanation, Ling Bao's mouth watered uncontrollably. Master, let me go. I want to taste it. Oh no, I mean, I want to test my current strength, Ling Bao said, accidentally revealing her true intentions. I wouldn't stop Ling Bao since she had inadvertently revealed her true feelings. And finally, the shriveled old man who had disappeared for a long time appeared online, lurking around and monitoring Ling Bao's movements. However, Ling Bao remained oblivious, riding on her small flying sword and happily carrying her captured chicken feast. Ling Bao returned home. In her heart, she kept thinking about my hunger, afraid that I would go hungry if she returned home late. After a brief observation, the old man noticed that Ling Bao was alone at the moment. He brought his henchmen and charged towards Ling Bao. Seeing several figures rushing towards her, Ling Bao couldn't help but be startled, almost falling down. After calming down, she realized that the people in front of her were from the skeleton sect, especially when she felt the aura emanating from the Black Rogue Elders, her heart sank. They were probably all nascent soul realm cultivators. However, Ling Bao didn't flinch. Instead, she said, Old man, have you forgotten how my master beat you to a pulp before? Are you now incontinent from fear? She also planned her escape, but how could the old man in front of her be scared? He raised the soul summoning disc in his hand and smirked sinisterly, saying, Once I kill you and obtain the sacred immortal sword, your master will be next. But the sacred immortal sword couldn't stand the suffering of its owner turning from a beautiful girl into a shriveled old man. It instantly emitted a brilliant golden light, blocking all of the old man's attacks. The old man was stunned, seemingly unable to believe that his attack had been blocked. He exclaimed in surprise, You've already reached the Golden Core Realm? Just a few days ago, you were still in the Foundation Realm. The Black Rogue Elder on the side also spoke, This girl's talent is terrifying. She has already become our enemy. We cannot let her escape today. After receiving the order, the old man, along with the numerous resentful spirits under the control of the Soul Summoning Disc, directly attacked Ling Bao. But Ling Bao was not an easy opponent. With the buffs I had provided and the empowerment of the Sacred Immortal Sword, she was invincible at this moment. The two forces collided instantly, and Ling Bao, with her triple Golden Core Realm strength, forcefully withstood the full-powered strike of the peak Golden Core Realm. However, this attack almost exhausted all of Ling Bao's mana. Without hesitation, Ling Bao directly fled towards the Immortal Temple. Seeing that his proud strike was easily blocked by Ling Bao, the old man couldn't help but feel a bit frustrated. There was a difference of six entire realms between them. Without hesitation, he chased after Ling Bao. Meanwhile, the fox demon sister was playing mahjong in the courtyard, urging the old bull, are you going to play or not? And the snake brother on the side was also anxious, saying, come on, we've been waiting for so long that the flowers are wilting. As for me, the creator of the game, I kept urging them, hurry up. The old bull seemed a bit flustered by our urging and shouted, even the neighboring old hen doesn't lay eggs as fast as you guys can rush me. After contemplating for a while, the old bull finally played the card seductress. As the old bull played the card, I couldn't help but smile embarrassedly. All one suit, I win. The style of the gambling god is undoubtedly revealed, and in my heart, I couldn't help but feel secretly delighted. It's really satisfying to crush the weak. Seeing his successful attack, the old bull couldn't help but act shamelessly, throwing away his mahjong tiles and saying, what urging, it's all your fault. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have played the seductress. Now you lose. The fox demon sister was even more indignant, blaming others for your own stupidity. Let's play another round. Seeing the lively scene of the three demons, I couldn't help but worry. Ling Bao should be back soon, right? The fox demon sister noticed my concern and reassured, she should be coming soon. With Ling Bao's strength, catching a few dragon fire turkeys is more than enough. Before she finished speaking, the fox demon sensed that something seemed wrong. Ling Bao's aura was getting weaker. Could she be injured? But how would I know what the fox demon sister was thinking? I replied, why would I worry? With Ling Bao's current strength at the Golden Core Realm, as long as she doesn't encounter nascent soul realm cultivators, she will come back safely. Seeing my confident appearance, the old bull communicated telepathically with the snake brother, asking if we should tell Ling Bao about her weakening aura. The snake demon mistakenly thought that I had already taken control of the situation, reassuring the old bull not to worry. Meanwhile, the fox demon sister was restless and could only attribute it to my desire to train Ling Bao. 
choosing to observe quietly. On the other hand, Ling Bao was running for her life, holding onto the precious meal in her hands without letting it go, even amidst the life or death escape. Suddenly, Ling Bao caught sight of the familiar immortal temple through the gaps in the trees, filling her heart with joy. Master, just as Ling Bao let her guard down, a purple giant palm descended from the sky towards her. Due to Ling Bao's carelessness, she couldn't evade in time and took all the damage from the giant palm. A mouthful of bright red blood sprayed from her mouth. The one who launched the attack was a woman dressed in black, smugly declaring, This brat, with just one of my strikes, even if she doesn't die, she won't live much longer. I'll take her back and refine her into a ghost slave. At this moment, Ling Bao fainted, barely clinging to life. The immortal sword by her side flashed with golden light and flew away. Seeing the sword escaping, the group of people immediately turned around and chose to chase after the sword. The woman in black also swiftly pursued and grabbed the fleeing immortal sword in her hand. She couldn't help but exclaim, no wonder it's an immortal sword. Its power is so immense. It's no wonder that nascent soul realm brat could hold on for so long. Looking at the barely breathing Ling Bao, the old man sneered, his face darkening. Die! In the next moment, a blood light shot up into the sky. When the smoke dissipated, the old man stared ahead with a terrified expression, his mouth trembling uncontrollably. A monster, it's a monster. The veins on Sister Fox Demon's forehead bulged out, her fingertips stained with blood. Fiercely, she said to the old man, who gave you the courage to dare lay a hand on Miss Ling Bao? You've had enough of living. Our brother Bull also emitted a powerful aura, daring to lay a hand on Ling Bao, the disciple of our master. Watch me, I'll kill you. Snake Demon appeared behind the old man at some point and softly advised, Please, friend, don't struggle. It will be over soon. My three strongest henchmen are here. Under the watchful eye of the fox demon sister, Ling Bao also regained consciousness. Looking at the fox demon sister in front of her, Ling Bao asked, Did master send you here? The fox demon sister then narrated softly. At this point, the three demons couldn't bear it any longer and anxiously spoke to me, Master, Miss Ling Bao's aura is becoming weaker and weaker. The fox demon sister even straightforwardly mentioned that it was a test for Ling Bao but it didn't have to be so severe. Regarding the words of the fox demon sister, I was also puzzled. Test? What test? But I quickly realized, could it be that something happened to Ling Bao? Seeing my indifferent reaction, the fox demon sister couldn't help but speak with a tearful voice. As long as Ling Bao develops steadily, she can become a legendary figure. Master doesn't have to be impatient, but Ling Bao is in critical condition. After all these conversations, even a fool like me knows that Ling Bao is in grave danger. I said in a deep voice, I was too anxious. Ling Bao is the person I am closest to, and I don't want anything to happen to her. Go and bring her back safely. Those who harm her shall be mercilessly killed. After receiving the order, the three demon kings promptly obeyed. Thus, the scene we just witnessed unfolded. Upon hearing the fox demon sister's explanation, Ling Bao understood the process and directly said, The people from the skeleton sect want to kill me. They have three nascent soul realm experts. Be careful. Before Ling Bao could finish speaking, a wave of intense pain surged, causing her to faint. Seeing Ling Bao in this state, the fox demon sister hurriedly gave instructions. Ling Bao's soul is unstable. We need to quickly take her back for treatment by the master. However, the three elders from the skeleton sect also arrived, and the old man even laughed triumphantly, saying, it's useless to take her back. I've already placed a soul-devouring curse on her. Without me lifting the curse, she is doomed to die. Upon hearing this, the snake demon brother couldn't help but chuckle and said, friend, you seem to lack intelligence. I know about the soul-devouring curse, but I heard that once the caster dies, the curse will naturally be broken. Bull clenched his fists and exclaimed, daring to use such vicious means to harm Ling Bao, I will butcher you and make a stew out of your mixed remains. Seeing this, the old man became frightened but still said, the three elders of my sect are here. How can you kill me? The black-clad woman stepped forward and declared, I am the grand elder of the skeleton sect. Are you trying to oppose our sect? However, this couldn't intimidate Snake Demon as he confidently stated, I have my support behind me. As the people outside continued to argue, I grew anxious and jumped up, saying, why waste time talking? Those who dare to harm my people, I'll kill them. Bull, hearing my angry tone, stopped complaining and immediately transformed into original form. Charging forward, he shouted loudly, cursing the enemy. Our snake demon brother followed suit and transformed into a giant python several meters long, sweeping through the area. Seeing this, the three skeleton elders didn't dare to be negligent. They cooperated and formed a triangular skeleton shield to defend themselves. However, such defense was merely futile against the bravery of Bull. With a brute force collision, 
he shattered their defense effortlessly. The leader of the skeleton trio felt despair, realizing that this foolish bull possessed such immense power that their defense couldn't withstand. In the next moment, the triangular formation of the skeleton trio exploded, creating billowing smoke. Seizing the opportunity, our snake demon brother struck back as soon as the defense was broken. With a powerful tail swipe, he immediately pushed the three opponents back with a loud crack. The clothes of the leader were torn apart, while the old man was thrown away by the powerful shockwave. Observing the old man being knocked away, our snake demon brother recognized this as a golden opportunity. After all, as long as he killed the old man, Ling Bao would no longer be in danger of losing her life. Speaking these thoughts, he transformed once again and charged towards the direction where the old man was thrown. However, at that moment, a woman in a black robe appeared, blocking his path. She pulled out a large sword from behind and said, if you want to kill our sect leader, you'll have to ask me if I agree or not. Looking at the woman in front of him who dared to hinder him from eliminating the mastermind, our snake demon brother grew increasingly irritable. Bull, on the other hand, began to charge around recklessly. With his brute strength alone, he managed to hold off the other two formidable opponents. On top of the house, I was sitting there, gazing into the distance, unable to contribute in any way. After all, even in the invincible domain, I couldn't sense even a trace of aura. If I hadn't sent Ling Bao to capture the dragon fire turkey king, he wouldn't have suffered such an unwarranted disaster. It was the same when facing the immortal sect in the past, I couldn't protect anything. And now, I can't even protect Ling Bao. If only the skills of the domain were useful to me, then I could cultivate and become stronger. I could rebuild the immortal sect, protect the old man, protect Ling Bao, and not be confined to this shell like a useless person, unable to do anything. But now is not the time to think about such matters. Then, my gaze became firm. I will definitely expand my invincible domain to encompass the nine immortal realms. By then, will there be anyone I cannot protect? Just then, a blaze rose up from the distant forest, and the old man hid behind a rock, watching the battle between the nascent soul realm powerhouses. He felt grateful that the three elders were protecting him. Meanwhile, our fox demon sister had engaged in a fierce battle with one of them. During the fight, the silver-haired woman accidentally lost the immortal sword she had just obtained, and the sword was tossed around by various powerful beings, causing dizziness. It fell straight down in front of the old man. Seeing the immortal sword before him, the old man couldn't help but rejoice. It's truly a stroke of luck. As long as I take this immortal sword back and hand it to the patriarch, but then he had second thoughts. If I run away with the sword now, and these three elders die here, how can I gain the trust of others in the future? And at that moment, the old man seemed to have made a decision. The fate of our sect is now in my hands. I must not disappoint the sect. I also noticed the sneaky figure of the old man. What is he up to? I saw the old man hiding behind the rocks, suddenly darting out. And I also noticed his target. It was Ling Bao standing nearby. The old man swiftly approached Ling Bao with a purpose. These three demon kings value Ling Bao so much. I'll kidnap her and use her to blackmail them. At the same time, I rushed towards Ling Bao as well. You old fool, today I'll make you suffer. The old man, seeing the sudden figure rushing towards him, couldn't help but be stunned but quickly recognized me. In that instant when our eyes met, I couldn't contain myself. You old fool, how dare you? Looking at me in this state, the old man couldn't help but recall the fear from that day, trembling uncontrollably. And at that moment, the immortal sword, as if finding its mother's embrace, broke free from the old man's hand and flew towards me. I didn't know what was happening, but then I immediately thought, after all, I am the chosen one, selected by the heavens. Such a thing is normal. But what surprised me even more was when the immortal sword transformed into a complete set of gauntlets, binding itself to my arms. Could this thing read minds as well? It seems I underestimated it before. Seeing the smoothness with which the immortal sword fit into my hands, the old man was completely stunned. Now I'm in big trouble. Gotta run. Although I no longer have the invincible domain's blessing at this moment, gaining a new divine artifact fills me with confidence. You old fool, you still want to run? The old man looked at me as if I were a god of death and charged towards him. He became completely flustered. Just as he was stunned, I had already pounced on him. You bastard, taste my iron fist. In an instant, golden light shone, displaying great power. And at this moment, I had already lost my sanity, with my mind filled with thoughts of killing this bastard. No matter how he begged for mercy, I couldn't listen. After a cool and explosive special effect, the old man vanished. Not even a trace remained. But the old man didn't die. His primordial spirit managed to escape. The old man, who survived the ordeal, couldn't help but feel perplexed. How did he let me go like that? 
Could it be that he didn't notice my primordial spirit? However, with my physical body destroyed and centuries of cultivation gone, even if I were to return, I would likely be turned into a resentful spirit. The old man had a clear understanding of his own predicament. Just as he despaired, he sensed a peculiar aura. It was the aura of the eternal life body, and he began searching in all directions. Soon, he realized that this aura was emanating from me. Seeing this, the old man couldn't help but become attentive. After all, whether human or demon, no one could resist this enchanting aura. And I had already brought Ling Bao into the invincible domain. Seeing Ling Bao still unconscious with terrifying wounds all over his body, these damn bastards who dared to harm him, these old bastards and the skeletons, I will one day annihilate them all. As for Ling Bao's injuries, once inside the invincible domain, life or death is within my control. It doesn't matter who comes, what I say goes. Take a pill, and Ling Bao's injuries also begin to rapidly heal. Seeing this, I finally feel relieved. It's a good thing I arrived in time, otherwise, who knows what would have happened. After displaying my might, Ling Bao finally regains consciousness, and the first words she speaks are a fervent apology to me. Ling Bao fool, I lost the dragon fire turkey king. Seeing Ling Bao in such an adorable state, I am deeply moved. What a silly girl. At this moment, the battle in the sky has also entered a white-hot stage, with loud explosions resounding. Surprisingly, the source of the explosion is our brave bull. Bull now resembles a warrior, exuding a strong aura that counteracts the mysterious aura of the skeletons. On the other side, the fox demon girl is suppressing her opponent, launching multiple attacks in an instant and sending the woman flying. Fiercely, it was smashed towards my floor tiles. But luckily, I can repair infinitely, or else I wouldn't know whom to ask for compensation. In the midst of multiple clashes, the silver-haired woman's clothing becomes increasingly scant, constantly emitting enticing charm. I can't help but watch attentively, completely absorbed. As she notices my fierce gaze, the girl is taken aback. Where did this trash come from, daring to glare at me? Are all the youngsters so arrogant these days? Hearing that this girl has entered my invincible domain and is still so audacious, I immediately become unhappy and rush towards her, slapping her across the face. So you think you're tough, huh? The sudden strike bewilders the silver-haired girl, who hasn't even had a chance to speak. I follow up with another slap. You're dressed so scantily, aren't you going to let me have a look? Two consecutive slaps completely dumbfound the silver-haired girl, seemingly never having experienced such humiliation in her life. However, I continue my assault without pause, jumping up and delivering another powerful slap. You didn't expect this. Did you, you bastard? I show no mercy towards this wicked individual and directly stomp on her, crushing her last bit of stubbornness. Then, in an extremely cool posture, I look at the two fools in the sky and say, Come, let me show you something precious. These two idiots are obviously not fools. And when they see that I easily dealt with one person with just three slaps, they can't help but hesitate. Seeing my display of power, the fox demon girl chimes in. Behave and surrender. My master is terrifying when angry. Upon hearing the fox demon girl mention her master, the girl in question can't help but speculate. Could it be that transcendence realm old monster? Sensing the pressure arising from imagination, the girl finally becomes timid. She orders the people nearby to prepare to retreat. Just as they are about to withdraw, the voice of the old man begging for help reaches us. Seeing the old man's desperate plea, the leader of the group doesn't even spare him a glance. So it was you, worthless trash. Looking at the disdainful expression on the elder's face, the old man reveals the secret of my eternal life body. Hearing the temptation of the eternal life body, the two individuals who were about to escape immediately stop in their tracks desire truly holds invincible power. They then inquire about the opinion of the person behind them and receive a positive response. Since that's the case, let's gamble and turn the bicycle into a motorcycle. The snake demon and bull, upon seeing these two individuals daring to mock them, I prepare to engage in another real fight with them. However, seeing their restlessness, I quickly intervene. It's alright, let them come. I secretly think to myself, come, come, the eternal life body you've all yearned for is right here. If you come, you'll only meet your demise. Seeing that they remain hesitant, I decide to give them a strong dose, emitting a fragrance from my body that spreads freely towards them. Come at me, all of you. Initially indecisive, the two individuals in the air are swayed by the scent I emit. It confirms their belief that it is the aroma of the eternal life body and prompts them to take a risk. However, due to my unrestrained release, even the three demons become attracted to this scent. The man is the first to lose his self-control, shouting, eternal life flesh. I want to eat eternal life flesh. Seeing the first fish taking the bait, I can't help but chuckle. He he, you bastard, come, come, I'll give you eternal life. As the perverted man approaches, I begin preparing my ultimate move, intending to keep all of them neatly contained with me. The next moment, I directly reach out and touch the top of the despicable man's head, 
pressing him down, allowing me to have a good feel of him. Then, with a burst of force, I slam him towards the ground, creating a large pit. Do you think it's over? No, this is just the beginning. After that, I grab his head with one hand and repeatedly smash it to the ground, like an old farmer tilling the land. Over and over again, rubbing against the ground and bricks. Seeing my horrifying appearance, the three demons who were just under the influence quickly regain their senses, cold sweat drenching their backs. How terrifying! So, this is the true nature of the master. After countless slams, the system's prompt faintly comes in, congratulations, host, for killing a nascent soul realm fourth heaven cultivator. Obtained 1200 domain value. It's really tiring, but the domain value is quite substantial. Looking at the two nascent soul realm cultivators behind me, I also reveal a look of a predator, as if they are no longer individuals but two walking experience packages. The fox demon girl and Bull also recall the strangeness just now. Bull innocently says, I don't know, I only remember smelling a very fragrant scent just now. The snake demon also analyzes from the side, it's probably the master taking out some kind of a moral treasure that affects consciousness. The leader girl in the sky, who was previously affected by the explosive scene, has regained her senses and realizes that she narrowly escaped death. She was almost seduced by the temptation of the eternal life body. This kid is truly terrifying. I was almost fooled by the eternal life body. Then she looks down and doesn't see the figure of Chio Chin to anywhere. Damn it, where did that useless trash go? Don't let me find him, or I'll chop him up and offer him to the heavens. Then, without hesitation, she starts running. Seeing the domain value in the air and still thinking about escaping, I can't help but find it amusing. The domain value that's within reach still wants to escape from under my nose. It really doesn't take me seriously. Just as I wave my little hand, an unmatched pressure emanates from me. The girl, who is a domain value, becomes completely still. She can't move at all. With a panicked expression, she looks at me and asks, what have you done to me? Looking at the girl in front of me, I reassure her, telling her not to be nervous. I just wanted to slightly enhance your aptitude, that's all. Upon hearing my inexplicable words, the girl directly curses at me, saying that I must be crazy. But in the next moment, the skills of all living beings continuously modify her aptitude directly. The girl immediately feels the unique power and realizes that her aptitude is truly being enhanced. Is this something I can have for free? And with this action, it triggers a reaction from the Heavenly Tao. The Heavenly Tao senses that I'm once again helping someone defy fate and can't help but get angry, cursing, damn it, when will you ever stop? Can't you just mind your own business? As for the Thunder Tribulation, it is once again completely transformed into nutrients by me and infused into that girl. Seeing my familiar move, the Heavenly Tao is speechless. Oh dear, why are you using that move again? The silver-haired girl also feels the majestic Thunder Tribulation being converted into nutrients, continuously flowing into her meridians. Meanwhile, the girl's cultivation level was also skyrocketing. Seeing my dedicated appearance, she couldn't help but wonder why I was helping her improve her cultivation level. Could it be that she caught my interest? Although she had such thoughts, she couldn't help but feel a flutter in her heart. The cornered remnant soul was dumbfounded. Who is this person? This is too unbelievable. I have never seen anyone who can directly improve someone's cultivation level like this. If I hadn't annoyed him and tried to please him, the fox demon girl, seeing this, couldn't help but feel puzzled about why the master was helping them. As for the green snake brother, he couldn't understand what I was thinking and silently watched everything. Meanwhile, I increased my output and the power within my domain gathered towards the girl as if going crazy. The silver-haired girl also felt at this moment that her body could no longer bear any more energy and hurriedly shouted, Stop! I can't take it anymore! In the sky, the heavenly Tao that had been bullied by me for a long time was also desperate. It shouted and cursed, You shameless brat! Then it slowly disappeared. As for me, I didn't feel anything. At this moment, my mind was filled with a bold idea. As for the girl, under my crazy improvement, she became a transcendence realm cultivator and the first person in history to explode due to spiritual power. Seeing the system prompt of 2000 domain value being credited, I also pondered. It seems that I can only elevate someone to the transcendence realm now. Well, it's not bad. Tearfully, I received 2000 points. As for the girl who slapped me three times before, she also woke up at this moment and looked at her trembling body. I almost forgot that there was an experience package here. Seeing her expression as if she was looking at her prey, the girl couldn't help but step back. There was no trace of the aura of a nascent soul realm cultivator left. Seeing her like this, I kindly said, don't worry, 
I won't go overboard. Then I skillfully activated the spiritual creatures. The girl felt the powerful energy gathering on her body and shouted in fear. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. As for this girl, my mind was filled with helplessness. Hmm. I won't kill you. I'm just improving your cultivation level. After a series of actions, I didn't attract the expected thunder tribulation. Could it be that I've used it too many times and the heavenly Tao can't take it anymore? Seeing that the anticipated thunder tribulation didn't appear for a long time, I had no choice but to give up. I waved my hand and cleared the last experience package. These scenes left the three monsters dumbfounded for a long time. They couldn't calm down. The master actually improved their cultivation level and killed their opponents in seconds. What kind of level is the master at? The system also prompted me that it discovered a bug. However, from now on, I can only use Thunder Tribulation once a month to enhance cultivation level of someone. The system forcefully fixed the bug, and then it prompted that it could be consuming 5000 domain value to upgrade to version 3.0. However, I chose to prioritize expanding the domain range. After all, expanding the combat range is the most important. I chose a domain range of 74 meters and shouted around, Little brother, come out. I can see you, feeling the strand of remnant soul right behind my house. I couldn't help but find it funny. If it was outside, it would be fine, but it had to be within my domain range. Seeing that little brother directly rushing over and constantly introducing himself without stopping, he looked like a professional bootlicker. I couldn't help but feel nauseous. It makes me want to vomit. I naturally didn't have a good expression for such an annoying person. After all, bootlickers must die. It's an eternal truth. So I grabbed his spiritual body and pulled him back and forth. You're pretty awesome. What else can you do besides this? Can you turn into a cute puppy and play? Faced with my inexplicable words, he was at a loss for words. After playing for a while, I lost interest and casually threw it aside, instructing, you guys take care of this thing. When Ling Bao wakes up, let her deal with it. Although this guy seems useful, he bullied Ling Bao like this, so let her decide. The fox demon girl, seeing that things were almost settled, asked me what arrangements I had for the future. Then I casually mentioned, didn't Ling Bao come back with a chicken? Why don't you go catch it and roast some chicken legs? As for the dragon fire turkey king in our mouths, it's still looking for its way home. In the yard, by the bonfire, we sat in a circle, roasting the lost turkey. But my thoughts were not on this at the moment. I started considering that my invincible range was still too small, and I couldn't even cover a mountain. Moreover, I needed to expand and upgrade the system with domain value, which was a headache to think about. But if I wanted to quickly obtain domain value, I could only use my eternal life body and the holy immortal sword to seduce them. However, the eternal life body clearly wouldn't work, as not only would it cause monsters and ghosts to lose control, but it seemed that Ling Bao and the three monsters would also be unable to resist. Afterward, I lifted the precious sword and said, My dear, for the sake of my domain value, it seems I'll have to sacrifice you. Then I threw the holy immortal sword to the ground and said, Alright, you release your celestial aura here. Draw all those monsters and demons towards us. Just thinking about that scene made my mouth water uncontrollably. It felt like that scene would happen soon, and I would profit from it. The three monsters beside me looked at me foolishly and started discussing among themselves. They talked about how I resembled someone with hemorrhoids. After enduring a long and painful four-hour wait, they eventually fell asleep. As for me, my hair was already covered in spider webs, and I was growing impatient. Why hadn't a single monster or demon appeared even after a whole night? With each angry roar from me, the fox demon girl and Ling Bao woke up from their slumber. Soon, everyone was awake. As I worried about this, the remnant soul of the skeleton sex master floated over, wearing a flattering expression. Senior, I know what went wrong, he said obsequiously. I wasn't pleased with his servility and warned him, you better be right, or you'll be gone in the next moment. Then the remnant soul pointed at Ling Bao and the others and said, you see, it's because they are the three demon kings of the temple, and their aura is too strong. Those weaklings wouldn't dare to come and seek trouble. Seeing these energetic fellows behind me, I couldn't help but feel a surge of anger. So it was these guys causing the trouble, and these three monsters were not modest at all. They mistakenly believed they had performed well and started boasting even more. I didn't waste time with these three fools and used my unique skill to weaken them drastically. The once arrogant three demon kings, after my intervention, seemed lifeless and devoid of any vitality. Seeing me suppress the three demon kings with a wave of his hand and became more certain in his belief that I was a divine being. After dealing with those three troublemakers, I excitedly ran over to the immortal sword. My dear, now no one will disturb our world of two. However, the immortal sword wasn't foolish. It was a sword with its own consciousness and immediately escaped to a distance. Seeing the immortal sword acting so insolently, I couldn't help but get angry. You dare to run? This is my territory, and I'm in charge. Come back to me. After catching the immortal sword, 
I immediately bound it with a set of restraints. Come on, my little darling, let me see what you can do. I ordered, quickly release your mighty celestial power. Once it realized it had nowhere to escape, the immortal sword obediently complied. A golden pillar of light instantly illuminated the entire night sky. Soon, all the monsters and demons within a 10-mile radius noticed the towering pillar and reported back to their respective bosses. And upon confirming that the source of the light was indeed the immortal sword, the big bosses became interested. Laughter echoed through the air. I must obtain that immortal sword. With it, I won't have to fear those human cultivators anymore. The ghost city became lively due to the aura, and numerous vengeful spirits emerged, eager to join the crowd. And soon, the monsters and demons from the surrounding areas, as well as the hungry ghosts in the ghost city, gathered together with the same belief and intention. They all came to my little temple, watching the overwhelming horde of monsters and demons. It was reminiscent of the day when the eternal life sect was annihilated. But this time, I was no longer the useless person I used to be. I was a god in this domain. Today, it would be their turn to be wiped out. However, I didn't make any fancy attacks. With a wave of my hand, countless notifications rang out incessantly. Seeing the devastating scene, the little ghost became so frightened that his legs gave out. Although he didn't have legs. As for the three monsters, they were stunned. It seemed like this was the first time they witnessed such a scene in a hundred years. After countless hours passed, the sky was filled with endless flames, illuminating the entire night. Seeing the bald sky above, I couldn't help but be surprised. This just kills them all, they really can't withstand a single kill. After killing so many monsters and demons, my domain value only increased by 3,400 points. But to upgrade the system, I needed 5,000 points. Then I looked at the depleted immortal sword and wondered, why is it attracting only cannon fodder? The highest level is only the golden core realm. Could it be that those nascent soul realm old monsters are too far away to sense it? Or are they still observing? Thinking about it, I shouted to my three henchmen, I have a task for you now. Spread the news about the celestial aura in the immortal temple to all the nascent soul realm monsters in the 10,000 mountains. The more who know, the better. I'm going to make a big move. After considering for a while, I felt it would be better to allocate their tasks more specifically. So, I turned to them and said, who among you is more familiar with Cloud State? As soon as they heard my question, the snake demon and the fox demon eagerly stepped forward, pointing at themselves repeatedly, saying, me. However, since the snake demon was originally from Cloud State, I decided to prioritize him. I asked him to gather information about the Eternal Life sect. As for the fox demon and bull, I told them to spread the news about the immortal treasures, but since it was my first time giving out tasks, I wanted to make a grand gesture. So, I conjured three immortal pills and instructed them that if they heard any news about the Eternal Life Sect, they should inform me immediately. I also told them to protect the sect leader at all costs, even if it meant sacrificing everything. After conveying all the instructions, I tossed the pills to them and skillfully painted a rosy picture. This is just an advance reward. There will be many benefits once the mission is accomplished. It's beyond imagination. The three demons were eager to set off. A week later, Lin Bao's father and the elder of the Nine Sword sect arrived one after another. They had received information that Lin Bao was here on this mountain peak. Lin Bao's father appeared cold and indifferent, clearly not believing in such rumors. But as a father, he couldn't let go of the possibility, even if it was just a 1 in 10,000 chance. Finally, they found the immortal temple where I was located. As for me, I was enjoying the attention from my followers, fully embracing my decadent appearance. Just then, I sensed the presence of intruders entering my domain. After carefully sensing it, I became excited and jumped up. It turned out to be nascent soul realm cultivators, a big fish that would increase my domain value. But the little ghost also sensed their aura. They were Lin Qingshan and Lin Hai, those two old fellows. Watching me eager to go out hunting, the little ghost didn't choose to follow. Thoughts couldn't help but race through my mind. I can't let those two old dogs discover me in such a sorry state. Just then, the two of them directly entered my palace. Seeing their spirited appearance, I was slightly surprised. But since they had delivered themselves to me, I didn't mind these details. I opened my mouth and asked, are you here to snatch the immortal treasures too? Before I could continue pretending, Lin Bao's voice interrupted me. He was wearing a chef's uniform, holding a ladle, and looking excitedly at the two people. Dad? Grandpa Hai, I've been waiting so long for this domain value, and now it's all ruined. Lin Qingshan, seeing his daughter's unexpected appearance, 
couldn't help but get angry. Lin Bao, what are you doing? Come back with me to the Nine Sword sect. But Lin Bao immediately refused her father's request. No, I want to stay with Master. Lin Qingshan was on the verge of losing his temper at his daughter's sudden defiance. Just as he was about to continue his lecture, he seemed to have grasped a crucial point. He looked at me, who was suave and debonair, and started scolding loudly. Are you saying that the worthless person standing in front of me is what you're referring to? Just based on him? You, this girl, seemed to be deliberately provoking me. Seeing her own father dared to scold me like this. She even lost her composure and was on the verge of losing her mind. She quickly stepped forward to stop them. Father, please don't say that. Those who said similar things before had their ashes scattered. Master is capable of slapping a nascent soul realm cultivator to death. Seeing Lin Bao's nervous appearance, Lin Qingshan began to suspect that I had done something to her. He waved his sleeve and said coldly, slapping a nascent soul realm cultivator to death? Impressive. You're quite good at bragging. Why not just blow the nascent soul realm to death in one breath? Hearing Lin Qingshan's novel idea, I also discovered a new continent. It was indeed a good idea. I could try it next time. Lin Qingshan became angry when he heard my agreement with his idea. You shameless child. Today. I will make you understand how vast the heavens are and how thick the earth is. Just as they were about to take action, the old man also sensed something unusual behind him. Our brave bull and the fox demon sister had already returned. They happened to see Lin Qingshan inside the house, looking eager and ready to beat him up. Their anger instantly reached its peak, and Lin Qingshan, seeing the unparalleled killing intent emanating from the two demon kings, felt a sense of fear. He thought to himself, what if they fight? I'm afraid I won't be their match. This 10,000 mountains is truly a hidden dragon and crouching tiger. I hope these two demon kings are not unreasonable people. Just as the situation became tense, Lin Bao suddenly stepped forward to explain, they are my father and my grandfather. They are not bad people. Please don't attack them. Bull and the others were taken aback when they heard that they were Lin Bao's relatives. They wilted instantly. It turned out they were Lin Bao's family. Embarrassed, Lin Qingshan looked at the dramatic scene before him and became visibly upset. Meanwhile, I coughed lightly to break the silence and asked, have you taken care of the tasks I assigned you? The fox demon sister quickly spoke up, trying to please me. Master, everything is in order. Looking at the awkward situation unfolding, Lin Qingshan's demeanor worsened. He mumbled to himself, Miss Lin Bao, did I forget to take my medicine today? How did I fall for an illusion so easily? Lin Hai also opened his eyes, looking at me with suspicion. He couldn't believe that the two demon kings were calling a mortal in front of the master. Could it be that this person was truly formidable and hiding his true strength, even at the transcendence realm? And I naturally played along, appearing confident and stroking my chin, sizing up Lin Bao's section. If there's a chance, we could cooperate. Oh. By the way, where was I? Lin Hai, upon hearing my question, also clasped his hands and said, Esteemed one, you truly hide your strength well. Our sect master was just overly protective of her daughter and unintentionally offended you. I hope you won't take offense. Hearing the old man giving me face like that, I casually replied, No big deal, it's just a family matter. Upon hearing that they were family, Lin Qingshan suddenly shouted, What? Family? Did I agree to this? Lin Hai continued speaking, today, we need to take Lin Bao away, we hope you won't interfere. Before I could say anything, Lin Bao started to make a scene, saying, I don't want to, I don't want to go home, I want to stay with my master. Seeing Lin Bao's adorable appearance and the two men's firm attitude, I couldn't help but feel a bit angry. I calmly said, you are Lin Bao's family, if she wants to go back with you, I won't stop her, but if she doesn't want to go, please don't force her. Seeing my attitude, Lin Hai also threatened indirectly, although you are the demon king, now that you've descended to the mortal realm, can you really contend with the immortals? Hearing the old man mentioning the mortal realm, my interest was piqued. Did he happen to have any experience or information about it? Chiu Chin to naturally overheard our conversation and thought to himself, if the patriarch comes, maybe I can finally escape from here. But Lin Hai continued, Chiu Chin to is cunning and deceitful. Please be careful. It's better to hand over the immortal treasure to him directly. Don't risk your life for temporary greed. Upon hearing the old man's words, Chiu Chin to suddenly erupted in anger, saying, bullshit, don't talk nonsense. Then he ran over, trying to please me, senior. Please don't believe their slander. I am now your person in life and death. I am definitely not the person they described. My lifelong goal is to be by your side, to serve you wholeheartedly, even in death. Lin Hai and the others heard this dog-like flattery and felt the familiar aura in front of them. They recognized that the divine sense before them was indeed Chiu Chen Tu. And I, seizing the opportunity, grabbed Chiu Chen Tu and said, not bad, your will to survive is quite strong. As he watched the scene unfolding before him, 
Lin Qingshan couldn't help but fall into an illusion. Can he really contend with the immortal? Did he just say that we are family? Lin Qingshan and Lin Hai looked at Xiao Qian Tu, who was now only left with his divine sense, constantly flattering me, and couldn't help but speculate. Is this young man really some kind of great deity? Even I, the old man, can't understand it now. After being flattered by Chiu Chen Tu for a while, I was in a great mood. I didn't expect you to be quite eloquent, kid. Lin Qingshan also transmitted his voice, wondering if he should really entrust Lin Bao to him. Lin Hai also couldn't make up his mind for a while and decided to wait and see. Seeing their attitudes, I knew their little schemes all too well. I spoke directly. It seems that you two still have doubts about me. Just in time. We have guests coming. I'll let you see for yourselves. I randomly instructed the fox demon sister to receive the guests. In the next moment, a shouting voice came from outside the courtyard. I saw several figures coming into the courtyard. The leader, a fat man, questioned the fox demon sister. Is the location of the immortal treasure you mentioned here? Where is the treasure? And where is the everlasting youth tree? Could it be that the human you mentioned who sees the treasure is the boy next to you? The fox demon sister candidly admitted, that's right. Our young master has been waiting for you for a long time. As for Lin Hai and the others, they looked up at the monster beasts above them, not frightened but their legs trembling. Are all these nascent soul realm demon kings? It's the first time I've seen ten demon kings united. Lin Bao even took out the immortal sword and said, Dad, don't be afraid. Master is powerful. The immortal sword is still with me. Seeing the immortal sword in Lin Bao's hand, Lin Qingshan became even more anxious. How did the immortal treasure end up with you? Quickly put it away. Don't let those demon kings see it. The demon kings in the sky are not fools. How could they not sense it at such a close distance? They shouted, kill them, take the immortal treasure and the everlasting youth tree. I want to eat that boy. He'll be a delicacy for my unborn child. The giant monster behind them said, leave that little girl to me. I'll make her experience the desire for immortality and death. And I had been waiting for this moment for a long time. I immediately turned to the two behind me and said, watch closely. I'm about to show off. A master's move is often accompanied by a cool pose and I am no exception. I started to move and twist directly, fully displaying my charm. After enjoying myself, I felt as if I had reached the pinnacle of life. I joyfully jumped up. The ten demon kings on the opposite side were dumbfounded. Does this person have some serious illness? Will eating him affect our intelligence? I did feel insulted. Lin Hai and the others had never seen such a grand scene before. They were all speechless and puzzled, saying, can he really defeat the ten demon kings in front of him? In response to Lin Qingshan's question, Lin Hai didn't know how to answer and uncertainly said, he should be able to. Seeing this, Lin Bao stepped forward and explained to his father and grandfather, Master, it's not like that. It's really not like that. But in the end, there are still people who can appreciate it. This unique sense of beauty. The fox demon sister looked at me with a spring-like heart, continuously praising me, saying, Master, you're so handsome. From then on, my showboating officially ended. I lifted both hands, and a powerful force erupted. The ten demon kings in front of me were all destroyed under my manipulation of all living beings, bursting into pieces. I added ten more guys who were killed by spiritual power. Then the system's rewards came pouring in, directly credited with 12,000 domain value points, currently accumulated 15,450 points. Seeing the familiar upgrade prompt, I continued to flaunt my handsome posture, softly said, upgrade, but the people in front of me, couldn't adapt to the situation for a while, stunned and motionless, and then, Lin Hai and the other's brains finally reacted, they shouted, he just killed the ten demon kings like nothing, what kind of power is this, could it be that he has already mastered the power of the laws, in comparison, Bull and the fox demon sister showed no reaction, as if everything that happened was within their expectations, Lin Qingshan suddenly turned to look at Lin Hai, could he be an immortal, Lin Hai I directly denied it. Immortals have to ascend. The laws of the nine provinces cannot tolerate the existence of immortals. Even if immortals descend, their strength will greatly diminish. They cannot stay in the continent at all. But Lin Qingshan said again, he can easily use the power of the laws. He doesn't care about the title of immortal. Could it be that he is the legendary being who can kill immortals in an instant? When the old man heard this, he felt that it was true. Lin Bao actually found such a powerful master. I wonder if he would accept me as a disciple if I go to apprentice now. Feeling the admiring gazes around me, I couldn't help but in indulge in it. It's not in vain that I've seen all kinds of cool slow motion scenes. This pretending is really cool. It's a pity that pretending doesn't earn domain value. Otherwise, I could dominate the continent immediately. After receiving my feedback, the system successfully upgraded to version 3.0 and unlocked a brand new function. True Immortal Solution to the DAO. 
just at the moment of my success. Lin Hai and the others also smelled an unusual fragrance. This scent successfully attracted Bull and the fox demon sister. As the person involved, I secretly thought it was not good. How did the seal of the eternal life body in my body disappear? Before I could think about how to solve it, the people behind me had already rushed towards me, seemingly wanting to fry and stew me. I didn't have much time to think about the sudden rampage of these people. I directly raised my hand and suppressed them, and above their heads, a huge ball of light appeared out of thin air, and pressed down on them. After seeing them fall, I breathed a sigh of relief. How did the prohibition disappear after this level of upgrade? What should I do now? At this time, the system also revealed the new function, True Immortal's Simplified Solution. I am the immortal. My words and actions embody the true meaning of the immortal's way, containing the truths of the great Tao. Looking at the explosive introduction on the panel, I appeared somewhat hesitant. Let's give it a try first then. At this moment, the system reminded me once again. True immortal solution to the Tao. It can cover the host's body with immortal charm. Not only can it conceal appearance, it can also hide the aura of the eternal life body. Seeing this explanation, I was at a loss for words. Why didn't you mention this good thing earlier? Saying that, I directly used it. But after using it, there was no change. You say it changed. There really isn't much difference. You say it didn't change. It seems to have gained an additional 50 cents worth of special effects. Regarding my question, the system directly shifted the blame and let me develop it on my own, seemingly to compensate for my injured heart. It gave me a package of salted fish. As soon as I heard that there was a gift package to open, I didn't care if it was salted fish or not. After all, products from the system are always top notch. After opening the gift package, I obtained a new function, mirror flowers and moon reflections, and received a function experience card, eternal existence of the immortal's way, and it was stated that it can only be used once. Looking at the experience cards in front of me, I couldn't help but wonder, can only be used once? Seeing my dumbfounded expression, the considerate system explained, with this card, mortals can be transformed into immortals. When I heard that there was such a good thing, I asked, then what would happen if I used it on myself? As expected, dad system immediately poured cold water on me. The eternal existence of the immortal's way can only be used on objects. The host is not an object. Then I continued to ask, what if I use it on the invincible domain? After the domain expands, will this thing expand with it? But dad system, apparently, he started another money-making scheme. It reminded me that as long as I spend 5,000 domain value points, it can expand along with the invincible domain, and unlock new gameplay. When I heard there was new gameplay, I couldn't help but feel excited. Why not invest a little and give it a try? After successfully unlocking it, the eternal existence of the immortal's way also became a permanent function. Within the domain, it transformed into an emperor. As long as one cultivates in the invincible domain, even trash can become immortals. Just at this moment, there was movement from the pool behind me. A golden-haired and green-eyed little lowly emerged from the water. Looking at the little lowly in front of me, I couldn't help but be stunned. After a while, Lin Hai and the others also woke up. Looking around at everything, the old man's eyes widened even more. This, this is immortal energy, and that golden-haired, green-eyed little lowly. Naturally, it was the little spirit I transformed using spirit grass a while ago. Feeling great, I was lying on the fox demon sister's body at the moment, feeling the beauty of this moment. Lin Hai and the others not far away also recognized it. This is a spirit grass spirit transformation. Seeing the dreamlike scene in front of Lin Ching Chan, he couldn't help but ask Lin Hai, didn't we just take a nap? How did we directly ascend to the immortal realm? An old Hai, being somewhat knowledgeable, we should still be in the immortal temple. All this in front of us is probably the work of that senior. Upon hearing this, Lin Qingshan immediately held Old Hai in his arms, seeking that sense of security. Old Hai also told the story of the legendary horizontal strike immortal, who, tens of thousands of years ago, turned the upper realm upside down, an extremely extraordinary existence. I'm afraid the senior in front of us is that person. As long as we have the senior, we no longer need to fear the immortals. At that time, my nine sword sect. Before finishing the sentence, Lin Qingshan, in excitement, grabbed Old Hai's beard. But, but, isn't this horizontal strike immortal really going to help us? And Old Hai, being pulled and feeling pain, yelled, let go, you idiot. Look at the relationship between the senior and Lin Bao. As long as we don't hold him back, will he ignore us? In an instant, Lin Qingshan suddenly realized, whispered, now that the skeleton sect is without a leader, we might as well offer ourselves to the senior, and cling to his thigh. Old Hai also agreed, saying, I've been in this martial world for so many years, this is definitely a rare opportunity. If we don't seize it now, we may never get the chance to cling to a thigh. Lin Qingshan bowed to me, seeing this, 
I also stopped pinching Little Ban's face, and Lin Qingshan also bowed and said, Sorry for the disturbance. We should leave now. We have offended many before. Please forgive us, Senior. We will also trouble Senior in the future. Seeing their sincere attitude, I smiled and said, It's alright, it's alright. You guys should come often in the future. Then I remembered one more thing. If that immortal causes trouble for you, please make sure to have him come to me. Hearing my concern for them, Lin Qingshan's heart warmed. Senior is indeed a good person. He is willing to go against the immortals for us. And in my mind, I also thought, a powerhouse at that level must have a lot of domain value. And then Lin Qingshan said, Senior, rest assured, my Nine Swords sect will never hold you back. Please wait for our news, Senior. After saying that, he turned his head and said to Lin Bao, Lin Bao, you must listen to Senior's words carefully. Even if something happens, it will be a great opportunity for you. Seeing this scene, I was even more confused. The sudden change was too big. At this moment, Little Ban beside me suddenly fainted. I grabbed Little Ban and shook her, trying to wake her up. After several attempts, Little Ban's body suddenly emitted light, followed by a shrinking of her figure. Once again, she became the size of a palm. This shocked me to the core. Facing the suddenly diminished Little Ban, I panicked and brought her to the side of the fox demon girl. After all, she has lived for hundreds of years and knows much more than me, a big shot who only knows how to show off. After a thorough examination by the fox demon girl, she also suddenly realized, and said to me, Master, don't worry, she has embarked on the path of the demon now. Seeing my puzzled look, she continued, initially, the transformation from a plant form to a spirit does not count as demon. To become a true demon, she needs to absorb the essence of the sun and moon to embark on the demon path. When I first embarked on the demon path, it took me several years and I was hailed as a genius in the Celestial Fox Ancient Clan. But Little Ban only took one day. Her talent is probably already surpassing the ninth rank. She possesses the qualifications of an unparalleled genius. But now, Little Ban can't maintain her form. She has just stepped onto the demon path. It's not due to a lack of cultivation techniques, which leads to the inability to control her spiritual energy. If there is a suitable cultivation technique, Little Ban can control her spiritual energy, and her body won't suddenly shrink. There will also be new changes in her appearance. Hearing this, my mind couldn't help but imagine that scene. A golden-haired, blue-eyed little lowly calling me daddy, and transmitting a healing smile to me every day. The more I thought about it, the more excited I became. My old face couldn't help but turn red. This is just too amazing. Then I turned to the fox demon girl and said, Aren't you the demon king? Your cultivation technique is very suitable for her. You are the subordinate I trust the most. I'll leave the task of imparting the cultivation technique to you. Upon hearing that I trust her the most, the fox demon girl blushed instantly. In her mind, she kept imagining things. That I, such a powerful person, could have personally taught her. But now, she was entrusted with such an important task. After a while of imagining, the fox demon girl said, I will pass the test. I'll take Little Ban back to our clan. I will make sure she has her own cultivation technique. I won't let you down, master. By then, Little Ban might even become your capable assistant. In her heart, she couldn't help but think, the clan will surely be overjoyed as well. I have brought such a great support to the family. Although I don't know how much the fox demon girl has imagined in her mind, as long as she can make Little Ban become what I imagine, it's fine. And I said solemnly, I entrust my future happiness to you. Watching the fox demon girl's figure disappear into the distance, I bid farewell with tears, go quickly and come back quickly. I'll be waiting here for your good news. Seeing them disappear into the sky, the scene suddenly became desolate. It feels strange without the girls. Bull deeply agreed with this as well. But then Bull immediately gave me a seductive look. Master, aren't I still here, old Bull? I was taken aback by Bull's sudden attack and was immediately knocked down. Bull saw my resistance, and excitedly said, I know many fun tricks. Under Bull's strong attack, my desperate cries echoed, you better stop, or I'll stew you in a hot pot. Lin Bao, who was watching the scene, also showed indescribable expressions. A few days later, I saw a giant python with its blood-filled mouth wide open, biting towards my head. After one bite, my figure also turned into holy light and dissipated, and I was infuriated in the courtyard. My clones were killed by that snake twice. Damn it. One day I will personally peel off its skin. Immediately, I instructed Lin Bao, Today, as your master, I want to eat snake soup. Lin Bao immediately responded and quickly caught one for me. As for my clones, they are the illusory figures in the gift package of salted fish. The more domain value, the more powerful the clones. Controlling the clones is like wearing VR glasses to watch a movie. Killing the clones won't affect my true self. And now, with all my assets combined, I can only exchange for a nascent Soul Realm clone. I'm so poor. When will those immortals come? Even the landlord's house has run out of food. 
Just as Lin Bao was preparing to make a feast of snake soup for me, suddenly, she became alert and looked behind her, and I also sensed it. It seemed like a super large experience pack had entered my domain. I was originally worried about not having enough domain value, but unexpectedly, it came to me. But the next moment, a crisp knocking sound suddenly echoed. Is anyone there, please? Upon hearing this polite greeting, both Lin Bao and I were stunned. Do the great demons these days have such manners? As the words fell, a pair of delicate jade legs came into view, and a beautiful fairy-like woman stood hesitantly at the door. Is Chin Chan on here, please? Looking at the stunning beauty in front of me, my blood couldn't help but surge. Is this how beautiful women come knocking on the door? Although Lin Bao is also a girl, she couldn't help but be attracted by her appearance. She's so beautiful. Love her, love her. And at this moment, the first thing to do is, of course, to leave a good impression on this beauty. I instantly changed my appearance. Even the background wall turned into a lovely pink. I am nine and you are three. Hello, I am Chin Chanan. But the beautiful woman in front of me apparently wasn't captivated by my handsome entrance. And instead, she softly said, Senior. I am by you from the heavenly demon ancient fox clan. Under the request of the red clothed sister, there is something I need to inform senior. Upon hearing the words fox demon girl, I suddenly had a bad premonition. Then, by you directly said, the red clothed sister has been imprisoned. Upon hearing this, my face couldn't help but darken. As for the nine sword sect, it's in chaos, with corpses strewn all over the place. Lin Hai on that day looked at the sky in despair. It's over, it's all over. If there was only one immortal coming to the mortal realm, as the horizontal strike immortal, he could handle it alone. But now, there are twelve immortals from the higher realm and the mortal realm, and the leader is the patriarch of the skeleton sect. He had a terrifying expression, staring at Lin Hai below. Where is the holy immortal sword? Along with his questioning, an extremely terrifying pressure suddenly appeared out of thin air, pressing down on everyone from the nine sword sect. Although facing the disaster of annihilation, Lin Hai still didn't betray me in the slightest. Gritting his teeth, he said, I don't know anything. One of the twelve immortals directly approached. Old ghost, stop wasting time. Just search his soul directly. Then, Lin Hai had no resistance. He was grabbed by the long-haired man, and his soul was searched. Soul searching is an evil method. Lightly, the person being searched becomes an idiot. Heavily, they die. After a burst of light, the long-haired man learned everything he wanted to know. The sinister laughter immediately followed. Unexpectedly, in this mortal realm, there is actually the legendary horizontal strike immortal. After saying that, he casually flicked Lin Hai away. Another lackey followed suit. With lingering fear, he said, the horizontal strike immortal disappeared tens of thousands of years ago. How could there be such a terrifying existence in this mortal realm? However, the long-haired lackey didn't take it seriously. There is one in this mortal realm, and the holy immortal sword we are looking for is in his hands. The patriarch of the skeleton sect sneered disdainfully. What is there to fear? In this mortal realm, could there be anyone who can oppose us? It's just a horizontal strike immortal. Even if they encounter the twelve of us immortals, they will only meet their death. Even if there is someone, they are probably just some mountain villagers pretending to be. Let's go. It's time to take back the holy immortal sword. After reading Lin Hai's memories, the long-haired lackey learned my location. He immediately rushed to the forefront. Let's go. Let's meet that horizontal strike immortal. At the holy land of the celestial fox ancient clan, a charming and beautiful woman couldn't help but look into the distance. Such a strong celestial aura. It seems that an immortal has descended to the mortal realm. This person is the leader of the fox demon clan, Ning Shu. At this moment, a purple-haired little fox demon spoke to Ning Shu. Grandma, Red Clothed and Little Band still refuse to stay in the clan. We have intercepted them, but Red Clothed wants to see you. Then, with confusion, she asked, Grandma, why did we have to keep that demonic plant? Clearly, she has no cultivation at all. Upon hearing this, Ning Shu glanced at the little fox demon. What do you know? Although she currently has no cultivation, her talent has surpassed the ninth rank. She is an extremely abnormal existence among the demon clan, and her demon body origin is just an ordinary platycodon grandiflorus plant. Upon hearing Ning Shu's explanation, the purple-haired girl was also taken aback. How is that possible? Ning Shu continued, you see, Although she has no cultivation now, once she starts practicing, her progress will be incredibly fast. She will be able to ascend to immortality in no time, and we will have a powerful ally for the development of our clan. It is a great benefit with no harm. After listening to Ning Shu's explanation, the purple-haired girl said, I see. Ning Shu didn't waste any more words, and directly said, All right, go meet that traitor in the dungeon of the fox demon clan. Our fox demon girl is bound by iron chains to an iron pillar, while little Ban is suspended by iron chains, swinging back and forth. At this moment, footsteps could be heard coming from upstairs. The fox demon girl looked at the person in front of her, and couldn't help but blurt out, 
Grandma, Ming Shu looked at the pitiful red clothed in front of her without a trace of pity, and coldly said, Red clothed, are you still unwilling to stay in the clan? In response to the clan leader's question, the fox demon girl still refused to relent, and said, I came this time with my master's mission. If you don't want little Ban to observe our techniques, please let us leave. The small lackeys behind heard and mocked, as a talented member of the heavenly demon ancient fox lineage, to actually recognize a lowly human as their master. Humans are simply unworthy of being our masters. Don't persist in your delusion anymore. The fox demon girl could tolerate being insulted, but to insult her along with her master was too much. Her spiritual energy instantly erupted, releasing a powerful oppressive force in all directions. But such power was still insufficient in Ning Xu's eyes. With a wave of her hand, she quelled everything. The small lackeys behind her were saved as a result. Seeing the fox demon girl's refusal to show respect, Ming Xu's expression turned cold. If you persist in your delusion, don't blame me for showing no mercy. But the fox demon girl continued to speak of my legend, and then she continued to persuade Ning Xu. Please believe me, Grandma, as long as we befriend our master, the benefits it will bring to our heavenly demon ancient fox clan will be plentiful and without harm. Hearing the fox demon girl's ridiculous words, Ming Shu became even more disdainful. How can you rely on what you say about your master? Can he withstand the descent of an immortal? At most, he's just like me, at the peak of the nascent divinity stage. Now that an immortal has descended, as long as that immortal treasure is still in his hands, the immortal will eventually find him, and then he will not escape death. Ming Shu turned around without looking back and left. Warning, who knows? Perhaps you'll have to thank me later for binding you here and letting you escape calamity. The fox demon girl, unable to communicate, pondered, how to escape, on the side of the celestial temple, by you also keenly felt the power emanating from the immortal, and was filled with panic, thinking about how to escape from me, she prepared to speak to me, but she happened to see my gloomy face, and by you couldn't help but think, so the senior also sensed that pressure, which is why he looks so gloomy, as for me, how could I be concerned about those few experience packs at this moment, in a cold voice, I said, your heavenly demon ancient fox clan is truly audacious, to dare imprison even this lord's people, you're truly seeking death. Hearing this, Bayou was also stunned. Unexpectedly, in such a critical situation, the senior was still concerned about the imprisoned red cloth and little ban. Unable to bear it any longer, I pounded the ground in frustration. Bayou, go tell that so-called grandma, if red cloth and little ban are not released within three days, then just wait for death. In this day and age, do these lackeys not even regard immortals as anything? Under my pressure, Bayou also became fearful, and reluctantly agreed, while reminding me, Senior, now that an immortal has descended, shouldn't you find a place to hide? I disdainfully dismissed Bayou's reminder, is the immortal strong? This lord has been waiting for them for a long time. After all, it's not every day you come across a good opportunity to exploit. In the sky, lightning flashed and thundered incessantly, as if doomsday had arrived. The demons and monsters of the Ten Thousand Mountains all knelt on the spot, trembling uncontrollably. The small lackeys of the heavenly demon ancient fox clan also looked fearfully toward the sky. It has been thousands of years since an immortal descended to the Ten Thousand Mountains. What is the purpose of this immortal? As for Ning Shu, the demon empress, she was now fully focused and denied the words of the small lackeys. It's not just one immortal, but twelve immortals. This is something that hasn't happened in thousands of years. Ming Shu casually explained to the small lackeys. In the flying immortal mountain, there is an unknown cultivator, who took advantage of his own strength to steal an immortal treasure, causing a great calamity. This time, he's doomed. And then Ning Shu couldn't help but feel fortunate. Luckily, I made the right choice. Fortunately, the purpose of this immortal's visit is only for the immortal treasure. If I hadn't imprisoned Red Cloth and Little Ban, they would be in great danger. After that, including Ning Shu, the few lackeys, they all showed mocking smiles. Watch carefully and learn well. It's rare for an immortal to take action. Let's see how this brat can defend himself. In those twelve immortals, they have already reached the range of the immortal temple. But what surprised them was, there was actually immortal energy within this small temple. One of them even pointed to the temple and said, Look, that's immortal script, immortal energy, and a resplendent youth immortal tree that has already borne fruit. Seeing such a treasure land, everyone's faces were filled with joyous smiles, and the leading old man with long beard, Greedy said, This immortal land must be taken back to the Xuanwu immortal territory. If we have this immortal land, our cultivation will advance by leaps and bounds. Meanwhile, I was observing the incoming people outside. One, two, three, four. A total of twelve immortals. These are all domain value. Ah, it seems I'm about to become a real wealthy landowner. But Lin Bao didn't think so. She trembled uncontrollably. Twelve immortals. And our brave bull was equally afraid. But he didn't show any signs of retreat. Lin Bao couldn't hold back either. He directly took shelter in my arms. 
seeing them so cautious. I smirked, with me here, what is there to fear? Just then, a heavy object smashed onto my floor tiles. At that moment, my floor tiles fell pain for three seconds. After the dust settled, Bull looked at the things that appeared in front of him, and stammered, isn't that the old man from before? Lin Bao followed his gaze, and trembled uncontrollably, Grandpa Hai, from high above, the voices of the small lackeys also came, kid, you're the horizontal strike immortal, seeing that they were implicating innocent people, I couldn't help but grow cold, if you want the sword, come at me, what's the point of involving innocent people, when the old man heard that I dared to question him, he couldn't help but get angry, even the ants in the mortal realm dare to question us, the woman behind him chuckled and said, the nine sword sect ants that don't listen, they've already gone to meet Jesus, ha, the long haired lackey also spoke up, what's the point of talking, just kill him directly, take back the holy sword immediately, and report back to the immortal lord, soon, a fierce battle was about to begin, suddenly, a golden light burst forth from my territory, directly attacking the twelve lackeys, but the leading man casually blocked it, sending the golden strike flying, the golden haired woman among the lackeys shouted sternly, you're quite audacious, and the person who unleashed the strike, was naturally Lin Bao, who possessed the immortal sword, the golden haired woman instantly recognized, that the holy immortal sword was in Lin Bao's hands, seeing that the holy immortal sword was actually being wielded by a mere golden core realm cultivator, the leading old man was furious, the immortal lord's sword, how dare a lowly ant like you use it, you're seeking death, then the old man, transformed into a huge skeleton, and unleashed a deadly strike at Lin Bao, under this immense pressure, Lin Bao was so scared that he couldn't move, seeing the situation, I knew it was time to show off, I suddenly leaped out and stood in front of Lin Bao, my palm became a blade, slashing at the huge skeleton, in an instant, golden light flashed, and the huge skeleton was directly chopped down, indeed, when it comes to showing off, it must be me, then I spoke arrogantly to the group of lackeys, you dare touch my disciple, but these twelve lackeys didn't take it seriously at all, they mocked one after another, old man, old ghost, you've become weaker, can't even kill a mortal ant, just then, the old ghost snorted, I only used one tenth of my power just now, although he said this to save face, he still realized rationally, that if this kid could withstand my attack, he must have some hidden card, let's not underestimate him, but the long haired man beside him didn't pay attention at all, still smugly said, there are more of us, crushing him will be easy, suddenly, the sound of a sword falling to the ground, and Lin Bao behind me wailed in grief, master, my father is gone, the nine sword sect is gone too, these cries of sadness, deep to the bone, struck my heart, I turned around and gently wiped away Lin Bao's tears, disciple, don't cry, your master will always protect you by your side, after everything was done, I picked up the immortal sword from the ground, under my blessing, the power of the holy immortal sword, increased by an unknown amount, so, I looked up towards the sky, Lin Bao watched closely, today, as your master, I will avenge you, seeing my serious expression, the twelve lackeys in the air laughed incessantly, as if they heard the most amusing joke in the world, kid, who gave you the courage to speak such words to me, to kill me, ha, ha with just a spit, I can kill you, one of the sweet women even said, the immortal lord is getting impatient, better retrieve the holy immortal sword soon, as for this kid, I'll reclaim the immortal sword and kill him, the other lackeys expressed their agreement, and chanted together to retrieve the holy immortal sword, after a minute, these twelve lackeys, looked down in confusion, it seemed like nothing had happened, the lackeys who realized what was going on, opened their mouths in astonishment, why is the holy immortal sword not responding, this is the incantation personally taught by the immortal lord, it should work as long as the distance is close enough, how could the immortal sword not respond, is it because the distance is not close enough, so, these twelve individuals flew into my domain range, and then, the woman who didn't believe it tried again, but the result was still no response, after being slapped in the face several times, these people seem to have realized the reality, could it be that this kid, has used some unspeakable means to control the immortal sword, and I, looking at the immortal sword in my hand, reasonably said, if you want to go back, I won't stop you, the immortal sword trembled frantically, seemingly afraid that I would abandon it at any moment, the lackeys in the air saw this and exploded in anger, let me go, you damn dog, the girl next to them stopped them, this person is very strange, let me probe first, then, with a series of movements, countless thunder tribulations appear out of thin air, the girl proudly said, the heavenly thunder is a law of the mortal world, the trash of the mortal world cannot resist the heavenly path in the end, 
let me use this move to annihilate him, retrieve the immortal sword. After the girl cast her spell, the thunder tribulations of the heavenly path converged. Accompanied by an unparalleled aura of destruction, they officially made their appearance, the newly appointed heavenly path. At this moment, still unaware of the despair it would face, was happy to be summoned. With the girl's movements, the thunder tribulation struck towards my direction, and the thunder tribulation itself cheered and soared. I love striking people the most. Let me see, who's the unlucky one this time? Just as the thunder tribulation was about to strike me, it suddenly recognized my figure. The fear from that day rushed back into my heart. The thunder tribulation unexpectedly stopped in midair. Damn it, why is it him again? Immediately, it turned around and rushed back in the direction it came from. Today, whoever loves to strike will strike. I won't strike anymore. Goodbye, idiot. The long-haired girl was also dumbfounded. Why is the heavenly path cursing now? Seeing the embarrassed look of the little girl, I couldn't help but laugh. Is this it? I can't believe it. Little girl, are you socially awkward even as an immortal? You guys seem so powerful, but in reality, you're just so small. Hearing my mockery, the twelve immortals in the air were infuriated, eyes filled with rage as if they had never experienced such humiliation, in their thousands or tens of thousands of years of existence. Immediately, these twelve lackeys moved in an instant, filled with boundless killing intent, it came rushing towards me, seeing the twelve immortals rushing to their own deaths. I couldn't help but laugh. Oh, not bad, it's a 12p after all. Then I swung my great sword, and swept it towards them, not forgetting to kindly remind them, my sword is big, you'll have to endure a bit. Seeing my impending strike, the long-haired man was the first to react, shouting loudly, this person is not ordinary, quick, run. Hearing this, the twelve immortals who had just been proud and arrogant, scattered and fled in all directions. There was no trace of their immortal appearance anymore. The small lackeys who narrowly escaped expressed their lingering fear. Thank goodness we managed to avoid that sword. Otherwise, before they could finish their sentence, they were interrupted by a girl beside them, pointing in my direction, she said. Look, everyone, the gazes of the crowd, turned towards the direction the girl was pointing, only to see a huge rift tearing through the heavens and earth. At the spot where I had struck just moments ago, the trembling girl continued, even as beings of the upper realm, immortals, we cannot create a spatial rift that tears through the heavens and earth, but this boy before us has done it. The man with long hair twitched his mouth, stuttering, he said, how is that possible? The leader himself is well aware of the power of that strike, sweating profusely in fear. This can only be accomplished by someone who has surpassed the laws of the Nine Provinces continent, and this boy did it with just one strike. The other immortals also lost their composure, panicking like children, while the green-haired chubby guy noticed my actions, shouting loudly, as the one who caused the rift, I curiously reached my hand into it, splitting open such a huge hole, what if I can't repair it, will I have to pay for it, but my actions caused even more cold sweat to run down the immortals faces, what is this guy doing, that's the power of space destruction that even the lord himself fears, is he touching it so directly, isn't he seeking death, the man with long hair couldn't help but curse, is this the point, isn't the point that this guy is completely unaffected, after a while, the enormous rift unexpectedly started closing up little by little, seeing this, I felt a bit disappointed. I had planned to exploit the space I destroyed, and extort a reward from the system, but somehow, I faintly heard a sigh from the system. After the space had completely healed, I looked towards the twelve domain values. Sensing something, these twelve individuals also showed signs of retreat, but how could I let them succeed? With an excited expression, I said to them, are you prepared to be crushed by me? In the end, fear overcame their rationality, and these twelve individuals gathered their courage once again shouting slogans together, encouraging each other as they continued to charge towards me. Seeing the twelve individuals rushing towards me, I couldn't help but laugh softly, calling out, stop, as soon as the words fell. These twelve immortals froze in place, all their momentum came to a halt. On each of their faces, there was an unquestionable expression, but the man with long hair and the leader had some understanding, trembling, they said, laws, this is the power of laws, we're done for now, as for me, I didn't feel much, after all, they were the domain values I had obtained, instead, I reached out and patted Lin Bao's head, good disciple, watch closely, see how I kill the enemies who killed your father and high grandfather, feeling the danger of death, these twelve individuals also lost their composure, daring to talk tough even at the brink of death, threatening me, but their threats, sounded more like they were continuously providing me with domain values, hearing this, I couldn't help but burst into laughter, that's great, hurry up and let your so-called immortal lord or immortal king, come and find me, if he dares to come, I'll send all of you to meet under the nine springs, seeing my fearless and mocking expression, these twelve immortals completely lost their composure, regretful tears seemed ready to burst forth, but I don't have any fondness for these old things, I said immediately, 
Even the heavenly Tao of the lower realm is a coward. He doesn't dare to deal with you. I'll take care of it. I will be the one to bring justice to the innocent people killed by the Nine Swords sect in this world. And each of the twelve immortals was engulfed in flames, burning together with the evil they committed. Bull and Chiu Chiantu, who were beside me, were also speechless with astonishment, looking at the flames illuminating the sky. I turned to Lin Bao and said, Watch carefully, work hard to cultivate and become stronger. Don't disappoint the expectations of your father and the others. At this moment, it seemed like she had grown up a lot, without tears, without noise just quietly nodding. The heavenly demon ancient fox sect watched this live broadcast from a distance. The mocking voices disappeared without a trace. Ning Shu, the demon emperor, trembled uncontrollably when he saw the flames in the image before her. Even from a hundred thousand miles away, she could feel the scorching heat of the flames. She said, the flames that can burn immortals, are no ordinary flames. They are celestial flames, divine flames. Also until this moment, she realized how wrong her decision was. After my manipulation with the divine fire, those immortals, one by one, were refined into medicinal pills by me, achieving maximum resource utilization. Even immortalization as pills is a fitting end for them. Otherwise, their deaths would be too wasteful. But I quickly noticed something was amiss. With just a glance from me, Ming Shu, the demon emperor's spying technique instantly shattered, along with their hearts, shattered to the bottom of the valley. Ming Shu couldn't stop trembling as she said. One sword repelled the immortal, one scolding dismissed the immortal. With just a thought, he slaughtered twelve immortals. Is this the master that the red-robed person mentioned? The immortals all died by his hands. Then what is my cultivation in the transcendence realm worth? Ming Shu, becoming more and more fearful, suddenly thought, I actually imprison the red-robed person and little Ban as well. This act of great defiance is no different from seeking death. Now it's completely over. Bayu also returned at this moment, and she said to Ning Shu, Grandmother, the senior requests her to send back the red-robed person and little Ban to flying immortal mountain within three days. The already half-dead Ning Shu panically said, Send, send, apart from sending them back, today we also need to apologize to the senior. I hope the senior will be generous and not casually annihilate our heavenly demon ancient fox clan. After retrieving the immortal pills, I looked puzzledly at the sky. I always feel like I've been spied on lately. Have there been more little fans? At this moment, Ball, the loyal follower, came rushing towards me. All twelve immortals are actually dead. Master is simply incredibly strong. Bull, with shining eyes, exclaimed on the side, directly refining the immortals into immortal pills. This is too awesome, the eternal god of the young master. But I didn't care about their bragging towards me. I was too excited, holding the immortal pills in my arms. From now on, just call me the rich tycoon. But soon I realized, what about my domain value? Why is there no prompt this time? Where did my domain value go? System, come out. Did you secretly take my domain value for yourself? The system, startled by my sudden outburst, quickly came out to explain, domain value is being acquired. Due to the large value, it cannot be loaded immediately. Please wait, host. Seeing the system's explanation, I couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Thank goodness. I thought for a moment that this darn thing had the intention of embezzling my domain value and had made off with the money. After everything was resolved, Lin Bao threw himself into my arms, pretending to remain calm, but unable to hold on any longer at this moment. Tears streamed down her face, and she choked out. Thank you, master. Seeing Lin Bao crying in my arms, my sense of guilt intensified. After all, everything was because of me, and I had decided to confess everything. Then I said to Lin Bao, Lin Bao, actually, I have been hiding something, but I'm not sure of the outcome yet, so I don't know if I should tell you. You should rest for now. Later, I'll have Bull take you back to the Nine Sword sect to see. Bull, after witnessing my power to instantly slay an immortal, couldn't help but become even more respectful. He no longer dared to tarnish my innocence by force, and considerately brewed tea for me using water from the year 1982. Just as I was about to savor the tea from 1982, knocking sounds came from outside the door, and two perfectly proportioned beauties walked in. It was Ning Shu, accompanied by Bayou, who came to apologize. After some explanations, Ning Shu couldn't help but think, I am the master of the red robe, and with the red robe present, they should spare us for the sake of the red robe's reputation. Besides, I am merely imprisoning them, without any intention to harm them. Moreover, we have immortals in our realm as well, so it shouldn't come to a complete disaster for us. However, at this moment, it was my personal display of arrogance. I frowned, and fiercely shouted. 
take a seat. In an instant, my domineering aura radiated from my entire body, and Ning Shu couldn't withstand this pressure. She fell to her knees with a thud, feeling the overwhelming power of my dominance. Ming Shu was dumbfounded. Is this the power capable of slaying immortals? Merely a slight pressure is enough to suppress my nascent divinity. If the senior wanted to kill me, a mere breath would suffice. But my show of arrogance didn't stop there. I coldly said, Ming Shu, you are the ruler with the greatest authority within a hundred thousand mountains, and you have earned the love and respect of countless fellow clansmen along the way. You are extremely protective of your people. So, you're quite brave, huh? Upon hearing this, Ming Shu hurriedly said, I'm willing to apologize with my life. Please spare my clansmen from any harm, senior. By you, in a nervous tone, exclaimed, No, please don't, grandma, you can't die. Immediately, by you knelt down in front of me, senior. I beg you, spare my grandmother, if you don't mind, Bayou is willing to do anything for you. Upon hearing this, I couldn't help but feel a bit moved. Then, Bayou turned to Ning Shu and said, Bayou has made up her mind. Moreover, it would be an honor for Bayou to die by seniors' hands. Seeing their sympathetic expressions, I suddenly realized the value of having more friends and fewer enemies. So, I stood up and looked at Bayou. If I spare your grandmother and the heavenly demon ancient fox clan, can I do anything to you? Bayou nodded affirmatively, and then, with a smirk on my face, I walked around Bayou from behind. Let me see your sincerity then. While Bayou was still puzzled, I raised my hand and struck her buttocks hard with a stick, causing Bayou to cry out in pain. With the first strike as a starting point, a series of consecutive strikes followed, accompanied by Bayou's uncontrollable screams. After a round of beating, Bayou reached an unprecedented peak of pain, and her expression gradually became twisted, as if she was immersed in it. Ning Shu, witnessing her clansmen enduring such humiliation right before her eyes, felt a piercing pain in her chest. Ming Shu once again began to speculate about my intentions. This person never cared about our background from the beginning. In his eyes, we are nothing more than a group of insignificant clowns. Observing my sinister appearance, Ming Shu finally realized that he never intended to kill us from the start, but rather slowly trampled upon our dignity. Those twelve immortals will be our fate. This person is truly a demon. Although I don't know what Ning Shu is thinking, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself now. Spanking a girl's buttocks. It's something I've never dared to imagine, but at least I helped her clear her meridians for free. Bayou, you've gained something, I said. When Bayou saw me stop, she couldn't help but say, You can strike harder. I can take it. Just as I was about to continue, Ming Shu rushed forward, blocking Bayou in front of her, and shouted, Senior, if there's any problem, come at me. Please don't harm Bayou anymore. I can endure it too. I simply threw the stick aside and said, All right, forget it. For the sake of the red robe, I'll let you off this time. Upon hearing my forgiveness, the two of them felt relieved and moved, apologizing to me in a charming and seductive manner. After enjoying this sight, I was in a great mood and took out a resplendent immortal fruit. The techniques in your group, Red Robe and Little Band didn't watch in vain. Consider this resplendent immortal fruit as a reward for you. Meanwhile, Bayou was still immersed in my training, blushing and remaining silent for a long time. Seeing the appearance of the two demons, I couldn't help but feel delighted. The ancestors were right, a slap followed by a sweet reward. My methods of taming demons are top notch. Later, Ming Shu took the opportunity to cozy up to me, clinging to my thigh. I casually responded to her and sent her away. After she left, Ming Shu expressed concern about Bayou's injuries. To her surprise, Bayou blushed and said, After being whipped by Senior, my meridians feel much clearer. I wonder if Senior will punish me again next time. I'm actually looking forward to it. Ming Shu was dumbfounded upon hearing the news. Could this child have been driven insane by the beating? I need to hurry back and find a clan doctor to check on her. All this pretending has exhausted me. Turns out, showing off isn't an easy task, but at least I've gained an assistant, and the domain value I've been eagerly waiting for has finally been credited at this moment. A total of 240,000 domain value. Damn it. I just got rich instantly. After receiving the full 240,000 domain value, my mind began to calculate how to spend it. Damn, this is like taking off directly. If I use it all to expand my invincible domain, that would be 2,400 meters. Just the thought of it is thrilling. Without hesitation, I raised my hand to let the system upgrade for me. But suddenly, I remembered that the system mentioned the possibility of upgrading to 4.0. The system promptly appeared and informed me that upgrading to 4.0 requires an additional condition. Expand the invincible domain to cover the entire flying immortal mountain within a month, and obtaining the title of Master of 4.0.
flying immortal mountain. If I fail, the conditions will be reissued. Seeing this outrageous condition, I couldn't help but feel speechless. To upgrade to 4.0, I have to become the master of flying immortal mountain first. This system is such a scam. I thought I was already on my way to prosperity, but now all my domain value is gone and I can only cover one third of the flying immortal mountain. Is this system playing with me? The further I go, the more absurd it gets. Ha, huh, completely dehumanizing, isn't it? The more I think about it, the angrier I become. So, without holding back, I directly struck a classic mocking pose. Don't think I have no temper, system. I won't upgrade to this version anymore. Little did I know, the system, seeing that I wasn't falling for it, took the initiative to seduce me. After obtaining the title of Master of Flying Immortal Mountain, you will have a chance to unlock the mythical realm. Oh, seemingly afraid that I wouldn't understand, the system continued to explain that within the realm, there will also appear the techniques and divine weapons of legendary mythological figures. I immediately gave in, embracing my beloved system tightly. Oh, my lovely treasure, isn't it just the entire flying immortal mountain? For me, it's nothing. First, I'll use 190,000 to expand the system by thousands of meters. Without wasting any time, daddy will get to work, in the range of my invincible domain, successfully expanded to 2,023 meters, with 50,050 domain value remaining. In the moment of depleting my domain value, my body felt as if it had been emptied, and I weakly slumped on the sofa. It's like going back to the pre-liberation era. Domain value is simply not enough to spend. I wonder how things are going on the Nine Sword sect side. The things I gave them should be useful, right? The scene shifts to the Nine Sword sect. Bull has already returned to the sect with Lin Bao. As Lin Bao looks at the bodies scattered on the ground, she rushes forward, shouting the names of her senior brothers. Before long, among the debris, Lin Bao sees a familiar figure. Father, Lin Bao's emotions instantly explode. But at that moment, the familiar voice comes from behind again. Lin Bao, don't cry, father is here. As if to prove that he heard an illusion, Lin Bao immediately turns around to look. But standing in front of her, are familiar faces. Everyone from the sect is safe and sound. Lin Qingshan even says with a smile, the senior's strength is indeed terrifying, single-handedly annihilating the twelve immortals. Lin Bao couldn't believe what he was hearing, if all of you are fine, before she could finish her sentence. The scene behind her also turns into golden light and slowly dissipates. Lin Qingshan explains that it was fake, an illusion created by a symbol given to him by the senior. We were able to survive from the hands of the immortals, thanks to the senior's guidance. Afterward, Lin Qingshan tells Lin Bao about the memories of that day. After the senior called me over that day, I asked if there were any further instructions. Then the senior looked at me directly and said, I'm thinking about how to make you all die. After a brief moment of shock, I asked the senior directly, Is it because you blame us? for standing up and taking the lead for you, the senior waved his hand and told me the real reason. I saw the senior saying calmly, the first battle with the immortals might be against the Nine Sword sect. The chances of you all being wiped out are very high. If they come directly to me, it's fine, but just in case, we need to take two measures in advance. The senior continued, either the Nine Sword sect, with all its members, moves to where the senior is and be protected by the senior, abandoning the sect's heritage, prioritizing saving everyone's lives and finding an opportunity to rise again in the future. Then the senior took out a piece of paper from his pocket, and introduced it to us as an illusion formation symbol, which can be used to create a false scene of death, to deceive the immortals. But the senior still advised us to choose the first option, because the senior was also concerned about the instability of the second option. But I directly declined the senior's kindness, as I couldn't abandon the sect to save our lives. Moreover, a great war with the skeleton sect will break out soon. Seeing this, the senior didn't insist on my decision, instead handed me the precious symbol in his hand, and earnestly instructed me that because of Lin Bao's relationship, I also have the responsibility to protect them. When saying goodbye, the senior said, if we safely overcome this disaster, we should light fireworks to let the senior know that we're safe. After listening to Lin Qingshan's account, Lin Bao bursts into tears. Master is truly wonderful. I love him so much. Lin Qingshan also didn't refute Lin Bao's affection as before, but continued to talk about the senior's righteousness. From the beginning, he was prepared to face the immortals alone, and gave us symbols to preserve our lives. In the cultivation world, it's a struggle for survival. Being able to know someone as compassionate and righteous as the senior, is our honor. Now I even doubt, if everything is under the senior's control. Otherwise, how could the calculations be so precise? 
but after this, both the upper realm and the lower realm won't be peaceful. Then, Lin Bao notices the Yuan Shen in Lin Qingshan's hand. This is Grandfather Hai. How could Grandfather Hai end up like this? Lin Qingshan expresses some regret and says, Your Grandfather Hai was afraid of being exposed by the immortals, so he took a chance to interact with them. But he didn't expect. Suddenly, Lin Qingshan's whole body gets agitated, his eyes wide open, and he quickly takes out a bamboo tube from his pocket, frantically saying, I forgot to inform the senior. I must quickly let the senior know that we're safe. From then on, a huge light and shadow, with my handsome image, appears in the distant mountains, illuminating everything around it. Seeing my handsome and imposing portrait, I can't help but breathe a sigh of relief. The people from the Nine Sword sect are still alive. Then I start to play around with my system, Daddy, which has developed three functions for the Immortal Dao True Resolution. The first one is to hide the aura of the eternal life body. The second one is to conceal one's appearance. But after some clever thinking, I guess it should have an illusion function, considering that it might be similar to all living beings. I try to condense it into a symbol. I'm just not sure if its functions can still be used. After bringing it into the invincible domain, but the fact proves that I made the right bet. The immortal Dao True Resolution can be attached to objects and used, not only in the invincible domain. Next, I'll test its other functions. Meanwhile, in the upper realm, the Shuangwu Assembly is taking place. A group of beautiful ladies is gracefully dancing in the center of the dance floor. Meanwhile, the immortal lord whose immortal sword I took is drinking alone, feeling depressed. At this moment, his friend comes over and asks, Why are you sitting alone in the corner, drinking sadly? Tell your brother what's bothering you, and your brother will help you. The holy martial immortal lord raises his bowl of wine, takes a hearty gulp, and tells the story of the lost immortal sword and the immortals he sent to retrieve it only to be completely annihilated by me. Not mentioning it would have been better. Bringing up his own heartache has made him feel worse, seeing his friend's furious appearance. The cold bright immortal lord quickly promises, isn't it just an insignificant ant? I'll take care of it for you. I happen to have a horizontal strike immortal under my command, whose strength is not suppressed by the nine continents. I'll handle this matter. Within three days, I'll bring you that guy's head. Upon hearing his friend's assistance, the holy martial immortal lord can't help but smile and say, Today, I must drink to my heart's content. Meanwhile, amidst the crowd's excitement, an immortal fairy with an arrogant demeanor makes her formal appearance. Her expression is beautiful, a rare beauty in the upper realm. However, the immortal woman complains. It's so noisy here. I came to borrow a resplendent youth immortal tree. The resplendent youth immortal tree I planted has also reached maturity and has become a unique scenery in my courtyard. As for me, I'm enjoying a massage from Lin Bao inside the house. This is the true unfolding of a wonderful life. Under my guidance, Lin Bao's massage techniques have become more and more proficient. Having a beautiful female disciple is truly enjoyable. Then I ask Lin Bao, where did Bull go? I still wanted to taste the tea from 82. Lin Bao explains, he went to catch the dragon fire turkey king. He said you've been tired recently and need some nourishment. On the side, Chiu Chen Tu, seeing Lin Bao giving me a back and shoulder massage, feels full of envy and says with a hint of grievance, Senior, I'm actually good at giving massages too, but how could I pay any attention to him? How can an old man's massage be as comfortable as a young girl's massage? Outside the courtyard, Bayou has been ordered to escort the girl in red back, but upon seeing the temple, the girl in red looks worried and says, Not only did I fail to complete the master's mission during this trip, I also troubled the master to intervene. I'm afraid I'll face punishment later. Bayou, it's better for you to leave early. Upon hearing about punishment, Bayou's face immediately turns red and nervously asks the girl in red, Will there really be punishment? Hearing Bayou's hopeful voice, the girl in red becomes puzzled and freezes in confusion. Seeing the bewildered look on the girl in red's face, Bayou quickly explains, How could I bear to see my good sister being punished? I'll go with you. Upon hearing Bayou's kind intention, the girl in red's heart warms up even more. You really are my good sister. If it weren't for our deep bond, I would have been worried about you having improper thoughts about the master. Bayou, blushing at the girl in red's words, denies. How could that be? Just as the two arrived outside my house, they heard indescribable sounds coming from me and Lin Bao. The girl in red couldn't calm down after hearing it and barged in directly, wanting to prove that she had misheard something. However, the scene that met her eyes was just a normal daily massage. Seeing the fox demon girl returning, I happily greeted her. It seems that I really like mature girls. At this point, the girl in red also realized her recklessness and quickly changed the subject, kneeling down and begging for punishment. As soon as Bayou heard the word punishment, she rushed to the girl in red and with a delighted expression, looked at me and said, Senior, if there's any punishment, let it be me. Let me take the punishment for the girl in red. Seeing these two competing to be punished, I couldn't help but say speechlessly, the world has changed. 
there are even people competing to be punished. This time, I won't punish anyone. Upon hearing that I won't punish her, the girl in red's sweet smile returns to her face. However, Bayou's reaction is completely opposite, as if the entire demon realm has lost millions. Seeing Bayou's expression, I come to the conclusion that I must take good care of such a soft and cute girl. I should never punish Bayou in the future. Then I took out an immoral pill and handed it to the girl in red. Here's the pill for you. I'll do something nice for you another day. Seeing the immoral pill in her hand, the girl in red also excitedly accepted it. As for Bayou, she was still thinking about the punishment she had been longing for. She felt even more aggrieved and thought, what should I do to experience that strange pleasure again? After sending them away, I began to consider how to spend the remaining 50,000 domain values. Since I had some free time, I decided to create a clone to play around with in the courtyard. Suddenly, I remembered that an Immortal Realm clone only costs 30,000 domain values, which would allow me to freely roam the Mortal Realm. Just thinking about it made me thrilled. That's it. The system appeared and, with a hefty cost of 30,000 domain values, created an Immortal Realm clone for me. When I saw the powerful clone in front of me, I couldn't wait to try it out. However, as soon as I connected with the clone, I couldn't adapt and immediately fainted. The dizziness from the overlapping images was unbearable. It would be better to switch to the clone's perspective. Once the clone took over, I closed my eyes and focused on operating it. As the clone activated, I instantly felt the unique power of a cultivator. It was incredibly strong. I felt like I could punch through three mountains with a single blow. However, I realized that my current strength was only based on cultivation and lacked the cool skills that others possessed. This wouldn't do. I had finally experienced this power, so I needed to show off a bit. After some contemplation, I started playing around with the system. I decided to learn one or two techniques. Even if the clone died, my main body could still gain domain value. The only downside was that I didn't have any cultivation techniques on hand. Suddenly, I came across a function that I had previously overlooked, the mortal Tao's true meaning. Its words and actions embody the truths of the great Tao. Now that I have it, I can combine the cultivation techniques I saw in TV dramas and novels from my past life with the true meaning of a mortal Tao. Since the clone is a product of the system, it should be able to use the system's functions as well. I don't care anymore. Let me try the one young finger, a technique that everyone in the 21st century knows. Once I calm down, I fiercely perform that terrifying move in front of me. With a loud bang, the one young finger blasts through the outer wall. It actually worked. The loud noise grabs the attention of the others. Seeing my successful execution of the technique, I happily shout, the system is awesome. It was my narrow-mindedness. Now, let me broaden my horizons. I can start by teaching the techniques to Lin Bao, and my techniques are the first of their kind on the continent. Then, I can use this opportunity to lead people into the invincible realm. He. So, I shout, Lin Bao, I've just comprehended numerous secret manuals for techniques, like the dragon subduing palm and the nine in white bone claw. Lin Bao excitedly cries out, I want to learn, I want to learn. Seeing her eagerness to learn everything at once, I appropriately reprimand her. Greed leads to inefficiency. This will be your first lesson. Let me teach you a sword technique. Listen carefully. The lone solitary sword and the heart technique of sword extermination. As I explain the technique, golden silhouettes of tiny people continuously materialize around Lin Bao. This scene surprises me as well. I didn't expect the true meaning of a moral Tao to have a projection function. It's amazing. Looking at Lin Bao resonating with my explanation of the techniques. I realize she truly is my disciple. I need to continue my own learning. I can't let my disciple surpass me. Red Clothed and the others, witnessing me teaching Lin Bao the techniques, are extremely envious on the side. It's great to be the young master's disciple. Meanwhile, in the upper realm, the immortal woman is inquiring about the resplendent immortal tree. She turns to a lackey and says, soon, it will be the maturity period for the immortal fruits. I'll exchange five top grade immortal stones for one resplendent immortal fruit. Are you willing? The lackey looks at Yuchan Immortalsi with a lewd expression and replies, I don't have any resplendent immortal fruits, but I know where the resplendent immortal tree is. The things you want are in the mortal realm. The saintly martial immortal, some time ago, used my immortal mirror to find someone who is also the owner of the resplendent immortal tree. Upon hearing the whereabouts of the tree, Yu Chan's face lights up with joy. In the following days, Lin Bao diligently practices my original lone solitary sword technique. Her strength and realm are rapidly increasing until she reaches the ninth level of the Golden Core Realm. But as my top disciple, how could she possibly stop there? Before long, the aura of thunder tribulation gathers in the sky. Seeing the thunder tribulation that I haven't seen in a long time, 
I gaze over with some nostalgia. As I gaze at the Heavenly Tao, the Heavenly Tao also gazes at me. The only difference is that the Heavenly Tao is completely dumbfounded, unleashing a burst of angry cursing. Why is it this pair of wretched lovers again? Then the Heavenly Tao starts to act indifferently, muttering to itself, anyway, I can't defeat them, just go through the motions and strike randomly, to the point where Lin Bao strikes a handsome pose preparing to face the thunder tribulation. It seems as if nothing has happened, but she successfully advanced to the nascent soul realm. Immediately after, System Dad prompts, the host's disciple has broken through the nascent soul realm, rewarding 10,000 domain value. Upon hearing this excessively exaggerated amount of domain value, I question the system, 10,000 points? Are you bugged? Killing an immortal only gives me 20,000 points, but she successfully advanced to the nascent soul realm. In response to my inquiry, System Dad prepares an answer and adds, after the host reaches 3.0, each upgrade increases the realm by 100 times. After reaching 4.0, it increases by an additional 150 times. Upon hearing this explanation, I become even more angry and question the system. Why didn't you say it earlier? As for my question, the system simply shifts the blame onto me for not asking. Faced with such a cunning and clever system dad, I am completely defeated. However, upon further thought, it's actually good news. I was worried about how to obtain so many domain values in a month, but now it seems that directly accepting disciples and helping them achieve breakthroughs in a short time is more beneficial. As a result, my gaze falls upon Bayou, who is standing beside me. It wouldn't be a bad idea to accept Bayou as well. Sensing my aggressive gaze, Bayou blushes uncontrollably and asks, Senior, are you seeing through my inner thoughts and planning to take action against me? Just as I am about to speak those embarrassing words, System Dad suddenly appears and stops me. Host, host, after updating the system, as long as a breakthrough occurs within the invincible domain, whether it's the host's disciple or not, the host will receive domain value. However, for minor realm breakthroughs, it's only multiplied by 1, and for major realm breakthroughs, it's only multiplied by 10. I am infuriated by the system's interruption. Can this enhancement be the same thing? I can see that you don't want me to collect beautiful girls. Get lost. After beating up the system, Lin Bao comes running towards me excitedly. Master, master, I've broken through to the nascent soul realm. Although I already knew about Lin Bao's advancement to the nascent soul realm through the system, I still give Lin Bao a thumbs up to encourage her. If you ask me why, all I can say is that the joy of being a dad is unimaginable. Seeing how happy Lin Bao and I are, the girl in the red dress also speaks up, feeling resentful. I'm really envious of Miss Lin Bao. I wonder how far my cultivation will break through after taking the immortal elixir given by my master. During our conversation, a white light swiftly rushes towards the immortal temple. In an instant, it forcefully pierces into my forehead before I can even react to what it is. Countless pieces of information explosively burst into my mind. Seeing me in such a state, the people around me can't help but come forward to check on me with concern. Bayou, seeing me recovering, anxiously reaches out to show her concern, while the girl in the red dress remains relatively calm, seizing the key point and directly asks what the white light was. However, I am already burning with anger at this moment and explain to them, this is a message from Brother Green Snake about the eternal life section I must personally go to cloud state. Seeing my furious appearance, the girl in the red dress also wants to accompany me, but I directly refuse her kindness and instruct them to take care of my physical body in the temple. After saying that, I soar into the sky. Meanwhile, in a certain place in the moral realm, a heavenly gate from the upper realm has long been open. The town beneath the gate is brightly lit but empty. In the center of the town, there is a figure radiating red light. A skinny and skeletal demon is seen devouring a human skull. In the mouth of the crimson demon, it mutters to itself, I've eaten all the cultivators in this city. Finally, I'm three parts full. Human cultivators are as delicious as ever, ha ha ha. And under his feet, there is a small mountain formed by human skulls. This demon is the green-haired ghost immortal sent from the upper realm. The ghost immortal looks ahead with an unsatisfied expression and mutters to himself, Next, as long as I kill Horizontal Strike Immortal Chinchanan and took away the immortal treasure within three days, when I return to the upper realm to report, I will truly become an upper immortal. I have been waiting for this moment for thousands of years. Then, with a forceful stomp, the ground collapses beneath his foot, and he rushes towards the direction of the Hundred Thousand Mountains. The shockwave created by that foot causes the land to tremble and shake violently, while an excited voice echoes through the heavens and earth, I'm coming to kill you, Chinchanan. Inside the immortal temple, the conversation between the girl in the red dress and Lin Bao can be heard. It's not until I give them instructions that they realize I've been controlling a clone these past few days. With this in mind, a bold idea arises in Lin Bao's heart. If Master is controlling the clone and doesn't have time to take care of his physical body, 
Does it mean that no matter what we do to his physical body, master won't know? By you and the others also share the same thought and approach my physical body with caution. Unaware of all this, I am taken by surprise at this moment. I don't know how to fly, so I frantically wander in the air and accidentally crash into a forest without stopping. Despite that, I have already left the flying immortal mountain, so no one should see me in this embarrassing state. After jumping down from the tree, I can't help but give full marks to this clone. Not only is the cultivation level perfect, but the physique is also outstanding. This deserves praise. Just as I was about to find someone to ask for directions to Cloud State, a cat demon girl came crashing into the tree next to me at an incredible speed. Seeing this, I hid in the nearby bushes and observed this even more foolish person than myself. Before long, a group of figures wearing green cloaks arrived one after another. Young master, please stop being mischievous and come back with us. It's time to fulfill your mission, they said. Upon hearing this, the cat demon girl immediately became furious. Who do you think you are, acting all high and mighty? It's not like you're marrying that bald donkey. It's easy for you to talk while standing aside, she retorted. Hidden on the side, I was also shocked to hear such an information-packed speech. Are monks into that kind of thing now? Suddenly, the cat demon girl leaped forward and pounced on the group of people. Take a taste of my cat fist, you jerks, she exclaimed. However, those men in green robes were all at the pinnacle of the golden core realm, while the cat demon girl was just at the ninth level of the golden core realm. She was no match for these peak golden core realm experts. Seeing the cat demon girl being overwhelmed, I felt a slight displeasure. If she loses this fight, she will have to go back and get married. It's such a cliché plot from online novels. At this moment, it's only natural for me to play the role of a hero saving the beauty. After all, I didn't get to experience it in my previous life, so in this life, I must give it a try. Besides, I happen to need a guide. Just as the cat demon girl was about to be subdued by the group, I directly used my ultimate skill. I pointed my finger up, creating a golden light, and rushed towards those green-robed men. My intention was only to scare them off, not to kill them. At this crucial moment, I made a dashing entrance and shouted that classic line, let go of the girl and let me handle it. The domineering pressure intimidated everyone, including those few members of the cat demon clan. They warned me as they saw a handsome guy like me suddenly intervening. Human, I advise you to mind your own business, or we'll skin you alive, they said. The people nearby also nodded in agreement, seeing that these small fry had no sense of perspective. Well then, I'll let you experience the majestic aura of a true immortal and show you that I'm no longer the pushover I once was. Just as I was thinking about how to show off and enjoy myself to the fullest, the cat demon pounced on me directly and hugged my thigh skillfully, making my heart ache. Seeing this cat demon girl giving herself away so easily, I felt a hint of disdain. She was too good at this. The cat demon girl, seeing my silence, took the initiative to attack. She grabbed my sleeve and pressed up against me, using her captivating big eyes to shower me with affection. I was caught off guard by this sudden attack, and my brain couldn't keep up with the current plot. Did I just get taken advantage of like this? Even harem manga wouldn't dare to depict something like this. As for those few lackeys in green robes, their expressions had already turned into a mix of fear and panic. However, despite this, they still advised me, telling me that their boss was someone I couldn't afford to provoke. Upon hearing their words, I immediately felt displeased. Not to mention the cat demon girl kneeling and licking at my feet, even as a man, my dignity wouldn't allow me to back down. Seeing my intimidating aura, those green-robed men didn't waste any words and fled into the distance, shouting that they would come back. Upon seeing those people leave, the cat demon girl couldn't help but praise her own cleverness. I'm really amazing. As long as I follow this thigh, I'll be the safest. Seeing the cat demon girl becoming even more presumptuous, I directly pushed her away. I have no interest in raising a cat for now. The cat demon girl, seeing that I had no interest in her, became anxious. I'm the one who saved you. Life and death are in your hands, and even death is your ghost, she daringly said. Then she boldly added, if you don't raise a cat, how about raising a wife? I was speechless at the cat demon girl's bizarre thinking. She really sees me as some kind of savior. Seeing me stay silent, the cat demon girl started crying out of frustration. Seeing Ah Meow's pitiful appearance and thinking about how the old man brought me here by tearing through the void, I realized that I didn't know much about this ghost state. It really did require a guide. So, I said to Ah Meow, actually, bringing you along wouldn't be a problem, but you need to fulfill my requirements. Then I pulled her off me and flew towards the distance. Tell me while we walk, 
If we delay any longer, we might have to spend the night in the mountains. Ah Meow felt fortunate but couldn't help thinking if she had just left one danger to enter another. And at the place where we had just taken off, Ah Meow's personal bell was left behind. At that moment, a hand picked it up, making a jingling sound. The owner of the hand was none other than the bald donkey mentioned by Ah Meow. The bald donkey's eyes were filled with killing intent as he gritted his teeth and said, Ah Meow, girl, I have finally found you. You can't escape. After gliding for a while, I arrived in ghost state with Ah Meow. Ah Meow charmingly shouted at me. Darling, we've arrived in ghost state. Hearing the affectionate shout from this cute girl by my side, I couldn't help but feel a bit overwhelmed. Just call me Chinchanan. As I looked at the bustling town around me, various voices of vendors could be heard everywhere. Feeling the lively atmosphere filled with excitement, my mood improved. If I were to extend my domain to this place, it would probably require millions of domain values. As for the girl behind me, I didn't know when she had bought a bunch of miscellaneous things. The nearby vendors shouted loudly as they saw a man approaching. Come and see, don't miss out. Suddenly, the man who was walking in front of them sprayed some blood into the sky. This strange act once again challenged my worldview. Seeing the man in front of me with special effects in full display, I quickly moved aside. This guy must be a professional scammer. Seeing this, Ah Meow suddenly remembered something and hurriedly explained to me, Chin Chanan, can you lower your cultivation level a bit? Cultivators with high cultivation levels unintentionally emit a powerful aura, which is fatal to those with lower cultivation levels. He was overwhelmed by your aura. I heard her and quickly suppressed my cultivation level to the golden core realm. After all, the people I encountered were all powerful figures at the levels of nascent soul realm, transcendence realm, and immortals. I forgot that low-level cultivators were the majority. After I finished adjusting my cultivation level, the man who had fallen on the ground quickly jumped up and rushed out, shouting incessantly, this world is terrifying, damn it. Then Ah Meow turned to me and asked, where do you plan to go next? I can be your guide. I've been roaming around Ghost State for over a hundred years, so I'm familiar with it. I've been to Cloud State, too. Seeing her enthusiastic expression, I casually said, why don't you take me around the central city first? Hearing this, the girl agreed excitedly. At this point, I couldn't help but size her up. Those people earlier referred to her as Young Master, indicating that she had some powerful backing. Perhaps she could even help me reach Cloud State. Thinking about it, I curiously asked, why are your fellow clan members chasing after you? This girl is straightforward and immediately confessed everything. She fled from the nascent soul realm because she didn't want to marry an old bald donkey. After she finished speaking, as if she thought her situation wasn't miserable enough, she burst into dramatic crying and fabricated a sorrowful story. Throughout the process, she occasionally stole glances at me, feeling pleased with herself, probably thinking that I, as a senior, would be overflowing with compassion. Seeing this girl's manipulative nature, I couldn't help but think, should I just abandon her and leave? And I exaggeratedly said, aren't you afraid your fiancé will catch up to you? According to the usual plot development, he should be coming to kill you soon, right? As soon as this girl heard that the bald donkey would come, she became even more frightened and clung to my chest. He is a disciple of the Fukian temple and can't come out casually. Besides, I have you now, you saved me, so I should offer myself to you. In a roundabout way, I'm already your wife, you wouldn't let your wife die, would you? Feeling frustrated by this girl's shamelessness, I could hardly bear it. Just then, thunder suddenly struck down from the sky, right in front of me. Without being surprised by the dangerous scene unfolding before me, I thought, this is the normal course of events in a cliché plot. Then, 18 shirtless monks struck handsome and charming poses, and the loyal person among them should be the bald donkey mentioned by Ah Meow. The bald donkey with the mark on his head smiled sinisterly and greeted the cat demon girl. His words were filled with lewd intentions. The cat demon girl swiftly hid behind me, thinking that the people in front of her were the 18 arats known as the Shura. It is said that when facing enemies together, they can be comparable to the transcendence realm. Even if the senior is young and strong, he is only at the nascent soul realm. That bald donkey is a narrow-minded person. Ah Meow is trying to find a way to let the senior escape. As for me, my brain has been paralyzed by these strange individuals in front of me. The bald donkey directly warned the cat demon girl to obediently go back with him. The onlookers around also caught wind of the gossip and gathered more and more. Seeing that the cat demon girl still hadn't made a move, they threatened her directly, saying, your father is still waiting for us at the Fukian temple. Does Miss Amiao not want to see him? Having personally experienced such a melodramatic plot and after a period of inner struggle, the cat demon girl finally compromised. She was willing to go back with the bald donkey as long as it didn't harm me. Although she is going back now, as the saying goes, as long as there are green hills, one is not afraid of firewood running out. 
If I could escape once, I could definitely escape a second time. Just at that moment, System Daddy suddenly came online and detected the transcendent son, Mathreya Disciple. Subsequently, all sorts of information about the bald donkey became available. When I saw that the bald donkey's intention to marry the cat demon girl was to seize her fortune and break through the immortal king realm, I was displeased. Although I'm not a good person, I couldn't just let it go when encountering such a situation. So, I pulled the cat demon girl, who was about to leave, into my arms and said to the bald donkey, Sorry, she is mine now. I refuse to hand her over to you. The surrounding crowd also laughed and mocked, saying, This is a nascent soul realm powerhouse. It seems that there will soon be an unidentified corpse in the ghost state. The bald donkey instantly became furious and said, Little golden core realm, you have no right to speak here. Get lost. The cat demon girl, seeing me acting recklessly, anxiously said, Senior, please don't do something foolish. Those 18 people are peak nascent soul realm cultivators and can even combine their strength to rival the transcendence realm. Why would you provoke them? Watching the cat demon girl's anxious expression, I disdainfully said, So what? In my eyes, they are all just ants. Well, two sentences and it made the surrounding passersby burst into laughter. Are golden core realm cultivators this arrogant these days? Seeing me pretending to have such artistic flair, the bald donkey also prepared to fulfill my wish and send me to heaven. The 18 arits around us also became restless, their violent aura gathering around them. Just as the bald donkey gave the order, the 18 arits seemed to have been injected with chicken blood transforming into various strange animals and charging towards me to kill. Seeing their innocent and adorable appearance, I smiled faintly. Don't they know that big shots are supposed to keep a low profile these days? I lightly stepped on the ground and suddenly the sky crumbled, with my aura piercing through the rainbow. With one kick, I shattered the firmament. As for those arrogant 18 arits from earlier, they all turned into domain values and entered the balance of my account. Seeing this earth-shattering scene, everyone began to question their existence. Who is this person? Seeing the shocked expressions on everyone's faces, I struck a rap-like pose and said, Is that all? The cat demon girl was completely brainwashed by my handsome and powerful appearance, drooling all over the ground. The onlookers who had just mocked me earlier were now terrified, scared half to death by my kick. The bald donkey thought to himself that he still had that treasure. Even if I were an immortal, he believed he could defeat me. Immediately, he reached into his embrace and pulled out a large spinning top, swiftly launching it towards me. The bald donkey thought that since I wasn't dodging or avoiding it, victory was now assured. This is an immortal weapon capable of suppressing even monsters and demons. I don't believe you can withstand it. In the next moment, I casually grabbed hold of this immortal weapon and showed it off in front of the bald donkey. Isn't this treasure impressive? The bald donkey was almost scared out of his wits on the spot. But how could he easily give up? He transformed into a manifestation of a golden body and was ready to fight me to the death. He directly launched a wild boar charge towards me. Seeing the golden giant palm that had manifested before me, I became interested as well. How dare this mere bald donkey show off his skills in front of me. Today, I will let you open your eyes. Flying dragon in the sky, going against the heavens. A golden dragon suddenly emerged from my hand, soaring into the sky. The cultivators in the distance, witnessing this scene, stood dumbfounded in their places. Could it be that a true dragon had descended? Then, the bald donkey tearfully disappeared from the moral world amidst my cool special effects. After reaping the old bald donkey, the prompt from System Daddy came through. Congratulations, host, for killing the reincarnated disciple. You have obtained an additional salted fish treasure chest and 20,000 domain values. Wow, a new discovery. Is there anything special about this reincarnated disciple for the system? However, I have accumulated quite a lot just now. Let me see how many domain values I have now. Seeing that there were over 70,000 domain values in my account, it's much faster than obtaining domain values by waiting for monsters to come to me on the mountain. It seems that I should go out for a while and have discovered a new method of obtaining domain values. Truly, I am worthy. It's just a pity that the clone cannot open the treasure chest. It's better for me to find time to return to my original body and open it. Let's see what I can get from this salted fish treasure chest. Then, I turned to Amiao behind me and said, I've solved your biggest trouble. Now, can you help me with something? The cat demon girl eagerly agreed, afraid of missing this opportunity to repay her debt. Immediately, I pointed to the ship in the sky and informed the cat demon girl of my destination for this trip and let the cat demon girl help me board that flying ship. After saying that, I walked towards the direction of the flying ship. The news sent back by Snake Brother this time is not only related to the Eternal Life sect but also about the old man being chased by the three major immortal families of the Cloud State. Although I don't know what the old man has done in the Cloud State, his situation is not optimistic. It seems that we need to speed up our pace to the Cloud State. As for the Cat Demon Girl, 
she has already regarded me as her true husband and sticks to me all the time. The scene switches to my residence, where inappropriate sounds can be heard even in broad daylight. Is this the loss of morality or the distortion of human nature? Nobody knows what exactly happened there, leaving only Lin Bao outside to guard, listening to the sounds coming from inside the house. After a commotion, Bai Yu and Hong Yi trembled as they walked out of the house. Their complexion was rosy like blooming lotus flowers, and they kept murmuring, Senior is truly enchanting. Seeing their triumphant appearance, Lin Bao couldn't help but shyly exclaim, It's my turn next time, don't you dare snatch with me. It has been a few hours already. Seeing Lin Bao's naive expression, Hong Yi proposed, I won't compete with you, we can go together, we just need to clean up before the master returns. Just as Lin Bao was about to argue, a terrifying pressure suddenly swept over. Sensing this formidable pressure, they looked solemnly in the direction it came from. The incoming person is not friendly. On the Nine Sword Sex side, Lin Qingshan also sensed this terrifying pressure. It seems that someone from the upper realm has come down again. This time, their target is probably the senior. The other elders also volunteered to accompany the senior in advance and retreat. Seeing that the members of his own sect are all righteous and honorable, Lin Qingshan immediately ordered the elders of the Nine Swords sect to assist the senior. Ning Shu, the demon emperor, also looked towards the menacing and terrifying pressure coming. Another immortal sent from the upper realm. Do they really think there's no one in the lower realm to challenge them? Then she turned to the panicked tribespeople behind her and said, Don't panic. This time, the immortals are coming for the senior. Now that our clan has submitted to the senior, we naturally have to assist the senior wholeheartedly. These immortals are far more powerful than the previous twelve, even surpassing the senior. But we cannot let the senior face them alone. Those in the nascent soul realm and above who are willing to help the senior, come with me. Dark clouds press down, and a blood-red aura pervades the entire immortal temple. The figure of the ghost immortal also appears above the immortal temple. It seems that this is where the immortals have fallen. Immediately, he shouts loudly towards the immortal temple, Stinky Bug Chanan, come out and die at the hands of this immortal. Ha ha ha. Lin Bao, seeing the ugly creature in front of her acting so arrogantly, also yells loudly into the air, Who are you? The ghost immortal, looking at Lin Bao, a mere ant, daring to speak to him like that, sneers disdainfully. With the rays of the ghost immortal's finger, a red bloodlight accompanied by a terrifying pressure descends upon the group. But Lin Bao, wielding the immortal sword, is not someone to be trifled with. She raises his hand and blocks all of it. This place does not tolerate the likes of you, evil ghost. You are not worthy of mentioning the name of your master. The ghost immortal, seeing the insignificant ant in front of him able to withstand the force of his finger, is momentarily taken aback. The immortal sword. If Chen Chanan possesses the immortal sword, he might not be easy to deal with. But if I can seize the immortal sword in advance, victory will be overwhelmingly mine. Ha <laughs> ha. The ghost immortal simply raises his hand and grabs into the void and Lin Bao's body uncontrollably flies towards the ghost immortal. The ghost immortal sees how effortlessly he obtained the immortal sword and smirks in satisfaction. Indeed, answer just ants. Lin Bao, upon hearing that the ghost immortal intends to take the immortal sword, immediately strikes at the ghost immortal's head with her sword. This is the sword my master gave me. You won't succeed in taking it away. The ghost immortal, provoked by Lin Bao's fierce counterattack, grabs Lin Bao's head with both hands, preparing to swallow her whole. In this critical moment, Two different streams of true energy fiercely strike towards the ghost immortal, catching him off guard and causing him to drop Lin Bao. Seeing Bayou approaching, the ghost immortal mocks, oh, a fox demon who resorts to sneak attacks. Red clothes take the opportunity to rescue Lin Bao. The ghost immortal, facing the people in front of him, switches to teaching mode. Let me show you what kind of attacks are effective. He casually slaps towards Bayou, and Bayou, unable to withstand the pressure, is slammed to the ground, seriously injured. The ghost immortal, looking at the struggling group of people, can't help but feel playful. I'm going to devour all of you, and then Chen Chanan. A white-tailed figure takes the opportunity to fiercely strike at the speaking ghost immortal. However, this time the ghost immortal has learned his lesson and easily evades this sneak attack. Red Clothes, seeing the reinforcements, excitedly shouts, Grandma. Ning Shu immediately gives the order to retreat with the injured. Lin Qingshan asks Lin Bao, how can we save you? What about the senior? Lin Bao weakly explains, the senior has sent out his clone, and his main body is in deep sleep. Then Lin Qingshan solemnly looks at the ghost immortal in front of them. The reputation of this green-haired fiend has spread throughout the entire ghost state. Everywhere he has been is a living hell. He is an evil ghost from the depths of hell. After organizing red clothes and the others, Ming Shu shouts for the Nine Sword sect members to join them in attacking the green-haired ghost immortal. The green-haired fiend looks at the ants in front of him, astonished that they fearlessly seek death and want to challenge him. He shouts into the void, Cold Ming Immortal, 
are you watching? I'm about to kill so many people, all for you. You owe me a fortune, your sins are grave. After receiving a response from Cold Ming Immortal, the green-haired ghost immortal displays his divine power, emitting his killing intent and heavily injuring everyone in front of him. Blood flows from Ning Shu's mouth as she experiences an unprecedented sense of despair. The only one who can ignore the suppression of the laws is the horizontal strike immortal, who remains in the mortal realm. The realms in the higher realms are divided into human immortal, earth immortal, and heaven immortal, each with three sub-realms. The ghost immortal in front of them is undoubtedly a horizontal strike immortal at the same level as the senior. The green-haired ghost immortal, seeing that I refuse to come out, somehow produces a rope and walks towards Bayou, intending to tie her up and eat them all before going for Chinchanan. Just as the green-haired ghost immortal is about to attack Bayou, he suddenly senses that something is amiss. Why is everything going so smoothly? These ants usually don't even have the courage to face me. Could this be Chinchanan's scheme? The green-haired ghost immortal instantly connects all the dots. Mph, I almost fell for it. You actually wanted to use this opportunity to assassinate me? I didn't expect Chinchanan to be so cunning. Thankfully, I kept my guard up. Otherwise, it might have been me who died now. Then he shouts at everyone. I know Chinchanan is hiding in the dark. Go and bring him out, or I'll give you a live demonstration of what it means to devour a girl with three mouths. Upon hearing the command from the green-haired ghost immortal, Red Clothes and Ning Shu haven't had a chance to respond yet when Bayou steps forward and obstructs them, saying, No, you can't go. Our heavenly demon ancient fox clan has already pledged allegiance to the senior. I would rather die than betray the senior. Red Clothes, seeing her good sister preparing to sacrifice herself, is ready to rush forward and fight to the death, but Ning Shu holds her back, saying, Don't be impulsive. Let me go. Ning Shu, with an attitude of embracing death, says, I am in the transcendence realm, with high cultivation and pure spiritual power. If you want to devour someone, devour me. There's no need to eat this little nascent soul realm demon. Hearing this, the green-haired ghost immortal remains unmoved, saying, Still trying to deceive me? I've seen through all your conspiracies. Since Chinchanan won't come out, I'll devour this little girl. Seeing her fellow clansmen about to be eaten, Ning Shu rushes forward and desperately shouts trying to prevent the tragedy from happening. At the same time, as I am in the ghost state, an urgent message comes to my mind, detecting a death risk for the follower bound to the host's life. At this moment, the green-haired ghost immortal's enormous mouth is about to swallow in one gulp, and by you, at this moment, shows no fear, with a heart full of determination to perish together with him, not allowing me to suffer any harm. Just then, my angry fist makes intimate contact with the green-haired ghost immortal, saving Bayou, who is about to be devoured, and my furious punch triggered the power of heaven and earth, accompanied by a destructive aura that directly blasted the green-haired ghost immortal along with the floor tiles of my house into the endless abyss. Ning Shu, the demon emperor, saw my figure, and tears unconsciously streamed down her face. As for Bayou, who made such a sacrifice for me, I naturally wouldn't let her suffer any harm. In the moment when I sent the green-haired ghost immortal flying, I also embraced her in my arms. At this moment, Bayou, seeing that I had actually appeared before her eyes, lost the trace of strength in her heart, and tears kept streaming down her face. Seeing the tears shed by Bayou for me, I gently comforted her, saying, with me here, there will be no more danger. Sleep well, and when you wake up, everything will be over. Then I turned to the people who had come to help me and said, you've all worked hard, leave that bastard to me. The green-haired ghost immortal had also returned from the depths of the earth and, upon seeing my appearance, became even more ferocious, as if he had finally succeeded. Just as his attack was about to reach me, I flashed behind him and grabbed his green hair, saying, you little bastard, it's time to stretch your bones after lying down for so long. Let me take good care of you. The first step is to make his flesh tender. So I repeatedly slammed him on my floor tiles, ensuring that every piece of his flesh gets fully relaxed. The green-haired ghost immortal became deeply immersed in my all-around customized service and couldn't extricate himself, occasionally letting out moans. After a while, his hair couldn't withstand the pressure and was pulled off by me. However, this also provided relief for the green-haired ghost immortal, allowing him time to adapt for the next step of treatment. Later, the green-haired ghost immortal let out a roaring voice, proclaiming the uniqueness of my techniques and giving me a 5-star rating for my personalized service. In order not to let down this customer's 5-star review, I couldn't wait to proceed with the next step of the treatment. This second step is crucial and requires continuous and serious beating all over his body, reinvigorating the relaxed flesh and making it firm and vibrant again. The green-haired ghost immortal, feeling the impact of my relentless punches, gave me a highly positive evaluation. The most powerful among the horizontal strike immortals, corresponding to the immortal kings in the upper realm, were no match for he. 
the strongest of the strongest. Unexpectedly, I had no defense against him, just as the green-haired ghost immortal finally calmed down and began searching for my flaws. Preparing to retaliate, I punched him in the chin. Unable to maintain his composure any longer, with the conclusion of my final punch, I finally stopped. The dish was complete. Ming Shu looked at the fiery cooking scene before him and couldn't help but salivate slightly. The evil spirit had been toyed with like a child. But at this moment, I couldn't afford to think too much because there was only one step left before the finished product. Then, using my unique cooking technique, I transformed the surrounding grass into medicinal pills, continuously converging towards the green-haired ghost immortal. It's done! The green-haired ghost immortal, for the first time in his thousands of years of existence, experienced this wonderful feeling, eating top-grade medicinal pills until he felt nauseous. I was just wondering how to quickly gain a large amount of domain value, and unexpectedly someone willingly came to give me domain value, since they had come, yet dared to touch my sister, if it weren't for the system's life-binding function, I would have been in trouble. Even though forcibly improving my cultivation skill is still in cooldown, it's a good opportunity to test whether the cultivation system recognizes the forced enhancement brought about by the elixir. Ming Shu, the demon emperor, was so frightened by this scene that her legs went weak. Luckily, I'm currently following the senior. At this moment, the green-haired ghost immortal still hasn't realized that he has become a meal on my plate and naively believes he can counterattack. Soon, dark clouds gathered, and the sound of muffled thunder resounded. After seeing me again, the heavenly Tao lost its initial anger and chose to resign itself to fate. They also realized that I had forcibly improved that ghost immortal's cultivation. In the midst of the frenzied increase in power, the green-haired ghost immortal finally felt despair, seemingly unable to fathom the existence of a monster like me in the world. Seeing his ever-expanding belly and stagnant cultivation, he was both shocked and apprehensive. If he doesn't break through soon, it will be over for him completely. I also noticed that the green-haired ghost state reached its peak quickly, but that's to be expected of an immortal. However, thunder tribulation doesn't wait for anyone and unexpectedly struck towards my figure. However, when it struck me, I only felt a faint electric sensation. Seeing thunder tribulation half-heartedly strike and retreat, I was a little stunned. This was supposed to be an immortal thunder tribulation, right? It just went through the motions like that. I lost interest in it. I stopped playing around. Then I struck the green-haired one who was about to burst. With a casual punch, the little green-haired one turned into a pool of blood. In my mind, I received a message, congratulations, host, for killing a ninth heaven immortal and gaining a total of 300,000 domain value. Salted fish gift pack is activated. This scene directly stunned Ning Shu and the others, to the point where even the elders who came with Ning Shu became my fangirls one after another. Seeing the injured crowd, I took out a handful of elixirs and handed them to them. After all, elixirs are in abundance. The crowd joyfully took the elixirs and consumed them. In just an instant, all their injuries were healed, and there were even signs of breakthrough. Seeing the elixirs achieve the desired effect, I breathed a sigh of relief. Thankfully, there were no mishaps. However, it's not sustainable to keep passively taking hits like this. I can't predict when those upper realm immortals will return. Ultimately, it's because the domain's range is too small. If it were larger, it wouldn't be like this. I need more domain value, but currently, I can only use 370,000. If I use the Flying Immortal Mountain Cultivate Land as a bait to attract the various cultivators from the 100,000 mountains to cultivate there, will I be able to obtain a continuous stream of domain value? However, if I rashly persuade them, those cultivators definitely won't come. So, I need to first get the Nine Swords Sect and the Heavenly Demon Ancient Fox Sect to join as promoters. I have extreme trust in the Nine Swords Sect, but Ning Shu submitted to me out of fear, and I'm not sure if she is loyal to me. Moreover, her status in the 100,000 mountains is unique. If I have her, it will be easy to subjugate the 100,000 mountains. That's why I had this plan, using the crisis of immortals descending to test her loyalty. However, the heavenly demon ancient fox sect didn't disappoint me. I just nearly messed up and caused a wipeout. But now, all of this isn't the most important thing. I finally came back once, and of course, I want to open my long-awaited salted fish treasure chest. Seeing the fireworks and cool effects erupting from the chest, I couldn't help but feel ecstatic. Jackpot. However, what appeared in the chest was only 50,000 domain value, which nearly made me explode with anger. The dog system made me wait for so long for nothing. Scammer. Pay up. But this salted fish treasure chest can actually yield domain value? It's indeed somewhat surprising. Afterward, I directly used 370,000 domain value and expanded the invincible domain. At this point, my invincible domain has expanded to 5,757 meters and successfully covered the entire flying immortal mountain. Suddenly, the system prompt from daddy system sounded, 
granting me the title of Lord of the Flying Immortal Mountain and providing me with a key to the mythical realm. Looking at this unique little item in my hand, I couldn't help but feel puzzled. Why does this system always give me such non-human things? It seemed to hear my thoughts as Daddy's system also mentioned upgrading to version 4.0. Upon hearing this, I stopped pondering the non-human things in front of me and quickly said, of course, upgrade it. After deducting 50,000 domain value, the system successfully upgraded to version 4.0 and gained a cosmic level function with top-notch special effects. Seeing this silly and foolish skill, I was dumbfounded. What kind of inhuman operation is this again? Seeing my reaction, Daddy's system directly explained, it's for showing off. The host deserves to have it. Hearing this, I chose to remain silent and decided to study it later. After dealing with some matters, I directly began my specialty. After an impassioned speech, I successfully persuaded the Nine Swords sect and the Heavenly Demon Ancient Fox sect to come to the Flying Immortal Mountain through coaxing and deceiving, but it wasn't enough for them to just move in. I also made them help me coax other friendly sects or demon clans. As long as their conduct is not bad, they all contribute to the Flying Immortal Mountain. My infatuated followers have already settled in and consider me their object of fantasy. As for me, I leisurely lie on a chair, watching the domain value in my account skyrocket. Please give me another stack of opportunities to earn domain value while lying down. But the things on this side have also come to an end. It's time to go back and check on the situation of my clone. I had just left, and the girls who had been hiding on the side all appeared, each with their own ulterior motives. It seems that I can continue to do great things. However, when I woke up on the clone side, what caught my eye was a pair of slender, long legs and black stockings. Who can resist that? The few beauties in front of me saw that I had awakened and reluctantly said, we should send him to the martial arena as a prize. It's really a bit reluctant, seeing the scenes before me that I couldn't understand. I was a bit puzzled. Wasn't I following the cat demon girl before? How did I end up in a different place when I opened my eyes? And those girls also looked at me in confusion and said, little handsome guy, take care of yourself first. You're about to become a part of our family soon. Although I'm not opposed to the idea of being crazily fought over by girls, this is just too sudden, right? I'm not being sold by a cat, am I? After entering the city on the carriage, a scene that seemed like heaven appeared before my eyes. In this enormous martial arena, there wasn't a single man. The beautiful ladies in the arena were all eager and preparing for their own happiness. And I, after experiencing this wonderful scene like a revolving lantern, was directly thrown onto the stage. But besides me, there were actually two men tied up. The girl ordered us, saying, as long as you behave, you'll be fine. If you fall off, you'll suffer the consequences. The soft rice male on the stage even started mocking when he saw me. Here comes another freeloader. Hearing this, I became displeased. I instantly broke free from the ropes and retorted, what freeloader? I'm a guy who can eat both hard and soft rice. Seeing me being so different, these two people told me about the situation here. This is the Heavenly Fragrance Sect, a top section. Every year, they forcibly abduct high-quality men from various regions of the state as prizes for their competition. Hearing this, I seem to have associated it with something. Could this be the daughter's country in the world of cultivation? Then the long-haired soft rice male continued, the main thing is that this sect isn't just beautiful girls. There are also many powerful but ugly-looking women. If ugly-looking women cultivator wins on the arena, I'll kill myself on the spot. Then I also discovered a familiar figure in the arena, the cat demon girl. Watching the intense competition of the cat demon girl, I couldn't help but be stunned. Why is she mixed up in this? What happened during the time I was asleep? But in the next moment, the cat demon girl lived up to expectations and was knocked out. Seeing this, I was actually looking forward to some Amiao -ah moments, but she got eliminated. Well, it's not interesting anymore. I'll go directly to meet Amiao. -ah However, at that moment, a furious roar from the otaku caught my attention. Following his gaze, a white and majestic mature beauty appeared before my eyes. She had a look in her eyes as if she were looking at garbage, and she looked at the losers around her and said, can you please step aside? The undeniable words in her majestic appearance made my nosebleed gush out. Suddenly, I didn't want to leave. The three of us reached a consensus in that instant and showed the same smile. But then came the shocking news that only one of the three of us could be the winner. One of the soft rice males posed disgustingly, while the other was immersed in his own sweet confidence and couldn't extricate himself, and I had a gloomy expression on my face. How about we just take out these two right now? The handsome mature beauty has already passed through numerous challenges and swept away a large group of female disciples. Seeing the cool figure of the mature beauty, the three of us couldn't help but transform into little fanboys and shouted out, Wife, wife, I love you, wife. 
keep it up. On the other side, the pink gorilla also refused to be weak and swept through the enemies with punches and palm strikes. Ah, someone please stop this violent gorilla. Mom, I don't want to marry this pink gorilla. Seeing that we cared so much about appearances, the man behind us said, Young ones, you don't know the charm of mature women. You're mistaking a young girl for a treasure. If our wife takes a liking to you, it'll be your good fortune. Our wife not only has wealth but also incredible bravery in the bedroom, something those female cultivators can't compare to. Hearing the description from these men, a chill ran down my spine. Stop acting all high and mighty here. I like youthful and beautiful young girls. Don't underestimate me. Jiang Xianchu is participating for the first time. How could she be a match for our wife? With your tender skin and flesh, it would be better for you to come and pay your respects early, they said. On the arena, the rough gorilla was the first to use her treasured artifact, a supersized flying disc, and aimed it at the mature beauty. Despite facing such a formidable gorilla, Jiang Xianchu showed no fear. As she chanted a spell, an endless sea of water manifested out of thin air. As the two forces intertwined, a massive explosion of water occurred in the sky. The people on the field were all solemn, waiting for the outcome. Suddenly, with a clicking sound, a slender and beautiful leg appeared on the arena. As expected, Jiang Xianchu did not disappoint us and defeated the raging gorilla. The arena erupted in explosive cheers. Now, please let Jiang Xianchu choose her partner for the double cultivation path. In addition, the sect master will also strive to secure the opportunity for the winner to attend the grand event in Nine State. After a moment of contemplation, Jiang Xianchu pointed towards the stage and said, I choose him. To our surprise, the lucky one turned out to be the long-haired soft rice man. His heart was pounding with excitement, although he had been prepared. Being chosen had a more profound effect on him. As I watched the soft rice man's ecstatic expression, I pondered when would be the most appropriate time to eliminate him. Suddenly, Jiang Xianchu cleared her throat and said, Oops, I pointed to the wrong person. I'm sorry, the person I want to marry is him. Her finger pointed directly at me, without any deviation. In that instant, I felt as if spring had descended upon me, and the whole world was tinged with pink. On the other hand, the soft rice man turned into stone, and his heart came to a complete stop. Ah Miao was also deeply shocked by this sudden reversal. Reversal. Senior is gone. Congratulations to junior sister Jiang Xianchu for successfully finding a partner. Now, we will escort him to the bridal chamber. Faced with this sudden turn of events, I shouted, Wait, isn't this a bit hasty for the bridal chamber? I haven't mentally prepared myself yet. After a series of commotion, I found myself already squeezed into the bridal chamber. How did things turn out like this? I'm still a virgin in my 20s. Today, my doppelganger made a grand entrance. This plot is just too absurd. My doppelganger must have been abducted by the heavenly fragrance sect. The purpose should be to use them as a prize for their sex martial arts competition. Then, that girl chose me, and I was hastily pushed into the bridal chamber. Indeed, heroes have a hard time resisting the temptation of a beautiful woman. If only I had run away from the beginning, it would have been much better. The system detected that the host, with the cultivation level of the Golden Core Realm, got caught up in a cultivation novel event. When I saw the sudden appearance of the system father, giving such a hint, I was a bit at a loss. But the system father completely ignored me and directly played a short film. Jiang Xianchu, the eldest daughter of the Jiang family, participated in the Heavenly Fragrance Sex Martial Arts Competition to revitalize her family and became the champion, earning the qualification to participate in the grand event. She understood that only by becoming the prodigy champion of the Nine State Grand Event would she have a chance to truly revitalize her family. The journey to Cloud State is long, and they encountered attacks from demonic cultivators on the way. In the midst of escaping death, they entered Cloud State and participated in the Nine State Grand Event. During the Grand Event, Jiang Xianchu unexpectedly encountered the son of a former acquaintance of her father. In order to establish a good relationship with the Jiang family, Jiang Xianchu befriended him, but he deceived her into taking a pill that temporarily boosted her cultivation during the Prodigy Challenge, thereby breaking the rules. From then on, Jiang Xuanchu's reputation plummeted, and she was hated and despised by others. She was even calculated by the son of the former acquaintance, losing her cultivation and being given to the master of Cloud State as a despised concubine. In the end, unable to bear the torment, Jiang Xianchu took her own life and was left abandoned in the wilderness. Seeing the development of the storylines in front of me, I couldn't help but wonder if this was a new feature added after the system upgrade 4.0. In that previous footage, could it be Jiang Xuanchu's future? When I encountered that bald donkey earlier, there was also a similar hint. Could it be that in the future, I will frequently encounter such cultivation novel plotlines? What kind of event is this? After all, special effects are perfect. Detected temporary mission. Random mission 1. 
assist Jiang Xianchu in becoming the first prodigy of the Nine State Grand Event and be the man behind her. Completion of the mission rewards 50,000 domain value. Failure results in a deduction of 10,000 domain value. Random Mission 2 A fairy descends to the mortal realm. Engage in a trade with the fairy to obtain information from the upper realm without frightening her. Completion of the mission grants 5,000 domain value. Failure results in a deduction of 20,000 domain value. Random Mission 3 Reverse the Golden Core Realm. Dominate the Nine State Grand Event and gain recognition from the Nine State Cauldron to become the ruler of Nine State. The reward is the activation of the 5.0 upgrade system condition. There's no punishment for failure. Once accepted, it cannot be stopped. Looking at the list of hegemonic contracts in front of me, I couldn't help but tighten my fist. Doggone system, you inexplicably dragged me into these events, and if I fail, you still deduct my domain value. I only have 10,000 domain value, which is not enough for you to deduct, but the difficulty of these missions isn't too great, so I'll accept them all. After all, I won't refuse free domain value. After finishing them, I'll just lie down and relax. Now, I'm just waiting for that girl to come in so we can have a deep conversation. As a rooster's crow sounded, I was startled. She still hasn't arrived by now. Could it be that I've been stood up? I need to find a way to approach her first, otherwise, I won't be able to assist her in her cultivation, let alone become the man behind her. After opening the door, I was surprised to see a group of girls already gathered in front of the door. Little handsome, are you unable to perform? Jiang Xuanchu's junior sister is really pitiful, marrying such a useless man. Hearing the mocking remarks from these girls, I quickly interrupted them. Who said I can't perform? I can perform just fine. You know, don't believe me? Come and try. Of course, it was Jiang Xuanchu's junior sister who said that. He said, you are only at the Golden Core Realm. Junior sister has already boarded the flying ship to Cloud State. She has abandoned you. My wife actually abandoned me and left. Amidst the chattering of these girls, I exerted all my strength to break free from the crowd. Damn it, these women are like beasts. They almost stripped off my pants. And that Jiang Xianchu not only stood me up but also tarnished my reputation. I swear I will make her realize what it means to be a man. Just then, a burst of airwaves suddenly came from ahead, and a massive flying ship appeared before me. Truly, seeing is believing. The hard currency of the mainland is indeed extraordinary. As it seemed ready to take off, I couldn't let those girls leave me behind. I had to catch up. Just as I was about to board the ship, I suddenly heard a voice from behind. Why are you here? It was actually my wife. I heard that you were going to Cloud State. On such a long journey, someone should take care of you. Of course, I can't refuse. So, can I go with you? Although I said that, if this girl doesn't allow me to go together, I will resort to playing dirty tricks. No one can stop me from completing the mission. Jiang Xianchu also spoke up. This journey is significant. My senior sisters are all focusing on their preparations. How can I? But then, she saw her senior sisters and junior sisters, each with their own partners, lovingly attached to them. If I don't bring someone, will I appear out of place? After struggling several times, Jiang Xianchu finally made up his mind. Forget it. You can come with me. But remember, you have to stay close to me at all times. Don't go too far from me. Hearing my wife's agreement, I quickly followed along. Okay, she said. It seemed that I hadn't received training in being a gentleman, so she personally corrected me. You should say, understood, my wife. Without hesitation, I replied, okay, my wife. And I finally set foot on the road to Cloud State. At this moment, the Grand Master was holding an early meeting with many girls in a room. Jiang Xianchu, who usually focused only on cultivation and didn't indulge in worldly pleasures, has also grown up and started getting closer to the allure of men. Did you all have a good time last night? Jiang Xianchu also confidently made up a story when she saw the situation, saying, reporting to the Grand Master, I have not neglected my cultivation as I strive for enlightenment. As for the pleasures between men and women, I believe it is still premature. I believe my husband behind me shares the same view. The Grand Master instantly saw through Jiang Xuanchu's little scheme. Are you still unable to let go and have fun? Well, someday you will understand the benefits of dual cultivation. Listen carefully. This time, we are fortunate to go to Cloud State and participate in the Nine States Festival, which happens once every 300 years. Everyone must give their utmost effort. Our Heavenly Fragrance Sect, as the first sect in the Ghost State, has only obtained this opportunity after hundreds of years. Whether it is for yourselves or for the sect, it is an honor. As the Grand Master continued talking, it became quite tiresome to listen. However, my lucky wife seemed to find it quite enjoyable. Listen carefully. On this journey, as long as it doesn't endanger our lives, I will not intervene. Minor disputes should be resolved by yourselves. You must understand that might makes right. She intentionally or unintentionally looked at me while saying this. When necessary, things that hold us back can be abandoned. 
Do you understand? Seeing the hint from Shida Jiang Xin Chu, I smiled slightly. It really had a profound meaning. Then the old lady stopped babbling and eagerly went to experience the joy of flying, supported by the two weak men. After the official departure, a blonde girl was enjoying herself flying on a male cultivator, with a smug expression on her face as she mocked Jiang Xian Chu. The people invited to the Nine States Festival are all at least in the nascent soul realm. You brought this golden core realm partner with you. You better keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't cause trouble. That's right, Cloud State is filled with powerful individuals with nascent soul realm and transcendence realm experts everywhere, and even the presence of the horizontal strike immortal. You're really bold to bring along a partner with only golden core realm cultivation. Jiang Xianchu turned around with a domineering attitude and said, I will take care of the people I brought myself. You don't need to worry. I also whispered, actually, my wife, I know those techniques too. But isn't the horizontal strike immortal extinct? It turns out there are still some. When we were alone in the corridor, Jiang Xianchu gave me instructions. You heard it earlier, a golden core realm is nothing in cloud state. After we disembark from the flying boat, you need to stay close to me and avoid causing trouble. Otherwise, I can't guarantee your safety. Hearing my wife's words, I confidently reassured her, I understand. I understand. I will stick by Miss Zhang's side every step of the way. Three days later, at the border of Cloud State, a strange man was crazily harvesting the geniuses sent by various sects to participate in the grand event. There are too many. I can't kill them all. What does the boss really want? Upon hearing the man's question, the leader reminded him of the boss's intentions. As a subordinate, you shouldn't worry about it. If you could understand the boss's thoughts, you wouldn't be a subordinate anymore. Immediately, he pointed towards the sky. Look, that's heavenly fragrance sex flying boat. There's new prey. The red-haired subordinate was also eager. Let's get active and squeeze those girls dry. On the flying boat, my wife stayed in the training room for a full three days without even closing her eyes. All she did was train, train, and train. She truly lives up to her reputation as a cultivation maniac. She didn't even spare a glance at me, her husband. How can we have a deep conversation? However, after reading her story, I can understand her desire to become stronger. System, activate the detection function and check the character Jiang Xian Chu. After seeing the detection results, I realized she has a 7th grade aptitude, slightly higher than the starting point of those in red clothes. But if I want to perfectly complete the random mission, the best way is to enhance her aptitude and give her the power to sweep everything, increasing her chances of standing out in the Nine States Festival. Fortunately, I happen to have some talismans of all living beings and immortal Tao true solution on me. It's a perfect opportunity to test the effect of the talisman version of all living beings. At this moment, my wife was knocked back by the mechanical man in front of her and slammed into the wall. Seeing that my wife seemed exhausted, it was a good opportunity for me. I gave her a lecherous look and said, My dear, are you tired? Would you like to do something interesting with your husband? However, my wife clearly didn't understand my meaning and associated it with certain reproductive activities. Blushing, she said, I won't do that with you. Hearing her words, thoughts of that's not what I meant kept running through my mind. While I had a slight intention, I didn't mean it so openly, but since it had come to this, I could only brace myself and take out something from my pocket. Come, come, dear, let me show you a precious treasure that can enhance your aptitude. Jiang Xianchu had never encountered such shameless behavior before. As I pulled out my precious item, Jiang Xianchu closed her eyes and swung in my direction. A red light flew towards my crotch at high speed. Fortunately, my true cultivation as an immortal allowed me to react in time and dodge, avoiding being castrated by this girl. Otherwise, I would have become a rootless man, forever barren. Hey, calm down. I just wanted to show you a talisman, I said, trying to explain. These two talismans are precious treasures that can enhance your aptitude. Hearing my explanation, Jiang Xianchu finally opened her eyes and looked carefully. I thought you wanted to do something shameful to me, but as far as I know, there are only attack defense, and auxiliary talismans. As for talismans that can enhance aptitude, only divine grade talismans can do that, right? Hearing my wife's abstract understanding, I went along and said, exactly, just like you thought. These two talismans have been passed down in my ancestral heritage. They can enhance your aptitude and cultivation. Those who have used them praise their effectiveness. However, Jiang Xianchu clearly didn't believe it. Divine grade talismans are only possessed by upper realms and major immortal families. Even if your family has them, you're only at the golden core realm. How could they easily give you such precious talismans? Besides, the idea that a single talisman can enhance cultivation is absurd. There couldn't possibly be such a heaven-defying artifact in this world. Just as Jiang Xianchu was about to continue her cultivation, I couldn't care about it anymore and slapped her face directly. Sometimes, violence can be a form of wisdom. In an instant, within the talisman, a 
highly pure life energy surged forth. Sensing this strange change, Jiang Xuanchu's expression changed drastically, and I began to explain. Now that you are my wife, we are one. You need to become stronger in cloud state to protect me. Why do we need to say so much between us? Quickly absorb the life essence and don't waste it. Jiang Xianchu was clearly not a fool. After a brief silence, she sat cross-legged on the ground, carefully sensing this energy. What a pure power. Once it entered my body, it repaired all the hidden problems within me. Even my meridians have expanded. Not only that, but all the acupoints in my body have been opened, and the bottleneck that troubled me for a long time has loosened. The speed of absorbing spiritual energy is also increasing. This is truly heaven-defying. Watching my wife's rapid advancement before me, I couldn't help but admire her. She was indeed the wife I chose, possessing a stronger willpower than Lin Bao and the others. She could absorb life essence spontaneously without my help. However, it seems that this talisman version of all living beings is slightly weaker. It couldn't even attract the thunder tribulation. Could it be that her aptitude hasn't improved? As Jiang Xuanchu's aura suddenly exploded, she successfully advanced to the seventh level of the nascent soul realm. Finally, she let out a sigh of relief. Do you have an aptitude stone? Take it out and let's test what your aptitude is now. As the color of the aptitude stone changed several times, it ultimately settled on a black 8th grade. Jiang Xianchu looked at the aptitude stone in front of her as if she had seen a ghost. It had actually improved. However, I wasn't completely satisfied with this result. After all, with my divine palm, my aptitude was only at the 8th grade, while Lin Bao's was of a moral grade. Could it be that the effectiveness of the all living beings talisman is only 20%? Jiang Xianchu was deeply moved in her heart. If he had used such a precious talisman himself, his aptitude and cultivation would have definitely improved by a large margin, and he wouldn't have been mocked by others. But instead, he gave it to me. I took advantage of the situation with that talisman. From now on, I will protect you with all my strength, including the matter of the bridal chamber. It was my capriciousness that caused you to be ridiculed. I will explain it to senior sister and the others. It's not that I can't do it, but I won't share a bridal chamber with you until there are feelings between us. Do you think I'm strange? Jiang Xianchu lowered her head after saying that. Seeing my wife in this state, I was also melted. I didn't expect this girl to be such a lovely person. Your strangeness is what I like the most. I haven't finished saying the cheesy love words I just made up, but the sudden violent shaking of the flying boat interrupted me. I immediately rushed towards my wife as the boat tilted. I reached out and landed on that unattainable mountain peak. I have to say, this feeling is really good. What's going on? What's happening outside? Jiang Xianchu was also blushing with embarrassment due to this awkward situation. She pushed me away and said, I, I'll go out and take a look. Outside the cabin, the senior sisters and junior sisters of the sect had already assembled. Who are you people? How dare you attack our flying boat? The sisters transformed into a combat state, and those half-human, half-ghost creatures in the sky cheered in excitement. This sect actually has so many women. Ha ha ha. I love playing with women the most, and that big gorilla is at the forefront, providing a sense of security. Fuck your mother. I'll send you all to heaven. A battle began, and my wife naturally joined in. She drew her sword and charged forward. But those half-human, half-ghost creatures kept increasing. These people are the demonic cultivators who are blocking the heavenly fragrance sex flying boat in the storyline. It's just that their aura feels a bit off. But they are only in the nascent soul realm and the big gorilla and others are also in the nascent soul realm. Moreover, the sect master of the heavenly fragrance sect is sitting in the transcendence realm. How could they end up in a situation where they have to escape from death? Could there be some hidden plot here? If I follow their aura and find their lair, I can dig out the hidden plot. Who knows, there might be some hidden rewards waiting for me to unleash. After some tracking, I also discovered their lair, and one of them happened to be going to relieve himself. What a lucky coincidence for me. While the lackey was still in the process of releasing himself, I went up and took him down directly, killing one nascent soul realm demonic cultivator and gaining 1200 domain value. I also took the opportunity to disguise myself as the lackey I just defeated and blend in with the group. Hey guys, I'm done peeing. What's going on now? The lackey kindly explained to me that because they obtained a spiritual weapon bestowed by their leader, the people above them can be endlessly resurrected. Who cares about nascent soul realm and transcendence realm? They're easy to handle. As for you, kid. You're really lucky. You came across this opportunity to enjoy beautiful women. And why do you have the scent of a woman on you? I didn't expect it to be discovered. You have a keen nose. I won't pretend anymore. I'm just here to take the lives of all of you. After effortlessly annihilating them, 
I will also destroy that divine weapon. This trip is truly a guaranteed profit. Ha ha ha. Congratulations, host, for disrupting the demonic cultivator's plan and altering the course of the pleasurable story. You have gained a temporary reward of 5,000 domain value. At the same time, the people who attacked my wife instantly froze in place, as my wife sealed their throats with a single sword strike. As for the big gorilla, it directly pounced on its male lover. Darlings, you better shower me with love later. She feels so wronged. In this world filled with dog food, Jiang Xianchu appeared weak, lonely, and immediately rushed into the room, seeking comfort and love from my presence. And now, it's time to pay attention and learn about the next steps of love. First and foremost, I expressed concern, are you hurt, to warm my wife's heart. Then, I swiftly took hold of my wife's hand, pulling her into a small room, and without hesitation, I uttered those words, take off your clothes. At this moment, my wife instantly became flustered, like a deer caught in headlights. Do I really have to undress? I am still a virgin. However, I must steadfastly continue and firmly shout, undress. My wife actually undressed for me to see. When my wife heard my firm attitude, she had no choice but to compromise. She directly took off her clothes from the front, but your strength should be lighter. Seeing the spring scenery in front of me, my eyes uncontrollably swept away in madness. Stop, stop. I asked you to take off your outer clothes for convenient healing, not to strip completely. Hearing my true intentions, my wife felt ashamed and unable to endure. She directly snatched the medicine bottle and threw me out. She forcefully closed the door. Why did she suddenly get angry? She clearly wanted to undress for me just now. Indeed, women are unreasonable. After seven days, the flying vessel I was on, finally arrived within the borders of Cloud State. Looking at the bustling scene before me, it can be considered arrived. This trip turned out to be quite eventful. A transmission echoed throughout the city. Welcome all talented individuals to the most prosperous capital of the ninth state, Cloud City. During the five-day grand event in the ninth state, the ruler of Cloud State has prepared exquisite food and fine wine. To await your arrival, the once in 300 years talent festival is still presided over by the governor of the ninth state. Fair and just, there is also good news. We have successfully invited a mysterious senior from Flying Immortal Mountain to come. This broadcast isn't referring to me, right? Could it be Ning Shu and the others? Afterward, a super large flying vessel landed steadily here. Could this be Amiao's father? This little girl must have some background. Looking at her demeanor and those familiar cat ears, it must be Amiao's father without a doubt. As Amiao's father arrived, the ruler of Ghost State also arrived late. Unexpectedly, she is a beautiful woman, but the anticipation of everyone has just begun. Have all the governors of the Ninth State arrived? Only the senior from Flying Immortal Mountain is missing. It is said that this senior is elegant and extraordinary, with an immortal temperament and Taoist aura. At this moment, a voice came from the crowd. Look, there is a person in the sky. They saw a man with an extremely pretentious aura slowly landing from the sky accompanied by countless petals. A loud voice shouted, The invincible Chinchanan, who has defeated all opponents, has arrived. The little fangirls who have been waiting for a long time are already excited. It's really the senior. The senior is so handsome. I want to have his child. However, as soon as he landed, a group of fangirls had already crowded around him. Senior. Senior. Did you really defeat an immortal with one palm? Senior. Do you have a wife? Meanwhile, the real Chinchan on here is feeling miserable like a little brother. But what surprised me is this guy actually pretends to be so convincing, almost making even me believe that he is the real Chinchanan. And those fangirls have already been deceived and confused by this imposter. And this imposter, upon seeing this, becomes even more arrogant and forgets himself. It seems that the original hasn't come. It's not in vain that I killed someone halfway and intercepted the invitation letter to start my plan legitimately. Under the influence of my bewitching demonic technique, liking will turn into deep love, admiration will turn into belief, and they may even worship me as a god. After all, I haven't had any accidents on this pretentious road. This time, I will definitely make good use of this fool, Chinchanan. This time, I'm sure to make a fortune. As for those who are deceived, what does it have to do with me? After all, they were deceived by the Chinchanan from Flying Immortal Mountain, detecting top-level impersonator, and then all the information about this imposter appears in my mind, detecting potential damage to host's reputation. Subsequently, Task 3 will be affected and cause significant harm to the system, deducting domain value 250. Damn, what's going on? Someone is imitating my face, and you deduct my domain value. Do you know how much damage that causes me? The imposter, feeling that his fame is not loud enough, 
directly throws out numerous elixirs and techniques, declaring that they are just small gifts for everyone, and this action makes those fangirls even more fanatical. Even the female disciples of the Heavenly Fragrance sect are fascinated and enchanted by him. They rush towards the imposter as if they've gone crazy, and my primary wife curiously asks, is the senior from Flying Immortal Mountain very famous? The gorilla also pounces, slaughtering twelve immortals. His legend is well known throughout the ninth state continent. Even a three-year-old child knows him. Whoever can get close to him is considered incredibly lucky. But as my primary wife, she is naturally unaffected by such external influences. I actually think my husband is more handsome than him. Just then, something that shocked my primary wife happened suddenly. She saw me flying in with a kick and directly kicked that imposter. Chin Shower, you little brat, if you don't find a way to make money for me, and still come out here to pick up girls, I'll kick you to death with one kick. The few senior sisters from the Heavenly Fragrance sect behind me were also dumbfounded. That Golden Core Realm kid actually dared to attack a senior. He's tired of living, isn't he? My primary wife was instantly stunned in place, feeling somewhat lost, as if she couldn't see the sun shining tomorrow. But being clever, I immediately nodded and bowed, saying, Ah, sorry, sorry, I mistook you for my good friend. Your back really looked similar. The imposter also knew it wasn't a good time to lose his temper, so he could only say, Oh, I see, no problem, no problem, I hope I didn't hurt you, little brother, sorry about that, big brother is really sorry, I'll be more careful next time. So, this lackey is impersonating me, ha, huh? watch how I deal with you later. The imposter quickly fled the scene with his fangirls in tow, apparently afraid of me kicking him again. The imposter's heart was already exploding with anger. I'll let you escape for now, you little worm, but after the nine state of N ends, I'll make you suffer a thousand deaths. But on the surface, he remained composed, exuding elegance at all times. However, my attacks didn't stop. I swung my big hand with full force and slapped him. Good, you, how dare you secretly flirt with girls here behind my back. You even made me mistake the wrong person just now. If it weren't for that brother's kind heart not holding a grudge against me just now. Otherwise, those fangirls seeing me dare to strike again with a flick of my hand. You fucking wanna repeat performance, huh? He is Senior Chen Chan on, and I immediately put on a show. You, are you Senior Chen? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I've admired you for a long time. I've long heard of your deeds. Senior Chen Chanan is magnanimous and compassionate. A true hero, an exemplar of the people. A person of your stature shouldn't mind a small fan like me, right? Although I'm truly sorry, I really admire you. This imposter is even more over the top with his acting skills. Through gritted teeth, he says, you should be more careful next time. Kid, if it weren't for the senior's magnanimity, I would break your legs in a minute. Kowt out and thank the senior for your great virtue. Meanwhile, that imposter is already on the verge of vomiting due to his grievance. It's not Chin Chanan's magnanimity, it's my magnanimity. If it weren't for Chin Chanan's reputation and prestige being useful to me, you would be dead by now, you little bastard. Don't let me catch you privately, I'll make sure you're dead. But this time, I wasn't so lucky. I was directly smashed by the gorilla alliance. My whole body twisted like a pretzel. And just then, the mother of the gorilla arrived. She started indiscriminately hammering away, creating a ruckus, making it look ungraceful. As long as you are strong yourself, your idol will eventually become your male pet. Let's go. If I remember correctly, he seems to be called Chin Chanan as well. Is he related to the senior from Flying Immortal Mountain? Or is it just a coincidence? The banquet in the cloud state is already filled with guests from all over the nine states. And the blue-haired man crawling on the high platform is none other than Yun Chang Zong, the ruler of Cloud State. I, Yun Chang Zong, will handle all the affairs of this nine-state event. Looking at the crazily crowing ruler of Cloud State on the stage, I also recalled, isn't this one of the main culprits who caused a tragic encounter for my wife in the story? This thing is not a good person at all. The surface of the Cloud State governor of a state appears refined and amiable, but behind the scenes, there is an unsightly side, and the Cloud State governor of a state continued to speak. Brothers and sisters, watch me offer a toast to the heavens. Let me toast everyone first. I hope you all have a good time. At this moment, an old man with a white beard said mysteriously, You're quite polite. As you know, we've had quite a few unpleasant incidents at the border in the past. But today is a rare gathering that happens once every 300 years. It's a grand event left by our ancestors in a time of peace among our states. I hope the ruler of Cloud State can manage a certain short-sighted individual. Then he downed the drink in his cup in one gulp. Don't play dirty tricks if you lose in the competition later. 
he added. The man next to him was infuriated by this veiled insult. Phone, you little piece of garbage with a sarcastic tone. Who do you think you are? You wanna fight? Am I supposed to be afraid of an old man like you? Seeing this, the beautiful woman stepped forward to defuse the situation. It's been many years. The two of you still have such a good relationship, she said. The arrogant man with his hair standing on end snorted like a little girl. Nangong Tianwen, I heard that you brought the Ao Miao Young Master as well. The Prodigy Tournament has been going on for 4,999 editions, and the opening of the 5,000th Prodigy Tournament is the day after tomorrow. Why not let Ao Miao Young Master give it a try? Nangong Tianwen quickly declined. Never mind. Never mind. My daughter has the cultivation of a foolish golden core realm. She won't join in this excitement, but I have noticed that the talents of this generation's prodigies are quite good. Maybe you can accept a closed-door disciple, like the kids from the Heavenly Fragrance sect. For example, Mingyi responded calmly, they have good spirit, but with their current strength, they probably won't be able to win the top spot in the prodigy tournament. Let them broaden their horizons on this trip. What I'm more interested in is who will become the top prodigy in this edition. Which state's prodigy will be able to achieve it? Suddenly, a loud and thunderous sound rang out. That must be our Thunder State's prodigy. Our previous prodigy champion was from Thunder State, and it will surely be the same this time. Our Thunder State's prodigy is the strongest. The old man with a white beard became furious. He said, bullshit, talking big without fear of spraining your tongue. The champion will definitely be from our wind state. Amidst their bickering, a clear voice echoed throughout the square. Senior Chinchanan has arrived. I saw that fake me walking with social steps, gradually making his way towards the high platform. Seeing this, all the governors of states stood up and went to greet the imposter. I had long heard of the name of Senior Chen from Flying Immortal Mountain. Today, upon seeing him, he truly possesses exceptional talent. Extraordinary indeed. Although they all appeared calm on the surface, in secret, they had tried countless times to probe and investigate, but each attempt ended in failure. And this imposter has also put on a good show on the surface, but in his heart, he has cursed for countless years. You cunning boys, trying to use your cultivation techniques to spy on me. Luckily, my techniques are exceptional, completely hidden and impenetrable. Seeing all the little lackeys in the field praising the imposter and criticizing me, I couldn't help but get angry. Damn it, clearly, I am the real deal. But as my grandeur unfolds, I rise up fiercely. That's right, Senior Chin is truly a divine being. I completely agree. He is electricity, he is light, he is the one and only myth. The surrounding lackeys, hearing my grandeur, were excited and said to me, Hey, buddy, I didn't expect you to be a bootlickers. May I ask for your esteemed name? I am Chen, a bootlicker in the Golden Core Realm. With all my nonsense, even my wife almost believed it. Hey, is that your real name? Of course not. Just fooling around with a couple of idiots. I heard my wife was speechless. When you start lying, you really sound convincing. Detected the host's skyrocketing reputation. Becoming renowned at the Nine State Gathering. Taking the first step towards task 3 accordingly. Reward. 10,000 domain value. Did this domain value just come out of nowhere? Should I boast even more to earn more? It seems I made the right choice not to immediately kill that imposter. As long as this guy keeps showing off, I'll complete task 3 faster. This is the ultimate tool for leveling up tasks. He he he. You like Chinchanan's identity, don't you? I'll lend it to you temporarily. Make good use of it, and earn me a lot of domain value. The governor of Cloud State and this imposter are also like-minded birds of a feather, they quickly started chatting with each other. Also, thanks to the senior for exterminating that green-haired ghost immortal. Otherwise, ghost state would have been in great turmoil. Yes, yes, the senior's act of annihilating an immortal with a single palm was truly spectacular. I heard that the green-haired ghost immortal had reached the immortal realm, but still lost to the senior. The imposter couldn't help but feel a tingling sensation when hearing the word immortal. If a real immortal comes, can I defeat or escape from them? The hot-headed man also presented his treasure to the imposter, seeking his help. Seeing the immortal treasure in front of him, the imposter's eyes sparkled. It's definitely a top-notch immortal treasure. I need to find a way to trick it into my hands. The other governors of states couldn't help but worry. If it's really successfully refined, I'm afraid he would be the strongest among the nine governors of states. Although the imposter was tempted by the immortal treasure in front of him, he still pretended to be composed. Why should I help you? The hot-headed man was not clueless either, and directly revealed his social connections and worldly wisdom. Instantly, golden light appeared, and the little lackeys around recognized it. This is the immortal phoenix herb, having it is like having an extra life. He actually gave away such a profound treasure. The hot-headed man was extremely satisfied with the reaction of the little lackeys around him, continuously waving the herb in front of the imposter. Senior, I wonder what you think about this. 
but the imposter didn't take it directly. Instead, he took out an immortal treasure from his embrace. The aura of that immortal treasure instantly swept the whole scene. Turns out it was also an immortal treasure. The surrounding audience members were amazed. Nangong Tianwen also recognized it. It was the monk's relic. Seeing that his show was in place, the imposter casually expressed that he didn't lack these things. The hot-headed man immediately faced a dilemma. Just then, the imposter followed up with a move of feigning indifference, stating that he didn't need anything, and offering his help. Indeed, the brainless hot-headed man eagerly agreed, and begged the imposter to accept his precious item. Then, the imposter turned to the little lackeys below the stage, saying he could refine the immortal treasure for everyone, with the condition that they would go to Flying Immortal Mountain to retrieve it after a month. Afterwards, the group of lackeys hurriedly offered their treasures to the imposter one after another. The imposter was thrilled, truly making a fortune. They really are a group of easily deceived fools. Just as the imposter was about to leave, the governor of Cloud State hurriedly approached, trying to persuade him to stay. Upon learning that there were still more gullible fools, the imposter immediately smiled and said he would gladly oblige. Seeing how smoothly this guy was deceiving and manipulating others, I couldn't help but applaud. That night, with a few flashes, I arrived outside this guy's house. Seeing him drooling over a pile of treasures, it was quite amusing. This guy is quite extravagant. Tomorrow, I'll deceive a few more gullible fools and make a big profit before leaving this place. But before leaving, I have to teach that insolent guy who offended me a lesson. So I asked him, is that so? How do you plan to teach him a lesson? But this fool, upon hearing my words, still didn't react and muttered to himself as he answered me. Of course, I'll first put a sack over that guy, beat him up severely, and let him know that I'm not someone to be messed with, then I'll sell that guy to the Harmony Sack, letting him be drained of his essence by the Enchantresses until he dies. As he became more and more excited while speaking, I just directly put him in the sack. At this moment, the imposter also realized it. Wait, who is it? I cooperatively answered. Of course, it's me, your grandpa. How can a tool like you be more arrogant than me? You're asking for a beating. Watch me beat you to death today. Under my relentless blows, the sound of this guy's screams continued to echo. Who exactly is this? Is it an enemy or the real Chinchanan? Or perhaps a robber? Damn it. I was caught off guard and betrayed. Maybe it's better to beg for mercy for now, and then find the right opportunity to deal with him. After a beating, the cries for mercy gradually faded away. Has this guy already passed out? After checking, it turned out that even the imposter couldn't withstand it, and I knocked him unconscious. Fortunately, I didn't kill him. After all, he still has some usefulness. As for these treasures you tricked them to come here. Naturally, I'll take care of them for you first. After all, dealing with such wickedness is my specialty. As for you, just continue obediently working for me. Since every time you deceive, I'll seize the opportunity to steal. I have my eyes on you, my precious. At this moment, a young lady outside the house opened the window. She heard that a big shot lived next door, but what she saw directly shocked her for 10,000 years. Outside the window, there was a handsome naked man hanging on the wall, exposed to the evening breeze. And upon feeling the coolness beneath his crotch, the imposter shivered and regained consciousness. The young lady beside her even screamed out, Pervert! Catch the pervert! There's a naked man here who's pretending to be Chen and acting like a pervert. Pervert! He directly broke free from the rope in his hand, and put on a calm demeanor, making a big fuss over nothing. A cultivator is not bound by trivial matters. This is my secret cultivation technique. Miss, please don't tell anyone. The young lady was dumbfounded by the imposter's words, thinking, could it be that by practicing the cultivation technique while being naked, the cultivation speed really increases? Although he seemed calm outside the house, once back inside, the imposter was furious. My spiritual weapon, my immortal treasure, my spiritual herbs, damn it, I'll definitely tear that thief into a thousand pieces. But soon he calmed down. It seems I can't leave now no matter what. I have to use Chinchanan's reputation to deceive more gullible fools. As for that guy, I'll make sure you die. At the same time, I let out a sneeze. Such a nuisance. I guess those fangirls at home are missing me. Ha. Huh. After the nine state summit ends, I'll return to my true form and visit them. Just as I was about to go back inside directly, the two people below caught my attention. This is my wife and there's actually another man. A man and a woman alone at night. Could it be that someone has stolen my thunder? And that man who's trying to steal my thunder is now threatening my wife. Sister Jiang Shen Chu, considering our long-standing relationship and mutual understanding between our families, how about you bring the Jiang family's clan token and marry me? As he spoke, he even reached out to touch her. With the merger of our Jiang and Feng families, with my father in charge, Uncle Jiang will surely be able to keep his life. 
and my wife didn't disappoint me either. She immediately slapped away the little lackey's dirty hands. You're dreaming, you despicable scum. Back when your Fong family was besieged by demonic cultivators, my Jiang family helped you escape multiple times, and countless elders lost their lives because of it. Now, not only are you ungrateful, you even want to kick my Jiang family when we're down. You and your Jiang family are a bunch of ungrateful bastards. Seeing this, I calmed down. Presumably, this little lackey is the root cause of the tragedy that befell my wife in the story. The little lackey, seeing that my wife wasn't buying it, revealed his filthy intentions outright. You're just a useless pawn. What use is the position of family head to you, instead of being swallowed up by others? It's better to obey me directly, considering you have some looks. I'll give you the title of a concubine. I'm actually saving you, giving you a home. Don't worry, after you follow my Jiang family, I'll take good care of you. My wife can no longer tolerate the dirty hands of this little lackey in front of her. She drew her sword, ready to cut into pieces, but I was faster. Hey, you dare to repeatedly harass my wife. Do you think I'm blind? What I didn't expect was, this little trash, facing death, actually dared to turn around and question me. Which bastard dares to disturb your grandpa's good time? I didn't waste any words with him either, and landed a punch directly on this kid's face. You even dared to question me. You've got the guts, huh? After knocking down the little lackey with a punch, my wife noticed my dashing figure, and directly shouted, Husband. My wife called me husband for the first time, and I was suddenly filled with excitement. Don't be afraid, wife. You have your husband here. Hey, that little trash. Heard you're good at fighting, huh? Stop pretending to be dead over there. But your body is so weak. I lightly kicked you and you flew away. My wife, this guy is trying to pull off a scam. Upon hearing my mocking words, the little lackey became enraged and charged at me. Who's this stinky brat? I'll kill you. Seeing this, my wife directly stood in front of me, blocking this imminent little lackey. Fighting within the nine state summit is prohibited. Violators will be disqualified from participating in the prodigy tournament. Seeing my wife, the kid stopped unwillingly. So, you're a useless guy with a pretty face. No wonder you dared to refuse my favor. Just wait and see. At the prodigy tournament, I'll make you pay. And my wife, she's not backing down either. If you dare to harm my husband, you will have a problem with my Jiang family. I have remembered everything you did to my husband today. One day, I will seek revenge. Afterwards, she grabbed my hand and led me into the house, and I provocatively looked at this little lackey. Children with wives are like treasures, while little lackeys without wives die early. Goodbye to you. My words directly shattered this little lackey's defense. It seems this kid, despite mingling for so many years, is still a virgin. In his heart, he secretly vowed to have him sent to the ugly women convention and make him suffer. But in the next moment, a flame ignited on this little lackey's shoulder, instantly engulfing his entire body. It was the same immortal flame that once burned the twelve immortal to ashes, and this little lackey was the first to be burned into a dried up stick, wailing in despair, turning into faint blue smoke. How could I possibly let it go when this little brat dared to steal my wife? I'm not that forgiving. Congratulations to the host for killing the central figure of the refreshing novel incident, completely changing Jiang Xuanchu's destiny, and receiving a system reward of 20,000 domain value points. I escorted Jiang Xuanchu back to her room, and from the adjacent room came indescribable sounds. I escorted her to the room and prepared to leave, but she grabbed my wrist and said, Wait, Ben, blushing, she tightly hugged my arm, and brought me into her room, pressing me against the wall, closely snuggling in my embrace, and said, you heard what happened between me and Fong Outian just now, right? Why did they do that? Jiang family didn't do anything to offend them. I comforted her. Silly girl, in this world, everyone is driven by their own interests. When it comes to the rise and fall of families, it's a matter of winners and losers. Since they have the intention to swallow up the Jiang family, you just need to turn the tables and swallow them. Don't worry too much. Jiang Xianchu couldn't free herself from leaning against me at this moment. It seems that between husband and wife, even if they don't consummate their marriage, some physical contact can enhance their feelings. So, could I indulge a little more, without any problems? Immediately, Jiang Xianchu leaned in and kissed me. Several hours later, Jiang Xianchu shyly turned around. It's getting late, let's rest quickly. As a result, I spent a night in great agony. Within the Cloud State Mountains, a set of dry bones was absorbing the energy of countless extraordinary souls. After all this time, they only transmitted this little bit of extraordinary soul to me. What a bunch of useless people. The red-haired woman beside him agreed and said, I've said it before, the mortal realm is just a group of useless maggots. They should all be eradicated. Fortunately, we obtained that thing in advance, and the treasure in her hand is the Azura Command. 
capable of commanding 100,000 heroic spirits from the upper realm. She dripped a drop of her blood onto the command token, and as the command token successfully recognized its master, the red-haired woman chanted a spell, awakening the dark spirit from the depths of time and space, and the soldiers who emerged from the ground exuded an unparalleled aura. Seeing the formidable soldiers before them, the red-haired woman exclaimed domineeringly, We're going to the Nine State Summit this time, to seize the Nine State Cauldron. The skeletal soldiers below also shouted in unison, As you command, master. That voice shook the heavens, revealing an unmatched aura. The next day, the highly anticipated Heavenly Pride competition officially began. According to the scoring system for participation, individuals only need to reach 500 points within the specified time to enter the finals. Each token of an extraordinary soul is worth 10 points. The disciples in the arena also demonstrated their skills. Vines swept out one after another, instantly knocking out two disciples. On my wife's side, every swing of her sword was a critical hit, overturning countless trash. As for the gorilla world, they had the advantage of size, pressing down on the entire field like mount. One by one, the female disciples of the Heavenly Fragrance sect became a beautiful scenery in the competition. The group of lackeys discovered me, a precious Golden Core Realm cultivator, while hiding and seeking. They couldn't wait and rushed towards me. Seeing the bald donkey charging at me, I transformed my palm into a claw, and swiftly grabbed under the donkey's body with a move called Monkey Stealing Peaches. That's how I, without revealing my cultivation and causing harm, obtained the first token in this round. As I threw each lackey out of the arena, the sound of resentment echoed throughout the competition venue. Chen, the bootlicker, I have nothing in common with you. I paid no attention to the yelling of these lackeys. Then call the police if you want. A black hand took advantage of my defenselessness and grabbed at my back. I had no intention of turning my head for this, because I had already entrusted my back to my most trusted wife. And my wife didn't disappoint my trust. She swiftly appeared and knocked down the lackey. Don't touch my husband. Now I have 200 points. I still need to keep going. As the competition became more intense, more and more Heavenly Pride contestants were thrown out. As someone with the strength of the Golden Core Realm, I became the focus on the field. The red-headed man shouted, Yun Chang Zong, why haven't the three immoral family sects from Cloud State arrived yet? Could it be that they don't give face? Suddenly, a shout rang out. Elders from the Shur family, Tang family, and Zhong family, come. Yun Chang Zong calmly replied to the red-headed man, they have arrived, haven't they? As the three elders arrived, the old man with a white beard felt slightly embarrassed. This pressure even overshadowed Senior Chen, a true horizontal strike immortal without a doubt. Yun Chang Zong saw his eldest brother appear, and quickly went up to act as a bootlicker. Then a sly man started talking about Eternal Life Bodies and the Eternal Life Sect. The preliminary round finally came to an end. The old man with a white beard was shocked that I, as a Golden Core Realm cultivator, made it to the finals. The green-clothed man mocked nonchalantly. This competition is getting more and more rubbish. Even a Golden Core Realm cultivator can make it to the finals. But soon, this man in green clothes noticed something. This attire. This person is from the Eternal Life Sect. There are actually remnants of the Eternal Life Sect here. People around began to cast surprised glances, displaying immense shock. Could this kid be the one who was saved by Feng Chi in that day, the suspected eternal life body? One by one, the old folks started to target me, claiming that they needed to consume the eternal life body to resist the immortals of the higher realm. The man in green clothes became even more excited. My big blade has been itching with anticipation. You stinky kid. Strong malicious intent detected against the host. With the prompt from System Dad, my gaze penetrated all obstacles and looked at the group of gullible fish. Have the little fish taken the bait? Congratulations to the 10 Heavenly Pride contestants from Cloud State, the 8 from Thunder State, the 10 from Wind State, and the 2 from Ghost State for successfully advancing to the finals. The finals will begin in half an hour, and the rules are one-on-one -on -one duels drawn by lots. Just as the host was leading the contestants to proceed with the next round of drawing lots, Yun Chang Zong suddenly interrupted, saying, Wait a moment, other nascent Soul Realm participants can participate in the upcoming drawing of lots, but not that Golden Core Realm kid. Don't ask why, I just don't like him. Upon hearing Yun Chang Zong's clucking sound, the surrounding lackeys voiced their doubts about me. That's right, so many nascent Soul Realm cultivators were eliminated, yet that Golden Core Realm kid made it to the next round. He must have cheated, the Lord of Cloud State said. That Golden Core Realm kid, we suspect you have taken forbidden drugs disrupting the rules of the Heavenly Pride competition, and tarnishing the reputation of our nine state gathering. We, as governors of the states, will conduct an interrogation and investigation on you. As for the other Heavenly Pride contestants, continue with the final battles. Upon witnessing this, my wife immediately stood by my side, 
grabbing my arm. Husband, I'll go with you. I'll prove your innocence. Even if the sky falls, I will be by your side. Seeing the earnest and adorable appearance of this silly girl, a warm feeling rises in my heart. It's alright, I'll handle it myself. You focus on participating in the upcoming competition. Maybe, the esteemed governors of the states have misunderstood and wronged me. Seeing that my wife is still unwilling to give up and wants to speak again, I put on the domineering demeanor of a cool male protagonist I learned from movies, lightly placing a finger on my wife's lips, and naturally wrapping her in my embrace. In the upcoming finals, you must work hard, and bring back the championship for me. Let me experience the taste of being the husband of the top heavenly pride. You won't disappoint me, right? Speak up, and I'll leave with a swish of my sleeves, leaving behind my handsome figure. And my wife, of course, easily falls for my little trick. I will definitely win the championship, and you will return safely later. I have a surprise prepared for you. Afterward, with an arrogant stride, I step into the so-called Grand Hall. Inside the Grand Hall, all the old folks, including the Horizontal Strike Immortal, have gathered. The invisible pressure weighs upon me. Previously, Brother Green Snake mentioned the downfall of the Eternal Life Sect, which is related to the three major immortal families in Cloud State. However, the strength of the Eternal Life Sect is sufficient to rival the immortal families, so it seems there are hidden reasons for the downfall of the Eternal Life Sect. A group of hypocritical pseudo-gentlemen, solely driven by self-interest, abandoning their own kind. Now they have the audacity to sit under the banner of justice. It truly disgusts me. That old guy also acts high and mighty. Kid, why aren't you kneeling and paying respects? To this, I show no fear at all. Old man, I only kneel before the dead. I'm afraid you can't handle it. You suspect that I used forbidden objects, right? Why don't you dare to come and check? Seeing me being so arrogant, Yun Changzong also becomes excited. Such an arrogant kid, truly ignorant of the heights of heaven and the depths of the earth. The onlookers quietly start discussing when they see this scene. Is this kid crazy? Our nine states can survive because of the existence of the immortal families. What does this kid know? The heavenly fragrance sect people also start discussing. Chen, the bootlicker, turned out to be such a person. I knew from the beginning that he wasn't a good person, the sect master also firmly says. No matter what happens later, he is not a member of our heavenly fragrance sect. He's not worthy. Then the pink-haired woman suggests. Although he cannot cultivate the eternal life body, all disciples within the eternal life sect are in the transcendence realm. To ensure nothing is amiss, let's check his identity and cultivation level again. Well, since you're not pretending anymore, I won't pretend either. Soon, my cultivation breakthroughs the nascent soul realm, and reaches the peak of the transcendence realm. Seeing my cultivation continuously ascending, the creepy old man can't help but laugh uncontrollably. Truly the folly of the eternal life sect. Now, there are dozens of constraints to accuse you of. Yun Changzong, with a righteous appearance, is ready to watch the show, and that strongest green robe leak is still savoring the tea in his hand, completely unaware that death is getting closer and closer, but my cultivation doesn't stop there, it continues to ascend, with the upheaval caused by the upper realm and the lower realm, you old folks don't want to unite against external threats, but still try to take advantage and attempt to reach for the sky, even harming the eternal life sect, the pink haired woman sees my cultivation continuously rising, her confident demeanor completely gone, what's going on with this kid, but the green robed leak remains indifferent, transcendence realm cultivation, ha, huh, that further indicates that he is a core disciple, that's a good thing, and the old man instantly gained confidence, slamming the stool and standing up, tell me, following that is the pressure emanating from the group of lackeys, but this level of pressure is nothing more than fluttering my cloak, Jiang Xianchu should have started the competition by now, as long as she can obtain the top position, task 1 will definitely be completed, as for task 3, there is no clear direction anyway, the most important thing now is the matter concerning the eternal life sect, the cliched plot of pretending to be weak and striking back should come to an end, interrogation of ignorant youths, pressing them to commit crimes, such web novel tropes hold no sway over me, Chin Chanan, and the pink haired woman is dumbfounded, why is this guy's cultivation still continuously rising, in just a moment, it has already reached the refining void realm, and the green robe leak teases the old man next to him, look at how frightened you've made him, he can't even speak, kid, don't be afraid, as long as you tell me the whereabouts of the eternal life body, I guarantee your safety, I see you have a good relationship with that girl on the field, is she your wife? We wouldn't mind having a chat about life in a little dark room with her. If the young friend doesn't cooperate, you'll probably end up as nothing but bones. Immediately, 
he burst out with his killing intent, and the nine governors in the surroundings instantly collapse under this momentum. Seeing and acting so smug, even overshadowing my presence, I immediately felt unhappy, directly reaching out and grabbing him. Even the leak didn't have time to react, before I grabbed him in my hand and slammed him mercilessly onto the ground. I'm telling you, as an ant, you should have a bit of self-awareness, okay? Get your position straight. Unexpectedly, even after receiving my lesson, this leak still hasn't recognized his own place. He started cursing at me, while also launching an angry strike towards me. Seeing this punch that seemed like a slow motion replay, I casually blocked such a feeble punch. No one wants you even if you're bouncing cotton. Let me show you what a real man's punch looks like. Then, I proceeded to showcase my personal boxing performance. There aren't many people in the mortal realm who can take a punch from me and survive. After a severe beating, fear finally appeared in the eyes of this leak. Forget it. I'm done playing. In your next life, reincarnate properly and face reality. I only increased the input slightly, and the entire Cloud State City collapsed completely under my earth-shattering strike. The lackeys who were just throwing stones into a well were instantly dumbfounded in place. Even the boss who had just become a horizontal strike immortal had no power to fight back in his hands. Monster. He's a monster. As the protagonist, I didn't bother paying attention to the thoughts of these insignificant little fish. I walked straight towards the highest seat. The power show from earlier has already been demonstrated. Now it's time for my personal show of arrogance. Upon detecting the host defeating the only horizontal strike immortal, it intimidated the governors of the states and the sect masters of the surrounding sects, taking a big step towards completing task 3. Reward, 20,000 domain value. Oh, the system daddy is so generous. The ants below. From now on, this place is Chinchanan's paradise. Next, we'll enter the QA session. If anyone dares to go against me, making up lies and fabrications, I'll take your lives. And those lackeys who were just interrogating me moments ago could only barely withstand the overwhelming aura I casually released. Isn't this guy Chin Bootlicker? Why did he become Chin Chanan again? He shares the same name as Senior Chin Chanan and possesses great strength. Could he be the real Senior Chin Chanan? Just as they were shocked, my questions followed suit. First question, who is the mastermind behind the destruction of the Eternal Life Sect? However, these lackeys seemed to have rehearsed it beforehand, as not a single person spoke, and they collectively fell into silence. No one wants to talk, huh? It seems like you all are quite skilled in protecting each other. I suppose you must have done plenty of sneaky things like this before. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you all, but you're going to die together. May it bring solace to the spirits of the deceased disciples of the Eternal Life Sect. After speaking, I released the pressure from my body, and those lackeys couldn't withstand it any longer. Instantly, their blood surged, and they coughed up blood like dogs at death's door. Where is the authority of the governors of the states now? At this moment, the most arrogant and despicable old man from earlier was the first to speak up. Big brother, big brother, don't kill me. I'll talk, I'll talk. It's the Fudu Demon sect. They are the masterminds. They forced us to do this in order to obtain the eternal life body. Feng Qiyun was also not someone we approached at Bronze Ancient Mountain. He was captured by people from the Fudu Demon sect. With someone breaking the silence, the rest of the people began to beg for mercy like bootlickers, actively pleading with me. This matter has nothing to do with us. Senior, please have mercy and spare our lives. I am willing to serve you wholeheartedly, devoting myself to you. Yun Changzong couldn't help but feel contempt for these people, seeing how eagerly they pleaded. What a bunch of fools. He is from the Eternal Life sect. Do they think he will spare us just because we beg for mercy? He will definitely kill us to avenge the fallen disciples of the Eternal Life sect. I don't want to die. I need to think of a way. Seeing them begging for mercy made me feel disgusted. Do you think I'm a fool being taken advantage of? They still think they can deceive me at a time like this. Very well. You can all die. Seeing me being so decisive and ruthless, Yun Changzong became even more terrified. This guy is insane. Doesn't he know that killing us will cause chaos in the nine states? Who can stop him? The opportunistic individuals from the Heavenly Fragrance sect have also cowered together. It's over. It's over. Now that he's gone berserk, we're finished. The nine states gathering is not yet over. I suggest the host temporarily refrain from killing them. If we kill them, it will pose some difficulty in completing task 3. With the prompt from System Daddy, I calmed down as well. It seems it's not the right time yet. These people still have some use it seems. So let's keep them around a little longer. After the task is over, we can send them to heaven. At this moment, the imposter who pretended to be me, boldly walked in. I heard that the Golden Core Realm kid took forbidden drugs. So I came here specially to see this evildoer. You insolent brat, for your previous offense against me. Now I have the perfect opportunity to kick you when you're down. Today, I will make sure you can't die any deader. 
but everything that came into the imposter's view left him dumbfounded. What's going on here? Yun Chang Zong, upon seeing the sudden arrival of this person, felt a spark of hope ignite within him. He must be the real senior Chen. He will surely be able to take care of this lunatic in front of him with ease. Then, without hesitation, he charged towards the imposter. Senior Chen, please intercede for us. He is concealing his cultivation and trying to kill us. Senior, please kill him quickly. He is an evil practitioner and the imposter didn't hold back, speaking directly. Don't worry, as long as I'm here, he won't have a chance to cause trouble. Damn it, I was just looking for an opportunity to kill him, but I didn't expect him to come to me willingly. It's perfect for me to show off in front of these governors of the states, making it easier for me to continue bluffing and deceiving in the future. I heard you're quite fierce, kid. These lackeys charged at me directly. Evil practitioner, take this. Feeling confident, Chin Bootlicker, go to hell. Seeing this imposter who has been pretending to be me for a while, I finally caught up with you. Others are off limits to kill, but I was just thinking about letting off some steam. Looks like you didn't take the path to heaven, and instead barged into hell. With just a thought, I instantly crushed this imposter underfoot. How dare you show off in front of me? Let me show you what it means to have your face slapped at the speed of light. And then, this imposter writhed in pain on the ground, screaming in agony one after another. The hearts of the surrounding governors of the state sank to the bottom of the abyss. How could this happen? How could Senior Chin fail to kill this Chin bootlicker? A terrifying thought emerged, and I steadily approached the imposter. You piece of shit, do you like using my name? Finally, the imposter recovered from the shock. Trembling all over, he asked, Who are you? I am the one who exterminates immortals, and destroys ghost immortals, the most badass in the mortal realm. Chin Chanan, after hearing me admit it with my own mouth, everyone finally realized, the kneeling lackey before them was just an imposter, manipulated and deceived by this imposter. So, Chin Bootlicker is not just sharing the same name as Chin Chanan Sr., but is actually the real Chin Chanan. Regret and unwillingness surged in the hearts of the Heavenly Fragrance sect and others. You insolent brat, I wanted to see how far you could go, while using my name. But alas, you've painted yourself into a corner. However, you are the boldest person I've ever seen. The imposter's heart was filled with scenes from the past, flashing before his eyes. No wonder he kicked me in front of everyone. No wonder I was inexplicably beaten up in the room. No wonder the things I worked hard to deceive were stolen. It turns out the clown was me all along. The imposter, who understood everything, no longer hesitated. He took out his treasured life-saving artifact and prepared to escape. But how could I let the duck that was in my mouth fly away? With a gentle grab in the air, that imposter gloriously went to heaven. And this grand performance naturally wouldn't be complete without my specialty act. Barbecue party. Instantly, the corpse was engulfed in flames, turning into billowing smoke. Congratulations to the host for killing a Transcendence Realm 8th level cultivator, earning 2000 domain value, detecting that the host has once again shocked the governors of the states, and the heads of top sex. An additional reward of 30,000 domain value is granted. Then, I shifted my gaze to Yun Chan Zong, who couldn't stop screaming. It seems you enjoyed calling my name earlier, didn't you, little kid? Yun Chang Zong also knew his situation well, begging for mercy while kneeling frantically. Great hero, handsome guy, immortal, please spare my life. Seeing the adorable Yun Chang Zong terrified like this, I stepped forward to comfort him. Don't worry, how could I bear to kill you? Detecting the completion of Task 1, assisting Jiang Xianchu in becoming the top genius of the nine states, becoming the man behind him, the progress is nearing completion, rewarding the host with 30,000 domain value. Seeing such good news, I couldn't help but feel ecstatic. So, I gently touched Yun Chang Zong, using a compressed version of the one Yang finger technique. Then, I turned towards those few lackeys and said, let's all go to the final arena. Remember to smile, clarify that I didn't take any banned substances. Those lackeys quickly nodded and bowed, agreeing to my request. The competition on the arena had already reached a heated stage. Jiang Xianchu continued to use her familiar move, and with the final decisive strike from my wife, those lackeys instantly exploded, successfully claiming the championship of the Prodigy Grand Competition. Indeed, my wife is truly handsome. But just then, the sky suddenly tore open, revealing a large hole. Countless lightning bolts erupted, seemingly tearing the sky apart. From within that void, a figure slowly descended. It seems I arrived just in time, detecting the reincarnated child, the Azura's son. It seems there are new suckers coming willingly. The surprises just keep coming. The lackeys on the arena were irritated by the sudden appearance in the sky. Who let this madman out of the mental hospital? Someone, come and handle this. The reincarnated child, the Azura's son. This is the second reincarnated child after the bald donkey. Why are these guys flooding into the mortal realm, one after another? 
What are they after? The governors of the states saw the person in the sky, who only had Transcendence Realm cultivation, and their confidence grew instantly. Damn it, how dare a mere Transcendence Realm act so arrogantly? It seems like you're tired of living. The Azura's son didn't show any response to their provocation. He seemed completely indifferent to their barking. The rest of the governors of a state became irritated by his dismissive attitude. Young man, it seems you haven't experienced the harsh reality of society. Then stay here forever. Just then, behind the Azura's son, numerous ferocious and grotesque skeletons and demons emerged, chattering and making noise. They were truly annoying. Are the ants of the mortal realm only capable of making empty threats like this? Perfect. All nine governors of a state have gathered. Go, kill them all. With a command given, the skeleton soldiers rushed forward, competing to kill the people on the ground. A battle of unprecedented scale had officially begun, but those cultivators from peaceful times were no match for these monsters. They were instantly defeated one by one. Soon, more and more cultivators abandoned their dignity and scattered in all directions, trying to escape. Help, mom, save me. I don't want to die. But their desperate cries sounded feeble and fragile in the face of the skeleton army. The Azura's son in the air became even more annoyed. The wailing of these ants is too ear-piercing, and utterly lacking elegance. Hurry up and clear these insects away and bring the nine-state cauldron of them. However, the skeleton army couldn't quite handle the real powerhouses. With a wave of Mingy's hand, the soldiers were instantly annihilated. The strength of these monsters ranged from nascent soul realm to transcendence realm at most. Quick, take away all the nascent soul realm prodigies. We can't let them die here. No, their numbers are too great. They have surrounded the entire nine state venue. There's nowhere to escape. I can only hope that Amiao, that girl, obediently stays on the flying boat and doesn't sneak out. But the lackeys in the arena were filled with despair in their eyes. Are we going to die here like this? I have elderly and young ones depending on me. Big brother, spare me. Seeing the desperate situation before him, the old man with a white beard felt hopeless. It seemed that only by calling upon Senior Chinchanan could this be resolved. As the red-haired man witnessed one prodigy after another dying before him, he became increasingly furious. He charged directly towards the Azura's son. You, with only Transcendence Realm cultivation, once I eliminate you, these monsters will disappear. Watching the reckless young man charging towards him, the Azura's son didn't even move a muscle. What a foolish guy. Suddenly, a heavily armored skeleton soldier blocked the Azura's son's path, and with a spear, pierced through the charging young man. The heavily injured red-haired man trembled as he said, there are monsters that can rival the peak of the refining void realm as well. This number, it's just terrible. In a flash of blade light, my wife severed a skeleton soldier in half at the waist. But in the next moment, the severed skeleton soldier instantly healed itself. Can't these monsters be killed? No, they are too strong. My husband is only at the peak of the golden core realm. I need to quickly go to his side and protect him. Suddenly, a tremendous pressure descended, and Jiang Xianchu was suppressed by this formidable force unable to move. Behind him, a figure swiftly appeared behind my wife, striking down fiercely, trying to sneak attack my wife. Ha, huh? did you get my permission? Then, with a slight movement of my fingertips, that figure instantly dissipated into domain value and disappeared. Host kills the upper realm's azure soul, gaining 5,000 domain value. Just as I was thinking, my wife, captivated by my magnificent entrance, fell backwards. At that moment, a system prompt suddenly came through. After completing the mission, the host and Jiang Xianchu will no longer have any contact. Forcibly intervening will bring adverse effects to the host. With the system's unexpected prompt, I hesitated and didn't dare to rush forward. What if it really harms my wife? But now is not the time to ponder over this. So, I said to my wife, go to a safe place and stay there. Protect yourself. Husband, you should be hiding behind me. I will protect you until the end. The old man with a white beard also regarded me as the most dazzling light in his life. Senior, please lend us your hand and save us. The people from Heavenly Fragrance sect also realized the situation. Yes, we still have Senior Chen. He can definitely exterminate all these monsters. Senior Chen, please lend us your hand and save us. Yun Changzong shouted like a little girl. Senior, save us. You are so kind and lovely. You surely wouldn't bear to see us die here. My wife, witnessing the governors of states, who are the pillars of their respective regions, begging me for help, also fell into shock and confusion. Why? Why? Everyone has placed their hopes on my husband, and I heard those individuals who once attempted to harm me now begging me for help like bootlickers. It's truly laughable. Is this what it feels like to stand at the pinnacle of the world? Being invincible is indeed lonely. This game is too easy. Crushing everything is the key. Ha ha ha. The Azura Sun, seeing those people placing their hopes on me, mocked them even more. Just a bunch of worms. Truly makes this immortal laugh till my teeth fall out. And those experienced packets took the opportunity to attack me. 
seems like it's time for me to show off. One young finger, a golden light shot straight through the sky. The skeleton army that had just overwhelmed everyone was completely annihilated by my finger in midair. The sound of domain value being credited continuously resounded. The lackeys had never witnessed such an exaggerated scene before. All of them stunned and dumbfounded. Damn, this is so cool. This is the difference between me and the immortal. The Azura's son looked at me with a slightly higher regard. Does this little brat still possess some strength? While these little girls were still searching for my figure, I had already appeared in front of them effortlessly, raising my hand and delivering a slap that had a 100% chance of hitting. You people from the upper realm, you really irritate me. A loud smack resounded, striking the face of this little girl hard. I'll make you stop pretending with me. Do you know that this is my paradise? These little girls were even more surprised in their hearts. How is his speed and strength so strong? I couldn't even put up any resistance. This can't be possible. And I directly slammed this little girl into the ground with a single palm. But this little girl truly lives up to being the reincarnation of a divine child. She managed to survive under my devastating palm. This little girl became even more furious. Just a lowly bug from the lower realm dares to strike me. Before the Azura could finish speaking, I immediately stomped on her. Eat shit. Everyone felt dumbfounded by the overwhelming power and waves of shockwaves in the battle. Can a person really possess such power? And at this moment, everyone became aware of my true identity. My wife also discovered the truth. I had sensed that my husband was extraordinary before, but I never expected him to be senior Chen. Then I grabbed the little girl. Hey, you people from the upper realm, what is your purpose for reincarnating in the lower realm? Faced with my interrogation, this little girl showed no fear. She even spat at me. What do you think you are? Dare to question me? Immediately, she crushed the token in her hand. Elder Foodie, kill him. Suddenly, a terrifying pressure emanated from the hands of this little girl. The lucky lackeys around us were instantly suppressed by this aura. This is the oppressive power of an immortal. This time, it seems to be an immortal from the upper realm. We're completely finished now. This pressure is even stronger than Senior Chen's power. Then, a green figure emerged and started mocking. Jade Azura, you've reincarnated once and you've become weaker. You even resorted to using my trump card to deal with the ants from the lower realm. You still need my help. What a waste. Without hesitation, the ghostly face directly attacked my chest. Then, a green light appeared in my chest, sending me flying backward. After crashing through numerous walls, I finally came to a stop, seeing me being defeated in a single blow. Everyone's hearts sank. The little girls, upon seeing the ghostly face preparing to taunt, immediately cursed at it. Cut the bullshit and kill him quickly, detected the presence of an immortal from the upper realm, not suppressed by the nine state laws. The safety of the avatar's life is threatened. Would you like to exchange for a higher level avatar? The host currently has a total of 200,000 domain value. Given the current crisis, if the domain value is insufficient, it can be borrowed, but it will require double repayment in the future. The value of an immortal soldier avatar is 100,000 domain value. The value of an immortal general avatar is 200,000 domain value. The value of an immortal commander avatar is 500,000 domain value. There is currently a discount promotion, all at half price. Seize the opportunity, it won't come again. Would you like to exchange? The ghostly face approached me, continuing its mockery. You didn't die from my attack, you little piece of trash. You're quite impressive. Yun Chang Zong, seeing that even I couldn't protect myself, gave up resistance entirely. Be utterly destroyed. I'm done playing. Do whatever you want. You guys, the so-called horizontal strike immortals, are nothing more than a group of frogs clinging to survival with the nine state laws. If it weren't for the protection of the nine state laws, even my old yellow dog at home could wipe you out. But I am an immortal with special privileges, unaffected by the nine state laws, able to unleash my full power. Let me see how strong you, who are hailed as the strongest in the lower realm, can withstand me. My wife, seeing me in imminent danger, rushed towards me without hesitation. Darling, and with a single sword strike, she knocked down the skeletal soldier blocking her path. Get lost. Upon seeing a mere nascent soul realm dare to step forward, that Chinchanan I couldn't defeat, a waste dares to be so arrogant. Go and kill her for me. Deduct 300,000 domain value to exchange for earthly immortal, the pinnacle avatar of the immortal general. At the moment of successful exchange, I felt the immense power surging through my body. What's the point of exchanging for an immortal? If you're going to recharge, recharge with the most expensive one. After all, I want overwhelming power. The ghostly face also sensed this terrifying power, and for a moment, it stood there in a daze. 
not knowing what had happened. Hey, you, did you just say, I'm not even as good as your pet dog? Today, I'll make sure to beat you until even your mother won't recognize you. Seeing this, the ghostly face no longer hesitated, directly summoning its own treasure. Damn it, something's wrong with this kid. Gotta take him out in an instant. Seeing the absurd self-confidence of this thing, I couldn't help but laugh. It took me so much effort to accumulate all this domain value, and it's all being wasted because of this damn beast. Can you withstand this kick worth 200,000 domain value? Then, as expected, the ghostly face was directly slapped away by me. After gliding intimately with the ground for a hundred meters, it finally collided with a high wall outside and came to a stop. The recovered ghostly face finally recognized reality, no longer arrogant, but turned into a helpless woman. What have you done? How did you become so powerful? And the remaining half of the sentence was swallowed. Clearly, you were so weak before, while the lackeys were still feeling aggrieved. I instantly appeared in front of him, flashing towards him, carefully examining him. It's really a pity. If I were in the flying immortal mountain, I would have given you a boost, and you would have gained a lot of domain value. Since I can't wait for you to grow up and reap you, let me torment you thoroughly, and taste my newly developed ultimate move, the Turtle School's Kamehameha Wave. The lackey, feeling that even pretending to be pitiful wasn't appreciated, instantly flew into a rage. Don't you have any sympathy, you bastard? It seems I have to use my true skills. Immediately, he quickly formed hand seals with both hands, and unexpectedly, a skeleton appeared behind the lackey out of thin air. Ha ha ha, go to hell, but my show-off skills have no limits. I casually waved my hand, and golden lights radiated from my body, giving off a solemn aura. Accompanied by the sound of chanting, the golden lights quickly spread throughout Cloud City, and everything that the golden lights touched turned to ashes, disappearing completely. The best way to deal with ghosts and monsters, is indeed the radiant golden light. When the lackey saw me again, with just a casual wave of my hand, I purified all those overwhelming ghosts and monsters. They were dumbfounded. What is this thing? The leaders of the various provinces once again revised their perception of me. Senior Chin is truly unrivaled in the world. In comparison, we are nothing but ridiculous ants. The girl widened her eyes, as if she couldn't believe what she was seeing. Elder Ghostly Face is an immortal at the immortal general level. How could he be unable to defeat this guy? I must be dreaming. How could this lackey dare to continue? In his heart, he couldn't help but think that this guy was too powerful. Can't defeat him can't defeat him, we better hurry and run away with Shura. Luckily, I brought an escape treasure with me when I left. Without a second's delay, he grabbed Shura and was about to escape. Seeing this naive little cutie, still thinking about escaping right under my nose. Isn't it a bit too late, sweetheart? Immediately, I pointed my finger, and a laser shot out, instantly killing this lackey in an instant. Congratulations to the host for killing an immortal general, gaining 1 million domain value, and obtaining a salted fish treasure chest as a drop. The girl, seeing her biggest reliance die before her eyes, was overwhelmed with shock and started screaming madly. Seeing the girl in front of me, I quickly interrupted. Stop screaming, it's annoying. Now, can you tell me the purpose of so many people from the upper realm reincarnating into the lower realm? Replying to the senior, our purpose is to seize the nine state cauldron. Why do people from the upper realm want the nine state cauldron? Whoever possesses the nine state cauldron, essentially controls the destiny of the nine state continent, dominating the entire continent. Having a piece of the lower realm is of great help to future ascension to the position of the fairyland lord. Besides me, there are many others ascending to the nine state continent. As long as the nine state cauldron is still there, the competition will never cease and those governors of a state each have a state cauldron, and the nine state cauldrons combined form the nine state cauldron. Upon hearing the girl's explanation, the governors of a state panicked in their hearts, afraid that I would kill them in the next second, and take away the nine state cauldron. No wonder the system prevented me from killing them, so the nine state cauldron is on them. After the girl finished explaining everything, she also asked, can I go now? Of course, you can go die. I didn't say you could live just because you finished explaining everything. Congratulations to the host for killing a Transcendence Realm Cultivator, gaining 2000 domain value. The remaining domain value is being calculated. Please wait. In the Shura Fairyland, a lackey rushed into the main hall like a madman, reporting to the Immortal Lord, Jade Azura, and the Immortal General's life tokens have shattered. These two worthless individuals who bring more harm than good, died at the hands of the ants in the lower realm. Go and summon Hong Luo for me. I have something to instruct her to do. With Shura dead, my plans for many years have become a joke in other fairylands. I must quickly send a new prodigy to reincarnate, so that the treasure land of the Nine State belongs to me. In another fairyland, a young lady was reporting to a graceful figure. Immortal Lord, the spies from Shura Fairyland have reported back. Shura Fairyland's reincarnated prodigy and guardian's life tokens have shattered. There is no possibility of reincarnation anymore. 
Upon hearing this good news, the figure couldn't help but chuckle softly. This land of the Nine State truly has unlimited possibilities. Otherwise, it wouldn't be one of the coveted lands for many fairylands. Spread the word, contact the guardian of our domain, try to avoid Chinchanan, and don't let them meet. Congratulations to the host for killing the reincarnated son of Shura. Additional reward of a salted fish gift package. 20,000 domain value. Hold on, system. There are still some Shura souls left. These are valuable domain values. Wasting them is not a good habit. Let me reap them. With a powerful output from the Dragon of Heavenly Might, the remaining skeletal souls around also show their final value, becoming adorable domain values. Okay, perfectly resolved. Now it's all clean and nothing is left. And the lucky ones who survived are cheering for me. Eternal God Chen, our hero. Senior Chen is amazing. Senior Chen is my unparalleled hero. The host has saved the cultivators of the Nine State Gathering, and they admire the host. Task 3. Dominate the Nine State Gathering. Progress complete. Reward the host with 30,000 domain values. Domain value settlement completed. The host has annihilated tens of thousands of Shura souls, gaining 3 million domain values. Seeing so many domain values, I directly take off and fly. This feeling is so enjoyable. I won't have to worry and be frugal anymore. And at this moment, my wife has rushed towards me, tears swirling in her eyes. Darling, are you okay? I'm also a bit overwhelmed by this sudden tenderness. Could it be that Jiang Xian Chu will come charging over like this? This is too chaotic. And at that moment, a figure suddenly rushed to Jiang Xuanchu's side, embracing my head tightly. Husband, I finally found you. Where were you before? Wait a minute. If this continues, will I be trapped in a love battlefield? So without saying a word, I tossed her away. Wife, I have nothing to do with her. She's just making a fuss. Upon hearing my explanation, Jiang Xian Chu, who was previously motionless, pounced at me again. You scared me just now. How is your abdomen? What about your chest and back? Turn around and let me see. Although my wife examined me thoroughly, she still couldn't let go of her worries. It's certain that my body has suffered significant injuries. I have some medicinal liquor for treating bruises there. Later, you can come with me. But the focus right now is not on that. System, what adverse effects did you mention earlier that would affect my wife? After completing task 1, according to the rules, two unrelated people will return to their original state. If they forcefully get close, they will face various unexpected misfortunes. Her opportunities and luck will gradually weaken, her cultivation will regress, and she may even fall into demonic cultivation. If it's for her own good, then let's return to the original state. After all, rules are inevitable. No matter how cunning the host is, don't expect to defy the rules. We have all undergone professional training. We won't let the host succeed. Seeing the smug look on the system's face, I secretly vowed. Damn you, system. Just wait for me. I will definitely crack you. But now is not the time to confront the system. I can only push my wife away with tears in my eyes and utter those heartless words. Please have some self-respect. Just as I turned around to leave, I suddenly heard a shout from behind. Senior Chen. I saw all nine governors of a state kneeling on the ground and taking out their treasures. The casualties caused by the attack of the immortals were severe, and we are deeply involved. Today, we offer the nine state cauldron and request Senior Chen to protect these nine states. We are willing to serve Senior Chen as the ruler of the Nine State Cauldron. The small fry outside the scene also echoed, Yes, yes. As long as Senior Chen becomes the ruler of the Nine State Cauldron, we will no longer fear the immortals from the upper realm. And at this moment, my wife thought, would my husband agree? Originally, after my husband regained his identity as Flying Immortal Mountain Senior Chen, there was already a significant gap between his status and mine. If he were to become the ruler of the Nine State Cauldron, would I still have the qualifications to be his Dao companion? Although these governors of a state spoke nicely, upon careful consideration, aren't they just taking advantage of me? As for me, I tend to hold grudges, and I have quite a few bad habits. The position of the ruler of the Nine State Cauldron probably isn't suitable for me. Upon hearing my straightforward rejection of the position of the ruler of the Nine State Cauldron, the fans in the audience completely broke down. Senior, we can't be without you. Ming Yi, seeing that I was hesitant, took the lead in expressing her loyalty. Senior, if you have concerns, Ming Yi is willing to take the lead in resolving all troublesome matters for you. Upon hearing these words, I smiled faintly. Finally, you've taken the bait. The Cloud State Immortal Clan colluding with the evil cult, harming our fellow cultivators. 
the hostility between the upper and lower realms has become an established fact. The three major immortal clans still exist, and they will inevitably become a hidden danger sooner or later. It's time to take care of them. What do you think? Once these words were spoken, the surrounding minions all expressed their agreement one after another, showing their typical opportunistic behavior. Senior is right. Governors of a state, stop protecting them. Quickly crush those dogs and hand them over to Senior for disposal. Yun Chang Zong, seeing the situation leaning heavily in one direction, cursed inwardly. Beasts, he thought that by becoming the ruler of the Nine State Cauldron, Senior Chen would spare our mortal clans in exchange for the goodwill of the world, but he didn't expect this bootlicker Chen to be so vicious. Playing dirty tricks, just as Yun Chang Zong was preparing to voice his opposition loudly, the old man grabbed him and brought him back. We should prioritize the overall situation. As long as Senior is willing to become the ruler of the Nine State Cauldron, we are willing to listen to all of your commands. Upon hearing the enlightened thoughts of each governor of a state, I nodded approvingly at them and said, Well done, well done, these are the people who can accomplish great things. Then I reluctantly accepted the Nine State Cauldron. After safely storing the Nine State Cauldron, my expression instantly changed. Damn it, did you really think I would let you go? I'll deal with you later. Immediately, the nine mini cauldrons flew into the sky and merged in an instant, forming a massive cauldron, attracting countless thunder tribulations. Seeing this scene, the governors of a state were prepared to witness history. After all, no one has been able to pass this test for billions of years. Maybe Senior can actually do it. Jiang Xin Chu, seeing this grand scene, became even more nervous. At this moment, the Heavenly Tao was also giving birth, just as he was about to marvel that someone could finally become the guardian of the Heavenly Tao after billions of years, he caught sight of my tall and handsome figure. Oh my god, I'm impressed, why is it you again? Seeing an old acquaintance appear, I greeted him warmly. Isn't this my good old buddy? Long time no see. The Heavenly Tao seems to have become accustomed to shamelessness of me, but quickly realized what was happening, and asked. You're the one who wants to become the guardian of the heavenly Tao. I confidently nodded. I want to become the protector of the nine states. Is there a test I need to pass? Upon hearing this, the heavenly Tao immediately changed its tone, cheering with joy, saying, that's great, that's great. Now I also have someone to protect, and it directly transmitted the power of the nine states to me. Indeed, a delightful story should follow this script. As for the governors of a state, they had never witnessed such an absurd scene before, and they were all dumbfounded. Their worldview shattered in an instant. At the moment of becoming the Lord of the Nine States, I also felt an unprecedented and extraordinary sensation. But unfortunately, I had long been invincible. Yet, as I felt the flattery of the entire Nine States, and heard millions of people chanting my name, that feeling was still quite good. Congratulations to the host for obtaining recognition from the Nine State Cauldron as the Lord of the Nine States. You are rewarded with 30,000 domain value. The 5.0 upgrade conditions are now open. Condition 1. The host becomes the guardian of the heavenly Tao. Condition 2. Possess 1 million domain value. After the upgrade, a new function will be unlocked. Dominion over life and death. Will you upgrade? This system is such a dog. I haven't even warmed up my over 4 million domain value yet. Meanwhile, Jiang Xian Chu watched as my figure grew more distant feeling a sense of grievance within herself. Things were fine between us before, why did everything suddenly change? Did I annoy him? Could it be that everything before was just his deception? Unable to make sense of it all, she resorted to sulking in place. I just don't understand. After I became the master of the nine states, the heavenly fragrance sect also held a grand banquet to celebrate me. The disciples inside were all drunk to the point of being unconscious. The big gorilla turned to the girls next to him and asked. Do you think Senior Chin likes me? But he hasn't dared to confess to me yet. Confess? You think Senior Chin has gone crazy, don't you? At most, we are just his wives. But the most pitiful one is Junior sister Jiang Xian Chu. She has never had any contact with men for years. She finally met someone and was mercilessly abandoned. In the end, it's all about heartbreak. It seems like we also have a chance to climb up to the seniors. Just when Jiang Xian Chu was savoring the bitterness of love alone, there was a sudden vibration at her waist. Jiang Xian Chu saw that it was her communication spirit Jade that rang, and she immediately excused herself and left the party. She returned to her empty room. Just as Jiang Xian Chu answered the spirit Jade call, the greasy face of a middle-aged man suddenly rushed out. My good girl, are you okay? I heard the news that those paparazzi from the upper realm attacked you. Jiang Xian Chu saw her father, still full of energy, and finally smiled. Father, I'm fine. How have you been lately? Your old man is in great shape, eating well and feeling good. 
but your mother. Before he could finish his sentence, he was directly thrown out by a beautiful woman. As long as you're not injured, there's nothing to worry about. But I heard you have a boyfriend now. Bring him back to show me when you come home this time. Mom already knows. I didn't expect you to be so impressive. You actually managed to win over the master of the nine states. Mom, he hasn't agreed yet. Besides, he suddenly stopped talking to me. Jiang Xuanchu's mother had the demeanor of an experienced person. I understand. I understand. Young people, you know, arguments happen, but make up in the end. Just control yourself a bit more. If one time doesn't work, persuade him more. I did the same with your father back then. Twice. Be brave in love. Go for it boldly. Don't be afraid. This is your mother's secret technique. Now it's passed on to you. Don't let me down, okay? Your mother is experienced. I can tell that you really like that boy. Hold on to him tightly. Don't wait until you lose him and regret it. Remember to bring him back when you come home this time. That's settled then. We'll wait for you to come back. Without waiting for Jiang Xuanchu's response, the phone was swiftly hung up. After receiving a thorough lecture from her mother, Jiang Xuanchu's heart finally opened up. She began to ponder the ins and outs of the whole situation. Chin Chanan, do you have some untold secrets? Your scent still lingers on the bed. Then, Jiang Xianchu fell asleep, immersed in the lingering fragrance I left behind. Meanwhile, the nine state governors of a state continued to party enthusiastically, singing loudly outside the courtyard of my house. What's even more outrageous is those who expressed their love for me. I was frightened by their abnormal behavior, and I immediately hid in my room. These bastards really know how to have fun. I almost got violated by a group of big men. It's fortunate that I am strong enough, preserving my last shred of innocence. But now there's something more important. System. How much domain value is needed to cover the entire 100,000 mountains with the invincible domain? 100,000 mountains occupies an area of 2,600 square kilometers in Ghost State. Covering the entire 100,000 mountains would require tens of millions of domain value, and covering the Ghost State would require billions of domain value. This nine state is too big. Covering the entire nine state, who knows how long that would take? Free leaks aren't always available. As soon as the system heard my sigh, it immediately popped up numerous windows, displaying various leaks waiting to be harvested. System, you really have an unexpected enthusiasm in some aspects. Could it be because you're afraid I won't expand the domain range for you? Perfect special effects skill is simply a leak harvesting machine. Since there are so many leaks, the next step is to turn all of them into valuable domain value and rescue the old man from the Fudu Demon sect. But the most important thing is my major life event. What should I do about my wife? I must bring back my newly conquered wife. Just when I was puzzled, I suddenly remembered that it was a system bug that caused the issue last time. You damn system. I've come up with a way to crack you. Just wait for me. The next day, as scheduled, I showed off at my celebratory event and gained a wave of popularity value. Ming he was particularly considerate, speaking those scripted lines on my behalf while elevating me to the highest position and creating an electrifying atmosphere in the venue. The lackey shouted in admiration, praising Senior Chen's greatness, while Yin Chanzong listened to the crazy mockery from his lackeys beside him, his veins popping out in anger. Chin Chanan, you despicable dog, daring to attempt the complete annihilation of the Cloud State's immortal dynasty. I will kill you sooner or later. On Jiang Xuanchu's side, with her mother's encouragement, she finally came to a complete realization. Love requires courage to pursue, and happiness is something you have to fight for. Chin Chanan, you can never escape from me in this lifetime. You are my man. But unfortunately, the lackeys in the venue were even more enthusiastic, and Jiang Xianchu was swept away in the crowd. After a frenzy of excitement, Jiang Xuanchu's first attempt to get close to me ended in failure. However, with the experience of the first attempt, Jiang Xianchu chose another path waiting for the right moment to rush towards me again when no one was looking. But unexpected events always surround us. A young lady accidentally knocked over a pot, which splashed towards Jiang Xianchu. But my wife is an extraordinary woman. She agilely jumped to dodge it. Unfortunately, good times don't last. In that moment of landing, she stepped on a banana peel, and with a loud crash and the cries of her sisters, the second attempt to get close to me ended in failure. But my wife is not someone who gives up easily. She waited until after the competition ended and followed me from behind, making her move when it was safe all around. But she was suddenly hit by a falling roof above her head, once again resulting in failure. Even in the sea, she attracted a group of piranhas that chased and bit her. Another failure. After experiencing numerous failures, Jiang Xianchu is already exhausted, but she still shows no sign of giving up. Oh, who do we have here? Isn't this Jiang Xuanchu's junior sister? I've noticed you've been following Senior for several days, but you still haven't been able to get close. We're different, though. I've been by Senior's side all this time. Even I can't resist his charm. Junior sister, since Senior Chen doesn't want you anymore, 
How about tonight? I, your senior sister, invite him to have a passionate night? However, these lackeys clearly underestimated my wife's possessiveness. They were immediately pressed against the wall. If you have the guts, go ahead and try. Even as your senior sister, I won't show mercy. Do you wanna die? Seeing Jiang Xuanchu's murderous expression, her senior sisters were instantly terrified and collapsed to the ground. Just kidding, junior sister, don't be angry. How could I go after your man? He has always been yours. But my wife is irresistible for only three seconds. She was immediately hit hard on the head by a flower pot falling from above. After facing countless difficulties and obstacles, Jiang Xinchu finally arrived outside my house. I miss you so much, my husband, and she was ready to enter my room ahead of time, for a surprise entrance. But this scene happened to be seen by the cunning Yun Chan Zong. Isn't this the woman beside Chen Chan An? That damn Chen Chan An. How dare he try to exterminate me completely. Since you're heartless, don't blame me for being ungrateful. Blame it on you for being Chen Chan An's woman. After saying that, he directly pounced on my wife. My wife instantly sensed that something was wrong, but when she turned around, there was nothing there. Could it be my imagination? And at that corner, Yun Chanzong's body was engulfed in flames, and he was immersed in the agony of the end of his life. The last flicker of flame burned out. That damn it, he dared to make a move on my wife. I've been annoyed by you for a long time. Hey, after dealing with this final hidden danger, I confidently spoke to the system, switched back to the original form. Meanwhile, Jiang Xianchu, who was completely unaware, walked towards my house, but she was quickly stopped by two lackeys outside the door. How many times have I told you, the governor of a state is already asleep? Hurry up and leave. You've gone crazy, targeting the governor of a state. Go, go, go! Jiang Xianchu looked at the two stubborn lackeys in front of her and coldly scolded. Since he refuses to come out and see me, then I have no choice but to. When the two lackeys heard that Jiang Xianchu hadn't finished speaking, they tightened their grip on the objects in their hands, ready to engage in a real fight. But Jiang Xianchu just sat quietly to the side. With a look of grievance, she said, I've been waiting here all along, until he wakes up, until he's willing to see me. Otherwise, I won't go anywhere. At the same time, I was completely unaware of what was happening outside the house. As I activated my cultivation technique and switched back to my original form, just as I switched back, an overwhelming sense of exhaustion suddenly overwhelmed me. What the hell happened? I feel like I've been drained completely. My bones are about to fall apart. I'm so hungry. Let's eat a steamed bun to fill my stomach first. These little girls are quite thoughtful. They even prepared food next to me. And then, as I reached out my hand, there came a shy moan from where I touched. Yes. Yes, this is the right amount of force. Please, senior, punish me without holding back. And there came the sound of Lin Bao on my thigh. Senior, I want to eat a big chicken leg. Witnessing this absurd scene, my brain short-circuited in an instant. What on earth happened during the time I was absent? Just as I was frantically trying to escape, I heard the voice of the girl in the red dress behind me. Young master, aren't you shy? Come, come, let me give you a kiss. Wow, each and every one of them is so skilled and my clothes have been changed too. What wicked things did these guys do while I was asleep? This is simply a disaster. Could it be that I've lost the body I've guarded for over 20 years? Who could have done this? But soon, I calmed down. The most important thing now is to solve the problem with my main wife. I've been single for over 20 years, and finally, I met a girl who likes me. I can't let this damn system mess it up. Should I say it or not, the original form is so cool. All the system functions are available for use. Earlier, I used my little brain to come up with a way to save my wife from bad luck whenever she gets close to me. Now is the time to make it a reality. With my fingers, I quickly tapped and selected various skills on the system. The descriptions of each skill reappeared. All living beings can be controlled within my domain. Special effects, check character information, issue various random tasks. If all living beings are really as described, then when I open up the scope, doesn't that mean the system is actually within my control? Then I can use the skills of all living beings and control the special effects to issue new tasks to the system. Without hesitation, I pressed on the skill. Damn it, dog-like system, I am your daddy. I will determine the task content. Watch me work my magic with empty hands. Using the function all living beings, I control invincible objects within the domain, the system. With my chaotic and random actions, the system seemed to have not responded in time, and it actually crashed. But as the protagonist of a cool novel, how could I embarrass myself? Soon, a prompt of successful operation appeared on the system panel. I knew it. Within my domain, I am the greatest. As expected, the system is no match for me. You are still too young to compete with me, little system. But now is not the time to be happy yet. There is still one final step remaining. Host Chen Chan'an issues a special task. Eliminate all negative effects generated by Chiang Xianchu approaching Chen Chan'an's clone or main body. Task target. 
Invincible Domain System, Task Reward, Chinchanan's Praise, Task Failure Penalty, the system grants the host 680 billion domain value to suit the host's injured young soul. Task Time Limit, 10 minutes, as that wonderful sound rang out, I knew that my task had been successfully issued. Truly, I am impressive. Once again, I have discovered a new way to use the system's functions. Ha ha ha. The system, feeling aggrieved by my empty-handed success, immediately began outputting information to me, and uttered the dirtiest words it has said in all its years as a system, staring at the system's helpless fury. I couldn't help but scratch my ear. That's enough. The task has been successfully issued. Little system, you better follow the rules properly. Failure of the task means your little treasure trove is about to be completely plundered by me. Those are valuable domain values, you know. Finally, under my coercion and inducement, the system accepted its fate, and successfully eliminated all the negative effects of my wife approaching me. Although that's the case, the system still keeps on scolding like a little girl, but I have no haste in paying attention to the system's little tantrums. It would have been better if it had been cooperative earlier, instead of forcing me to use means. On the other side, a celestial gate unexpectedly appeared within the 10,000 mountains, and the figure of a beautiful woman slowly emerged. The spiritual energy in the mortal realm is so thin. Can the everlasting youth immortal tree really survive in such a remote place? I hope the person who possesses the immortal fruit knows what's good for them, and allows me to take the fruit back to the upper realm early. Saying that, she rushed towards my flying immortal mountain. Inside my boudoir, the three of them huddled together, and instinctively reached towards the center of the bedsheet. But they didn't grab anything. The three of them instantly woke up. Where is the person? The mystery of my innocence remains unsolved. As I leisurely strolled outside the room, Master, Master, several voices sounded simultaneously. I saw by you and the other girls rushing towards me as if they were zombies breaking free from their cage, but the doorway was too small, and none of them managed to be the first to rush out. After a struggle, these three silly girls fell down together. Oh, good morning, did you sleep well? But their response to me was their enthusiastic wrestling skills. Did I pick the wrong script? Could it be that these girls are rebelling collectively? The girls in red kept manipulating my body, repeatedly confirming if I was a real person. Although I don't mind being surrounded by girls, they are treating me like a toy. Hey, I have rights too. So, under my loving education, each of their heads ended up with a big lump. How about it? Are you awake now? Although she earned a big lump, Lin Bao's eyes showed no hint of resentment. Instead, tears welled up in her eyes as she hugged me tightly. Master, Master, you're finally awake. I thought you would never wake up again. By you, too, was filled with joy, but there was more of a little scheming in her heart. Now that senior is awake, can I implement those clever tricks I thought of? Seeing their worried expressions, I had no choice but to explain. I just switched to my clone. I didn't die or anything. Red Clothes got even more excited upon hearing this. Master, Master, next time I'll go find your clone. I'm really capable, you know. But when it came to Red Clothes' request, I considered it for a moment and immediately vetoed it. If she really went to find my clone, it would truly become a battlefield of love. It's just a thought away from my main wife cutting me down. So, I immediately changed the subject. All of that is not important. What's important is, I want to know who changed my clothes, and what kind of unspeakable things you did while I was asleep. Red clothes and Lin Bao instantly became silence, not saying a word, seeing their expressions. I had a pretty good idea of what happened, but the question is, who did something to my body? I can't just let it go without an explanation. By you, being foolishly naive, was the first to speak up. Master, it was me who changed your clothes. Before she could finish, red clothes directly covered by you's mouth. Master, she's sleepwalking right now. She's talking nonsense in the middle of the night. Just ignore her. Red clothes and Lin Bao dragged by you away. Master, are you hungry? I'll go cook for you now. Watching their retreating figures, my heart sank to the bottom. They just left like that? I had no choice but to give up on that. I'll prepare for a hot bath for a while. After switching to my clone, I don't know how long it will take for my main body to come back. I need to take a hot bath quickly, or something will just feel off. Just as I was loosening my clothes to show off my muscles, Bayou suddenly rushed in. Could this girl be thinking of joining me for a steamy bath? I saw Bayou pull out a long whip from somewhere. Master, I've been poisoned with a special toxin. I need Master to whip me with this whip to cure it. Please, Master, help me. Poisoned with a special toxin? As I reached out to take the whip, 
but you couldn't contain her excitement any longer. Finally, finally, I can experience that strange feeling once again. Although I had doubts about Bayou's words, I still took out my exclusive secret formula, the ultimate panacea for all ailments. One pill cures all toxins. Two pills never tire. Three pills grant eternal youth. It tastes amazing. So, I threw it to buy you. I've given you my exclusive secret formula. Go and cure yourself. I'm going to start my bath now. As for the unsuccessful Bayou, she started plotting once again. Just you wait. I'll have a plan to take you down sooner or later. After sending Bayou away, I directly began to enjoy the long-awaited bath time. Soon, I was immersed in a relaxing moment, but in this wonderful moment of relaxation, it wouldn't do justice to my bath if I didn't create some bubbles. However, it's been so long since I came back, it's time to see how my newly acquired followers are developing. They are the perpetual motion machines that generate domain value. After all, immediately, the entire flying immortal mountain echoed with the long-awaited breaking news. Comrades, our leader is finally awake. Upon hearing this explosive news, the junior disciples within the mountain became excited one after another. It's late at night now, yet everyone began to meticulously groom themselves, eager to meet their outstanding leader. Meanwhile, the fairy has already arrived near the flying immortal mountain. Since her time in the mortal realm is limited, she decided to capture a few monsters and ask about the owner of this immortal tree. Without any precautions, she plunged headfirst into my domain, feeling the powerful aura. I instantly sensed the intrusion. Who could be the celestial from another realm, bringing me domain value this time? And to my surprise, this time it's even an immortal king, a truly generous gift. In that instant, the junior disciples within the mountain also sensed the terrifying pressure. But in the face of the approaching celestial, they only showed slight vigilance. It seemed like they had long been accustomed to such encounters. However, when the fairy noticed that not a single person paid her respects, a hint of anger surged within her. Are these small fry really so arrogant nowadays? One of the junior disciples coldly shouted, Where do you come from? This is Senior Chen's sacred cultivation ground. Flying is forbidden. Fellow Taoist, return where you came from and stop disturbing our senior. Insolence. How dare you insignificant rodents speak so shamelessly. Then, a dreadful pressure surged toward everyone. Each junior disciple was shaken and unable to move under this pressure. Yu Chang also revealed a fierce glint in his eyes. I am the immortal king from the upper realm. In this lower world, there is no place that I cannot fly. I demand to know the whereabouts of Chen Chanan, the one who possesses the everlasting youth immortal fruit. Feeling that this girl dared to act arrogantly within my territory, I directly exerted my divine might. Yu Chang, sensing this suffocating pressure, obediently fell to the ground. However, she still showed no sign of surrendering with her words. Who are you? Show yourself and get lost. And with my move, I instantly captured the hearts of the junior disciples, raising their admiration for me to a new peak. At this moment, I had already changed into my battle robe and looked down below with a disdainful expression. When it comes to showing off, I am the number one in the world. Yu Chang looked at my figure from afar, and her heart skipped a beat. I couldn't sense the slightest cultivation from this person, but just being stared at by him filled my heart with uncontrollable despair and fear. Then, she noticed the celestial charm emanating from the junior disciples around her. Seeing this, I knew that my showing off had reached its peak. Although Yu Chang was unwilling, she still surrendered. She respectfully bowed towards the mountaintop. I am Jiang Yu Chang a disciple of the Jiang family from Shuangwu Immortal Domain, seeking Senior Chen. The junior disciples were astonished by the scene before them. Is this really the same haughty and unrivaled fairy from before? Random task 2 initiated. Task target detected. Please start the strategy to conquer the fairy. Host. Although I had no interest in conquering fairies, when a friend comes from afar, I must entertain them in my humble abode. Although Yu Chang appeared to submit on the surface, he still carried the spirit of not wanting to lose and soared once again. However, our demon emperor, Ming Shu, was not indulging Yu Chang's arrogance. She directly intercepted her. Flying is prohibited in this area. Since you've come here, you must abide by the rules of our leader. Anyone who comes to seek help from our leader must hold the highest respect. Make our leader feel loyal and walk up the mountain step by step along this path. Pay respects to our leader. Upon hearing this, Yu Chang became furious. Bullshit. I am a celestial from the upper realm. I will never endure such humiliation. Moreover, as an immortal king, how can I show loyalty to these ordinary mortals in the mountain ditch? Bull. Upon hearing Yu Chang's arrogant words, 
burst into laughter. This is hilarious. Even if you were a god descending to the mortal realm, you would still obediently bow your head to our boss along with your master. Just as Yu Chang was about to counterattack Bull, she suddenly noticed that the fruit Bull was gnawing on was none other than the everlasting youth immortal fruit. The immortal fruit, treasured in the upper realm, was being casually eaten by this insignificant bull as if it were an ordinary fruit. It was an utter waste of a precious treasure. However, Yu Chang didn't blurt out his thoughts. Instead, she cautiously asked, Where did you get this fruit? Bull, not being as shrewd as Yu Chang, straightforwardly replied, Given by the master, everyone has it. Upon hearing Bull's casual remark, Yu Chang felt as if he had been struck by lightning. Everyone has it? Do you really think this is some common fruit you can find anywhere? This holy fruit only blooms every thousand years and bears fruit every ten thousand years. When it blossoms, there are only a few of them. Ning Shu, seeing Yu Chang's mouth hanging open in astonishment, couldn't help but taunt her. So, the fairy descending to the mortal realm is here to seek the fruit? Does the upper realm also have needs from the lower realm? Well, well, who would have thought? Just this sacred fruit alone is in constant supply every day, and we can't even finish eating them. Faced with Ning Shu's extravagant boasting, Yu Chang made the rational choice to remain silent and walked straight towards the mountaintop. Watching Yu Chang's departing figure, Ning Shu sighed helplessly. She says she doesn't want it, but her body is obedient. At this moment, Yu Chang was already on the verge of exploding with anger. Chin Chanan, what kind of monster are you? How could you let such a sacred fruit be casually given to these lowly and despicable demons? The news of Yu Chang's ascent up the mountain had already spread throughout the entire mountaintop, and the monsters and beasts came one after another, marveling at this spectacle. It's truly a sight to behold. I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. As for the secret struggles and fights down the mountain, I smiled faintly. I didn't expect these people to play such flashy games. They are even more extravagant than me. After a while, Yu Chang finally arrived in my courtyard. Jiang Yu Chang, disciple of the Shuangwu Immortal Domain's Jiang family, Sikh Senior Chen, she said. Upon my approval, Yu Chang slowly pushed open the door. Meanwhile, I maintained my domineering aura and said, Oh, Jiang Fairy has gone to such great lengths to find me. What brings you here? Immediately, Yu Chang threw out a large gourd and said, This treasure can be used for offense or defense. It's a top tier item in the mortal realm. I'll trade it with you for one everlasting youth, the mortal fruit. As I watched the treasure swiftly flying towards me, I felt no temptation and casually flicked it away. No trade. Seeing that her treasure had failed to have the desired effect, Yu Chang couldn't help but become furious. You, you've gone too far. Even a bunch of lowly demons. Before she could finish, I began to mock her. Do you really think you're something special? Trying to impress me with a lousy gourd. Get lost. I also released a hint of my royal aura to suppress this arrogant girl. Feeling my aura up close, Yu Chang instantly became much more obedient. It was as if she was facing the immortal lord himself, causing her to kneel before me. I eased up a bit knowing that this was the perspective we were supposed to have. I don't want your treasure, I only need you to answer a few questions. However, this girl had an indomitable spirit and resolutely refused the proposal. Just as I was about to speak again, Lin Bao approached with a tray of immortal fruit. I didn't pay much attention and casually replied, whether you want to speak or not is up to you. But speaking of it, Lin Bao, you've picked quite a lot of wild fruits from the fairy tree haven't you? It's no big deal. I'll distribute them to everyone later. I'm just not sure how to handle the extra baskets of fruit. Well, we can't just throw them all away. The fairy couldn't help but speak up at this moment and said, I suddenly feel that this trade is quite good. Senior Chen, ask your questions, and I promise to truthfully reveal everything I know, even things I don't know. Seeing Yu Chang's expression change rapidly, I thought to myself, wow, you're really playing the game of tug of war with me. Why did the upper realm invade the lower realm? Shouldn't those in power protect the lower realm? You're always finding loopholes to come down here. What are you after? Where does invasion come into play? It's ridiculous, I questioned. The countless beings in the lower realm have nothing to do with us immortal beings. In our eyes, you're nothing more than a group of weak ants, utterly useless. On the contrary, Everything about you is within our grasp. You're not worth our efforts. Even the vast world under this void will ultimately become a tool for our immortal power to ascend, Yu Chang explained. Hearing Yu Chang's explanation, something suddenly came to my mind. Could it be that there are other parallel worlds besides this nine-state continent? Yu Chang continued, among the myriad of worlds, this nine-state land is nothing more than a tiny speck of dust. So, in our eyes, you're just a group of unharvested leeks waiting to mature and be harvested. Lin Bao couldn't stand Yu Chang's arrogant attitude and retorted, I really hate it. She scared Yu Chang into immediately apologizing and begging for forgiveness, saying, sorry, sorry, 
It was unintentional. Now, the second question. The upper realm has long had the intention to seize the lower realm. Why hasn't it succeeded after so many years? I asked. In response, on one hand, it's because the rules of the heavenly path obstruct it, and on the other hand, the upper realm has connections with certain ruling immoral families, but I don't know the specifics. However, I do know that there is a person in the lower realm who has repeatedly obstructed the plundering of the upper realm. It is said that this person, year after year, single-handedly crosses the boundaries of the realms, devoutly kneeling before the boundary monument of the immortal realm, and spends tens of thousands of years cultivating just to repeat the same sentence again and again. But with each visit, his life force gradually diminishes, and those immortal lords have also been misled, thinking that Nine State has already been seized by other immortal realms, so they have no intention of attacking it again. But recently, this matter has been exposed, and the immortal lords realized that they have been played by the people of the lower realm. They became furious, which led to the plans of various immortal realms to compete for the Nine State Continent and to find and eliminate the person who played them, Feng Chiyun. I heard that Feng Chiyun has a disciple and has founded a sect called the Eternal Life Sect. When Yu Chang mentioned the familiar name, I couldn't restrain the anger in my heart any longer. I uncontrollably slapped the table, and a powerful force instantly swept through the entire room. Is this information true? I asked. Seeing my furious expression, Yu Chang became frightened and stammered, Yes, of course. I, Jiang Yu Chang, never lie. Every word is true. Seeing Lin Bao's worried expression, I could only forcefully suppress my anger and calmly analyze the situation. According to the information she revealed, the lower level lackeys from the upper realm had long set their sights on the Nine State but their invasion was delayed year after year by the old man. However, now that the old man is missing, the Nine State is completely exposed to the sight of those lackeys, which means that it will soon face countless attacks from them. Hey, I have a few more questions for you, I said. What is the medium for immortals to descend to the lower realm? Why can some people exert their full strength? And as an immortal king, how much power can you unleash? Seeing me lunging towards her like a hungry wolf, Yu Chang couldn't help but retreat. I just wanted a fruit. I'm not selling myself, she said. In the next moment, Yu Chang seemed to have figured something out and walked towards me, taking on a dominant position. Give me the fruit first. With the fruit, everything can be discussed. You want to freeload on this ferry, but you have to pay a price, she said. Seeing this little girl unexpectedly turning the tables on me, I suddenly found myself in an awkward situation. Damn it, I thought she was a fool easily deceived. I didn't expect her not to fall for it, I thought. After a bizarre deal, I reluctantly gave up the immortal fruit that I had been using as fertilizer, finally obtaining the immortal fruit she had been longing for. Yu Chang continued her paid knowledge lecture. There are ascending passages between the upper and lower realms. By using the passage Jade Token, you can open the immortal gate to the lower realm. It just takes a bit of time, usually ranging from 15 to 30 days, Yu Chang explained. As for the people who can exert their full strength, they are the guardians of the reincarnated heavenly arrogance. They can briefly appear in the lower realm without being suppressed by the heavenly Tao. At that moment, Yu Chang suddenly remembered that she seemed to have a reincarnated heavenly arrogance as well. She made a mental note to remind herself not to provoke the star of calamity in front of her. As for myself, in the lower realm, I can only exert 20% of my power. All right, I've said everything. Hurry up and give me my immortal fruit, Yu Chang demanded. I immediately went into my Oscar-winning acting mode. What immortal fruit? Haven't I already given it to you? I never said I would give you more. You're so greedy, little girl, I said pretending innocence. Upon hearing my words, the little girl resorted to being unruly and became agitated. Just one, are you trying to deceive me? You cheat? No one dares to deceive this fairy. But thinking that I can't defeat you, she couldn't help but clench her lips in frustration. One immortal fruit can't even prolong Patriarch's lifespan by much. This damn person, what can I do with just one fruit? She exclaimed. Seeing the little girl pretending to be aggrieved in front of me, I immediately reached out and grabbed her fruit. Don't want it? Well, then give it to me. I can still use it as fertilizer, I said. Yu Chang, witnessing my attempt to snatch the only fruit she had, quickly retreated. This despicable man, may you never find a partner in your lifetime, she cursed. Seeing the little girl regain her spirits, I couldn't help but urge her, all right, it's none of your business anymore. You can leave. Goodbye and good riddance. Lin Bao, go call everyone to come and eat the fruit. Yu Chang, observing the situation, promptly put away her own fruit. Men are all the same, not a single decent person among them. She remarked, I'll give you a piece of advice. Although you have some strength, compared to the upper realm, you're nothing but a shrimp hitting a rock. Hearing the unexpectedly considerate words from the little girl, I let go of my guard a little. I'm actually quite looking forward to how they will stand in front of me, facing my arrogance, I thought. 
Yu Chang didn't hesitate to counterattack, truly overestimating your abilities. You're just a commoner in the lower realm. Having a little strength doesn't mean you can act all high and mighty. Suddenly, the door to the room was opened by Lin Bao. Master, everyone is here. Prompted by Lin Bao's call, Red Robes and the others gathered outside my house. We pay our respects, Senior. Did Senior call us here for something that needs to be resolved? They asked, hurriedly arriving. Seeing everyone rushing over, I was touched by their eagerness. It's nothing major. I just wanted to give you some immortal pills to try. There are more and more immortals coming from the upper realm. To resist their invasion, I have decided to create immortals, a group of people who are not bound by the rules of the Nine State and can fully exert the power of immortals. Are you willing to be the first group under my command? Bai Yu and the others readily agreed, saying, as long as we can be by Senior's side, we are willing to do anything. Jiang Yu Chang, upon hearing that I actually wanted to create immortals, burst into laughter. She thought it was nothing but a dream. The path to becoming an immortal is extremely difficult. Do you really think these few mediocre individuals and some shoddy elixirs will be of any use? Hearing this girl daring to mock me, I almost couldn't resist going up and giving her a lesson. But in the end, I held back that impulse. After all, the road to showing off is never smooth for anyone. As they each consumed the immortal pills, I began to provide professional commentary. These immortal pills are superior to ordinary ones, enabling a qualitative leap in breaking through bottlenecks. Lin Bao took the lead in refining the pills, harnessing the immense power contained within them. Seeing each of them entering the state of cultivation, I couldn't help but feel gratified. This is my first time creating immortals. Although the path to immortality is extremely complex, as long as it's within my invincible domain, anything is possible. Immediately, I called out, my precious little thunder, daddy needs your help, come under my summons. Little Thunder appeared directly and descended towards me. I missed you so much, dad. With my assistance, the aura of the people began to rise. Yu Chang, seeing the divine aura gradually emanating from them, stood dumbfounded in place. Could he really create immortals? He is just a commoner. How could he compare to the divine beings? Impossible, absolutely impossible. Then, several golden lights shot up into the sky, enveloping the entire courtyard. The disciples within the mountain also looked towards the mountaintop. Someone is undergoing the tribulation of becoming an immortal. Someone has achieved immortality. The direction should be Senior's courtyard. It must be Senior causing such a commotion. Let's go and take a look. Soon, countless disciples gathered outside my room, eagerly vying for a glimpse of the commotion inside. When they saw the terrifying aura emanating from Bull and the others, they exclaimed in astonishment, that celestial energy. However, Lin Bao, as the person involved, didn't find it as easy. Due to the violent aura surging within her, she was on the verge of bursting and dying. On the other hand, Ming Shu was more determined, with her cultivation skyrocketing from the peak of the Transcendence Realm straight into the Immortal Soldier Realm. She was greatly shocked by this development. Is this a dream? Realms that were previously unimaginable are now as simple as drinking water. Just then, a gate leading to the Upper Realm slowly opened. The disciples were overjoyed at the appearance of the Celestial Gate. Is Senior about to become an immortal? They exclaimed. Yu Chang was also dumbfounded by the scenes unfolding before her. This madman actually succeeded and redefined the difficulty of creating immortals. As I saw the emergence of the Celestial Gate, I immediately gathered a scorching energy in my hand. This is my immortal power in the mortal realm. What nonsense Celestial Gate, get out of my way. In the instant I clenched my fist, a terrifying explosion directly destroyed the Celestial Gate. How dare they show off their puny skills in front of me. Jiang Yuchan gritted his teeth tightly. This madman, flying ascension is impossible in the mortal realm now. This guy actually destroyed the Celestial Gate. From what I know, reaching the pinnacle of horizontal strike is one of the conditions for ascension. As for the second condition, it is cultivating celestial aura. Without celestial aura, there is no ascension. The difficulty of cultivating celestial aura is extremely challenging. One must completely comprehend a law of the heavenly Tao to have a chance of success. Both conditions must be fulfilled, and one must undergo the tempering of the thunder tribulation to resist the heart demons that arise during ascension. Only by passing the thunder tribulation and defeating the heart demons can mortals ascend to the upper realm. But now, the spiritual energy in the mortal realm is not enough to support a single person's ascension. Yet, this Chinchanan has miraculously created so many immortals out of thin air. What terrifying realm has his cultivation reached to transcend the laws of this world? Heavenly arrogances, who have been reincarnated from the upper realm, are gathering from all over the mortal realm, ready to take action and snatch the nine state cauldron from me. Next is the system upgrade. I need to quickly expand the boundaries of my invincible domain, rescue the old man, and take advantage of the situation. Lin Bao, as the disciple, has broken through the half-immortal realm, 
granting the host an additional 500,000 domain value as the Master Disciple bonus. Red Clothing has broken through the half-immortal realm, granting the host an additional 300,000 domain value. Ming Shu and Bull, on the other hand, have done better by directly breaking through to the immortal soldier realm, each earning me 800,000 domain value. Unfortunately, Lin Bao and the others have relatively low cultivation, only able to break through to the half-immortal realm. Otherwise, we could have made a pure profit. Next time, I'll find new ways to create more immortals and earn even more domain value. Just as I was lost in thought, Lin Bao puckered his lips and kissed me on the cheek. Master, master, suddenly, the girls around us rushed over, celebrating their own joy. I was taken aback by their enthusiasm. I really didn't want to start a harem, but my struggles clearly had the opposite effect. Red Clothing and the others tackled me to the ground, leaving me in despair. Stay calm, the Beast King is getting excited. On the other hand, Bull seemed relatively normal proudly showing off his perfect muscular physique. Look, I'm an immortal bull now. I don't have to worry about my parents scolding me anymore. My ancestors' graves are smoking. Ha ha ha. Lin Qingshan was also crying on the side, reporting the good news to the ancestors one by one. The little disciples who witnessed this great feat from outside cast envious glances. The seniors are simply gods. Now we have so many immortals, and we no longer fear those dogs from the upper realm. Jiang Yuchan was still immersed in a sea of astonishment. They actually created two immortals who are not suppressed by the laws of the mortal realm. Who knows, this nine-state continent might become a new immortal domain. The plans of those immortal masters seem to be in vain. The current domain value of the host is 7.68 million. Please upgrade to version 5.0 as soon as possible to expand the boundaries of the invincible domain. Detecting that two individuals have become immortals within the invincible domain, granting an additional reward of two salted fish treasure chests to the host. Seeing the two free salted fish treasure chests, I couldn't help but excitedly shout. Oh, I'm really making a fortune. The system is so generous this time. Just as I was savoring this moment of joy, a voice suddenly interrupted me. It turned out to be the fairy. Didn't I tell you to leave just now? Why haven't you gone? Don't tell me you have some earth-shattering secrets to share with me. Wanna have a chat? Yuchan suddenly turned away. I, I don't have any additional information at the moment. Looking at the proud fairy, I directly responded, is it about the fairy fruit? I'll keep it for you. If you have any major news, you're always welcome to visit the flying immortal mountain. Seeing that their ultimate goal had been achieved, Yu Chang didn't linger anymore and flew away into the distance. What an unrefined man. Goodbye, goodbye. Detecting a change in the fairy's attitude towards the host, the conquest progresses further, granting the host an additional 10,000 domain value. Seeing this free domain value, I couldn't help but wonder, wow, this is still a long-term domain value tool, and it has learned to self-conquer. It's just a bit lacking. System, upgrade to version 5.0. System detects that the conditions for upgrading to 5.0 have been met. Upgrading in progress. Deducting 1 million domain value. Version 5.0 upgrade successful. New feature activated. Mastery of life and death. Can consume domain value to revive those who died within the domain. Damn, this thing is awesome. This is a great feature. Much better than any special effects. Without hesitation, I directly clicked on the expansion button and kept 1 million domain value for backup. Expand the rest as much as possible. Deducting 5.68 million domain value to expand the invincible domain to 5,600 meters. Remaining domain value, 1 million. Invincible domain range, 62,607 meters. Feeling more and more territory being covered by me, a sense of achievement wells up within me. Currently, I can consider that I've covered half of the 10,000 mountains, but compared to the entire 9-state map, it still seems inadequate. After expanding the domain, I couldn't wait to open the salted fish treasure chests that I've been longing for. I wonder what kind of divine treasures I'll get this time. As I watched the familiar fireworks, last time I obtained the Mirror Flower and Water Moon Doppelganger ability card. I hope I can be lucky again and reach new heights. Congratulations to the host for opening for salted fish treasure chests, acquiring 15,000 domain value. There are also other items, including the mind reading card mind reading card instructions. You can randomly hear the inner thoughts of a bound subordinate, partner, or companion. Seeing all these outrageous and bizarre things around me, I'm left speechless. This is clearly the system's retaliation against me. Damn system, come out. What the hell are you doing? I highly suspect that you're manipulating things behind the scenes. Where's your morality? Where's your humanity? Seeing my furious appearance, the system couldn't help but feel afraid and quickly shifted the blame. The items obtained from the salted fish treasure chests are not under the control of the system. Upon hearing the explanation from the system, I reluctantly believed it a little. But at the same time, I accidentally broke a piece of it as well. The system's angry roar followed, 
but I simply muted and blocked it. The only thing that seems useful is this card with a heart drawn on it. Let me see which lucky person I can randomly draw. Subsequently, inaudible voices entered my mind. How can I experience that strange feeling again? Senior, please give me a beating. Who is this? Hearing these words filled with a sense of spring, my old face couldn't help but blush. Who could be saying this? Looking at the group of girls, I sighed helplessly. None of my subordinates are normal people. Based on my known experience, this person is undoubtedly a corridor. As long as it's not bullshit, I can't handle it. Sigh. All four salted fish treasure chests are useless. Did I exhaust all my luck last time? Forget it. Forget it. Let me talk to everyone about the knowledge of immortals. I immediately gathered the villagers, young and old, and started my passionate speech that lasted the entire night. It was not until the sun rose that I hastily ended it. Now everyone has some understanding of the immortals who are about to descend to the mortal world, and they are no longer afraid of sudden thefts. We can only focus on improving our strength in the mortal realm. When I first came to this world, if it weren't for the help of the old man, I would have probably been devoured by demons and monsters because of the eternal life body. Over the past few years, you have kept me in the temple of immortals, not only protecting me but also expending your cultivation to safeguard the mortal realm. If you think this mortal realm is worth it, then I will protect this nine state for you. Seeing me switch to my clone again, Lin Bao quietly tested the waters from the side. After confirming repeatedly, Lin Bao knew that I had secretly slipped away once again. Red clothing also appeared silently, not knowing when. Young master, why did you leave without saying a word this time? Could it be that you have another woman outside? Lin Bao had a strong premonition about this. She raised her knife and fork, ready to go down the mountain to find my clone and figure things out. Count me in, too. I'll go as well. Bayou responded eagerly upon seeing this. Consider me one as well. I'll join. With that, the undercover alliance silently reached an agreement without my knowledge. Meanwhile, it started raining heavily, and I had no idea when it had started. My primary wife was still guarding outside the inn, motionless, despite the insults from the two gatekeepers. The gatekeepers looked at Jiang Xianchu, who remained unmoved, and couldn't help but feel exasperated. Who cares about you? The main concern is that there are so many infatuated women now. What if our handsome governor of a state gets affected? At that moment, I quietly went online and when the gatekeepers saw me coming out of the house, their hearts sank to the bottom of the valley. We're doomed. We woke up the governor of a state. Our lives are over. Seeing my primary wife waiting outside, I couldn't help but worry. Have you been waiting here all night? It seems like she has guessed my concern, and a smile as beautiful as a flower bloomed on Jiang Xuanchu's face. Not really, I just happened to arrive. Chin Chanan, can we talk? She said, when it comes to seduction, indeed, my wife is unmatched. She's truly irresistible. Who could resist that? Then come to my room. Meanwhile, on a street in Cloud City, a brother and sister were overjoyed about their upcoming breakthrough to the Foundation Realm completely unaware that danger was gradually approaching them. And at that moment, a child emitting an ominous aura suddenly appeared. And at that moment, a child emitting an ominous aura suddenly appeared. The newcomer was none other than the reincarnation of heavenly arrogance from the upper realm, slaying heaven. In this life of slaying heaven, he faced rejection for killing the parents of his body. Coincidentally, he encountered this brother and sister. It turns out they are both innate Tao bodies. They could serve as my new vessels. It's you. After a burst of bloodlight, slaying heaven successfully obtained a new body. Now, all he needed to do was utilize the knowledge and secret techniques from the upper realm to rapidly cultivate and then eliminate Chinchanan, seize the Nine State Cauldron, and take over the lower realm. Meanwhile, inside Cloud State City, my reputation had already spread throughout the streets and alleys. Every move I made had become the focus of people's discussions. These pieces of news conveniently served the interests of the beings from the upper realm who were planning to take action against me, affirming the old saying that people fear becoming famous just as pigs fear growing fat. Upon learning that I was in Cloud State City, these beings slowed down their plan to slaughter the city and instead prepared to give me a grand gift. Meanwhile, the young man who was just possessed miraculously survived and witnessed the tragedy unfolding before his eyes. After a few struggles, he embraced his lost sister in his arms and wept bitterly. On my side, I suddenly found myself in a state of nervousness. I had just been thinking about bringing my wife inside, but now I didn't know how to broach the subject. Looking at the raindrops falling continuously from her body and her clothes tightly adhering to her figure, I couldn't care about much else. I grabbed my wife's hand and prepared to go for a bath together. Hurry and come with me. You'll catch a cold if you continue like this. Conveniently, there was a bathhouse nearby. Inside the bathhouse, Jiang Xianchu stood shyly in the pool, 
contemplating how to conquer me. Watching my wife remain motionless for a long time, I couldn't help but urge her, what are you still dawdling for? It's just the two of us here. Don't worry, I'll protect you. How's the water temperature? Is it suitable? Upon hearing my domineering CEO-like voice, Jiang Xianchu immersed her head in the water and mumbled that the water temperature was just right. Seeing her satisfied expression, I gently reminded her, later, I'll bring you some new clothes to wear. Under my relentless pursuit, Jiang Xianchu had already been in a state of indescribable happiness. Finally gathering up her courage, she asked, Chanan, do you want to bathe together? Although I also wanted to have a passionate encounter with my wife, there were more important matters to attend to at the moment. I could only refuse such beauty in a righteous manner. Upon hearing my rejection, Jiang Xianchu felt slightly disappointed. I then turned my attention to the information about the beings from the upper realm. But how can this being at the foundation establishment realm peak be considered a crop? It seems that I'll have to let it grow a bit before harvesting. System, my child, investigate the background of the reincarnated heavenly arrogance. I want first-hand information about him, I commanded. Since the last time I mercilessly tortured the system, it had become quite shrewd. Deducting 250 points of domain value, searching in progress, the system responded. Damn it, you son of a bitch. Do you think you're funny? I retorted. The reincarnated heavenly arrogance is mostly composed of upper realm cultivators, ranging from immortal realm beings to divine realm beings. They descend to the mortal realm on the command of the domain masters of various major immortal domains, aiming to seize the myriad realms. They possess memories and techniques from several lifetimes, allowing them to temporarily resist the influence of the heavenly Tao and rapidly advance in cultivation. Overcoming higher level opponents is also their specialty. Among the reincarnated beings, there are advanced beings who reincarnate to qualify as immortal venerable candidates and ultimate beings who reincarnate to enhance their own cultivation. Of course, there are also salted fish laborers who are forced to descend to the mortal realm. Although they come from various regions, they all have one goal, to seize the lower realm, the system provided the information, and this time, everyone from the immortal domains changed their targets and aimed at the same place. The nine-state continent has become a coveted prize for the upper realm due to various factors. In other words, the host has to become the savior and confront these old fellows, preparing to face a group of people alone. My clone has to be careful, this is all valuable domain value. As for who wants to be the savior, it's up to them. After the system finished telling me the story, Jiang Xuanchu's voice came softly, Chin Chanan, I had a strange dream before. In the dream, my Tao companion wasn't you but a stranger whose name I didn't even know. We were attacked by evil cultivators on our way to the Nine State Gathering. To save his own life, he willingly offered me to the evil cultivators. After the heavenly arrogance competition in the dream, I lost everything and died in the desolate wilderness, ignored by everyone. The feeling in the dream was so real that it suffocated me. Sometimes, I couldn't even distinguish between reality and the dream. But reality is real because with you, I am truly happy. Hearing my wife's story, I also suddenly realized that this was the same as the previous fate line. Have you noticed anything else? I asked. Jiang Xianchu had already walked out of the bath at this point. I have discovered one very important thing. I can hardly go on in a world without you. I have realized this so clearly. I love you, she confessed. Then, Jiang Xianchu broke the silence even further, saying, could you please hand me the clothes? Here you go, I replied. Just then, Jiang Xianchu slipped and fell straight into the bath behind her. Seeing this, I instantly understood that it was divine intervention. Without hesitation, I lunged toward Jiang Xuanchu's falling figure. With a splash, both of us fell into the water as expected. And so, the two of us found ourselves gazing into each other's eyes in the pool. Blushes began to appear on our faces. Suddenly, the two of us burst into laughter simultaneously, as if we had planned it. In this moment, all the awkwardness and unspoken thoughts vanished into thin air. As I looked at the beauty in front of me, I couldn't help but slowly draw closer. So, we've made up, haven't we? I said. Jiang Xuanchu's emotional barrier completely dissipated. Ah, uh, she responded with a definite affirmation. With this positive response, our passionate hearts drew closer together. Just as the climax was about to unfold in our passionate play, the petty system suddenly emitted an alarm, interrupting my moment of bliss. Damn system, you really know how to pick your timing. Have you forgotten the phrase rubbing salt into the wound? I've never been so speechless in my life, I muttered. Detected, heavenly arrogance from the upper realm approaching. Host is required to harvest the leeks, the system announced. Upon hearing that the leeks were being handed to me on a silver platter, my anger subsided. Who could possibly have an issue with receiving free domain value? I wondered if the domain value of these leeks would surpass the previous ones. As for activities like kissing, We'll save them for next time. Jiang Xianchu noticed my anxiety and asked considerately, 
are you leaving again? I heard from the gatekeeper that you were going to Dragon Transformation City for inspection, is that true? I softly responded to my wife's question, not wanting to reveal that I was going to harvest leeks. But in the next moment, Jiang Xianchu once again pressed her body against mine, clearly unwilling to let this opportunity to kiss me slip away due to my sudden need to leave. After a moment of sweetness, Jiang Xianchu took the initiative to speak, saying, This is what you owe me. I'm just collecting it back. The interest hasn't been paid yet. Is that not allowed, husband? Under the repeated address of husband from my wife, I succumbed. Sure, sure, of course, you can kiss me as much as you want, my dear wife. He he he. But in response to Jiang Xuanchu's thoughtfulness, I also showed off my masculine charm. Be a good girl and wait for me at home. Once I finish my work, I'll come to pick you up. Jiang Xianchu immersed herself in the tenderness of this moment and softly agreed. Meanwhile, the leak on the other side had a gloomy smile, counting the figures beneath its feet and setting traps with innocent lives, preparing to lay a snare and wait for my arrival. As the Nine Heavens slang god formation was set up, the lackeys began to prepare for a trap, ready to kill me. Little did they know that I had already considered them as domain value in my pocket. After arriving in the vicinity, I sensed the aura emanating from the surroundings. The system also alerted me that the lackeys were nearby, preparing to launch a surprise attack. However, the lackey couldn't contain himself and directly summon his protective magic avatar to strike at me. In an instant, the flying boat I was riding on was severed by the lackey. Oh, it's an attack at the immortal soldier level. This leak does have some strength. Seeing the avatar summoned by the lackey, I couldn't help but feel speechless. Are young people nowadays so fond of these chaotic and random things? They seem to enjoy playing around with such eccentricities. But this kid's cultivation level is so low, yet he's quite skilled at cheating. The lackey felt confident in his victory and began to make triumphant remarks, revealing a creepy smile. Similarly, I looked at the lackey with excitement in my eyes. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Finally, I can legitimately harvest some leeks. Good evening, my dear little lamb. Detected, reincarnated heavenly arrogance currently at the peak of the foundation establishment realm. However, due to possessing a natural divine body, they can summon ancient demonic gods to assist them in battle. Host is required to harvest them and save the people of Dragon Transformation City. After the system finished introducing, I understood why this lackey was acting so arrogantly. He was just cheating. Well, I have plenty of cheats too. Little buddy, if you kneel down and apologize to me, I'll spare your life. Otherwise, ha. Upon hearing my extremely arrogant mockery, the lackey couldn't help but wonder if he had really encountered a tough opponent, but this Chinchanan still didn't understand. Maybe he got scared by the immortal soldier I summoned. Who do you think you are? Just a paper tiger who likes to show off. Don't struggle anymore. Become my new vessel. But in the next moment, this guy directly controlled the bloodthirsty Buddha to attack me. One strike of a thousand hands devouring soul palm. In an instant, the overwhelming giant palms came at me at an invisible speed creating waves of smoke and obscuring the view. However, this lackey didn't understand that. The corners of his mouth couldn't help but curl up slightly. I barely made a move, and it's already over. So fragile. He still dared to fantasize about protecting the lower realm with just this level of ability. But in the next moment, the scene before him completely dumbfounded him. He saw me standing there unscathed, even with a smile on my face. No way, baby. Is this all you got? Slaying heaven right? Let me show you what a dimension reducing strike feels like. Let me show you a few more moves. Come on, hit me. This slaying heaven is indeed someone who has seen the world. He quickly calmed down. You actually know me. Since you are aware of my reputation, I'll spare your whole body. Immediately, he once again controlled the giant Buddha behind him and launched another fierce attack against me. Despite facing the dense rain-like barrage of attacks, I remained steadfast without any wavering. I quietly enjoyed the massages delivered by this lackey time and time again. Put more effort into it. You call yourself an immortal, but you're so weak and flimsy. It's truly laughable. This performance of an adult amusing a child attracted numerous scattered cultivators outside the city, who were preparing to come and help defend against the external enemies. The spectators in the sky couldn't help but feel regretful as they saw visitors from other upper realms arriving earlier and stealing the show. Even the little pink behind her seemed to have recognized the reality. It seemed that this time, that person had stolen the spotlight again. After all, that guy was in the Shuangwu immortal domain, and his true cultivation reached the immortal emperor realm. His bloodthirsty Buddha made him invincible within the same realm. As for the internal governor of a state, 
I'm afraid his days are numbered. Nan Rong couldn't help but laugh lightly. This slaying heaven is just like the major antagonist I read about in novels, while the internal governor of a state is the hero who diligently guards his homeland. Unfortunately, the hero is nothing more than rubbish. It's really pitiful. The woman behind her couldn't help but speak. If these people from the lower realm had a chance to survive in our hands, but unfortunately, they encountered him, and the giant statue manipulated by the lackey also found an opportunity. Its hands came down fiercely towards me, and a heavy dull sound was heard. The upper realm lackeys who were watching around all began to prepare to leave. The outcome was decided. Let's go to the next realm. But at this moment, Nan Rong widened her eyes and said, Wait, look, cutie, I give your massage a full score. Since that's the case, let me make you feel the love from your big brother. After I flipped off the towering giant statue, a disdainful gesture caused its head to explode in a burst of fireworks. As for the audience, everyone stopped in their tracks, witnessing this astonishing strike. It seemed like a perfect finale to the performance. The giant troll turned into fireworks, illuminating the entire dragon transformation city. After the shock subsided, the woman smirked again. Chin Chanan does have some strength. But he made a fatal mistake. He shouldn't have angered slaying heaven. This guy's bloodthirsty cruelty is renowned among the younger generation. Each deity in Buddha was acquired at great cost. I'm afraid Chinchanan will meet a miserable end. The green-haired woman felt an unprecedented sense of pleasure in her heart. She didn't dislike this scene where someone sacrifices themselves to save the world. If it were me, I would definitely make him my special male pet. Congratulations, host, on successfully killing the bloodthirsty Buddha, an immortal soldier. You have gained 500,000 domain value. Damn, killing summon creatures also grants domain value? It's so awesome. You really are my lucky star, my little darling. Then I provocatively taunted the little brat. If you don't have the strength, why pretend? You disappeared after playing for such a short time. I haven't even warmed up yet. You're not just this little trash, right? My actions successfully anger the lackey, who exclaimed, I have more than just this one. A blue glowing arm wielding a massive axe slowly appeared. A loud voice rang out before the person even emerged fully. For my master, I'll brave all dangers and eliminate all evil calamities. While shouting the slogan, the wielder of the axe swung it towards me. Another ambush? Clearly, this immortal soldier was not one to waste words. After narrowly dodging my first strike, it swung the axe at me again. This time, the strike was precise and hit me directly. But in an instant, that figure transformed into smoke and dissipated into the air. But this burly man clearly wasn't very bright. He actually thought that one strike would take me out completely. People from the moral realm are so easy to kill. I haven't even exerted my full strength yet. However, slaying heaven is not a fool and quickly reminded me, Grudge Phantom, above you. The burly man suddenly looked up and saw that I had been waiting here for a while. With my unwashed feet, I stomped fiercely towards him. I heard you just stole my lines. You damn bastard. Watch me stomp you into pieces. Right beneath my seemingly insignificant foot, a large hole appeared on the body of this damn bastard. You're still young. Don't be too arrogant. Congratulations, host, on killing in gods and demons of a mortal soldier realm. You have gained another 500,000 domain value. My precious little darling didn't need me to say anything. It summoned its own troops, the shrimp soldiers and crab generals, once again. This time, the summoned creatures were a big package of domain value, with three heads and six arms resembling Azuras. The lackeys couldn't wait any longer and shouted, Kill him! Kill him! Oh dear! Aren't you in a rush? I'm not ready yet, but can your body handle it? Can you withstand the pressure? I'm still waiting. Why don't you summon a few more big packages for me to see? Let me show you my powerful heavenly dragon technique. Upon seeing the grand and imposing aura I exuded, the lackeys finally became afraid. Cold sweat dripped from their foreheads. Damn. Fly dragon, attack. I want to thoroughly drain the last drop of experience from this guy. As my true dragon descended, that wonderful prompt rang out once again. Congratulations to the host for setting a new record, gaining 500,000 domain value. Seeing that this guy was standing still, I got annoyed. Continue, damn it. I'm just getting started. Hurry up, can't you hear me? You useless waste. You're standing there and can't even kill me. I know you still have a protecting Dao immortal. Quickly bring him out and let me have some fun. Seeing him remain silent for a long time, my demonic-like whisper resounded again. If this is your level, it's truly pathetic. You're nothing but a dogshit tier immortal. I think you're a cursed dog. But this guy was immune to my words, which infuriated me. I raised my hand and slapped him. If you don't want to die, quickly summon someone powerful. This little bit isn't enough for anyone to play with. Why aren't you calling for reinforcements? Are you really out of tricks? Can't be, can it? I was looking forward to a good fight. It's your responsibility. Well, I'll pay attention to something else. Just die already. You're already at death's door, and there's no one to save you. Tell me, 
how did you manage to survive until now? Although I said all this for show, deep down, I was still hoping for the general behind him. Ah, at the next moment, this lackey seemed to have a sudden burst of energy, as his whole body ignited with secret flames. I underestimated you, but I've achieved my goal. Ha ha ha. I thought he would follow the normal script and summon the ultimate final boss to fight me to the death. But this guy unexpectedly self-immolated and left behind a bold declaration, telling me to clean up and wait for him to harvest me. Looking at the experience pack that disappeared from my hand, I couldn't help but feel regretful. How come this guy never falls into the trap? It seems that the death of his avatar in the moral realm doesn't affect his true self in the upper realm. But if I can trick his true self to come here, then we'll have some fun. The host has completed the temporary mission of protecting the citizens of Dragon Transformation City, rewarding 20,000 domain value and one salted fish treasure chest. Killing a foundation establishment realm peak expert grants 10 points of domain value. You're using these 10 points of domain value to disgust me. It seems that everything related to heavenly arrogance is valuable. I'll have to find a way to lure them out, but individually searching for them would be troublesome. I might as well use the nine state cauldron to lure them out and catch them all in one go. But in the next moment, I realized that the battle with this little fish was too intense. My imposing manner was at its peak. They must have already noticed it and are too scared to come out. This. I was actually confused by this little brat. Crushing him was too overbearing. The heavenly arrogance who were watching won't come anymore. Normally, they would hide and not show themselves. But now it's even harder to find them. Governor of a state. As I watched the little guy rushing towards me, an idea suddenly came to my mind. Got it. Then I pulled out my acting skills. Kneeling down on the ground and pretending to be severely injured, showing signs of backlash. The reincarnated heavenly arrogance is truly remarkable. I had to exhaust 80% of my power just to barely kill him. If it weren't for my determination to risk my life, I would have been killed on the spot by that guy. I just hope I won't encounter any other heavenly generals. My body won't be able to fight again for several months. Seeing me so weak, the little brother hurriedly rushed over, shouting loudly, Governor of a state, Governor of a state. Are you okay? With that remark, my performance was undoubtedly brought to a climax. But in order to make those little followers relax their vigilance, I showed even more of my acting skills. That is, I almost looked like I was dying. Hurry up and take me to a doctor, I said. My acting touched this little brother, seeing him nodding with tears in his eyes. He said, I will do my best to protect governor of a state. Then he lifted me up and twisted his enchanting steps while shouting loudly, Someone help, governor of a state is seriously injured. His life is hanging by a thread. Someone save him. Governor of a state is about to die. Hearing this little brother's exaggerated performance, I couldn't help but sweat a bit. At this moment, the three bystanders also started discussing. This Chinchanan is not simple. It's the first time I've seen slaying heaven in such a miserable state. If he were born in the upper realm, it's likely to be a different story. Fortunately, he was seriously injured, which made things easier for us. The long-haired woman did not lose her intelligence and instead cautiously suggested, why don't the three of us join together and try to test him? We can't let others take advantage of us. Meanwhile, the little brother has already brought me back to the town, and his loud proclamation attracted the attention of many people. Did you hear? Governor of a state is seriously injured. The long-haired woman seemed a bit impatient and her heart was eager to make a move. The three of us are at the peak of refining Void Realm. As long as we cooperate and use all means, it shouldn't be difficult to deal with him. What do you think? Shall we do it? The pink-haired young girl thought we should be more cautious. Because, with her sixth sense as a woman, she felt that there were some problems. Didn't that Azura and the bald man get killed because they were reckless? Nan Rong, watching the two having a heated discussion, suddenly interrupted. In my opinion, dealing with Chen Chanan, using force is not the best way. Nobody knows whether it's deep feelings or something else. Nan Rong even showed a bit of infatuation in her eyes. Men are hard to get over a certain obstacle, and that obstacle is called the beauty barrier. Suddenly, a cheer came from the upper boundary of the Jiang family. It's the young miss. The young miss has returned. As the words fell, a jade foot gently touched the ground. The young miss must have obtained the immortal fruit. Now Patriarch can be saved. Upon seeing the figure of Jiang Yuchang, the guards outside the door also bowed to Yuchang. They respectfully welcomed the young miss, but Yuchang didn't have time to acknowledge them, and walked straight ahead. I want to see the family head. Inside the house, several Jiang family disciples sat cross-legged, absorbing the energy from the light spheres. Seeing this scene again, Jiang Yuchang couldn't help but worry. There is not much energy left in the lower realm for disciples to cultivate. I wonder if the Jiang family can seize the nine state continent this time, but if that true body is reincarnated, they should be able to succeed in seizing it. After all, all this lower realm energy is her spoils of war. But soon, 
Jiang Yuchang arrived in the main hall. Respectfully, she presented the immortal fruit to the front, and on that throne sat the Jiang family head. She waved her hand, and the immortal fruit fell into her hand. How come there's only one fruit? Isn't there a whole immortal tree in the lower realm? With your strength, how did you only obtain one fruit? Yu Chang, you should know that one immortal fruit is not enough to extend Patriarch's life. I had great expectations of you. Hearing the displeased questioning from the family head, Jiang Yu Chang felt even more anxious and uneasy. Family head, let me explain the situation in the Nine State in detail to you. Upon hearing Yu Chang's explanation, the Jiang family head expressed astonishment. Creating immortals barehanded? That's right, it's Chin Chanan, the owner of the immortal fruit. Overnight, he created two immortals and four half immortals. When I met him, I didn't know his identity, and I tried to intimidate him with the aura of an immortal, but he ruthlessly crushed me, completely disregarding me. If it weren't for my quick thinking, I might not have come back. It seems that this person is indeed extraordinary. Even immortal venerables may not be able to create immortals barehanded, let alone people from the lower realm. Yu Chan, the Shuangwu immortal domain is in turmoil. How can our Jiang family stand firm in the midst of this turmoil? This is a critical moment. I have a new mission for you. If you can obtain the immortal fruit from him, it proves that he has a good impression of you. Find a way to continue obtaining the immortal fruit to save Patriarch's life. Secondly, our Jiang family's most outstanding heavenly arrogance has been out of contact with us for a long time. I need you to find her. I will imprint her guardian immortal's mark on you. You will sense it when you encounter her. After receiving the mission assigned by the family head, Yu Chang also respectfully bowed. Yu Chang will do his best to complete the mission. Meanwhile, the slang heaven were speaking arrogantly in the main hall. The minions outside hurriedly approached to inquire, but all they received was endless anger. That beast, how dare a mere lower realm trash insult me. I will definitely slaughter the nine state continent. And the little brother, after hearing his big brother's incompetence and rage, was greatly shocked. He didn't expect the arrogant ninth prince to actually encounter obstacles. Slaying heaven suddenly smirked incessantly. Chin Chanan, the ruler of the Nine State, my most precious three divine beings were actually destroyed by you. Get ready. I will reincarnate into the lower realm and personally kill this person. Upon hearing that his good big brother wanted to do such a brainless thing, slaying heaven's little brother became extremely anxious. Big brother, please think twice. Reincarnation of the true body is different from splitting the soul. In the lower realm, if the soul is destroyed, the true body still exists. But if the true body is destroyed, then it's really dead. It cannot even enter the cycle of reincarnation. You are now the prince with the best chance of ascending the throne in the Shuangwu immortal domain. Please don't joke about your own life. And slaying heaven also realized the reality. Sending out the split soul alone has no effect at all. That Chin Chanan's strength is somewhat formidable. He can be said to be invincible in the lower realm. And now, I can only preserve most of my power by reincarnating my true body, under the nine state laws, so that I can personally kill that seed of disaster. You don't need to meddle in my affairs anymore. I have made my decision and I will go and do it. Besides, in one year, there will be the Immortal Venerable Successor Selection Conference. I must seize the land of the Nine State to qualify for participation. Just as the little brother wanted to continue dissuading, slaying heaven directly stopped him. Your perspective is too narrow. That's why you are the little brother and I am your big brother. If I can win 100%, why should I hold back? You should remember, anyone who could potentially threaten you must be eliminated from the cradle. Hesitation will lead to defeat. At this moment, slaying heaven's expression became solemn. I can only become an immortal venerable successor candidate. Then those old foxes will push me to the throne. The land of the nine state cannot tolerate the slightest mistake. Chin Chanan, I have decided on your fate. In the lower realm, news of my severe injuries spread throughout the entire cloud state overnight. The rumors became more and more exaggerated. Have you heard? It is said that the governor of a state transformed into a divine dragon and fought with an upper boundary immortal for three days and three nights. Although he killed the upper boundary immortal, his life is also in danger. I'm telling you, someone said that the governor of a state is infertile, but in order to protect world peace, they have to marry an upper boundary immortal. What? Could it be that the governor of a state is having an affair with an upper boundary fairy? Listening to the sisters, the more they talk, the more mysterious it becomes. One of the young ladies couldn't tolerate the dissatisfaction in her heart and directly intervened interrupting them. Stop talking nonsense here. The governor of a state is just severely injured, not dead yet. And those gossiping girls, disgusted by the interruption, left one after another. As for what they were saying about me, I happened to be carefully exploring the whereabouts of those wild chives inside the house. But in the end, it was in vain. Indeed, even with the heavenly Dao radar, I couldn't find a trace of these little fellows. They are experts in hide and seek. 
I can only wait for these big brothers to show themselves voluntarily, and my invincible domain has only expanded to a little over 60,000 meters, still far from completely covering the 100,000 mountains, let alone the cloud state. I have no idea how long I'll have to wait. My domain value is simply not enough. My dear chives, come and take the bait willingly. Just as I was worried about my domain value, there suddenly came the sound of rapid footsteps outside the door, outside the house. A figure was continuously shuttling around outside the various rooms. Where? Which room is he in? Sensing that aura, I couldn't help but smile. This kid is right outside the door. It seems he's looking for an opportunity. After observing repeatedly, that figure confirmed my location. Are they planning to enter through the window? Come on then, let me see if the catch is a big fish. It seems I'll angrily earn 3 million tonight. The person's clumsy footsteps step by step enter my house. And in order to cooperate better, I continued to pretend to be in a state of cultivation, creating a great opportunity for him. But this kid didn't actually attack me. Instead, he kept touching and feeling me. Could it be? Did I encounter some kind of deranged upper boundary psychological case? Just when this kid was becoming more and more outrageous, I didn't plan to continue being harassed like this. You upper boundary heavenly arrogance have gone too far. If you want to kill me, fine, but you also want to defile my innocence? But in the next moment, the figure that came into view made me freeze in place. I didn't expect that. The person who was touching me all over just now turned out to be my wife. Looking at my wife beneath me, I stammered and said, Wife, why are you here? After I released her, Jiang Xianchu looked even more aggrieved and said, I heard you were severely injured, and I was worried, so I came to find you. There are heavy guards outside, and it takes too long to notify them. So I, before Jiang Xianchu could finish her sentence, she realized it herself, and she started panicking and fumbling around. Husband, where are you injured? Let me take a look. I'll help you. Seeing my wife, who still wanted to touch me crazily, I quickly stopped her. After all, continuing would lead to another story. Your husband is super strong. A mere heavenly arrogance can't harm me at all. I'm not injured at all, but my wife obviously didn't believe my words. Completely ignoring my resistance, she started forcefully pulling at my clothes. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Today, I'm going to thoroughly check you. I'll just take a look. Just one look. Facing my wife's violence, I could only silently resist. Just as Jiang Xianchu continued to look down, her eyes suddenly became dull. A blush rose on her cheeks. The scene fell into silence in an instant, regarding that object that emitted golden light. Jiang Xianchu also seemed entranced, showing no signs of turning her head away. And I was the first to break the silence. Quite sudden, isn't it? I also find it quite sudden. Now do you believe? I'm fine, but I'm very happy that you came to see me, my wife. Jiang Xuanchu's cheeks were like a ripe apple. Chin Chanan, do you want to enter the bridal chamber? Upon hearing my refusal once again, Jiang Xianchu turned her head away in disappointment, making a soft sound. But Jiang Xianchu still didn't give up and winked at me, implying, if you were a heavenly arrogance, I would push you down right now. Looking at my wife with big sparkling eyes, I couldn't help but reach out and grab her. So adorable. Even though Jiang Xianchu, who used all her tricks but failed to seduce me, was defeated at this moment, she quietly snuggled up in my arms, softly acting spoiled. Just then, a female voice suddenly came from outside the room. Jiang Xianchu immediately realized that it might be a heavenly arrogance, and she quickly dove under the bed. I'll lie and wait first. If you need my help, just call me. Regarding my wife's hide and seek game, I helplessly said, Wife, please come out. But Jiang Xianchu didn't care about anything and refused to come out. Suddenly, Mingyi rushed in. Chin Chanan, how are you? And without caring about my surprise, she pounced directly into my arms. Chin Chanan, let me check your injuries. Just relax. You're my sister, so you can't touch certain places. Chin Chanan is fine. It'll be quick. It won't hurt. Upon hearing these misleading words, Jiang Xianchu felt even more frustrated under the bed, like a trapped little dog wishing to come out and kill that woman directly. Nan Rong outside the room originally wanted to use seduction tactics, but at this moment, she was utterly shocked by my extreme behavior. This Chin Chanan is playing too recklessly. Inside the room, Ming He was now very earnestly blowing gentle breaths toward me, like a mature elder sister. Meanwhile, my wife was still hiding under the bed, and it seemed like you were deliberately putting me in a difficult situation. Then I cleverly reminded her, Sister, this can easily cause misunderstandings. But Ming He didn't care about misunderstandings understandings at all. I stopped caring about rumors and gossip from the outside world a long time ago. Tonight, let Mingyi accompany you, guarding your safety. Upon hearing Mingyi's explicit proposal, Jiang Xianchu under the bed was already full of jealousy, almost reaching the point of exposing a knife to catch the adulterers. Although Mingyi had said so much, I still had to resolutely refuse. Otherwise, tomorrow morning in Cloud State City, 
it wouldn't just be rumors of me being seriously injured, it would be the corpse of the ruler of the Nine State lying in the wilderness. What confused me, however, was that Ming He, the ruler of Ghost State, was the only one among the nine continent rulers who first surrendered to me, actively helping me to win over other governors of a state and secure my position as the ruler of the nine state. Yet, I knew very little about her, and we couldn't even be considered close, but she was fully responsible for all my major matters. Is it because my charm as a man is too great? It's like I can have it all. I don't know if it's good or bad. Host, please be aware that there is a refining void realm heavenly arrogance lurking near the governor of a state. Oh, Great, the long-awaited leak finally came online. Ha ha ha, I've been waiting for you for so long. Just as I discover the new leak, Nan Rong outside the room also stepped on a branch with a snap, exposing her whereabouts. Nan Rong secretly thought, not good, my concealment technique failed. She immediately fled into the distance. Chin Chanan is pretending to be seriously injured, aiming to make us fall into a trap, cunning ruler of the lower realm. It seems that my proud seduction plan is not very useful after all. At this moment, my figure appeared directly in front of this little fool. Good evening, my dear domain value. I've been waiting for you for so long. And in that instant when Nan Rong saw me, her nervous expression turned into fear, and her mood instantly sank to the bottom. And at this moment, two other leaks from the fairy realms also appeared together. Nan Rong, I've told you before, your trick can only deceive those brainless idiots, but this guy is clearly not that kind of brainless idiot. Sensing the appearance of a new domain value behind me, I was overjoyed. Good things come in pairs indeed. The long-haired woman no longer hesitated and came straight at me to attack. Chin Chaman, come at me with your life. You dare to lay hands on me, even as a mere immortal. So, you're pretty brave, huh? The little pink-haired person also revealed their ultimate move from the bottom of their box. This is the only chance. Let's show all our trump cards. As they spoke, suddenly a chessboard appeared under them, and the chess pieces inside swiftly moved. And Nan Rong, seeing that she now had allies in confidence, originally found you a little pleasing to the eye. But unfortunately, now I'm going to kill you. And the long-haired woman controlled the ropes around her body. This strike would penetrate everything. Once my blazing spirit chain locks onto its target, even immortals cannot escape death. Watching these lackeys show off their ultimate moves, I couldn't help but laugh. You're so strong. I'm so scared. A golden dragon illuminated the entire scene. And what happened inside was self-evident. Their hands were skillfully entangled with ropes by me. After tying the dog leash, those arrogant heavenly arrogances instantly turned into idiots. They even became incoherent in their pleas for mercy. Seeing them beaten into pig heads by me, I felt a great sense of familiarity. I reached out and touched them directly. As long as you obediently answer my questions, how could I possibly harm you? After all, I'm not some kind of demon. At this moment, Nan Rong also became my loyal lapdog. Little brother, you're so kind. These dogs actually have hiding techniques that even the system can't detect. Once I master them, I'll turn them into my domain value. And at this moment, Jiang Xin Chu in the room couldn't hold back and ran out. Husband, who are these people? These are the heavenly arrogances from the upper realm reincarnated, possessing various amazing skills. Stay away. Nan Rong, upon seeing Jiang Xin Chu and the others, once again schemed in her heart. So cautious. But do you think I can't deal with you anymore like this? Forget it. It's just a strand of soul. Let me make it shine and heat up again. And the following scene completely infuriated Jiang Xian Chu. I saw Nan Rong actually pretending to be very familiar with me, softly saying, Husband, I miss you so much. I can't sleep at night without you. Seeing this sudden change in behavior, I also realized what she was up to. You're talking nonsense. But Nan Rong came here with a determination to die. Husband, is she your first wife? Why have you never told me about her? If we're pursuing excitement, we should go all the way. Do you know what I need the most right now? It's you. Jiang Xian Chu, seeing Nan Rong becoming more and more outrageous, coldly said, Chin Chanan is mine. No one can snatch him away. Nan Rong continued to add fuel to the fire. Why are you so concerned? Woman, isn't it normal for a man to have multiple wives? Jiang Xian Chu couldn't control himself and was about to directly attack these small fries with his knife. Wife, calm down. Let's keep her. She's still useful to us. Ming He, seeing the scene, couldn't help but be moved. I thought I would never see such a scene of heavenly arrogances from the upper realm being punished again in this lifetime. He really is unexpected. In the small town at the border of Cloud City, the streets are filled with the smell of blood. Even the sky has been stained red. And in this city, there is only one survivor left. The little guy whose body was taken by slaying heaven that day. And in this city, the two members of the Burial Love Heaven sect who had just massacred the city were looking at their swords, emitting sharp sounds. With this immortal sword, the Nine State Realm will be ours. That Burial Love also noticed the young man hidden behind him. Oh, there's still a little mouse left to kill. 
As the burial love family casually mentioned, the young man was directly caught. Just as the young man was about to be sacrificed by the burial love heavenly arrogance, an attack suddenly came towards burial love. Let him go. The person who arrived is the sleeper alliance who came down the mountain to find me, Lin Bao and Bai Yu. After saving the young man, Lin Bao even blocked in front of the young man. You dogs and trash from the upper realm also dare to cultivate immortality? When Burial Love saw these ants from the lower realm dare to meddle in the affairs of their upper realm bosses, he couldn't help but be furious. Your little girl's body is not bad, perfect for sacrificing the sword. As he spoke, he swung towards Lin Bao, seeing the small fry approaching to kill her. Lin Bao remained calm and composed. You damn thing, were you also responsible for the slaughter of the previous cities? Upon receiving a positive response, her killing intent grew stronger. Then you shall become a lost soul under my sword. Atone for the people you killed. With a flash of sword light, the figure of the small fry froze in place. With a splattering sound, blood sprayed out, and another small fry added. How did the holy immortal sword end up in your hands? Wasn't it in the hands of Chin Chanan? Lin Bao said with dominance. There's no need for the dead to know so much. Feeling Lin Bao's killing intent, the small fry fled. What kind of cheats are they using one by one? It's even more excessive than mine. It's best to leave first. However, Lin Bao, burning with anger, wouldn't let the small fry escape so easily. With a swift stroke of justice, she killed the small fry. But Lin Bao's furious mood remained unchanged. We've already seen five cities being slaughtered along our way, and there are probably more in places we can't see. It seems that our master frequently switches avatars because the nine-state continent is truly in a crisis. Detection of host disciple Lin Bao's killing of two transcendence realm heavenly arrogances. Rewarding host with 20,000 domain value. Special mission appearing. Due to the wanton slaughter of heavenly arrogances in the nine-state continent, host is requested to take immediate action to save the nine-state. Successful mission will reward host with a card for crossing realms. Failure will result in the destruction of the nine-state. Upon seeing the new mission, I smiled slightly. I've been looking forward to you. I can't get excited without some benefits. After receiving the new mission, my attention was also drawn to a key phrase. Realm Crossing Card. System, let's talk about something. Is this Realm Crossing Card what I think it is? Can I use it to cross to other realms, like Earth? The little system looked puzzled and asked, what's Earth? And where this Realm Crossing Card can take you is purely a matter of luck. System, can you help me out a little? I just want a designated crossing. You know, unable to find a solution, I pondered again. This mission was caused by heavenly arrogances. Killing one or two small fries is easy, but it's a bit challenging to harvest them all. Besides, some advanced vegetables have avatars in the mortal realm, purely cheating with unlimited revivals. It's impossible to clean them up completely. Let me ask you this. Is there a time limit for the special mission? Can I earn domain value by killing heavenly arrogances, excluding Lin Bao? The special mission is limited to one day, and it concerns the life and death of the Nine State. I hope the host takes it seriously. Stop slacking off. Hearing the system dare to criticize me from a moral high ground. I'm not willing either. The mission rewards are insufficient. No discussion. Anyway, I'm not afraid. Just then, the people behind me exclaimed one after another. Look, another immortal has descended to the mortal realm. And in the sky, a golden vortex suddenly opened up, detecting new leaks, slaying heaven online. This heavenly arrogance is at the immortal emperor level, and the host's avatar is unable to contend with it. Do you need to exchange for a higher level avatar? Immortal emperor level. It must be his true body descending this time, right? This thing is like a supersized experience pack. Thank goodness. I finally encountered a big fish. He, no need to exchange for now. I'm planning to have some big fun with him. At the same time, in a deep part of the forest in cloud state, numerous small fries had already gathered, welcoming the ninth prince. And accompanying the ninth prince to the mortal realm was also Yu Chan. But Yu Chan clearly didn't want to get involved in such matters. After exchanging greetings with the ninth prince, she prepared to take her leave. Slang Heaven looked at the departing Yu Chang and couldn't help but feel disappointed. We are both from Shuangwu Immortal Domain. Why won't you stay and help me seize the Nine State? The Jiang family members are all stubborn indeed. As Yu Chang left, she couldn't help but mutter in her heart. Slang Heaven has actually descended in his true form. It seems that the Nine State is bound to be taken by him. But no matter what kind of power decline, it will be suppressed by the laws of heaven. Yet I don't feel any signs of him being suppressed. Could it be that he's disguised? At this moment, slaying heaven's small fries also ran over. Your Highness, Chin Chanan is cunning and has released false information about being seriously injured, to confuse Nan Rong and the others. They were all captured. That's right, Your Highness. We cannot let ourselves be manipulated by a mere mortal. We must take the initiative. We must make him pay a price. Otherwise, how can we establish ourselves? Hearing the constant complaints from these small fries, 
slaying heaven raised his hand to stop them. In five hours, I will make sure he begs for life but can't find death. Then a standard villainous smile appeared on his face. But I need your cooperation. I remember that Chen Chan'an originally had many relatives and friends in the Flying Immortal Mountain, right? Our plan consists of two steps. Step 1. Gather all the heavenly arrogance near Cloud State who can be contacted, and bring them extreme panic and despair. Step 2. When those ants are completely hopeless, give them a glimmer of hope, at various locations in the Nine State. At this moment, just as arranged by slaying heaven, the entire Nine State has also fallen into extreme panic. And those small fries, with fierce expressions, look at the people in the city and say, Do you want to stay alive? As long as your governor of a state hands over the Nine State Cauldron, this slaughter will stop. After this upheaval, the little brothers from various states have also turned their coats one after another, standing on a moral high ground to condemn me. That bastard Chinchanan, quickly hand over the Nine State Cauldron, and give an explanation to the higher realms. Slaying Heaven Small Fries saw the plan going so smoothly and all showed satisfied smiles. Perhaps Chinchanan didn't expect that we not only have superior strength, but also intelligent minds. Ha ha ha. As for Slaying Heaven, who controls everything from behind, he couldn't stop laughing. Chin Chanan, you will always have to pay for everything you do. Misleading shouts could be heard from the mansion in Dragon Transformation City. Nan Rong's face turned red, as if she had experienced indescribable despair. After my exploration, I finally understood the secret of their hiding technique. Although this technique can evade low-level detection and communicate with other leaks simultaneously, it also carries certain risks. After repeated experiments, I found that maintaining this state for a long time would backfire. At the very least, it would result in becoming mentally impaired, and at worst, it could lead to memory loss. And this guardian is like a powerful summoned beast by the side of the heavenly arrogance, with various summoning methods. But I seem to remember the guardian of the Jade Azura saying that he is not suppressed because of his cultivation of the Immortal Seal. It seems that this Immortal Seal is not that simple. It looks like capturing heavenly arrogance alone is not enough. We also need to capture some guardians to obtain information from the higher realms. In a hall in Dragon Transformation City, several governors of states are still gathered together, revealing the conditions within their respective states. Apparently, every state has suffered devastating blows. After discussing, they all turned their focus on me. Just then, a force that seemed to tear the heavens and earth suddenly appeared, causing panic among the governors of states. The earth is trembling. It's the Nine State Cauldron. Someone is tampering with it. After speaking, the governors of states rushed outside without hesitation. At this moment, a golden light that pierced through the heavens and earth also shone in the center of Dragon Transformation City, and I was the one causing this upheaval. The surrounding little brothers were all terrified. Damn it, what is the governor of a state trying to do? Is he trying to destroy the Nine State Cauldron? After a commotion, I also stopped. This thing is quite sturdy. Looks like I'll have to go all out. So, I turned to my wife beside me, displaying affection in front of everyone. Darling, it will be dangerous here for a while. Go to the city and wait for me. After I finish up, I'll come find you. Jiang Xianchu also immediately rejected this proposal, and sprinkled some dog food. No, I want to stay by your side and face it together. Good girl. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Once Jiang Xianchu left, I continued to increase the output power. At this time, the governors of states from the nine states also arrived one after another. Quick, stop him. If this continues, the entire nine state will be destroyed along with him. And even the heavenly Tao can't bear the pain. Dad, my only biological father, please, please stop fighting. I can't take it anymore. If you keep fighting, the entire continent will collapse. Although the humble heavenly Tao begged for mercy, I didn't show any mercy. Instead, I increased my output. Just listen to dad. With my divine power infused, the nine state cauldron shattered. At the same time, the entire nine state was torn apart under my manipulation, ushering in the end. Just as the little brothers were all in despair, I suddenly stopped my actions and looked up at the sky. It wasn't in vain that I put in all that effort. The big fish is finally hooked. I've been waiting for you for so long. High above in the sky, countless heavenly arrogance led by slaying heaven appeared, occupying the entire night sky. The momentum is magnificent and mighty, although it's an army pressing in. In my eyes, they're just handing over domain value. You cowardly turtles finally showed up. I've been waiting so hard for you. Jiang Xianchu and others were completely shocked by the scene before them. All the heavenly arrogance from across the Nine State have gathered here. Slaying Heaven is furious because of my actions. Chin Chaman, didn't expect you to have some guts. The followers behind me also expressed their opinions. Using such despicable means to force us out, 
rendering all our previous efforts useless. You damn bastard, looking at the chattering domain value in front of me, I contemptuously said, you guys are just a bunch of unruly kids gathered together. I am the ruler of the Nine State. Whether this domain is destroyed, I am the one who decides. Even the Heavenly Kings should shut up in front of me, and I had no intention of listening to them continue talking. I directly started my plan to harvest the leaks. As the energy at my fingertips kept flashing, the sound of domain value arriving kept ringing. Congratulations, you have gained 5,000 domain value. My indifferent attitude completely filled Slaying Heaven with hatred. He angrily shouted my name, and the heavenly arrogance behind Slaying Heaven gathered together, calling out for their own guardian immortal general. As the first crimson vortex slowly appeared, the entire night sky was filled with countless crimson vortices. One by one, the so-called heavenly arrogance summoned beasts rushed out of the vortex like wolves and tigers, and their only goal at the moment was to kill me and seize this nine state. The system prompt kept ringing incessantly at this moment, detecting the appearance of an immortal general realm guardian. Please eliminate them as soon as possible, host. In just a fleeting moment, there were hundreds of such prompts. And without exception, all the summoned beasts pouring out of the vortex were immortal general realm level guardians. In a farmhouse in the mortal realm, an old woman rushed into the house. Old man, there's another immortal descending to the mortal realm. The old man trembled all over. Seeing the surprised look on the old man's face, the old woman anxiously shouted, What are you standing there for? Let's pack up and run away quickly. But the old man had no intention of retreating. He directly grabbed a shovel and rushed out of the house. It's been decades, and I must kill them. Before he could finish his sentence, he tripped and fell to the ground with a thud. The old woman saw the old man fall outside the door and hurriedly ran towards him in worry. Although the old man had already worn himself out before the battle even began, he still trembled as he said, I will kill them, drive them away. But at this moment, tears were already streaming down the old man's face. Are we going to lose our home again? There are too many leaks. I can't harvest them all. As more and more guardians appeared, my heart remained unaffected, and I could even use a few more. Who will I harvest these few leaks for? Then I happily shouted at them. My little darlings from the higher realm. Give it your all. Is this all you've got? Bring me more. Don't worry about me. I can handle it. But the governors of the states behind me were already frozen in place. This. When was the last time there were so many immortals descending to the mortal realm? The guy with the spiky hair interjected. This is the first time in history. Meanwhile, Nangong was relatively calm at the moment. The governors of the states made a mistake in this game of chess. The heavenly arrogance should have been targeted and killed separately. And his actions undoubtedly pushed the nine state cauldron into the abyss. Slaying Heaven felt the increasing support, and his confidence soared. He attempted to destroy the Nine State and force us out. This is the most failed move you've made. At the same time, it's also your final move. Chinchanan, you can rest in peace. And those guardians, one by one, couldn't wait to come forward to meet their doom. Just a lowly mortal from the mortal realm. Nothing more than an empty vase. I can crush you all by myself. To think that even when the domain values are right at my fingertips, they still dare to taunt me. I burst out laughing. Such adorable fellows. They're just immortal general realm level guardians. Not enough for me to harvest. And to simplify and expedite the harvesting process, I kicked out a golden arc directly. Immortal commander realm power at full throttle. A swoosh of golden light flashed by, and that rain of arrows directly split the entire night sky, illuminating the whole world. Countless screams rang out as my arrow descended, and the sound of domain values being received echoed continuously. But what's different is that, each notification sound is worth 1 million domain values, accompanied by a salted fish treasure chest. The rain of arrows I shot out directly broke through the sky, soaring into the universe, but my attacks are not limited to just this strike. Then I pointed towards the sky, and instantly, countless small fry vanished into thin air. I couldn't help but mock. Really? So these are the so-called immortal beings from the higher realm? So weak. Is this really all the strength you have? Since you recklessly slaughter mortals in the mortal realm, regarding them as ugly and despicable ants. Then when you, beings from the higher realm, are slaughtered by someone like me, a mortal from the mortal realm, you can't blame anyone else, right? Repent for your crimes in hell. After harvesting the first wave of domain values, I instructed the system to use all the domain values I obtained to expand my invincible domain. Without any delay, the system immediately began deducting domain values to expand my invincible domain. My domain values started to decrease rapidly, but the speed couldn't keep up with my hunting speed. Soon after, the second wave of guardians continued to emerge from the whirlpool, killing their way out. On the contrary, slaying heaven's face showed no anger due to my slaughter. Instead, 
He grinned. I've seen plenty of arrogant individuals like you. Although the immortal commander realm can dominate the world, how many rounds can you withstand with this strategy of overwhelming numbers? The immortal beings in our immortal realm are not ones you can kill off. Sooner or later, you will exhaust yourself and die at my hands. Ha ha ha. The leaks in the sky no longer charge recklessly. Instead, each of them displays their own supernatural powers, illuminating the entire night sky with a variety of techniques. But no matter how many skills they have, they are just insignificant tricks before me. I strike again, and the notification sounds ring out madly. Seeing this scene, the explosive haired guy pinches the face of the old man next to him as if in a dream, and those defected small fry once again kneel before me, cheering and applauding for me. Jiang Xian Chu, at this moment, looks at the palm of her hand, murmuring softly, Husband, why can't I understand you more and more? What are you planning? And in the hands of Jiang Xian Chu is the imprint of the heavenly thunder, a symbol of becoming the master of the heavenly way. But the aerial battle does not compromise because of this. Instead, it becomes even more intense. Explosions continuously sound in the air. Nangong trembles uncontrollably as he watches the explosions fill the sky. This battle is not something we can intervene in. The same scene occurs with other governors of states. Those so-called governors of states all lower their heads and whisper softly. No one can believe that the young man who was interrogated by us not long ago, is now fighting alone for us. Our fate, the fate of the nine-state continent, rests on his shoulders. Chinchanan, you must win. Meanwhile, I am still harvesting. After all, this kind of battle that allows me to show off and dominate is so enjoyable. Slaying heaven in the distance, however, remains indifferent, believing that I am just struggling in my last moments, and preparing to increase the difficulty of my path to earning points. The monkey show is about to end, as slaying heaven claps his hands. An even more terrifying aura slowly emerges from the whirlpool, before the person arrives. The hand flipping the middle finger appears in the field of view. Then, three arrogant and domineering figures slowly appear. These youngsters from the higher realm are not strong enough. They need us old folks to deal with a lowly being from the mortal realm. Let me show you what true power is. System prompt. An immortal command realm guardian has descended. Please eliminate it as soon as possible. Host. The old guy who transformed into countless streams of light appears before me with a few flashes. Kid, surrender obediently and I might show mercy and let you feed the pigs in my pigsty. Seeing this, I no longer waste words. I directly reach out with a big hand, and grab the most arrogant guy from earlier in my hand. The once proud small fry's heart suddenly sinks. They've encountered a tough opponent. I grab him and give him a Thomas helicopter spin, then throw him towards the bird general, directly smashing the bird general into a few feathers. Congratulations, host, for killing an immortal command realm. Level 1. Reward, 5 million domain values. Reward, 1 salted fish treasure chest. Feeling the rushing domain values, I become even more excited. The governors of states below once again have their perspective shattered. Even the immortal beings of the immortal command realm can't handle him. Thankfully, this terrifying guy is on our side. But these 5 million domain values are so tempting. I can't help but gather my ultimate move for a large-scale harvest. Thunderous force. With my incredible skill, I transform into a blue flash, and swiftly rush toward numerous leaks. The sounds of wonderful domain values being received ring crisply. Slaying Heaven also notices that under my continuous high-intensity output, his body becomes exhausted. I also sense something unusual in my own body. It seems that even for clones, there are normal physiological reactions. After that, I look up at Slaying Heaven in the sky. The domain value of an immortal command summoning creature is 5 million. So how much higher is the value of someone who surpasses these immortal command beings? Just as I'm lost in thought, another person seizes the opportunity and grabs me from behind. That giant hand succeeds in slamming me to the ground in an instant, and the shockwave from that attack destroys all the houses within several kilometers around. Detection of the appearance of an immortal commander peak level guardian. Host's current strength is weak. Please exchange for a higher level clone as soon as possible. After that giant palm strike, it slowly lifted its arm, but immediately followed with another fierce palm strike at the same spot. The frequency of the system prompt sound suddenly increases. Please exchange for a higher level clone as soon as possible. Slaying Heaven, seeing this, reveals a smug smile. A bug is still a bug in the end. You can't keep up that fast. Huh? Just as his words fall, my golden hand slaps him away with a smack. The crisp sound instantly reverberates through the sky. After enjoying that, I retrieve my adorable golden hand. As the smoke dissipates, my arrogant appearance becomes undeniable. Prepare to die, you scum. Today, daddy will kill you for sure. Slaying Heaven feels the burning sensation on his face and instantly becomes aggrieved. I've grown up, and even my mom never hit me. Tears well up in his eyes. Then, 
He points towards my location. What are you useless fools waiting for? Are you just going to watch me get beaten? Go and kill him for me. I want to tear him apart into a thousand pieces. As his words fall, the dimensional strike from the immortal commander continuously attacks me. Looking at the two people rushing towards me, I can't help but feel some pressure. After all, these are leaks on the same level as me. After dodging one strike, I couldn't help but get cut by a blade. The sensation of the clone is very real, and I instantly feel an immense pain. The person beside me also kicks me, sending me flying into a nearby town. A massive explosion occurs. Looking at the dense swarm of guardian summoning creatures in front of me, I start to feel a bit overwhelmed. I'm still a bit short on domain value to expand my invincible domain to the cloud state. I'll endure the pain and hold on. Slaying Heaven sees me in a disadvantaged position, and the pain on his face instantly dissipates. Immortal Commander, you can't keep up anymore. Huh? Weren't you quite impressive earlier? I still have an immortal king realm that hasn't been summoned. All of you, attack. Deal with this guy. It's time to end this farce. I fearlessly charge towards the group of guys. With the release of my ultimate move, the true dragon descends. I quickly defeat another wave of small fries. But this favorable situation doesn't last long. A piercing pain shoots through me, and blood starts to trickle from the corner of my mouth. As Jiang Xin Chu and Ming Yi see this, tears unconsciously well up in their eyes. I can see that my chest has been pierced by a long-haired weapon. Soon after, slaying Heaven's arrogant voice follows. Chin Chaman, how does it feel to become a dog of the bereaved family? Hearing Ninth Prince's mockery, I can't help but laugh. Speaking of being a dog of the bereaved family, I think, Ninth Prince, you are the one who understands that feeling the most. You're quite stubborn. Then I'll take your head right here in front of the people of Cloud State. Let them experience what true despair is like. I bet that feeling will be quite interesting. As he say this, he raises his sword and slash down towards me. And flying immortal mountain, I'm sure you still have many friends and relatives there. After you die, I'll take good care of them. Ha ha ha. As Jiang Xin Chu sees this, she quickly rushes towards my direction, but her advance is stopped by a lightning strike. And in the final moments of my life, I show a warm smile. Jiang Xin Chu, I will find you. The host's clone has perished and is switching back to the original body. On the side of Flying Immortal Mountain, I return to my original body once again. Detection shows that the current domain is sufficient to cover the entire cloud state. Should the host cover, I stand alone on the grass. Speaking calmly, cover. Soon, the voice of the system also came through. The invincible domain is expanding. Please be patient, host. How long will it take? Soon, at the moment my clone died, a strange silence fell. At this moment, the young brother who had just passionately cheered for me, also felt a sense of retreat. Since the governor of a state is already dead, why don't we surrender? This statement instantly influenced the surrounding commoners, and a discussion broke out. Just as the rulers of each state were bewildered, the old man with a white beard was the first to come up with his own idea. Meanwhile, slaying heaven, who had no idea what fear awaited him next, held the head of my clone and kept shouting, weren't you quite impressive earlier? Why don't I show you how impressive I am now? Suddenly, a voice from behind interrupted slaying heaven's uncontrollable laughter. Lord Slaying Heaven, the Nine State Cauldron has been brought from the mortal realm. Upon hearing this, Slaying Heaven's joy multiplied. The white-bearded old man even knelt and licked Slaying Heaven's feet like an old dog. Lord Slaying Heaven, we are willing to offer you the Nine State Cauldron. Everything that happened before was done by Chinchanan. We have nothing to do with it. Fortunately, you timely eliminated that wicked person, saving the people of the Nine State. However, Slaying Heaven paid no attention to such bootlickers. He directly snatched the Nine State Cauldron. With this Nine State Cauldron, the Mortal Realm will be mine. Be honored, you insignificant beings of the Mortal Realm. You will become the nourishment for my advancement to a Mortal Venerable. Upon hearing Slaying Heaven's true intentions, the rulers of each Nine State were shocked. This guy, he actually wants the entire Nine State to become his energy source. In the end, we are just lambs to be slaughtered at his disposal. Ming Yi's heart grew colder. Without Chin Chanan, we are nothing more than a group of useless wastes. Slaying Heaven no longer wasted any words. He directly grabbed the Nine State Cauldron and prepared to extract its energy. But strangely enough, the perfectly fine Nine State Cauldron suddenly turned into a wisp of green smoke and dissipated. Seeing the Nine State Cauldron dissipating in his hands, Slaying Heaven became furious, grabbing the former bootlicker. How dare you deceive me with a fake? Feeling the terrifying pressure, the bootlicker's legs went weak in fear. It must be Chin Chanan's woman. It must be her. She must have hidden the real Nine State Cauldron. Slaying Heaven followed the bootlicker's gaze, only to see my wife immersed in sadness. Unable to extricate herself, suddenly, a golden light flashed in Jiang Xuanchu's eyes, and the heavenly Tao mark I had given Jiang Xianchu instantly emitted a golden glow. Empowered by the heavenly Tao, Jiang Xianchu also unleashed even more powerful energy. The blue water light condensed into a golden dragon in midair. 
biting towards slaying heaven. But an immortal is still an immortal. Slaying heaven easily dispersed the mighty water dragon with a casual wave. He then shouted for his army to strip her naked. I want to see where he hid the nine state cauldron. The lewd lackeys, with a disgusting grin, pounced on Jiang Xuanchu's figure, uttering filthy words. Just then, a precise lightning strike hit one of the lackeys, and his screams echoed through the sky. Turns out, it was the heavenly Tao who arrived. Let me help you break through. Kill them. This comical scene left everyone present dumbfounded, but the heavenly Tao quickly realized that the power it had just manifested inexplicably disappeared, and the person who attacked the heavenly Tao was one of slaying heaven's lackeys, a peak-level immortal commander realm lackey. The lackey who was freed from control instantly regained his senses. You dared to attack me just now. I love tormenting women like you. One lackey rushed forward and sent Jiang Xianchu flying. The lewd man showed no intention of sparing Jiang Xianchu, relentlessly venting his anger on her, leaving Jiang Xianchu helpless as she protected me beneath her, crying out for her husband. The rebellious people of Cloud State, seeing Jiang Xianchu still protecting my body, roared angrily, quickly hand over the Nine State Cauldron to Immortal Daddy. What if Immortal Daddy gets angry again? If you wanna die, don't drag us along. We are all Immortal Daddy's lackeys. Man Gong, seeing Jiang Xuanchu's deep but unspoken affection, couldn't help but be moved and upon further reflection, he felt even more ashamed of himself. The thorny man, witnessing Feng Qing's actions, couldn't help but be furious. That dog shit, actually shifting all the blame onto a helpless woman. He's really a despicable creature. Ming Yi, looking at Jiang Xianchu being continuously beaten, couldn't help but feel sorry. This girl is truly foolish. Chin Chanan is already dead, yet she still wants to protect Chin Chanan and the Nine State Cauldron. Under the onslaught of this fierce storm of punches and kicks, Jiang Xianchu had long reached her limit and fainted. The few lackeys, seeing Jiang Xianchu faint, became even more excited, burned the two of them into ashes, and then the Nine State Cauldron will naturally appear, just as they were about to succeed. A purple slash tore through the sky and struck them directly. Die, you reincarnated heavenly arrogance. The ones who came to save the day were the surviving governors. Since the outcome is inevitable death, it's better to die with some dignity. Jiang Xianchu, upon seeing the governors, finally showed a trace of change in her eyes. Slaying heaven and the others in the sky turned cold because of the ants' resistance. Ignorant fools, since you want to become the second Chinchanan, I'll grant your wish. And so, the war between the upper realm and the lower realm truly began at this moment. Not only did the governors of each state fight back, but even all the rebellious people of the nine-state continent reached a consensus at this critical moment. They awakened in this final moment. Countless rebellious people of the Nine State fearlessly charged towards the slaying heaven in the immortal Emperor realm. We, the people of the Nine State, will never be slaves. Slaying heaven looked at the low-level cannon fodder that came to meet their death. His twisted psychology was even more evident on his face. Ha ha ha. Look, a group of beasts actually charging at me. Their overall strength is still no match for the beings of the upper realm. With a mere flash, slaying heaven slaughtered them all. Meanwhile, the lackey who had sided with slaying heaven was hiding in a corner crying incessantly, a bunch of idiots, you worthless pieces of trash, in front of immortals, you should grovel to survive, I must stay alive. One by one, immortals release their celestial flames upon the city, like mocking children at play, as the entire cloud state fell into a sea of fire, despair engulfed the entire region, on slaying heaven's side, they had long since eradicated the rebellious people who had come to die. And then, slaying heaven looked at Jiang Xianchu, who was still protecting me. The people of Cloud State have almost been wiped out. This reward isn't bad, right? Speaking thus, slaying heaven took steps toward Jiang Xuanchu's figure, still sheltering me, raising the large cleaver in hand. The rules and restrictions of the immortal realm are truly too many. I can only find joy in seeing you at your most desperate. Since you've chosen to resist, you must see it through to the end. Just as Jiang Xianchu was about to follow my footsteps, a sound from above made Jiang Xianchu pause. A golden light instantly shattered the sword in that sound. It turns out Lin Bao and the others arrived in time and saved Jiang Xianchu. Witnessing the scene of corpses strewn about, tears flowed freely from Lin Bao's eyes. Master, why haven't you appeared yet? It's too late now. Slaying heaven, seeing their plans being repeatedly disrupted, burned with anger. And what are you supposed to be? Why are you screaming like a ghost? At that moment, a terrifying crack appeared in the space behind Slaying Heaven. Slaying Heaven, in that moment, felt a soul-shaking tremor, frozen in place, motionless for a long time. Slaying Heaven, the high and mighty prince once again tasted the thing called fear. Unable to withstand the overwhelming terror and pressure, the group of lackeys couldn't help but look behind them. What's going on? Who is the powerful being tearing through the void to come here? 
Slaying Heaven was also dumbfounded. Allies, that's no longer necessary. The ants of the lower realm have already been slaughtered by me. Upon hearing Slaying Heaven's casual remark about slaughter, I asked in return, are you proud of bullying the weak as an upper realm being? Upon hearing the familiar voice, cold sweat couldn't help but flow down Slaying Heaven's face. It's you. How is this possible? We clearly killed you. Although acting cool like this is impressive, the system has been spamming my mind for a while now. Wait, host, the domain hasn't fully expanded yet. Please. No, if you're going to die, don't take me with you. I'm just a small system. You always make it difficult for me by acting recklessly. As Slaying Heaven looked at the approaching figure, a terrifying thought emerged in their mind. Could it be that the previous one was just a clone? But that thought was quickly dismissed. Summoning courage, Slaying Heaven yelled at me, Chinchanan, what kind of trick are you playing? In my mind, the system child was speeding up the expansion of the domain due to my reckless actions. Crying in grievance, it said, Host, Daddy, the domain now covers the entire cloud state. Please enjoy it, Daddy. But I was already too preoccupied to pay attention to the system. In this moment, all I wanted to do was show off. And it was at that moment, even before Slaying Heaven could react, he was already sent flying by an unbeatable force. Slaying Heaven's pitiful appearance was now revealed, blood continuously spewing from their mouth. He didn't even understand what had just happened before being knocked down by the hammer. The next second, I appeared in front of Slaying Heaven. Weren't you acting all high and mighty just now? If you have anything to say, confess it quickly, or else don't blame me if you die. As an arrogant prince of the upper realm, Slaying Heaven had never experienced such humiliation. Swinging their fist, they charged at me. Just a subordinate who's been defeated. Die for me. But how could I give him a chance to turn the tables? I flashed in front of him, then grabbed his face and slammed it onto the floor tiles, followed by lifting my big foot and stomping on his face. The whole cloud state trembled from the impact. But this Slaying Heaven, as an immortal emperor realm with a high domain value, despite being severely injured, still managed to crawl up, spewing venomous words from his mouth. But my favorite thing to do was to crush this kind of arrogant heavenly arrogance under my feet, viciously erasing their will, and my actions aroused the last trace of dignity in slaying heaven's heart. Die, die for me, Chinchanan, you persistent dog's ghost, summon, demons from beyond the heavens. Although slaying heaven shouted with passion, I wasn't the least bit interrupted by him, continuing to ruthlessly rub his head. Then a demon resembling a crimson angel, wielding a scythe, appeared behind me, by the command of my master. Die, lower realm trash. Seeing his own demon appear, slaying heaven seemed to have seen a savior and wore a smug smile, as if he had already envisioned me being beheaded. But I paid no attention to it as it was merely a slightly more generous experience package. Just lifting my hand, a powerful energy instantly covered the small bird, and this so-called demon, like a little girl, shouted excitedly, I haven't even made a move yet. Congratulations, host, for killing an immortal king realm first level divine demon. Reward, 9 million domain value, plus one fragment of the domain boundary. The people of the nine states, witnessing the mighty immortal king realm being defeated by my move, once again ignited their hope for survival. The summoned beasts from the upper realm also took notice of this incredible scene, cold sweat wetting their backs, speculating on my true strength. Slaying heaven felt the most terrifying aura at such close proximity, scared to the point of fleeing in panic. But still, with a defiant mouth, he said, attack, all of you. Being able to kill him once means being able to kill him a second time. Although the upper realm's working class leaks are afraid of my strength, when they consider that if slaying heaven really dies here, their own fate won't be any better. Countless leaks begin to appear, feeling the massive army behind them. Slaying heaven's confidence grows stronger. I don't care if you, Chinchanan, are an immortal king realm or an immortal emperor realm. Today, I can't let you live anymore. Otherwise, you will become a great enemy of my upper realm in the future. With slaying heaven summoning, a colossal demon, covering the sky, appears in the high sky, leading a multitude of summoned beasts. Although the enemy's forces are overwhelming, I am clearly unafraid. I casually raise my finger and lightly snap it, and all those overwhelming divine demons instantly turn into fireworks. The system's notification sounds one after another. Congratulations, host, for killing the peak immortal commander, obtaining 7 million domain value and one salted fish treasure chest. Congratulations, host, for killing an immortal king, obtaining 9 million domain value and one fragment of the domain boundary. As this battle, capable of destroying the world, 
reaches even the distant 10,000 mountains. Even Yuchang Ferry senses this scorching energy. The commotion they caused is too great. Subsequently, Yuchang Ferry halts her steps toward Flying Immortal Mountain, turns around, and flies towards Cloud State. I need to warn them, to prevent the impact from reaching Flying Immortal Mountain. After a snap of my fingers, the entire Cloud State falls into an eerie silence. Chin is amazing, just a snap of your fingers and you've annihilated all these Guardian Immortals. At the same time, they are glad that they made the right choice by siding with me in the end. They secretly celebrate that I am not on the evil side. Finally, after the little lackeys of the upper realm finish cleaning up, Yu Chang arrives at the battlefield in time. Watching the intense scene on the battlefield, Yu Chang couldn't help but worry. How did the Ninth Prince provoke such a disaster? It seems that things are heading in an unfavorable direction. At this moment, Slang Heaven seems to have realized something. I understand now. You previously used your clone to test our strength, making us lower our guard, giving you the opportunity for a fatal strike. You didn't dare to show up immediately. You were worried that we would summon even more powerful guardian immortals. But indeed, you succeeded in doing so. This was indeed my negligence. I didn't expect that such a person would exist in the lower realm. Although guardian immortals can be continuously cultivated using the power of the boundary, thanks to them, I probably know what realm you are in. You are in the immortal emperor realm right? And you specialize in the spatial law faction. To deal with you, I have to use that. Chin Chaman, you are the first person from the lower realm to force me to use the descending transcendence symbol. Although this symbol is extremely precious, it allows me to unleash my true power. Burning ghost, come forth. Suddenly, a blue giant sword plunges into the ground, revealing a bullheaded ghost with a sword in hand behind slaying heaven. Slaying heaven, showcasing his strongest power, once again regains the glory of his princely status and boasts. I am invincible within the Immortal Emperor Realm, and I can rival the Immortal Revered Realm, and perish together. Yu Chan, seeing that Slaying Heaven has actually used his most powerful summon, Burning Ghost, also feels uneasy. This is bad. If Chin Chanan dies, who will give me fairy fruits? Then, at Slaying Heaven's command, the Burning Ghost behind him, as if wanting to destroy everything in front of it, charges at me with the giant sword in hand, and all I do is smirk. After talking so much nonsense for so long, it's finally my turn to make an appearance. Immediately, I perform the one young finger, which I haven't used for several issues. That arrogant burning ghost ultimately cannot withstand my ridicule, and turns into wisps of blue smoke. Congratulations, host, for killing a peak divine demon in the immortal emperor realm. Reward, 30 million domain value. Two fragments of the domain boundary added. Slaying Heaven and Yu Chang are instantly stunned, their astonished mouths unable to close for a long time. That was an immortal demon at the peak of the immortal emperor realm. He was taken down in just one move. How strong is he exactly? As Slaying Heaven regained his senses, only one word echoed in his mind. Run, but how could I let him leave so freely? In an instant, I rushed to his face, raised my leg, and delivered a devastating blow. But it didn't end there. Once again, I raised my little hand, swiftly striking him and sending him underground. Pathetic creature, do you remember the last time, when I trampled you like this, under my feet? Just like a worm, you really are persistent. Look at this so-called ninth prince, being so ruthlessly crushed and rubbed under my feet. You arrogant creatures from the upper realm are truly laughable. Not a single one of you coming to his aid. Then, I turned to slaying heaven and said, I thought long and hard about how to maximize my benefits. Today, sparing your miserable life allows my plan to be implemented. I believe there will be someone who appreciates it. First, let's give you a crucifix. And then, every 10 seconds, thousands of spikes will pierce you. It can go on for a long time, and it doesn't hurt me anyway. Next, the ninth prince let out a scream resembling that of a dying dog. Ah, seeing this, I revealed a demonic smile. I'll wait as long as it takes for someone worthy to come and save you. As long as they come to rescue you, then I'll let you go. Ha ha ha, with a spluttering sound. One by one, the spikes pierced Slaying Heaven's hands. Following that, came the desperate screams of Slaying Heaven. Countless spikes covered Slaying Heaven's body, and his once defiant and rebellious gaze vanished without a trace, continuously praying in his heart for this boundless fear to end soon. And then, I pulled out the spikes from his body once again. It's been an hour already, and your father and the others haven't come to save you. This prince is truly a failure, or perhaps I've been too merciful in tormenting you. Should I increase the number of spikes by tens of thousands and see? Suddenly, a soft touch came from behind me, and a pair of delicate hands embraced my chest. Jiang Xuanchu's tears of grievance wet my shoulder. Husband, it's true, this is not an illusion, you're still alive. Immediately, a sense of pain also emanated from my shoulder, as Jiang Xuanchu seemed to bite down hard, as if to confirm if it was an illusion. Seeing this, I directly ignored the system's reminder, gently wiped away the tears from the corners of Jiang Xuanchu's eyes, 
and softly apologized. I'm sorry, I scared you, I won't do it again. At the same time, I quietly used the power of all living things to erase the wounds on Jiang Xuanchu's body. In this tender moment, a shout followed closely after. Master, Lin Bao and Bai Yu also rushed out from somewhere, one on the left and one on the right, embracing me. They knocked Jiang Xianchu, who was full of affection towards me, out of the way. Seeing the two women who appeared out of nowhere surrounding me, Jiang Xuanchu's jealousy overflowed, and she pulled me out from the attack of Lin Bao and Bai Yu. At the same time, she proclaimed his sovereignty to Bai Yu, shouting, He is my husband, and I found myself in the midst of a love battleground, awkwardly explaining the relationship between me and Lin Bao to Jiang Xianchu. But Jiang Xianchu had no time to think about these matters. He held onto my arm warily, watching Lin Bao and Bai Yu by the side. At that moment, the voices of Jiang Xianchu and Lin Bao rang out simultaneously. Husband, you must give me an explanation today. Bai Yu's voice also faintly came. Bai Yu wants. Even though we are currently in a tense battlefield, the battlefield of a woman's love is the urgent matter at hand, and I spoke the words that countless men envied. We're all on the same side. We can share a room together. Naturally, this scene caught the attention of the surviving commoners, and rumors and gossip instantly spread. I didn't expect the governor of a state to have such an unknown side. I thought he was a noble gentleman, but turns out he's a playboy. Just then, a deep and endless crack suddenly appeared in the calm night sky. Seeing this, I couldn't help but curl my lips into a smile. Ha, the domain value has finally arrived. I've been waiting for you for so long. However, Jiang Yuchang was filled with fear at this sight. This is the domain lord's 8-star Buddha finger. With one finger, it can annihilate dozens of lower realm domains. Then, a purple giant hand that covered the heavens and earth pressed down from the crack. Inferior beings of the lower realms, you seek death. Although the attack from the domain lord of the upper realm was imminent, I was not afraid at all. When slaying heaven saw that I remained motionless in place, he thought I had no way to deal with the domain lord's attack, and he laughed arrogantly. Chinchanan, the domain lord, has come to save me. You can rest assured and die. Just then, I calmly gestured with my hand, indicating victory. Oh, the domain lord, I said. I'd like to see if your 8-star Buddha finger is stronger, or if my one young finger surpasses it. In an instant, the two fingers representing the strength of their respective realms touched each other. The result can also be imagined. That exaggerated and conceited finger was forcefully broken by me, and the defeated finger instantly disappeared, as if nothing had happened. What a piece of junk, I said, even my middle finger is superior to it. Seeing this, slaying heaven's heart sank to the bottom once again. Clearly, his words from earlier were premature. Jiang Yuchang's expression was equally amazing, as if it shattered her understanding of power. Though the commoners couldn't comprehend anything, they were equally shocked to the extreme. But all of this was within Lin Bao's expectations, constantly cheering me on. Master, you're awesome. Seeing the domain lord escaping in a dejected manner, I couldn't help but taunt. Really? Is this how you upper realm folks like to act, run away after a fight? Or are you simply afraid? Jiang Yuchang, unable to bear my sarcastic remarks any longer, finally burst out. That's enough. I know you hold great hostility towards the upper realm. But the upper realm isn't only populated by beings at our level. There are many more powerful beings. If it weren't for the protection of the nine state realms laws that you possess, stronger immortals wouldn't casually come down to the lower realm. Otherwise, how could you be so arrogant here, if you truly provoke them? Ha <laughs> ha, hearing this young girl's angry words, I couldn't help but turn around and look. Oh well, thank you for the reminder. I knew it. I've been tormenting this boy for so long, yet not a single upper realm immortal dared to come down. So, that's the reason. Heavenly Dao, my dear baby, come quickly. Daddy needs you. A blue flash appeared in response to the call. Daddy, I'm here. What can I do for you? Seeing this, I didn't waste any more words, and straightforwardly said, I want to rewrite the laws of the continent, especially the one about immortals coming to the lower realm. Upon hearing my words, Heavenly Dao widened his eyes in disbelief. Dad, please think twice. My small body can't handle your antics, but how could I care about Heavenly Dao's opinion? I simply wave my hand. Immortals are now free to ignore the laws and come to the lower realm. Second, the nine state realm no longer limits the power of immortals. Third, immortals can exert their peak strength. Feeling helpless, Heavenly Dao knew he couldn't turn the situation around. Tears streaming down his face, he said. As long as dad is happy, there's no need to worry about your son's life or death. Slaying Heaven and Jiang Yuchang were shocked and horrified by my crazy actions. How dare he? Before the commoners could even cheer, they were faced with yet another problem. The commoners became numb to it. Forget it, I'm done playing. Let it be destroyed. Do whatever you want. Hurry up. But this joyous occasion did not appear on Slaying Heaven's face. Instead, fear occupied his entire expression. I understand now. 
Chinchanan wants to exterminate all the immortals in the upper realm in exchange for eternal peace in the lower realm. But how could Jian Yuchang think of all this? Instead, she lost her brilliance and kept thinking about how difficult it was for her to just seek a fruit. Just as things were unfolding, Jian Yuchang's brow suddenly flickered. Jiang family's heavenly arrogance, the mark of protection, a thin thread connected to Jiang Xianchu. Jiang Yuchang instantly realized that she was the first heavenly arrogance of the Jiang family. She had long been lurking by Qin Chanan's side and had gained his trust. Jiang Yuchang then imagined on her own that Jiang Xianchu silently took away the Nine State Cauldron, fulfilling the Jiang family's dream of dominating the Nine State Realm. And when she saw the ambiguous relationship between me and Jiang Xianchu, she kept thinking, Qin Chanan, you could never have imagined that she is one of our Jiang family members. As I opened the restrictions of the Nine State Continent, several portals in the sky merged together. And at the center of that vortex, an infinite terror emanated. The commoners pointed to the sky and exclaimed, Look, this is the end. The immortals must all be coming down. The system prompt immediately followed, detected the descent of a mortal revered realm fifth stage immortal. Please eliminate them quickly, host. The portals were rendered in a deep color, and a figure slowly emerged. This woman carried an air of arrogance and spoke indifferently. I am Jiang Ningran, the head of the Jiang family. Chin Chanan, you have surprised us. Seeing only this woman descend, I couldn't help but feel disappointed. After all this fuss, you're the only one who came down to the lower realm. How boring, seeing my arrogance. Jiang Ningran couldn't help but say, to force me, a heavenly arrogance from the upper realm. To this extent, you do have the qualifications to be arrogant. Besides Feng Qiyun, you are the second person to toy with us and make us dizzy in the lower realm. I originally wanted to eliminate you and destroy the Nine State, but after seeing you, I changed my mind. I have decided to accept you as a disciple of the Jiang family Xuanwu immortal domain and promise not to attack the Nine State anymore. I will also make you the true owner of the Nine State and even open a pathway for ascension. All you need to do is agree to my conditions. But how could I be fooled by this cunning woman's sweet words? I responded with a simple international gesture. Did she think I'm a fool? I can see through her intention to kill me. If you want to fight, stop wasting words. I won't fall for this. Upon hearing my vulgar words, the murderous intent in her eyes became uncontrollable. Chin Chanan, your excessive arrogance will come at a cost. Do you know the difference between the upper realm and the lower realm? It's like the difference between the galaxy and dust. As the woman's words fell, several fireballs appeared out of thin air in the silent sky and rained down indiscriminately on the lower realm, stirring up clouds of dust. Since I can't obtain it, then let it be destroyed. The voices from the upper realm reverberated with earth-shattering thunderous roars. Suddenly, a burst of power erupted, and bloodshed filled the various states as the earth trembled violently. At the border of Cloud State, people realized that it seemed to be the only safe place within the state, and they rushed towards it. Witnessing the hellish scenes outside of Cloud State, the commoners there finally awakened and turned their gazes towards my back. It was governor of a state who was single-handedly protecting us. The warning sound from the system kept exploding in my mind, host, resolve the attacks from the outside domain immediately, or else the nine state continent will collapse, and the foundation of the invincible realm will be damaged. I was somewhat amazed by this move from the upper realm. I didn't expect those pests from the upper realm to have some tricks up their sleeves. These attacks were all transmitted from the upper realm, and without finding the source, we couldn't stop them. It seems they found a way to let those pests from the upper realm freely attack the lower realm through some kind of medium. Jiang Xianchu, who was beside me, also anxiously said, Husband, if it doesn't work, let's take everyone and hide in the mustard seed world to save our lives. Then we can discuss our plan in the long term. Seeing me becoming silent, Jiang Ningran mocked, Chin Chanan, we gave you a choice. It was you who narrowed your path. And she even recognized Jiang Xianchu beside Chin Chanan as Jiang family member. Hearing that arrogant woman in the sky constantly belittling me, I transformed into a shadow and instantly disappeared from the spot. The next moment, I appeared directly behind her, grabbing her head in one hand. My sharp blade pierced through her chest. Although Jiang Ningran inwardly sighed at my ruthlessness, she still maintained her stubbornness. The destruction of the Nine State Continent is inevitable. No one can save it. But my icy voice exploded in Jiang Ningran's ears. I asked, you answer. If you say it wrong, you die. Who is the mastermind in the upper realm? Where are they? What treasure are they using to target the Nine State? If your answers don't satisfy me, you'll join them. Jiang Ningran, being a monster who had lived for tens of thousands of years, showed intimacy in her expression. Do you think I would make the same mistake as slaying heaven and come down to the lower realm in person? Only that idiot would do something like that. Waves of blue light emanated from Jiang Ningran, and her hand touched my cheek. I have prepared a great gift for you. In an instant, 
Jiang Ningran transformed into a streak of blue light, enveloping me in searing energy that shook the heavens and the earth. When the explosion dissipated, Jiang Ningran's voice came from above, Chen Chanan, I have taken Jiang family's heavenly arrogance with me. Thank you for your nine state cauldron. Then, Lin Bao shouted loudly, Master, your little wife is disappearing. Jiang Xianchu looked at the changes happening around her, countless memories flooding into her mind, tears streamed down her face. It turned out that she didn't belong to this world, but she didn't want to go back to her original place. Then, with reluctance, she looked up at the sky and softly called out, Husband, a gem fell from the place where Jiang Xianchu disappeared, and I instantly appeared to pick it up. Seeing the situation turning bad, Lin Bao panicked and sought my help, but I didn't pay any attention. I quietly looked at the gem in my hand, then gazed coldly at the sky. It's not over yet, immortals. Within the black tortoise immortal domain of the upper bound, Jiang Ningran's true form suddenly regained consciousness, taking deep breaths before gradually walking towards the door. I didn't expect someone as troublesome as the Nine State to appear. Inside the heavenly arrogance hall, golden figures continuously emitted energy towards the treasure bead. The patriarch of the Jiang family has returned. How does it feel to be disappointed? And the owner of this voice is none other than the long disappeared sacred martial immortal venerable. I've always said that the ants of the lower realm are not worth our attention. It would have been better to eliminate them early on. However, Jiang Ningran remained indifferent. It's truly ridiculous. A group of high-ranking individuals from the Black Tortoise Immortal Domain attacking a small being in the lower realm with their treasures. Isn't it because you're afraid of Chin Chanan? When the Immortal Venerables heard this, they burst into laughter. Are we afraid of a mere waste from the lower realm? If Chin Chanan can come up, I'll do a handstand and defecate. The Sacred Martial Immortal Venerable proudly said, He stole my holy immortal sword. If he hadn't perished due to the Nine State, I would personally kill him in the lower realm. After all, the lower realm is no longer bound by loss. Then, he sneered. How are you going to deal with your heavenly arrogance, Jiang Xianchu, and the Nine State Cauldron, colluding with beings from the lower realm and even marrying them privately? The reputation of our Black Tortoise Immortal Domain has been tarnished. Like this, is the patriarch of the Jiang family going to turn a blind eye? Jiang Ningran had to compromise upon hearing the threatening words of the sacred martial immortal venerable. Jiang Xuanchu's reincarnation in the lower realm has revealed a flaw. The attempt to seize the realm failed. Wait until she awakens and let the heavenly thunder strike her soul a thousand times. Whether she lives or dies depends on her fate. Jiang Xuanchu's body was surrounded by a trace of a mortal aura, making her even more beautiful. Then, a young maiden green used a secret technique of the Jiang family to retrieve the Nine State Cauldron from Jiang Xuanchu's forehead. Before long, the maid handed the Nine State Cauldron, taken from Jiang Xuanchu's forehead, and explained, Jiang Xuanchu's divine soul has been severely damaged. She may have difficulty awakening for a while. Seeing that the Nine State Cauldron had been successfully obtained, the Sacred Martial Immortal Venerable directly proposed to destroy it. Jian Ningran spat directly. Screw you, you big-headed ghost. I will absorb the energy of the Nine State Realm to nourish my Jian disciples. Isn't this also a torment for the Lower Realm and Chen Chanan? Jian Ningran also noticed that there seemed to be something inside the cauldron. Suddenly, a golden rune flew out of the cauldron and exploded in front of everyone. The true interpretation of the Immortal Tao. All living beings. Upon seeing the smoke from the explosion, the green-haired riffraff cursed. What the hell is going on? Suddenly, a slender arm burst out and grabbed the riffraff's head. With a pop sound, the green-haired head turned into splattered watermelon juice. The individuals who were boasting just moments ago were startled. With a single hand, I crushed the immortal venerable. One of the riffraff was the first to react and used his supreme skill, the yin yang dualistic bowl, while shouting, you all step back first, no matter what it is. Before he could finish his sentence, my black boot stomped on his face. My voice also came out faintly. So much nonsense. After dealing with these riffraff, I transformed into a figure and flew towards the binding attacking the lower realm. In an instant, that proudly cherished treasure shattered into fragments. Upon seeing this, the crowd angrily shouted, Who is this guy? How dare he mess up our grand hall like this? After completing all of this, my cold voice came out faintly. Turtle Immortals, what are you playing with? Come and play with me too. Jiang Ningran trembled uncontrollably upon seeing this figure clearly. He kept muttering, How did you come up here? Only now did they realize that I had changed my appearance, and the pressure of the Immortal Emperor realm was released without concealment. There is no discount for this exchange of the Avatar, deducting 100 million domain value. Exchange for the Avatar of the Immortal Emperor realm. Host, enjoy your meal. I have no reservations about this upper bound land. Transformed into a true demon, I will recklessly destroy everything around me. The riffraff of the upper bound fell 
felt the suffocating power. A sense of unease surged within them. Is this the pressure of the immortal emperor realm? But immediately, they denied this absurd news. A realm that we could never reach in our entire lives. How could this waste of the lower realm possibly achieve it? Jiang Mingran and the others also looked as if they had seen a ghost. Is this his true strength? Seeing the vanishing sense of superiority among the upper bound individuals, I couldn't help but mock. Is it so rare for a mere immortal emperor realm? As long as I want, even if it's the lord of the immortal domain, I can do as I please. These words also stirred discontent among the crowd. You're just a fool from the lower realm. You're not even worthy of mentioning that title. Don't panic, fellow immortals. With so many of us, how can we be afraid of him? As for this upstart, I don't mind at all. In an instant, I arrived by his side, grabbing his head with my hand. My demonic whisper echoed throughout the battlefield. I ask you, what is the lower realm to you? Think carefully before answering, oh, if you answer incorrectly, I will destroy this immortal realm. Although fear filled this youngster's heart, he still clung to the sense of superiority of the upper bound. Nine state and other lower realms are nothing more than our nourishment, just like livestock waiting to be slaughtered. Hearing the words of this youngster, I couldn't help but burst into laughter. They really don't see us as humans. What was I expecting after all? Kid, you answered well, but don't bother answering next time. With that, I casually crushed his head. A generation of immortal monarch realm fell. Congratulations to the host for killing an immortal emperor realm fifth stage immortal. Reward, 10 million domain value. The riffraff, seeing my ruthless actions, couldn't help but retreat. My words came out faintly. I am truly amazed. Where does your sense of superiority come from? The palace hasn't even seen the magnificence of the flying immortal mountain yet. The fruits grown on the immortal tree are useless. Otherwise, they wouldn't come to me begging for fruits. Is this the immortal realm where countless male protagonists in cool novels break their heads to ascend? It's really interesting. Afterward, I casually sat on the ruins, mocking these so-called immortals in front of me. A bunch of self-righteous fools. I'm right here. Why don't you dare to come up? Is it because I'm an immortal emperor realm one realm higher than you? You're really scared to death. Ha, huh, what a bunch of trash. Perish along with the immortal realm. My words were like sharp blades completely tearing apart their so-called sense of superiority. One riffraff couldn't tolerate my mockery anymore and angrily shouted, I can't fucking take it anymore. He swung his weapon with unstoppable killing intent, aiming a blow at me. Facing such an attack, I didn't feel much. I gently lifted my hand and grabbed his wrist, threw him aside like trash, faced with such a huge gap in realms. Even an immortal emperor realm is as powerless as an ant, with no room for resistance, and will be crushed directly. The remaining riffraff saw me brutally killing their companions, and each used their lifelong learnings to attack me. Seeing the riffraff rushing towards me, I couldn't help but find it laughable. It is you who should be destroyed. I suddenly reached out and caught the rapidly spinning jade treasure in midair. With an indifferent expression, I swung it forward. With each swing I made, an immortal would fall. Although they resisted with all their might, it was still absurd like a mantis trying to stop a chariot. In the blink of an eye, the group of immortal emperor realm individuals rushing at me were all annihilated by me. And this move is called the dog beating staff technique. Countless prompt sounds kept ringing, but I had no time to keep track of it all. Right now, all I wanted was to destroy everything. As I approached closer and closer, those immortals were filled with fear, and voices filled with endless terror kept resounding. Quickly, go and invite the patriarchs from higher realms. The immortals outside the battlefield, witnessing this hellish scene, lost their fighting strength one by one. We are no match at all. The Black Tortoise Immortal Domain is about to be finished. Suddenly, everyone thought of Jiang Xian Chu, and they ran towards the figure of Jiang Xian Chu. That is Chin Chanan's weak spot. As long as we capture her, Chin Chanan will die. Before the crowd could get close, they were penetrated by specks of starlight. Screams filled the air for a while, and my voice, as cold as an ice cellar, came over. I thought you would have some guts to come and kill me, but garbage is just garbage only capable of thinking of despicable methods. The riffraff also turned into ashes in this icy voice, forever dissipating in the world, never to be reincarnated again. This also scared Jiang Ningran, who was preparing to strike first, to freeze in place, afraid to move. In Jiang Ningran's heart, he realized that this group of fools openly attacking Jiang Xianchu would definitely be killed by Chen Chanan. Fortunately, my Jiang family has a secret technique to control Jiang Xuanchu's soul, which can be used as a threat in times of crisis. But before it could be implemented, my mocking voice entered Jiang Mingran's ears. Master of the Jiang family, this should be your true identity this time, right? I know you must have a way to control Jiang Xianchu. So from this moment on, if Jiang Xianchu suffers even the slightest injury, I will repay it a hundredfold on you. Jiang family master, you better protect Jiang Xianchu well. Under this boundless terror, 
Jiang Mingran hurriedly agreed. Then my attention was drawn to the thunderous noises coming from the nearby sky. I saw bolts of thunder tribulation descending upon Sacred Martial Immortal Venerable. At that moment, the aura of Sacred Martial Immortal Venerable suddenly increased. Chin Chanan, you've gone too far in your bullying. I will make you pay the price. Even the riffraff who had already lost the battle suddenly had hope, and they all cast their gazes upon Sacred Martial Immortal Venerable. Sacred Martial Immortal Venerable is about to break through the Immortal Emperor realm. It is rumored that Sacred Martial Immortal Venerable has a killer move. Even Immortal Emperors would avoid it in his prime. Behind Sacred Martial Immortal Venerable, a sword aura emerged. Sacred Martial Heavenly Sword, Chin Chanan, today. I will settle the grudges of stealing the sword and the humiliation. A fierce light flashed in Sacred Martial Immortal Venerable's eyes, and he burst into arrogant laughter. I will make you regret coming into this world. Then an unparalleled sword descended upon me with endless pressure, but I remained completely fearless. I hold the jade staff and gently shake it towards the giant sword. A terrifying aura instantly spread out. In an instant, a beam of light annihilated the Sacred Martial Immortal Venerable, from the highest heavens to the depths of hell. The recently promoted Sacred Martial Immortal Venerable to the Immortal Emperor realm had no idea what had happened. The nearby lackeys, after sensing this miraculous destruction, were shocked and unable to attach themselves to the situation. Could it be that the Domain Lord has descended upon this place? The small fry who had just been fleeing cried out once again and ran away in shock. Someone, stop him. The control center of the Black Tortoise Immortal Domain received an urgent report from 800 miles away. Lackeys rushed in with an anxious expression, pushing open the door. It's bad, Patriarch. People from the Nine State Lower Realm have launched an attack. Voices suddenly rang out one after another. The Nine State? Is it the same Nine State that was mentioned in the recent message? First, there was Feng Chiyun, and now there's another one. These riffraff should have been eliminated earlier. The focus shouldn't be on why people from the lower realm can come to the upper realm. A female voice suddenly sounded. It's not the first time this has happened. It would be better to kill him early on. The bald-headed old man remained calm and composed. No need to panic. After all, Sacred Martial Immortal Venerable is still here. A powerful and resolute voice suddenly spoke up. No, many immortal venerables have already fallen. The one who has come is called Chin Chanan, a person from the Nine State Lower Realm. They must have used special means to come to the Upper Realm and seek revenge. Slaying Marshall, a fourth-level immortal emperor realm, slowly spoke. Should we treat him as he treated us? Now that the Heavenly Arrogance Palace has been destroyed, we can no longer seize the Lower Realm territories. The situation is becoming unfavorable for us if we continue like this. Boss, we must take on this battle. The man known as the boss said in a deep voice. No, we all know that the war began the moment he arrived. Even if there's only one opponent. As I looked at the spectacular scene in front of me, I let out a sigh. This time, I won't lose again. One strike to sever all debts and grievances, welcoming the true war. At the moment when my battle with the Upper Realm officially began, my portrait was projected throughout the entire Black Tortoise continent. A majestic voice followed closely. As the second elder, I give the order for all high-level immortals in the Black Tortoise Immortal Domain to gather at the Heavenly Arrogance Palace and hunt down the invaders from the Immortal Domain. Chin Chanan, the Beheader, I will take him as my disciple, and reward him with immortal treasures and herbs to cultivate him as an emperor. After that, a series of words that defamed me echoed one after another. The ignorant leaks of the immortal realm also joined in the commotion. Filthy and dirty creatures from the lower realm. Kill him quickly. Two little devils in the crowd who were preparing to join the fun were stopped, and scolded to stay behind. At this moment, a man riding a mortal horse appeared, causing cheers among the lackeys in the field. This is the battle maniac brilliant and honorable immortal. It is said that he has never tasted defeat since birth. Upon seeing my portrait, the man whispered to himself, how much merit will I gain from killing such a cunning and evil person? And he started to look forward to it. Then, there was a violent roar from the sky, and the immortal ships from the M.O. family all set sail. The imposing momentum aroused the temptation of the immortal realm leaks. After that, an observant lackey pointed towards the distance and said, Look, there are also demons. One by one, the demon kings, who had lived for countless years, also appeared, along with the peerless powerhouses who had been hiding in the immortal realm. One after another, resounding voices echoed. Suddenly, a golden silk woven scroll appeared abruptly in front of everyone. A voice rang out first. Eternal life immortal venerable. It's actually him. A burly figure with a slightly stooped posture, holding a giant pen, also appeared within everyone's sight. According to legend, Eternal Life Immortal Venerable recorded all the history of the Black Tortoise Immortal Domain. The crowd of lackeys became excited, hoping that their names would also be recorded in history. Suddenly, Eternal Life Immortal Venerable jumped up on the scroll and swiftly moved around. Then, 
he began to write on the scroll with great flourish. In the Black Tortoise calendar, 250 years, the thieves from the Nine State invaded and caused chaos in the Black Tortoise immortal domain. In order to punish these thieves, all the immortals took action. Suddenly, eternal life immortal venerable burst into laughter. Throughout my life, I have been recording the legendary deeds of the immortal realm, often receiving honors. This time is no exception. It's just that the Jiang family withdrew for no reason, and they will undoubtedly be criticized for it. Those who choose to retreat from a guaranteed victory are truly foolish. Jiang Mingran himself is now filled with deep fear, trembling uncontrollably until now. Eternal life immortal venerable, who was recording the annals, suddenly shouted to the soldiers below him, Soldiers, this will be a great opportunity for you to be recorded in history. Make good use of it. The boundless soldiers suddenly shouted in unison, Fight! 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 With a powerful momentum, Eternal Life Immortal Venerable was also ignited by the soldier's spirit, raising his arm high as well. Next, we just need to stand here, and witness the glorious moment in the history of Black Tortoise. The second elder of the Black Tortoise Immortal Domain joked, I didn't expect even Eternal Life Immortal Venerable to come. This battle will surely be remembered for generations to come. Just then, a green light shot up into the sky, directly splitting the continent into two halves. A terrified roar suddenly resounded. Chinchanan is coming to kill. After my strike, it further ignited the passionate hearts of the lackeys to defend their homeland. The crowd of lackeys also unleashed their most powerful artifacts, prepared to fight me to the death. Seeing these lackeys gathered together, I revealed a demonic smile. All the high-ranking immortals have arrived. Perfect timing for the war to begin. Then, under my dog-beating stick technique 2.0, the sound of domain value being credited transformed into a wonderful echo reverberating in my ears. As I liberated my nature, I completely unleashed myself. Despite the intense battle, I never forget to mock the crowd with a confident and friendly gesture. Shrimp soldiers and crab generals, brilliant and honorable immortal was the first to charge at me, wielding dual axes and slashing towards me. But I had no intention of engaging in a fight, and swiftly ran away amidst the bewildered eyes of the crowd. The lackeys naively thought I was afraid, and, in a frenzy, chased after me. Upon seeing this, eternal life immortal venerable waved his brush. The nine state thieves were no match, escaping like dogs. It's extremely ridiculous. The elders burst into laughter at this sight, and to prevent me from escaping to the moral realm, one of them directly closed the passage connecting the upper and lower realms. But what followed was an explosion. The immortal treasury was blown up by that brat. Another elder couldn't stop scolding. That was the precious cultivation resource of our black tortoise immortal domain. The grand elder's icy voice slowly resounded. This scoundrel is quite adept at diversionary tactics actually taking the opportunity to destroy our domain's treasury. I'm afraid his intentions go far beyond this. This cunning brat wants to destroy the lifeblood of our immortal realm. He ordered all the immortal families to scatter and intercept him at the major immortal treasuries, and make sure to behead this thief under their horses. Even so, my acts of destruction have not yet ended. Detestable explosions sounded one after another in every corner of the immortal realm. Eternal life immortal venerable also recorded, the cunning and treacherous nature of the nine state thief taking this opportunity to destroy the immortal treasury and ruin our black tortoise immortal domain's lifeblood. Brilliant and honorable immortal venerable, wielding dual axes, finally arrived in the territory where I was located, shouting loudly as he charged at me. Eternal life immortal venerable continued to record. That brilliant and honorable immortal venerable led the imperial guards and successfully intercepted the thief. The cultivation of the Imperial Guards surpassed the Immortal Emperor Realm, and their combat power was comparable to the Immortal Emperor Realm. Seeing the Imperial Guards raining down upon me was nothing more than a fresh group buying experience. While Eternal Life Immortal Venerable excitedly and madly wrote about the Nine State Thief's nowhere to escape, I, too, became eager due to the abundance of domain value before me, ready to break my reaping record. Drawing my finger and slashing a golden light into the distance, the so-called army of Immortal Emperor Realm instantly turned into various alert sounds echoing in my ears, with the remains of the dead even falling in front of the little devil. The little devil's world also turned black and white in an instant, completely losing its brilliance. Seeing this devastating scene, Eternal Life Immortal Venerable's heart sank, and the twin sisters behind asked if they should record it. Eternal Life Immortal Venerable's trembling hand began to write with the pen, whatever happens, it must be faithfully recorded, this is my duty. Then, in an extremely sorrowful mood, Eternal Life Immortal Venerable documented everything. The Royal Imperial Guards confronted the thieves head-on, 
and were completely annihilated. But this also ignited the passionate heart of Eternal Life Immortal Venerable, believing that the next time would surely succeed. Then, the fairy ship from the MO family launched missiles at me, those missiles capable of destroying immortal domains indiscriminately, coming at me, coupled with attacks from ancient ferocious beasts. Under the combined force of the two energies, a mushroom cloud formed, gathering countless energies, suddenly rising. The brush closely followed. Black Tortoise, 250 years. Under the siege of the Emo family and the demonic clan, the Nine State Thief was utterly defeated. In this battle, Black Tortoise Immortal Domain achieved great success. As the brush descended, Maya's One Wish's golden cudgel pierced the sky, until all the MO family ferry ships above the sky and the entire city were destroyed together. And my system buddy, due to an excessive amount of domain value, experienced its first symptoms of a system crash. Eternal Life Immortal Venerable was completely crushed in pride by the scene. After completing all of this, I couldn't help but feel refreshed and invigorated. This is just the beginning. I saw a little devil with a face full of resentment shouting at me. Intruder. Murderer. But in that moment of seeing this little devil, I was somewhat stunned. Could I have been wrong? Just as I was stunned because of a little devil, several powerful energies arrived in an instant, feeling this power that was almost identical to my clone. So those old guys behind the scenes finally arrived. Ha! Huh? Before that chattering little devil could say anything else. I directly left without hesitation, leaving only several large fireballs flying towards the little devil. Looking at the blazing fire not far away, I had no trace of mercy. After all, people from the upper realm are all the same. A cold voice echoed in the high sky. Chin Chanan, you trample upon the immortal realm, slaughter the immortals, commit heinous crimes. Even if you were hanged and quartered 10,000 times, it would not be enough to quell our rage. Looking at the large domain values on my head, it truly makes one excited. Eternal life immortal venerable, seeing the situation about to be reversed, suddenly burst into laughter. What courage you have! How can it shake the heavens and the earth? And he resumed recording with his pen. The trash from the upper realm excitedly shouted. It's the five elders. The five elders have come. Quick, kill Chanan and avenge us. A man wearing golden armor slightly spoke. Nine state scum, you're the first person in tens of thousands of years to force us to take action. I advise you to think carefully about your impending death. I saw the five immortal emperors of the upper realm discard their previous appearances and don their battle armor from some time ago. Looking at the guy in front of me who was spouting nonsense, I was starting to get impatient. If you want to fight, then fight. If you don't want to fight, then obediently accept death. Why so much nonsense? I, this young master, am busy with important matters. Slaying Marshall burst into mad laughter. Interesting, interesting. These lower realm people are truly arrogant. If you're so eager to die, I'll fulfill your wish. Then, with a wave of her hand, the surrounding lightning transformed into a black thunder dragon. The miscellaneous people in the arena trembled at this scene. It's Elder Slang Marshall's thunder technique. Even from a thousand miles away, one can feel the clear current. As the person involved, I neither dodged nor avoided. I forcefully stomped on the ground and turned into a white light, swinging my dog beating stick. Just a little snake, thinking you're a dragon. Immediately, a loud noise came from behind, and under the pitch black eye mask, the crimson crow finally showed a trace of alertness, just as I was swinging the stick at that guy. I didn't expect that figure to disappear directly into thin air. Seeing Slang Marshall reappear, I was a bit puzzled. It seems that the Immortal Emperor realm does indeed have special means. The second elder, seeing this provocation, beckoned me with his hand and said, You don't have much skill, do you? I overestimated you. You are ultimately just a dog that came up from the lower realm, doomed to die under our torment. Suddenly, the two immortal emperors simultaneously unleashed their strongest powers and attacked me. I couldn't evade their sudden attack, and the blue-purple energy exploded in front of me, emitting a breath that shook the heavens and the earth. Not only that, Slaying Marshall suddenly appeared by my side, gathering the power of thunder in her hand once again. Die, you shall die before this deity. I only slightly tilted my body, and a curve appeared at the corner of my mouth. Is that all you've got? Mocking them, I swung my stick down. Now, that's called an attack. Darling, compared to their combined efforts, the power of my strike surpassed theirs in every aspect. With just one swing of my stick, I destroyed the surroundings once again. Without giving me a chance to catch my breath, an attack containing the essence of the Tao, like flowing water, came at me from the immortal emperor realm. Behind me are millions of immortal families. Your resolve cannot match ours. And in terms of strength, the five emperors once joined forces to kill peak experts. Your petty hatred is useless. Along with the spreading sound, the power in the hands of the Grand Elder continued to expand. As the terrifying sound dissipated, only faint dust remained on the ground. The indifferent voice of the Grand Elder resounded. The outcome is decided. We have won. 
The Grand Elder turned around and left directly, while instructing the Third Elder, join me in descending to the Lower Realm later, and completely eradicate Nine State. The Third Elder, however, laughed heartily, the Lower Realm is nothing but a flick of our hands. Before the Third Elder could finish speaking, a voice of panic suddenly rang out, that kid is not dead, or rather, he miraculously came out and scathed, and I responded to that, so-called Grand Elder, your self-proclaimed resolve is not worthy of high-sounding speeches, it is you who should be eradicated. My reappearance instantly caught the Grand Elder off guard, and they once again launched a siege against me. Not far away, Jiang Ning Gran, sensing the energy emanating from the Immortal Island, was greatly surprised to endure for so long under the siege with the Elders. She also contacted Jiang Yuchang, who had a close connection with me. Do you know who this Jin Chanan is? What does he want to achieve? After a long pause, Jiang Yu Chang's voice finally came through. Chin Chanan's true strength is unfathomable. He seeks revenge for every grievance. I'm afraid they have truly crossed his bottom line this time. Jiang, the head of the family, looked towards Jiang Xianchu beside him. Bottom line? But the profound strength of the immortal domain far surpasses the lower realm. What meaning does his action hold? Moreover, given the current situation, he won't be able to hold on for much longer before being subdued by the five elders. On the other side of the communication jade pendant, Qian Yuchang spoke softly, that is just one of the countless clones of Chin Chanan, his true body is still in nine state. Upon hearing this explosive news, the expression in the eyes of the Jiang family head was filled with fear. So it turns out that we are the so-called ants. Just the thought that the one fighting against the five elders is just one of the countless clones, made the Jiang family head scalp tingle. It's merely a clone, and yet it possesses the cultivation of the immortal emperor realm. With this in mind, a slight chill from behind instantly penetrated the Jiang family head's mind. From the very beginning, his target was not Jiang Xian Chu, but the immortal domain itself. In the midst of the conversation, I, relying on my overwhelming strength, crushed the arrogant second elder. The system also emitted that familiar prompt sound. Congratulations, host, for killing an immortal emperor realm. You have obtained 150 million domain value. Suddenly, a purple-haired immortal emperor teleported behind me, enveloping me in its embrace. I, the emperor, will make you accompany me in death, before I could react. This fellow directly triggered the immense power within himself. In an instant, a massive energy sphere appeared in the gloomy sky, capable of covering the heavens and the earth. This energy also caused the entire immortal domain to tremble. As this terrifying energy exploded, a gigantic cosmic rift appeared above the immortal domain, destroying the entire island below it. The shaken Grand Elder spoke slowly, still feeling lingering fear. If we are affected by Old Fourth's attack, even we will find it difficult to survive. The fifth elder looked at the dark clouds in the distance, feeling as if something had gripped her heart. Catch fourth elder, who is like a burning ember. The body of slaying Marshall unexpectedly began to tremble uncontrollably. Fourth brother. Then, she looked up to the sky. With just one swing of the stick, it completely annihilated my soul. Fourth brother then detonated the immortal core in exchange for Chinchanans. We have suffered heavy losses, and those from the upper realm who have tasted the taste of war, are now praying softly, like weaklings. I must die. The dense smoke dissipates, revealing my nearly collapsed body without a doubt. For a moment, the pitiful beings from the upper realm all shouted in unison. Finally, that guy is finally dead. Long live the elders, the observer of the immortal realm, eternal life immortal venerable, is equally excited. Dead, he's dead. The five elders join forces to annihilate the invaders from the lower realm. Achieving a complete victory, Grand Elder suddenly came in front of Old Fourth. Although Chin Chanan had the strength of the Immortal Emperor Realm, he lacks much combat experience. I still have a reincarnation technique to resurrect you. After my body descends, the ugly faces of the beings from the Immortal Realm once again reveal themselves without a doubt. Cut the invaders from the Lower Realm into five parts, and hang them in the most conspicuous place in the Lower Realm. Ha ha ha. Just at that moment, the Grand Elder suddenly sensed something unusual, a more terrifying aura gradually awakening. As golden talismans fell from the sky and entered my clone, the arrogant leaks from the upper realm were instantly extinguished by this aura. Seeing this, the Grand Elder hastily shouted, Quick, destroy that talisman with me, and my terrifying voice resounded throughout the entire immortal domain. You insignificant creatures, I have returned. Tremble to your heart's content, you ants. As they saw my ghostly figure appear once again, the beings from the upper realm finally sank into endless despair. Even the pen of eternal life immortal venerable, recording history, suddenly fell, trembling as it gazed at my figure, resurrected again. I then revealed the aura of and domain lord realm. Upon hearing the clamor behind me, I slowly spoke, don't be impatient, each and every one of you will die in the end, and I soared into the sky. The shockwave caused by my rise also shook the continent, 
The Grand Elder, despairing as he watched me depart, shouted desperately, Quick, stop him! That's the direction of the Immortal Court. But as an Domain Lord, how could I be disturbed by them? In an instant, I arrived at the most important place in the Immortal Domain. Looking at the magnificent scene before me, I couldn't help but sneer. The thing you've gone to great lengths to protect is nothing but what's right in front of you, the pillar that supports the two realms. A few arriving immortal emperors warn me with urgency, do not touch this place, otherwise, both realms will be doomed. Hearing the clamor, I became increasingly annoyed. With a casual move, I pierced through the two of them. Don't hinder me. The Grand Elder, sensing this suffocating power, completely lost his ability to resist. I raised my arm high. The immortal realm views the lower realm as ants, the grudges of the lower realm that cannot be avenged. I will avenge them. The entire world became fragmented. If the lower realm loses, what use is the upper realm? At the same time, sounds of turmoil emanated from the Rainbow Robe Immortal Domain. A rebuke resounded from within. How dare you intrude into the Domain Lord's residence? Do you know? Before that voice could finish speaking, it abruptly ceased. A old man with tattered clothes and a straw hat slowly walked forward. The guards behind him seemed to realize something, trembling all over. Are you perhaps an associate of that Chinchanan? But the old man didn't hide anything. Instead, he stopped and looked up at the sky. The Black Tortoise Immortal Domain has actually fallen. Could it be because of that kid? He actually succeeded in developing the eternal life body. A faint smile appeared at the corner of the old man's mouth beneath the straw hat. That kid has grown up. I, this old bone, can't fall behind. I must quicken my pace. Then, a golden light burst forth from his eyes. Since that's the case, it's time to unleash the power that has been sealed for a thousand years. With a random tug, the tattered clothes on his body were removed. This person is none other than Chinchanan's master, Feng Chiyun. With just a raise of his hand, the formation left by the Domain Lord was directly shattered. The surrounding guards were astonished. They were all too familiar with this power. But why would a mere mortal possess the power of an Domain Lord? Upon hearing the barking-like sound, Feng Chiyun coldly snorted and walked straight towards the main hall. On the side of the Black Tortoise Immortal Domain, because I destroyed the pillar that connected the two realms, the entire Immortal Domain became fragmented. The so-called Immortals from the Upper Realm were filled with despair in their eyes, shouting desperately, I don't want to fall back to that wretched place in the Lower Realm. I am an Immortal, supreme and transcendent, ruling at the pinnacle of the world, and the person who recorded the history of the myriad realms was now sitting weakly on the scroll, the immortal domain actually collapsing. Impossible, I refuse to accept it, despite shouting in every possible way, as the recorder of history, even if driven into madness, one must record the true history, but in the next moment, he was completely crushed by the scattered fragments of the immortal domain, along with the history of the Black Taurus immortal domain, disappearing into the river of history, the so-called Grand Elder was still overwhelmed by the scene before him. For tens of thousands of years, no enemy had ever harmed the immortal domain even in the slightest. But now, then, he mustered the last trace of courage in his heart. Boy, do you realize the enormous sin you've committed? Looking at the Grand Elder, who was once glorious but now reduced to this state, I couldn't help but find it amusing. Enormous sin? When immortals regarded the lives of the beings in the lower realm as mere weeds, did you ever think about this? Now you have the nerve to speak to me like this. Feeling the power that transcended dimensions, the few remaining elders finally understood how ridiculous the previous battles were. The Grand Elder also woke up at this moment. Could it be that his goal from beginning to end was the World Tree? He was just playing a game with us earlier. Before long, the suffocating energy turned into a ball of light under my manipulation. I raised my foot high. So, even the lofty immortals can feel fear. Well, enjoy this long-sealed fear to the fullest because your lives end here. As I shot the ball, the mighty immortal emperor was instantly killed by it. Witnessing the shocking scene, Slaying Marshall also heard the warning bell from hell. Slaying Marshall, who was about to turn around and beg for mercy, was intercepted and beheaded by my swift kick. At the end of their lives, attempting to awaken the so-called higher power, despite facing the fear of death, the Grand Elder managed to utter word by word, Chin Chanan, do you think you can get away with what you've done? Looking at the desperate Grand Elder resorting to any means possible, I couldn't help but show a mocking look. Oh, now you're preaching, but who are you trying to impress? Do you think, at this point, I still care about so-called escape routes? After feeling this boundless fear, the Grand Elder fled at the fastest speed he had ever reached in his life. Wait until I awaken the Domain Lord, then you'll know what true despair is. Watching the figure of the old man fleeing, I smiled indifferently. Once again, I gathered a huge ball of light in my hand. I don't have the habit of letting trash escape. At the same time, 
I fiercely threw out the scorching energy in my hand. You'd better die with your brothers and sisters. But in an instant, the energy capable of destroying an entire immortal domain caught up to the Grand Elder. This also left the Grand Elder, who had gone to call for reinforcements, completely in despair. Repeatedly, he muttered those words. Impossible. How is it possible for this to happen so quickly? But the expected scene did not occur. An unexpected hand emerged from somewhere and easily blocked it. But it couldn't stop the energy from splitting. This energy seemed to tear apart the heavens and the earth. Just as the energy was about to destroy everything, the scattered rays of light unexpectedly converged in one direction. This unexpected turn of events finally made me alert. As the light sphere vanished, the Grand Elder, who should have turned to ashes, stood there perfectly fine, his eyes filled with radiance. Domain Lord, you have emerged from seclusion, only to see a man exuding endless majesty standing in midair. A voice as cold as ice slowly resounded. I secluded myself for 3,000 years, leaving the affairs of the immortal realm to all of you. But you let the immortal realm fall. You have truly disappointed me. After speaking, he reached out to grab the Grand Elder, who held the prestigious title of Immortal Emperor Realm. Underneath the entire world, the Grand Elder's screams echoed incessantly. Suddenly, the system alarm sounded, detecting a powerful individual in the Immortal Emperor Realm. The system is temporarily unable to retrieve the opponent's information. I paid no attention to the system's warning. It seems this guy is different from those small fry, but as long as the main body is still alive, I can use my clone. Then, at the next moment, that cold voice resounded once again. You little brat, do you think that as long as the main body is alive, you can use your clone to defeat me? And he lifted the head of my immortal emperor realm clone. Who do you think I am? I am a god. After speaking, he threw it towards me. Pick up your head, and then kneel. Meanwhile, Feng Qiyun arrived at the core area of the Rainbow Robe Immortal Domain, feeling the aura of the Domain Lord. Feng Qiyun was filled with worry, but everything at the moment was too suspicious. Whether it's me or that kid, we have caused quite a commotion, yet we still haven't seen any other Domain Lords. Just then, a green-skinned ghost suddenly appeared behind Feng Qiyun. Reacting instantly, Feng Qiyun raised his hand and shot a beam of light behind him. With just one strike, that figure fell to the ground. At the moment Feng Qiyun saw the green-skinned ghost, a cold sweat seeped out of his face. You are the Domain Lord of the Rainbow Robe Immortal Domain. How could you have already lost the breath of life? Feng Qiyun couldn't help but shudder. Who on earth can silently kill a Domain Lord? After turning over the remains, only an empty shell was left. Seeing this tragic sight, Feng Qiyun seemed to remember something. Oh no! Immediately, he passed through the teleportation array. The Domain Lords of the Azure Dragon Immortal Domain and the Vermilion Bird Immortal Domain were both hollowed out and killed. Looking at the Domain Lords in front of him, each one dead in a gruesome manner. A horrifying thought emerged. Who was that previous aura from? On the battlefield, regarding this self-proclaimed god, I ignited a hint of fighting spirit, and wore a genuine divine smile. Do you also want to dance? In terms of seniority, you should call me ancestor. Looking at this arrogant immortal in the air, my contemptuous voice echoed. Those who dare to speak to me like that have already gone to the underworld together. From what I see, the one who should be kneeling like a dog is you. Countless rays of light swirled around my fingertips and shot towards that person, only to see the golden silhouette snort coldly, casually blocking the attack. The indifferent expression was unmistakable. No need for probing. Show me all your true abilities. I was somewhat surprised by this person's strength. I didn't expect this kid's power to be so strong, even as a domain lord. System, how much longer until the Black Tortoise Immortal Domain falls into the Invincible Realm? Based on the speed of the Immortal Domain's descent, it is estimated to take 10 minutes. Hearing the system's prompt, I couldn't help but let out a cold smile. Then let's play with him for 10 minutes. After that, ha, after all, it's not easy to come across such a big fat sheep. I must thoroughly exploit his value. In the midst of my distraction, a gigantic black lotus had already appeared before me. Upon seeing that black lotus, I couldn't help but think, this is bad. When was it? Flashes of black lightning continuously burst out from the black lotus. For a moment, the black aura engulfed the floating island I was on. Even the void seemed to be faintly tearing apart, and that man who claimed to be a god still maintained a calm and composed demeanor. As long as his aura remains, he will still make a move. The dark lotus will mislead his direction, so I can only kill him from the front the moment he shows himself. Everything is within my grasp. Just then, I swiftly surged out from below and threw a punch, smashing it towards that guy's face. Under my fist the size of a sandbag, that kid's figure turned into a streak of light and flew tens of thousands of meters before finally coming to a stop. Then, with a flash, I appeared by his side. So, 
You like to play sneak attacks? I happen to be the ancestor of sneak attacks. Dare to play this game with me? Then my right hand transformed into a golden dragon, accompanied by resounding dragon roars, and swiftly approached. Before I could overturn that bastard, a black hand suddenly blocked my attack, replaced by a mocking smile. This man merely lifted his hand and dissolved my attack. There's a world of difference between you and me. Your resistance is all in vain. The man's eyes were filled with desire. Your physical celestial power satisfies me quite well. Why not become a part of me? Feeling that hungry gaze. Unexpectedly, the fantasy world is also not short of perverts. With such a tiny bit of strength, have you all been spoiled? Then let's give it a try. My mighty power instantly pierced through the entire world. Meanwhile, in the mortal realm, peace has returned after that war. The lingering smoke proves the damage that the battle inflicted on the Nine State. The streets and alleys are filled with people who survived that battle. Suddenly, a man forcefully pushed Lin Bao's hand away, and shouted in terror while looking at the sky. Look, the sky is falling. Lin Bao also turned towards the direction of that man, filled with shock. Suddenly, the peaceful sky was once again illuminated by flames. Countless fireballs were rapidly descending towards the moral realm. The people in the city noticed the giant fireballs approaching at high speed. The fear from yesterday resurfaced once again. Amidst the panic of the people, a man's voice suddenly rang out. Look, I think I saw the governor of a state. The governor of a state has returned. It seems that the governor of a state is trapped in a terrifying battle. Lin Bao immediately shouted, By you, now that the flying immortal mountain outside Cloud State has been destroyed, we don't know what's happening in the upper realm. You should take the master's original body and enter the space ring to hide. Then look up at the sky. Once that thing falls, the entire Nine State will face its final doomsday. The system's notification also sounded officially. The Black Tortoise Immortal Domain is about to fall into the invincible realm. There is one minute left. At this moment, I was panting heavily, gasping for breath. After fighting for so long, this guy is completely unharmed. I didn't expect this guy to be so tough. He's the first formidable enemy I've encountered. Then I wiped the sweat from my chin and smiled with satisfaction. The game will become interesting this way. After all, it's boring to only crush the opponent unilaterally, and that golden-haired guy still had an arrogant look on his face. It seems your clone is quite resilient. You've managed to survive for so long without dying. A mere commoner dares to imagine defeating a god. It's truly laughable. Your fate has always been the same from the beginning, death. Then, he exerted force with both hands. A burst of pink energy appear out of thin air. The eight wilderness divine blade strikes. As that voice echoed, several slashes manifested in the void and came slashing towards me one after another. Facing such fierce power, I could only exert all my strength to defend myself. My body has reached its limit of endurance. Traces of blood cover my entire body. The voice from the system carries a hint of resentment. Count down to the fall of the black tortoise immortal domain. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. With each decreasing number, my murderous intent gradually increases. Even though my body is immobilized, a smile appears on the corner of my mouth. Suddenly, the giant hand appears. A mocking voice follows suit. The game is over, kid. That golden-haired guy actually pierced through my chest in the final seconds, and continued to crash towards the ground. Meanwhile, I control my dying body, and hold on to him tightly. Indeed, it's time for this game to end. Perhaps you were high and mighty in the upper realm, but in my territory, you don't even have the chance to kneel down and be my dog. The voice of the system immediately resounds. Host, the clone has entered the realm's range. An angry message pops up immediately. Host, I am furious. Whether they are gods or saints, they must die. At this moment, my palm suddenly reaches out and grabs the self-proclaimed divine being. Fear finally stains the eyes of the golden-haired guy. Unable to break free. How is this possible? I, who was supposed to lose my life force, once again open my eyes. The voice, surpassing the heavens and earth, echoes throughout the entire world. You're nothing. The one who should die is you. A force containing the breath of destruction illuminates the entire world, directly striking the man's body. Due to the excessive energy of this strike, it not only kills the man's body outright, but also generates a terrifying aura of blood throughout the entire world. Enormous domain value is being calculated. I inwardly sigh in relief, thankful that the clone can experience the power of the realm once, or else. In the next instant, a slender arm suddenly extends from that wound. Witnessing this situation, I can only exclaim how insane it is. Can this guy actually resurrect? Immediately after, a voluptuous and glamorous woman appears. Could this be the grand transformation? The change from male to female. A huge half-human, half-demon woman hovers in the air. Unlike the man's cold arrogance, she exudes an icy coldness. I told you, your struggle is meaningless, but I'm unfazed. 
You think you've won just because you've changed your appearance? However, I quickly notice something amiss. The woman's aura does not belong to this realm. With a casual wave of her hand, black energy coils around, approaching me. Just as I prepare to dodge, my body inexplicably freezes in place, and strands of black purple aura gush out from my mouth. With this eerie aura, my body transforms into black energy, converging towards the woman's body. Yet, the silver-haired woman shows no emotional fluctuations. Instead, she looks towards the distance with a solemn expression, as if sensing the location of my true self. At the same time, I finally return to my true self, secretly shocked by everything that just happened. What on earth is that thing? As I return to my original form, the dominating witch suddenly moved away from the cloud state. She watched the impending destruction of the nine states below but hesitated to approach, all because she sensed a suffocating power the moment I entered. She secretly speculated that it must be some kind of domain, then wore a delighted expression and murmured to herself. If I hadn't timely escaped from that body just now, the outcome of this battle would truly be uncertain. Furthermore, the end is already near the destruction of the immortal realm. The arrival of my demon tribe is also inevitable. Inside the spatial ring, Lin Bao saw me wake up from my slumber and anxiously asked about the current situation. I still maintained a composed appearance. Don't panic. Everything is under control. Meanwhile, the witch proclaimed the conclusion of this grand battle loudly in the sky. Today's battle ends here. Enjoy your final moments, mortals. During the conversation, a peculiar shaped spire suddenly appeared, followed closely by numerous monsters and demons. Sensing what was behind her, the witch laughed even more recklessly. Once our tribe arrives, the ants will have only one choice, to either submit or die. After completing all this, the witch flew toward the teleportation portal. Just before stepping in, she glanced back at the continent with a slightly reluctant expression, and a thought-provoking smile played on her lips. Kid, we'll meet again. Although I couldn't see the woman's figure, I sensed something and looked in that direction. At the same time, the crumbling black tortoise continent finally fell onto the nine states causing a series of explosions. Fifteen minutes later, as a pink energy emanated from the ring, the figures of each and every rebel appeared once again, whispering with lingering fear as I looked at the smoke that had not yet dispersed around me. We actually survived, and they looked at me standing amidst the ruins. The cheers erupted in an instant. It's governor of a state. It's governor of a state who protected us. Just as I was about to show off and make the entire cloud state worship me, the two eager individuals rushed towards me, rubbing against me recklessly. Did those troublemakers causing the commotion just let them go like that? Feeling the softness of the girls once again, I couldn't help but exclaim that this is the life I desired, but I still maintained a saintly appearance on the outside. Don't chase after defeated enemies, let them go this time. Whenever I thought about that mysterious woman from earlier, I clenched my teeth in anger. That was a clone worth a hundred million, and that damned woman just made it disappear like that. Although I could easily deal with her by expanding my domain's range slightly, I could sense numerous powerful beings in that spire. Even if I could eliminate most of them, there would inevitably be some survivors. Thinking about this, a trace of drool uncontrollably leaked from the corners of my mouth. Once my domain value is sufficient to cover it, I must take care of them all in one go. While I was lost in boundless imagination, a golden light suddenly descended, revealing a man clad in the same robe as me, standing tall, feeling the formidable aura emanating from him. A sense of familiarity rushed into my heart. The man's voice also carried a hint of joy. It's really you, kid. You've caused quite a big trouble this time. You really don't let me relax. Ha. Huh. I arrived in front of him. That figure so familiar it couldn't be more familiar. Indeed, it was the old man, my dear master. Although I enthusiastically asked the old man where he had been all these years, deep down in my heart, I cursed him incessantly. Not only did he abandon me and run away, but now he had even regained his appearance. The old man, seeing the situation, also smiled and extended his hand. The battle of true men began instantly, and as we stepped on the ground, whirlwinds emerged around us. I didn't expect this old man to still be so amazing after all these years. My disciple, I know you have many questions, but we'll discuss them later. The enemies you're facing this time are extraordinary. They are beings more terrifying than the upper realm immortal domain. If I'm not mistaken, they come from the ancient continent. Upon hearing this unfamiliar term, I was also somewhat surprised. The ancient continent, legend has it that it existed since the beginning of chaos, and countless races were born on that land. The demon tribe is one of them, and they engaged in a war lasting billions of years to compete for resources. However, a small portion of them grew tired of the war, and together, they broke through the dimensional barrier, which is the realm we are in, and they became the first rulers of the upper realm immortal domain. But as time passed, the celestial beings forgot their origins, and they began plundering resources from the lower realm, and I was one of those plunderers. 
engaging in frenzied slaughter, an insatiable desire for conquest fueled by blood, that was the person I used to be. But during one of the raids, my blood accidentally dripped onto the artifact of a certain lord of the lower realm, and then, that power drew me into an illusionary realm. Within it, I saw the invasion of the ancient continent, witnessing the tragic scene of the immortal domain and all beings in the lower realm withering away. Only later did I learn the origin of that artifact. It was one of the original artifacts from the ancient continent that was brought into this realm. Based on my investigations, the more frequent the conflicts among the upper realm inhabitants, the more our ancient bloodline within us awakens, allowing the people from the ancient continent to sense our location, to prevent the situation from evolving into the scene I witnessed. After much searching, I obtained another ancient artifact and I intend to use it as a warning to the upper realm. Little did they know, not only did they not listen, but they also harbored greed for the artifact, and they destroyed my immortal domain. Left with no choice, I had to descend to the lower realm in a roundabout way to save the situation. In fact, I exhausted my entire life, to delay even a joss stick's worth of time for the people. Yet I still fell short in the end. It was only just now that I came to realize, that the demon tribe invaded the body of a domain lord tens of thousands of years ago. Upon hearing this, Lin Bao expressed soulful doubt. If they were so powerful, why didn't they directly attack instead of fleeing? The old man shook his head slowly, unaware of the true meaning behind it. Hearing the old man's words, I'm glad I didn't act just now. This deeply hidden determination is probably not as simple as it seems. If my domain's range is large enough, those guys are ultimately just a group of nourishment, the system should sell the account now, and also check how much domain value is needed to revive everyone and my wife. Domain value settlement completed. Host destroyed Black Tortoise Immortal Domain and killed countless immortals, gaining a total of 950 million domain value. Domain range from the Flying Immortal Mountain to Cloud State, possessing the skills, all living beings, true resolution of Immortal Dao, perfect special effects, dominion over life and death, mirror flower, water moon, immortal Dao eternal, system warehouse capacity, 10 slots, salted fish gift pack, 99 plus, mythical realm keys, 1, boundary fragments, 99 plus, exchanging for the domain lord's avatar deducts 400 million domain value, due to borrowing 200 million at that time, the deduction now is 400 million, current domain value, 550 million. At the same time, a smile of a small person achieving success appeared on its face. Thank you for your patronage. To this damn system, I'll vent my anger when I go up there. 400 million. Do you know how long it takes for me to earn 400 million? It disappeared in the blink of an eye. Little did I know the system would be so aggrieved. Is it because I had a good time that I don't have to spend money anymore? After a moment of thought, I felt much more relieved. After all, domain value is meant to be used when earned. At the same time, I tightly clenched the system panel, dog-like thing. I want to revive everyone who died within the domain value. Reviving everyone who died within the domain value requires deducting 100 million domain value. Do you want to continue? Yes. Domain value has been deducted, using the power to control life and death. For a moment, a surge of revitalizing spring breeze spread across the entire continent. Before long, green rays of light entered the bodies of countless commoners. Not only the commoners, even the lords of the various states also came back to life under the spring breeze, and those who survived by chance were dumbfounded. The deceased have actually come back to life. The sound of reunions echoed throughout the entire continent for a moment. Feng Qiyun's eyes were dazzled by the miracles happening before him. What on earth is happening? And among them was the person who was once occupied by the slaying heaven, along with his sister, who also came back to life. Seeing their reunion, since they are alive, only one thing remains. Then I turned into a residual shadow and disappeared from the spot. The next moment, I appeared in the sky. Jiang Ningran's heart sank as she looked at the approaching figure. At the same time, she changed to a respectful tone. I have already carried out your orders as you commanded. After this, please fulfill your promise. Looking at Jiang Xian Chu, who still couldn't wake up, I simply asked in a faint tone. System, what is the reason? Jiang Xuan Chu's soul is damaged and unable to wake up, detecting a new task to awaken Jiang Xian Chu, because her soul is severely damaged. The power of the unity of heaven and earth must be used to repair her broken soul before she can be awakened. Reward, current domain value doubled. Unity of heaven and earth? I remember the old man just said, the artifacts of the ancient continent have the power of the unity of heaven and earth, detecting that the host has reached the basic requirements for upgrading to the invincible domain. Activate the upgrade conditions. Upgrade condition 1. Ascend from the lower realm. Domain covers the entire nine states. Merge into thousands of immortal domains. Upgrade condition 2. 
prepare 20 million domain value to upgrade the system. At the same time, activate a new function, the immoral vault of myriad beings. Seeing these daunting conditions, a sense of powerlessness surges up, but the system seems to be oblivious to the situation, casually saying, the estimated coverage of the nine-state continent is 1.92 billion. Faced with this century's great pit in front of me, all I want is to start over with a different system, but soon, I became resigned to everything, in a certain realm and the lower realm. A shocked voice resounded throughout the entire tower. The black tortoise immortal domain has fallen, or rather, it has fallen into the weakest nine-state realm. And the ones questioning this are the three giants of the youth realm. According to the information from the scouts, not only has the immortal domain fallen, there is also a group of external forces invading. Suddenly, an extremely arrogant voice appeared in the hearts of everyone in the myriad realms. Listen up, you ants from all realms. This is a warning from the demon clan. The three individuals who were in discussion were shocked and looked up one after another. The old man felt a movement in his heart. An exceptionally powerful aura suddenly descended upon our realm. The people in this realm also stopped what they were doing, but that voice did not pause in the slightest. Listen well, all of you, you have 10 days. Each realm must send a representative to surrender in our territory. This is your only chance. Those who refuse to surrender will be killed, and the owner of that voice is the woman who fled in a sorry state from my domain range that day. But such arrogant remarks also drew the dissatisfaction of the masters of the various realms. What kind of nonsense is this demon clan? They're just wild dogs that haven't encountered us. They only know how to bark. If you have the ability, come to my spiritual martial domain. I'll teach you how to behave. And these words received support from other realms. Well said, I, Wang Xian domain, also don't submit to you, and my Changsher domain too. Upon hearing these voices of resistance, the woman remained calm and indifferent. She chuckled softly. I underestimated you all. I didn't expect ants like you have such strong self-esteem. Then, the woman left her seat in the void. She raised her hand high in the sky. In an instant, the world changed dramatically, as if it were the end of days. The woman then put on a condescending look. As ants, you lack self-awareness. With those words, black purple lightning instantly illuminated the entire sky. It swept through the land recklessly. One of the three giants of the youth realm was filled with fear at this moment. In just an instant, the aura of five immortal experts disappeared. Half of the youth realm's land was annihilated, and that voice rang out once again. You better understand, this is not a negotiation with you. I don't care if you submit or not, I'm giving you a choice. It's just to save our time. Do you understand, you ants? At the same time, the golden tower appeared above every realm. At this moment, the old man's face became solemn. You just said that finding the lost ancient artifacts would solve them. What happened? Meanwhile, I waved my hand and slid in the air. During these days, I have explored the mysteries of the eternal life body one by one. Master, this formation is the result of my research. It will expand along with the expansion of my spiritual power. And the only way to deal with the demon clan is to expand the range of the formation to that tower. Seeing my master suddenly enlightened, I could only sigh inwardly. I can only say this. I can't exactly say that I have a system helping me expand my territory, right? However, Feng Qiyun rubbed his chin and said in a deep voice, The ancient artifacts, as far as I know, there are four of them scattered in the various realms. One of them lost its divinity after awakening me back then, and two others have unknown whereabouts. The only one is still lost within the ruins of my former immortal domain. Although I can go back and retrieve it, the power of just one artifact won't be enough and the final battle will take place in 10 days, which I'm afraid won't be enough time. Just when everyone was at a loss, Lin Bao suddenly spoke up and asked, what are the characteristics of these artifacts? Upon hearing this, Feng Qian casually replied, the location of the ancient artifacts must be a place abundant in spiritual energy, because the power of the ancient artifacts is immense, and can even cause ecological changes in the area, giving rise to creatures that cannot be understood by conventional means. Bai Yu, who had been quietly listening nearby, couldn't help but murmur in response to the last sentence, strange transformations and incomprehensible creatures, just when we were at a loss, Bai Yu suddenly said from the side, Senior, if that's the case, I know a place. Our heavenly demon ancient fox sect, actually known as a branch of the Green Peak Domain's fox demon clan. It is said that within the territory of the fox demon clan in Green Peak Domain, there is a secret realm. Not only is it abundant in spiritual energy, the creatures inside have physical characteristics several times larger than ordinary ones. Even the lakes there possess unique healing and detoxifying effects. 
Feng Qian's eyes lit up, convinced that there must be an artifact in that place. Meanwhile, I looked at the old man with doubt. Are you sure? Feng Qiyun reaffirmed his judgment, and proposed a plan to split the forces. Feng Qiyun will go in search of the artifact that was lost in the ruins of the Immortal Domain. I shouted for Baiyu to guide me in search of the hidden artifact in the Green Peak Domain. Immediately, Feng Qiyun transformed into a stream of light and disappeared from the spot. The system used the fragments of the domain to create a domain card that can traverse the lower realms. Also, exchange 400 million points for an immortal lord avatar. Insufficient points, would you like to borrow? Yes. After my affirmative answer, a more powerful avatar suddenly appeared in front of me. Upon seeing this avatar radiating golden light, Bayou and Lin Bao simultaneously had a bold idea in their minds. But I had no time to pay attention to them. I turned around and instructed Lin Bao, if there is any danger in the Nine State, Wake me up immediately. Lin Bao, eager and full of enthusiasm, pledged to take good care of me. Although Lin Bao exuded an unreliable vibe all over his body, time was pressing now, and there was no time to linger here. Calling out to Bayou, we prepared to go to the Green Peak Domain. Under the influence of the system, a golden teleportation array appeared before us. In the moment of crossing this array, the mischievous voice of the system sounded. The host has arrived at the lower realm of the Green Peak Domain. A new adventure begins. After arriving at the Green Peak Domain, Bayou couldn't help but tremble slightly as she looked at the devastated scene in front of her. This is it. This is the territory of the heavenly demon Ancient Fox Sect. To enter the secret realm, we must possess the key to the Fox Clan's secret realm. But how should we proceed now? Just when we were at a loss, suddenly, from below the mountain, came a series of grumbling and complaining noises. You bunch of fools, if you want to enter the secret realm, you must obey us. Despite that, not a single person showed any dissatisfaction. Following closely behind that group of people, the nearby refugees kept praising the man in front of them. Don't worry, you won't suffer any losses if you follow me. Our leader single-handedly annihilated the entire Fox Demon Clan. Not only did we take their key to the secret realm, but we also learned about the existence of a paradise within the secret realm. That's the only safe haven left now. Upon hearing what the man said, Bayou felt a surge of anger. She immediately wanted to go down and kill those bastards who insulted her ancestors. But then I grabbed Bayou's hand. Tears filled Bayou's eyes. They killed our people. We cannot let them go unpunished. Seeing Bayou's sadness, I quickly explained that now is not the time to kill them. The Heavenly Demon Clan is definitely monitoring every move in the various realms. We must proceed discreetly to avoid any trouble during this operation. Those people may appear weak, but they dare to venture into the dangerous secret realm you mentioned claiming it to be a paradise. There must be secrets hidden within, and their destination is the same as ours. Acting rashly will only hinder our search for the divine artifact. Then, I gently touched Bayou's cheek, assuring her that once this is over, I will let her personally kill those people, avenging her clan. Under my tender touch, Bayou calmed down, and she asked me about my next plan. Instead, I placed my hand on the ground. For us, following them means avoiding danger, but we have no way of knowing their secrets. I suspect their secrets are mostly related to the divine artifact. So, next, we need to disguise ourselves. Meanwhile, upon hearing about the plight of the fox demon clan, the refugees couldn't help but sympathize. However, this clearly angered the leader among them. They're just a group of beautiful beasts. What's the loss if they die? But I spoke up at this critical moment. Brothers, is the paradise you mentioned truly real? Big brother, please take us along. Upon seeing this, the man sneered, turned around, and put on the appearance of a helpful big brother. Just follow behind us, he said, while his gaze freely wandered around Bayou's body. It had been a long time since I had seen such an extraordinary beauty. Seeing this, I merely placed my hand on my chest and expressed my gratitude. Finally, under the guidance of those people, we arrived in front of a statue of a fox demon. The leading man took out a wooden box from his pocket, and pressed it against the indentation on the statue. As soon as the box was inserted, the ground began to tremble. At the same time, a golden magic circle appeared in the sky. So, this is the hidden realm within the forest. This mountain behind us must be the teleportation point to the secret realm. And the wooden box is the key to opening the secret realm, right? The man grew annoyed with my incessant talking, and reprimanded me while taking out the key to the secret realm. No wonder the old man had been searching so hard for the divine artifact for many years. I never expected it to be hidden so deeply. Suddenly, a loud roar caught everyone's attention. Quick, look, what is that? A giant rat, tens of meters tall, appeared in the forest. 
watching the group of lackeys skillfully turn and run, I became even more certain that there was something seriously wrong with this group of people. Although the rat was enormous in size, its strength was estimated to be at the peak of the transcendence realm. To exterminate the fox demon clan, they would need to be at least at the immortal king realm level. I'm afraid there's someone else supporting them. Then, I took out a talisman from my pocket. Although its effect was only one in a billion, it should be more than enough to deal with a transcendence realm beast. The talisman immediately turned into a golden light and shot towards the giant rat. The moment the talisman merged with the rat, its eyes turned red, and it let out an angry roar. The lackeys hiding behind the trees screamed in fear as they saw the rat charging towards them. To create chaos in the scene, I shouted directly, Help! The monster is coming! Big Brother, quickly use the key to the secret realm to send us back. I don't want to go to that so-called paradise anymore. With my performance, the other refugees also responded one after another. Big brother, let us go. Even if we get killed by the heavenly demon clan, it will be 10 days later. I don't want to die right now. Upon seeing this, the big brother kicked the people in front of him. Shut up, all of you. What's there to fear about a rat? Immediately, he shouted to his men behind him and charged towards the giant rat. Go and slaughter this beast. Indeed, they are all weaklings. A bunch of transcendence realm lackeys. Watch me give you some excitement. Then, I transformed directly into a fervent fan of these people. Big brother, go for it. We're all counting on you. By you, who is behind, didn't want to fall behind either. Go for it, big brother. I love you, big brother. The leader, however, had a ferocious expression on his face. You damn bastard. It was you who attracted this rat. I'll definitely chop you into minced meat. Then, he reached out and grabbed the two lackeys beside him. In an instant, the life force of those two individuals crazily converged towards the leader as he grabbed them. I didn't expect these weaklings to have this trick up their sleeves. After absorbing the two lackeys, their strength instantly transformed from the transcendence realm to the refining void realm. Not bad. It seems that this alone is not enough to force your puppeteer behind the scenes to reveal themselves. Since that's the case, don't blame me, gentlemen. I directly threw out several talismans, dispersing them around. And those talismans, as if they possessed intelligence, flew towards the hidden monsters in the forest. The people who had just defeated the giant rat finally had a chance to catch their breath. But just as they rested, they heard roars coming from behind. They saw three even more terrifying monsters charging towards them. What's their deal? Why are they coming again? The lackeys beside me urged the leader to come up with a solution. Aren't you invincible, boss? Teach them a lesson quickly. I don't want to die yet. At the next moment, the leader immediately fled. I'm done. You figure it out yourselves. Even if I can't complete the mission, I don't want to die here. Under the torment of the fear of death, he finally broke down. He took out the key to leave the secret realm and pressed it into the indentation. I've worked so hard to cultivate my immortal physique. I don't want to become that creature's food. The ground trembled once again, but instead of the teleportation array to leave the secret realm, a plant with a large mouth appeared. In just one gulp, it swallowed the lackey who had broken through the refining void realm. At that moment, the system suddenly sounded, detecting the presence of high-level extraterrestrial organisms, requesting the host to eliminate them as soon as possible. Seeing this, I couldn't help but squint my eyes. So, the puppeteer behind the scenes is actually a mutated man-eating flower? The lackeys, who had lost their backbone, were dumbfounded, constantly calling out the name of their boss. The next second, they became the monster's food. One by one, the refugees scattered in fear, fleeing in all directions. However, in an instant, several tentacles emerged from the ground. Even the strength and monsters I controlled couldn't escape. I grabbed by you, who was still in place, and narrowly avoided the monster's attack. Seeing the terrifying strength of this monster, Bayou finally guessed that it was the culprit behind the massacre of the fox demon clan. And that man-eating flower even uttered human-like words. Little girl, you're not simple. You were able to see through my plan. And that boy by your side, are you also extraordinary? Daring to manipulate my servant. In the center of the flower, an eye appeared, above which was a strange object, emanating an evil energy. Seeing this, I couldn't help but laugh. This aura couldn't be wrong. That thing must be the so-called ancient artifact. At this moment, the large eye was still unaware of the fear it was about to face, remaining arrogant. How dare you disturb me? What crime do you deserve? I have carefully hunted the fox clan, intending to absorb the sweet essence of humanity, but you have disrupted my plans. I will make you all die. The deceived refugees also recognized the monster as the Mordor, which had devoured the neighboring Longyang realm. How did that boy provoke it? It's caused our demise. And with a cold expression, I raised my iconic middle finger. In my life, I hate it the most when people show off in front of me. Then a golden light shot out from my fingertips, instantly killing the giant creature in front of me. Congratulations to the host for killing a fifth-level demon beast of the immortal monarch realm. Reward.
10 million domain value. At the same time, Han Shi in the Heavenly Realm suddenly sensed this energy, and opened the display screen of the Green Peak domain. Such a powerful energy fluctuation. Could it be that boy from before? Then she directly dismissed the screen, thinking that the boy's spiritual power should be even more dominant. Now is not the time to waste time on these matters. At the same time, she looked expectantly at a tall statue. As long as our master descends, that boy will undoubtedly be defeated. Thinking of the scene where she trampled me underfoot afterwards, Hanshi's face showed an expression of infatuation. By you, who has never witnessed my true strength, now has a face full of infatuation. Originally, I thought it would be a fierce battle, but unexpectedly, with a casual wave, I instantly killed the immortal monarch realm of a local overlord. Not only did I defeat the monster, but I also broke through the barrier between the secret realm and reality, and this was just a clone of the young master. Thinking of this, the blush on Bayou's face became even more prominent. It seems that I couldn't comprehend the depth of the senior's strength, and when I think back to the time when the senior educated me, I wonder if I can withstand the senior's intensity this time. As the person involved, I am in distress. Even though I have exerted all my strength to restrain myself, I'm afraid this strike will still be noticed by the heavenly demon clan. But using a clone is not impressive if the clone is too weak, and if it's too strong, the heavenly demon clan will detect it. Fortunately, things have been progressing relatively smoothly so far. Now, it's just a matter of taking the artifact off his head. Just then, a sudden change occurred, strands of energy continuously converging towards the artifact. The next moment, Mordor's maniacal laughter resounded once again, and in his eyes as he looked at me, there was a hint of fear. I just got killed, it seems, this person is definitely not a good person, and he wants to pry into my life-saving artifact, that's the gift from my old man. Then suddenly, it discovered a crack in front of it. Without hesitation, the arrogant Mordor, who thought he was the chosen one, plunged right into it. There's always a way when there seems to be none. Damn humans, I'll come back to kill you, you dog head. Once I've restored my peak strength, I couldn't help but have a playful interest in this somewhat foolish Mordor. I grabbed hold of his foundation and pulled in the opposite direction. Did I let you go, old man? Then I stepped on Mordor's roots. I'm curious why you're not dead. According to common sense, you should be dead by now. Could it be because of this artifact? As I spoke, the artifact suddenly emitted a dazzling light. Mordor also noticed the change in the artifact and his confidence increased. The first stage of the life-saving artifact has been activated. Now, the invincible Mordor rises again. You brat, don't push your luck too far. I was only interested because I saw some potential in you. I intended to keep you as a pet. Don't think I can't defeat you. I am the highest ranked race in this realm. I cannot be killed, but I couldn't help but laugh. Does this guy even know what he's saying? Seeing me silent, Mordor became even more excited. So you're human, and you're scared by this. This guy probably hasn't seen what it means to die and come back to life. I can use this to scare him and lure the elders of his tribe to come and kill him together. Bayou on the side is full of worry. If we can't kill it, we can't get the artifact. What should we do? We're stuck in a dead end. But I put on my signature smile again. How could that be? Upon hearing my words, Mordor had a disdainful expression on his face. You idiot. I'm invincible. You better face reality. In response to this idiot's provocation, I silently extended my middle finger. In an instant, Mordor, who was just feeling proud, turned into ashes. Congratulations to the host for killing the immortal monarch realm's fifth level demon creature. Reward, 10 million domain value. As Mordor died, the artifact once again shone with a dazzling light. Target has revived. Mordor's arrogant voice appeared once again. I told you, you can't kill me, you fool. As I witnessed this scene, a cold smile appeared on the corner of my mouth. Get comfortable, my precious experience baby. Before Mordor could say anything else, he turned into ashes once again, exploding fiercely. To make this game more interesting, I directly took out my little hammer from the system's storage and embarked on my path of furious vengeance. Congratulations to the host for killing the fifth level Immortal Monarch Realm. Reward, 10 million domain value. Target has revived. Reward, 10 million domain value. Bayou also equipped the treasure I gave him, and began an intense and thrilling whack-a-mole game. Under my powerful and rhythmic hammer strikes, the onlookers screamed in excitement. For a moment, it was hard to tell who the real demon was, and I had already completely lost myself in the wonderful sound of system notifications. Is this what it feels like to cheat in a game? It's simply amazing. Two hours later, Mordor's healing time had noticeably slowed down, and there were scattered blue beads all over the ground. The host has gained a total of 500 million domain value. Looking at Mordor still struggling, I couldn't help but feel a bit disappointed. Why doesn't this work anymore? I feel like I can still grind. Seeing Mordor, who was even struggling to heal, I reluctantly reached out towards the artifact, only to be surprised to find that, 
as he said, the artifact couldn't be forcibly removed. So, I shifted my gaze to the scattered beads on the ground, and asked the system to detect what exactly this thing is. Detected 50 cloud ring pills. The effect is the same as the incinerating immortal pill. One pill can be exchanged for 10,000 domain value. Upon hearing the system's explanation, I picked up one pill and carefully examined it. I didn't expect to find treasures while grinding monsters. If it weren't for Mordor's slow revival now, I feel like I could grind another 100 times. With this in mind, I threw it towards Bayou. Bayou, try eating it and see the effects. Bayou, who caught the pill, didn't hesitate and put it into her mouth. He sat in front of a tree and began to absorb the spiritual energy contained in the pill. Meanwhile, I stared coldly at the surrounding forest and said, Come out, all of you. Upon hearing my words, the refugees hiding at the tree trunks came out one by one. I can protect you guys, and also give you the power to fight against the heavenly demon clan. The price is that you must serve me. Upon hearing my request, the refugees not only didn't find it excessive, but were instead excited. I'm willing, I'm willing, as long as it makes me stronger, I'm willing to give my life. Seeing the refugees in front of me, I grinned and expressed my agreement, while taking out the blue pills I had just obtained. If you eat this pill, you will complete the first step to becoming stronger. Zhao Si, the servant, broke through to the Triple Foundation Establishment Realm. Zhang San, the servant, broke through to the First Foundation Realm. The power of these mortals before me continued to skyrocket, seemingly without an end. It wasn't until three hours later, that Bayou's aura kept changing, and the attribute panel showed Bayou's intimacy level as four stars. Her cultivation level was now at the half-immortal stage, detected the contract follower, Bayou, with changes in cultivation, about to break through from the half-immortal stage to the immortal soldier stage. I looked at the information panel that popped up in front of me and was slightly surprised. I didn't expect this functionality after the system upgrade to version 5.0. It will be much more convenient to check someone's information now next time. There's no need for another detection. At this moment, Bayou's face turned red. Because of the restrictions of the Green Peak Domain's Heavenly Dao, cultivation cannot progress. If this continues, it will only result in a burst body and death. The only solution is to cultivate together with me to stabilize the spiritual power. Just as Bayou was preparing to seize this opportunity to completely conquer me, the spiritual energy within her body unexpectedly began to slowly flow back, continuously disappearing. At the same time, the domain value she had just obtained started decreasing continuously. Seeing this, I angrily exclaimed at the system, what's wrong with you, damn system, why is the domain value constantly decreasing? Just then, that familiar voice sounded again, in the name of sealing, secret realm. Suddenly, the few people who were just swallowed by Mordor, including myself, appeared outside the secret realm once again. The person in charge, the person at the front looked as if they had seen a ghost, asked, why are you here? At the same time, they pointed towards the other me and asked, what's going on here? The other me also had a bewildered look, I want to know what's going on too. At that moment, I suddenly looked back, only to find that the artifact attached to Mordor had disappeared. My domain value deduction and by use reversed cultivation progress are likely related to the sudden disappearance of the artifact. A terrifying thought exploded in my mind. Perhaps resurrection is not the only ability of that artifact, but it possesses a more troublesome power. What exactly is it? Within the upper bounds, Feng Qiyun is shuttling through the various immortal realms in search of divine artifacts. Just then, Feng Qian suddenly stopped, there was a trace of the heavenly demon clan's aura. Immediately, he turned into a golden light and flew towards that place. Upon landing, he immediately used the concealment technique. Looking at everything in front of him, his pupils contracted. Is this the frontline battlefield between the heavenly demon and the upper bounds? And those strange-looking demon races inside? Even the weakest among them are at the immortal revered realm, with many immortal emperor realm experts guarding the battlefield. Even if my disciples come here, it will be a fierce battle. At this moment, a deputy commander with horns on his head, who was at the Domain Lord Realm, was holding a woman with tattered clothes, and the woman in front of him, trembling all over, like a little chick. Please spare me. As long as you spare me, I'm willing to give everything for you. I can offer my body to assist you in cultivation. Just then, a demon god wearing golden armor walked out. Nonsense. Kill her. Without any hesitation, the deputy commander who received the order directly crushed the woman. And this indifferent man is the commander of the Third Legion of the Heavenly Demon, at the Domain Lord Realm. Seeing this, Feng Qiyun was filled with anger and resentment. In order to save more people, Feng Qiyun could only endure silently. Now there are only eight days left. Finding the Divine Artifact is the most important task. Remember the landmarks here first, and then annihilate them when meeting with my disciple. As for these people, they can only save themselves. Fifteen minutes later, 
Kong Ming calmly spoke, the formation point here has been set up. Now, we only need the 5th Legion to set up the formation point to welcome the arrival of our master. Di Jiang was shocked to hear this. Han Shi is too cunning. After setting up the first formation point, she stuck close to our master. She really has no shame. Just then, a subordinate hurriedly ran over in a panic. Commander, we just received news. Your son, Mordor. His demonic disc is on the verge of collapse, and he is in a life-threatening situation. Di Jiang stood up abruptly upon hearing this. Doesn't Mordor have the ancestral artifact given by the commander? That was taken from a powerful member of the Heavenly God Clan in the ancient continent by the commander. How could he be in a life-threatening situation? Could it be that the artifact's divine consciousness still remains? Did it make contact with someone from the Heavenly God Clan? The subordinate quickly said. There's only one person, whose strength is close to the immortal emperor realm. Upon hearing this, Kong Ming's expression darkened. Only one person? You have quite the courage. Suddenly, Di Jiang on the side spoke up. Commander, let me lead a team to rescue young Master Mordor. It just so happens that I only need one more immortal emperor soul for my soul-devouring demon god technique. Let's use him as a sacrifice. Upon hearing this, Kong Ming's face had already become ferocious. Go ahead. It would be best if you can capture that kid alive. I want to see who dares to touch my son. Inside the Green Peak Domain, pairs of people who look exactly the same are tearing each other apart. Fake imitations wearing my skin. Watch as I tear your face apart. Seeing the scene in front of them, the leader's forehead was covered in cold sweat. What the hell is going on here? How did two identical people suddenly appear? I understand now. This must be part of Lord Mordor's plan. Here, Lord Mordor is an invincible godlike existence. He must be toying with these people, and then devouring them all. With this thought in mind, he waved his hand towards the crowd. All of you little creatures, shut up. Listen to me carefully. Whether you're real or fake, you're all going to die today. The men will be used as nourishment, and the women will bear our children, especially that one with white hair. I want to have over a dozen with you. Just then, Mordor suddenly descended from the sky and appeared by my side. I was wrong. Big brother, please spare me, or just give me a quick death. I beg you, the subordinate who was just acting all tough suddenly looked dumbfounded. Is this submissive creature really Lord Mordor? Before they could react, Mordor whipped them away with a single lash, while revealing a face full of servility. My lord, look, I've taken care of the troublesome individuals for you. Looking at the well-behaved Mordor, I approached him and narrowed my eyes, examining him. I happen to have something to ask you. After a friendly conversation, I learned from Mordor that the first ability of the artifact is resurrection. The carrier will be reassembled and restored to the their previous healthy state at the moment of death. However, there are certain limitations to the recovery. The recovery time will gradually increase. Initially, it's 5 seconds. The second ability is time reversal. It can reverse a certain space-time back to a specific point in the past. Bayou's sudden regression in cultivation after promotion was due to the influence of time reversal. And the problem lies here. Based on the previous time regression, I should have returned to the moment I arrived in the Green Peak domain. But now, except for 500 million domain value that remains, everything else has reverted to the initial state. The spatial transfer hasn't changed. But there's an extra me. With this in mind, I smirked and looked at the other me. The imposter has quite the audacity. The other me directly made my favorite friendly gesture towards me. Doesn't the imposter have any sense of self-awareness? Regarding this arrogant fellow who's just like me, I couldn't help but feel a bit excited. Playing the game of real and fake monkey kings with me, you're too low. Saying that, I clashed head on with the imposter. Unexpectedly, this guy not only imitated my face, but also copied my skills. With this realization, I no longer held back. A golden light condensed in my hand, ready to teach him a lesson, and the aftermath of our battle continued to emanate from the forest. Mordor, who was watching from the side, was trembling in fear. Damn it, these two lunatics are fighting each other without holding back. Watching the appearance of our battle, Mordor widened his eyes. No wonder this child was able to easily subdue me, so he was playing the trick of pretending to be a pig to eat a tiger. This kind of power can even rival Di Jian. Without the artifact, I might be killed by the aftermath of these two lunatics. I must quickly retrieve the artifact nearby, because our strength and techniques are almost identical. It's difficult to determine the winner for now. I suddenly propose changing the approach to verify it. The verification method is simple. Ask me a question, and for fairness, Bayou will ask the same question to both of us. As soon as the two Bayous heard this, they became interested. They answered in unison, that would be disrespectful to the seniors. The first question, seniors, do you like Bayou? Not answering is considered agreement. Oh, if the answer is wrong, it means both seniors are fake. Hearing this, 
Both of us quickly said we should try a different approach. The two Bayous asked again, Seniors, what is the most flamboyant and embarrassing thing you have ever done? Facing Bayou's tricky question, both of us looked as if we had eaten shit. I once imitated Lu Mingfei and swept through the strong in the interstellar. Upon hearing this, the two Bayous not only didn't feel embarrassed, but rather got excited, saying they love such seniors. Meanwhile, we felt extremely awkward, but the two Bayous didn't intend to stop there. Instead, they seized the opportunity and continued to ask, how many women admired the senior in the past? Have the two seniors ever practiced dual cultivation with others? Is the taste of dual cultivation as beautiful as described in books? Hearing this, I quickly interrupted. These questions are not suitable for children. Then both of us awkwardly laughed. We don't need to ask anymore. We have already confirmed if we are good brothers or not. Otherwise, we would have to admit that we have been virgins for over 20 years in front of them, and exchange experiences while Bayou is dumbfounded. On the other side, Di Jiang has already led a large number of troops to the outside of the barrier. Di Jiang suddenly bursts into wild laughter. Smash this barrier for me. I can't wait to see those scum kneeling and begging for mercy. Inside the fox spirit secret realm at this moment, a heart-wrenching scream suddenly resounds. Damn humans, you actually used me. Seeing the artifact in hand, my mood has greatly improved. I have to thank you for helping me find the artifact. Otherwise, if I were to find it myself, it would probably take a lot of effort. Even Mordor has now realized what's going on. Could it be that all your previous fights were just pretending for my sake? At the same time, I heard the sound of space being torn behind me. Realizing that a powerful enemy appeared outside the barrier, I quickly alerted the other clone. In the next moment, two black arms tore through the void, and a tall figure walked out slowly. He stared at me with his lone eye. Is it you, trash? Who dared to move the young master of Mordor? Hearing someone calling his name, hope ignited in Mordor's heart once again. It turned out to be Elder Di Jiang, who possesses the strength of a domain lord. I can live again. And in front of me, he loudly pleaded for help from Di Jiang, looking at the two identical versions of me. Di Jiang sneered, why is there another annoying bug? But it doesn't matter. In the face of the demon army that appeared before me, I smirked. This is a blessing in disguise. It seems I can accumulate a large amount of domain value again. However, what surprised me was that Mordor was still a big fish, able to make a domain lord personally come to his rescue. Without waiting for Di Jiang to make a move, his subordinates behind him were eager to get started. Lord Di Jiang, there's no need for you to deal with these two wastes. Such lowly creatures are better left for us to handle. Their souls will be offered to you, lord. Seeing his subordinates so eager, Di Jiang burst into laughter. Then go and tear them apart for me. Make them regret setting foot in this world. My two clones grinned, hands clasped together, and then unleashed the mighty dragon roar of the twin heavens. The divine power of the true dragon quickly tore through the small fry who threatened to chop us up and feed us to the dogs. One delightful notification after another resounded. Congratulations, host, for killing the immortal venerable. You are rewarded with 150 million domain value, two domain fragments, and five salted fish treasure chests. Mordor, who had just been fantasizing about escaping, was frightened to the core. What kind of monsters did I provoke? One move to kill several immortal venerables and immortal emperors. Can I really make it back alive? With that in mind, Mordor made a run for it directly, muttering curses as he fled. This artifact is an idiot. Dealing with one is already enough. Now there are two of them. At this rate, after Di Jiang is dealt with, the next one will be him. Even Di Jiang, at this moment, was completely shocked by the scene before him. I've lived for so many years and have never seen such a person. The key is, what the fuck? Is he a cultivator from the mortal realm? Watching us in the battlefield, like gods of slaughter, Di Jiang deeply regretted his actions. The elite forces he cultivated for thousands of years are all finished now. That's an existence that can easily conquer any domain in the mortal realm. Realizing the severity of the situation, Di Jiang immediately turned around. It's impossible for me alone to defeat these two lunatics. This matter must be reported to the commander. I was also surprised to see that the duck that was about to reach my mouth wanted to run away. Is this it? I still have many important things to ask. With that in mind, I greeted the other clone. I'll go deal with this big fat sheep first. Just as Di Jiang was about to escape from this troublesome place, he suddenly froze. Looking at the extra arm on his shoulder, his body began to tremble uncontrollably. What the hell is this thing? How did it happen so quickly? Meanwhile, I was smiling and staring at the fool in front of me. Why are you running? Weren't you arrogant just now? Give it another try if you dare. Seeing that the situation was irreparable, Di Jiang had no choice but to fight head on. Although he couldn't handle both of us, dealing with one was more than enough. 
he immediately unleashed his renowned skill, the palm of 10,000 souls. I couldn't help but worry about this guy's intelligence, just raising my hand in front of me. That giant palm produced a powerful roar when it collided with me. The next moment, the giant palm shattered and fell apart before the immense power. Seeing that his moves were useless, Di Jiang immediately prepared to continue running, and I mercilessly appeared beside him in an instant, raising my leg and blocking his path with a kick. Looking at Di Jiang being kicked to the ground by me, I chuckled. Why the hell do you love running so much? Are all members of the Heavenly Demon Clan like you, worthless? At the same time, I raised my hand and a golden light shot out. I want to see if you can still run after being pierced through by it. Di Jiang felt the intense pain in his abdomen and let out a painful scream. I shouldn't have opened my mouth too much and gone out on this trip. The other clones saw that I was showing off and became interested. Why is the Heavenly Demon of the Domain Lord Realm so weak? And also, your one young finger was different from before. Why is its power so impressive? What's going on here? Upon hearing his confusion, I also looked at my own finger. Instead of saying that the power has become stronger, it's more like I felt a double critical strike. While I was pondering, I felt a warmth in my chest. The artifact unexpectedly flew out of my embrace on its own. As it flew out, it transformed into a humanoid form in front of me. Soon, a naked woman appeared in front of my face. And she even referred to me as a young hero. Seeing the green figure in front of me, I had a bold guess. Could it be that you are the weapon spirit? It is said that the weapon spirit is the guardian spirit hidden within a magical weapon. It is said that this type of weapon spirit is rare and hard to come by. The next moment, the weapon spirit transformed by the artifact dove into my embrace. She shouted and begged me for help. Seeing this scene, Bayou immediately rushed over, shouting for me to stay away from this weapon spirit. If she gets close to you, she'll take you away. Obviously, Bayou's words were too late. The next moment, just as Bayou said, I was taken away by the weapon spirit. Looking at the empty ground, Bayou's heart turned cold. Elder, not only that, both the other clone and the other Bayou disappeared without a trace. And in my drowsiness, it seemed like I heard a gentle voice, repeating a name over and over again, Lang Jun. Upon hearing the call, I slowly opened my eyes, only to be greeted by an unfamiliar place I had never seen before. Could this be the immortal realm? While I was contemplating, a jade hand suddenly poked my cheek. Lang Jun, you were the one who said you wanted to have a passionate night with me, but how come you fell asleep as soon as we got in bed? Looking at the green-haired figure appearing in front of me, I was almost frightened. What the hell? Who is this? Could it be that damn weapon spirit playing tricks on me? That person actively invited me to have a passionate night. Chang Shi looked at my shy appearance, thinking that I was playing a teasing game. She extended her index finger and lightly tapped my lips. I had no words for such a freebie move. Just as I was about to lose control, my inner voice shouted, System, come out quickly. The system heard my call and promptly responded in my ear. Host, don't be afraid. I've been by your side all along. You can rest assured and enjoy. Congratulations, host, on soon bidding farewell to your virgin status. Upon hearing the system's response, I felt somewhat relieved. But what's the situation now? Why am I in such a strange place? Before I could continue asking, Chang Shi's jade hand struck again, simultaneously pressing me down. Lang Jun, why aren't you answering me? While speaking, she sat up once more, and asked if I wanted to try some new and exciting positions, while generously informing me, that she would accompany me in exploring any level of difficulty. Then, Chang Shi directly slid her hand from my chest downwards. Let's continue what we didn't finish earlier. Facing this audacious woman in front of me, I forcefully pulled her arm to the side. I think we've been too hasty with this matter. How about we find another time to meet? Upon hearing my response, Chang Shi actually covered her cheeks and laughed. Then she asked me if I really didn't understand or if I was pretending, while reaching out and grabbing my neck, pressing me against the edge of the bed. In a cold tone, she interrogated, why do I keep saying this sentence, daring to use the same excuse three times in a row to stand her up? Are you playing games with me? Hearing this, I felt despair in my heart. What three times? I clearly only said it once. I don't have that memory at all. And this woman changes her attitude too quickly. Just when I was at a loss, a voice interrupted. Stop. The time in the entire room eerily came to a halt at that moment. Sensing the change in space, I was slightly stunned. Time froze. At this moment, a person dressed in vibrant green suddenly walked out from behind me. So, it was you. The weapon spirit showed no surprise. Instead expressing appreciation. You truly deserve it. Her abilities are actually ineffective against me. Before I could say anything, the system suddenly appeared and fiercely exclaimed. How dare a measly weapon spirit show off in front of us? Such inferior methods are nothing in my presence. Finishing the statement, the system couldn't help but add that it was the true expert in this regard. Before the system could finish speaking, 
I kicked it abruptly, it can't even tell who the boss is, yet it dares to show off here. Seeing me remain silent, the weapon spirit trembled and apologized to me. Time is limited, she quickly explained the situation to me. The weapon spirit then began to narrate. Millions of years ago, the heavenly demon and the heavenly god were still in a period of uncertain rupture in their contract. And the place we are currently in, is the southeastern country of the ancient continent, Swayming Country. It is the homeland of the weapon spirit and its master, as well as the first kingdom destroyed during the great ancient war that erupted three days later. And my actions here will have an impact on the future development, which is also the third ability of the weapon spirit, time and space traversal. The reason I can appear here, is because the weapon spirit helped me possess a male pet related to its master, allowing him to exist in this dimension. As the words were spoken, a golden energy instantly surged into my mind. Soon, I realized that these were the memories of the original host's body. The original host's name is Chinchanan, just like mine, and he also had the same frustration of being unable to cultivate immortality. However, because of possessing a handsome appearance, he became an unscrupulous scoundrel. It was for this reason, that when he encountered the master of the weapon spirit, they fell in love at first sight. They subsequently embarked on the great mission of procreation. However, every time they were intimate, former admirers would come and cause trouble, and the original host would always find an excuse to escape. Just now was their third date with the master of the weapon spirit. With these thoughts, I finally understood everything. No wonder that woman was so angry. It turns out she had been stood up twice. Thinking of this, I summoned the system once again. Upon hearing my summons, the system became extremely dissatisfied, saying that I only remember it at times like this, but it still informed me that the negative effects of traditional possession would not affect the host, and I could freely use the power of the domain lord. Upon hearing the system's explanation, I unusually praised it for doing a good job. Upon hearing my praise, the system became nervous, saying it was the first time it had heard me praise it after being together for so long. Seeing me sighing, Weapon Spirit, who was standing by, quickly asked, if it was because she interrupted our intimacy, she assured me that there was no need to worry, as after the time pause ends, we can continue with the unfinished matters. I was almost choked by Weapon Spirit's words, warning her not to mistake me for someone with such lustful intentions. In the next moment, Weapon Spirit told me that if I refused, there would be other handsome men lining up for its master. Hearing this, I was stunned. I didn't realize this woman was someone who enjoys toying with men. I exclaimed that I'm a simple person and one wife is enough for me. Unable to hold back, Weapon Spirit sighed, saying that her master has a total of 232 male pets, and I am the 233rd. Her master intended to have a fair share of love, but happened to be fond of me exclusively. Upon hearing Weapon Spirit's words, I silently criticized, wondering if she brought me here just to chat about these things. Just then, Weapon Spirit spoke slowly, revealing that her master will die again in three days. Her own existence is to protect her master, and all her abilities are designed to preserve her master's life. However, she failed to protect her properly, and no matter what she does, the ultimate outcome is watching her master die before her eyes, time and time again. As Weapon Spirit reached this point, tears filled her eyes, and she earnestly begged me to save her master. As an exchange, she promised to serve me as her master in the future, to be my servant and do my bidding. I didn't directly answer Weapon Spirit's plea. First, she is a Weapon Spirit, and saving her master wouldn't make her mine. Second, she is the guardian of time, and she belongs to her master. In other words, she could easily send me back once she achieves her goals. Weapon Spirit suddenly erupted, declaring that she wouldn't gamble with her only chance. I smiled slightly at this emotional and loyal Weapon Spirit. Though I don't know if what you're saying is true or not, I have accepted your request. Weapon Spirit seemed surprised by my response, and tears uncontrollably welled up in the corners of her eyes. What she didn't know was that just now the system received a new mission, which is to help the goddess Chang she overcome her fate's ordeal. Completing the mission will reward 500 million domain value, and two permanent time roll cards. Facing such mission rewards, even I would find it difficult to refuse. Weapon Spirit, however, mistook all of this for my generosity, and told me that I only have three days. And now that three days have passed, another three days will pass in the future. After saying this, Weapon Spirit left with the words, the assessment begins, then she disappeared before my eyes. In the instant when time resumed its flow, I grabbed Chang Shi's arm with both hands, and, contrary to my usual behavior, rushed towards her. How could I bear to deceive you? I haven't even had a chance to cherish you. Chang Shi was astonished by my reaction, unable to believe what had happened in that brief moment, but I didn't give her a chance to ponder, and continued to increase my output. I just thought I wasn't in a good state earlier, and couldn't give you the best experience. Upon hearing my sincere confession, Chang Shi forgave me, and prepared to reward me with the greatest pleasure. After saying that, 
She leaned in towards me, inviting me to go home and meet her parents, promising to treat me well in the future. In my heart, I silently apologized to Jiang Xian Chu. Seeing that I remained silent, Chang Shi spoke again. There's no time to waste. Let's go now. Before Chang Shi could finish speaking, a huge explosion suddenly occurred above the roof. A white-haired woman wielding a sword shouted that she would kill Chang Shi. Faced with the white-haired woman, Chang Shi, instead of getting angry at the interruption, adopted a surrendering posture, signaling her junior sister not to be so furious. Little did she know that the white-haired woman possessed immense combat power, and cursed Chang Shi for stealing her servant. Seeing this person, my heart tightened. Isn't she the woman from the Heavenly Demon Clan? I never expected that she and Chang Shi were fellow disciples tens of millions of years ago. But in the next moment, Han Shi grabbed my collar. You! You confessed to me and then slept with another woman. This sudden turn of events left my brain struggling to process. Before I could react, Han Shi forcefully dragged me into the void. Meanwhile, Chang Shi remained in place, watching her junior sister's departing figure with a faint smile. It's not a good habit for my junior sister to be fixated on what's mine. She murmured, leaving Chang Shi's chamber. Han Shi brought me to the territory of the demon realm. Seeing Han Shi remain silent, I hurriedly spoke. Give me a chance to explain. I never expected that I would encounter a love triangle after crossing over. Han Shi's face no longer had the impulsive look of a young girl. Instead, she looked at me with seriousness. Stop pretending. This is the territory of the heavenly demon clan. Chang Shi couldn't catch up. Now, explain to me, why you didn't complete the task I gave you. I originally thought I was just an ordinary male lead by Chang Shi's side, but it turns out I was actually a spy sent by Han Shi to be by Chang Shi's side. Later, I discovered in the original host's memories, that the witch Han Shi had taken the original host as a servant a long time ago. This operation was intended to steal an artifact. The original plan was to steal it while Chang Shi was in a trance, but my possession of the body interrupted the original host's performance, resulting in the failure of the plan. Han Shi, however, was completely unaware of my intentions. Could it be that not only did I fail to obtain the artifact, but I am also preparing to play for real? Seeing the murderous look in Han Shi's eyes, I quickly waved my hands, denying it. Everything went according to my plan, but Han Shi sensed something was wrong in my words. You are different from before. You spent some time with Chang Shi, and even though you didn't take anything, you learned to act innocent. Sensing Han Shi's change, I transformed my hands into claws and grabbed towards Han Shi. Until I gather enough information, I must try to keep the situation as it is. I must take down this woman. And then, I directly reached out into the vast universe. In that moment, it felt like I had grown a lot, and gained many secrets about the universe. My nose started to bleed, and I pressed my face directly against Han Shi's. I must act like the original host, never making such a low-level mistake again. Under my rubbing, Han Shi's mouth corners began to tremble slightly. Her cheeks turned red. Pervert, you're dead now. And this is our extremely ordinary way of interacting, Han Shi and I. In order to completely dispel Han Shi's vigilance, I reached out towards her waist with one hand. I'm willing to brave the tiger's den for you, Han Shi due to my cheesy actions, became flustered like a startled deer. She quickly asked me to let go, saying there's something important to attend to, but I had no intention of letting go in the slightest. Instead, I had a face full of enjoyment. This is not about being lewd, but replicating the way the original host interacted with Han Shi. Let me bear the consequences of all this. The system, upon hearing this, looked at me with disdain. I asked you to imitate, not to surpass. Pa. After a sweet moment, Han Shi brought me to the streets of Sui Ming Country. When the demons on the street saw Han Shi, they all showed expressions of contempt. This woman has the audacity to come back. Not only did she mingle in the divine realm, but she also mixed with lowly humans. Disgusting. Suddenly, a stone was thrown towards Han Shi. Ugly woman. But Han Shi didn't care at all and continued walking forward. It seemed she was accustomed to this kind of situation. The child who threw the stone at Han Shi continued to curse at her. However, this action was reprimanded by a woman next to him. Why did you provoke her? Bad luck. On the other hand, Han Shi remained unfazed. It seems she's not doing well in the demon realm either. Sensing my gaze, Han Shi became angry. Are your eyes asking for trouble? Before long, I followed Han Shi to a tent guarded by soldiers. Han Shi turned her head and told me to wait here for her return. Don't cause trouble, or even she won't be able to protect me. I heard her words of concern and quickly waved my hand to show that I understood continuously sending flirtatious glances his way. Just as Han Shi turned around, I immediately put on a smile of a good man, turned around, and ran towards the depths of the demon clan. Since I've come this far, there's no way I'll wait obediently. The information provided by the artifact is just too limited. Now I only know that, this is the ancient continent from millions of years ago. A great war will break out in three days, and I must save that girl during the war. In order to obtain the artifact and become its master, 
After groping around for a while, I arrived at a place filled with fire and heat. A demon with a horse-like face was frantically pounding his weapon, while other demons were engaged in pairs, practicing and sparring. It seems the demon clan has prepared for war, training their soldiers and horses, and my mission is simply to keep her alive. Although this task is relatively easy, I still don't understand how this continent operates, the strength of the heavenly demon generals, and what I can achieve here. Just as I was contemplating, two demons suddenly noticed my presence. Isn't this the little pet raised by Han Shi? Without a word, they launched an attack against me. Their reason for attacking me was that I took their leader, Black Evil's woman, before the little devil could continue attacking me. A tall and burly guy stepped forward and spoke slowly. Even if we kill this kid directly, that little brat Han Shi wouldn't dare to say a word. Facing the extremely ugly guy in front of me, my expression turned cold, and I leisurely replied with one word. Oh. Meanwhile, Han Shi was also in a difficult situation. Due to not completing her mission, she received a harsh slap from a seemingly malnourished palm. The owner of the palm was their clan leader, Aruko. At this moment, he was angrily questioning Han Shi. Do you know how important that artifact is to our plans? Since you didn't bring back the artifact, why did you come back? Then he turned around and walked towards his position as clan leader. You're someone who is more likely to cause trouble than accomplish anything. Upon hearing the clan leader's reprimand, Han Shi did not retort. Instead, she humbly pleaded with the clan leader. If, after I die, I can have a memorial tablet in the clan. A red-haired elder on the side, said to Han Shi with a sigh of frustration. You are the son of the deceased hero. Although the clan has prejudice against you, they also hold great hope for you. But you, sigh. The three-eyed elder beside him had a fierce expression. Now the immortal clan is suppressing us everywhere. If it weren't for our defeat by the heavenly god clan thousands of years ago, how could we end up like this? The clan leader in the center questioned Han Shi again. I've said it before, that human you raised can't help me. He has no cultivation and is foolish. He should have been stewed in a pot long ago. Han Shi didn't go along with the clan leader's intentions, but instead took full responsibility for this operation and hoped that the clan leader would spare my life. Upon hearing Han Shi's words, the clan leader directly threw the cane symbolizing power in his hand at Han Shi and berated her as an obstinate person. My heavenly demon clan has always been clear about rewards and punishments. If I don't teach you a lesson today, it seems it won't work. Seeing the clan leader so angry, the red-haired elder made a suggestion. There is a young man in the clan named Black Evil who recently broke through to the Demon King realm. It happens that he needs a strong clan member to help him consolidate his vitality. Let's assign this girl to him. Upon hearing the words of the red-haired elder, everyone involuntarily revealed a meaningful smile. But to Han Shi, it was like a bolt from the blue. She never expected to be treated as a plaything and given to someone else as a reward. Just then, a little demon shouted. Something bad happened, and he revealed the news of Black Evil's sudden death. In the corner of the martial arena, the body of Lord Black Evil was found, and his followers, Big Black and Second Black, also met a tragic end. No one saw what happened. Upon hearing this news, the clan leader completely exploded, shouting with wide eyes, investigate this matter for me. At the same time, he ordered the two elders beside him to strengthen the guards. Not even a fly should be allowed to escape. Everyone should be on high alert. We must find the killer. Meanwhile, Han Shi quietly left while the leader was speaking, and she quickly walked towards the direction where I was just thrown down, worried that this foolish idiot me would be involved. After dealing with the guy who tried to steal my woman, I returned to the previous location early, and warmly greeted Han Shi, who had hurriedly arrived. Seeing me still lively and energetic, Han Shi's anxious heart finally calmed down, and she immediately grabbed my wrist, ready to leave this troublesome place. Seeing her urgency, I asked her where we were going. While running quickly, Han Shi told me that we had to return to Sui Ming country. After all, the mission wasn't completed yet. Inside Sui Ming country, the people all looked in the same direction at the same time, because Sui Ming country is located at the boundary between the immortal and demon realms. Sui Ming country, originally known as Sui Ming Canyon, is the meeting point of the immortal and demon realms. In the previous immortal demon war, when the demon clan was about to invade the immortal realm, the heavenly god and ancient savage beasts forcibly suppressed them, sealing the ancient demon lord and tens of thousands of demons here. After the war, the surviving humans and the exiled immortal clan established a nation here. However, the demonic energy seeping out from the abyss constantly eroded the seal, and the demon lord never gave up on breaking it. As the Spring Maiden, the purification ritual has gradually increased from once every few months to once daily. Therefore, the surviving residents couldn't help but sigh sincerely. In the realm between the immortal and demon realms, if it weren't for the goddess purifying the demonic energy day and night, I dare not imagine the kind of life we would be living now. Chang Shi, the only one who can balance the demon lord, muttered to himself, with my divine power, 
I cleanse the land in all directions, eradicate all demonic calamities and evils. Looking at Changxi's sacred appearance, the residents of Sui Ming country couldn't help but pray at this moment. Spring Maiden, bless the world, dispel the evil spirits, and bring forth the spring sunshine. Hearing the prayers coming from below, Changxi, as the person involved, couldn't help but feel exasperated. These people are really annoying, she shouted to the guards behind her. Evacuate the people. I've already said that the front square should be cleared every time the demonic energy is purified. No gathering of the people is allowed. After doing all this, Changxi's expression became serious. Today, the demonic energy doesn't feel right. I hope nothing bad happens. Listening to Changxi's muttering, the grumbling old man, who was given the order, complained while picking his nose. This spring maiden is too sensitive. It's not like the demon lord is charging in. Every day, it's troublesome to deal with. A major purification every 10 days. A minor purification every 3 days. Why so many tasks? If the people enjoy watching, just let them. At this moment, a burst of violent demonic energy suddenly erupted behind him. Then, with a worried expression, he looked back. Could something really be wrong? In that instant of demonic energy eruption, cracks spread outward from the palace. The people on the square became chaotic due to extreme fear. It was at this time, that a little girl accidentally fell into one of the cracks. But none of the other people noticed what happened here. Only the girl's helpless mother shouted loudly towards the depths of the crack. Faced with this situation, Chang Shi shouted for everyone not to panic, and she called upon the immortals from Sui Ming country to assist her. As long as she held on for 15 minutes, she could seal it. However, the immortals behind Chang Shi lazily sat on the ground, motionless, and informed Chang Shi that they had exhausted all their energy in resisting the demonic energy. They requested the Spring Maiden to enter the formation and repair the seal first. Hearing the words of the immortals, Chang Shi was filled with astonishment, because those immortals clearly had abundant power. Feeling disheartened, Chang Shi didn't expose them, and asked them to protect the people instead. Alone, she walked into the endless abyss. After seeing the Spring Maiden leave, those people showed expressions of disdain on their faces. In their view, Chang Shi alone could handle such trivial matters. There was no need to trouble them. They even discussed whether or not to go to a restaurant to relax later. After all, all the troublesome matters could easily be handled by the Spring Maiden. Only she could seal the Demon Lord. Inside the abyss, the Demon Lord once again greeted Chang Shi enthusiastically. We meet again, little girl from the Heavenly God Clan. It has been a shorter time since you set foot here last. The next time will be the day of my rebirth. Speaking of this, the Demon Lord bursts into mad laughter. Chang Shi shows no fear and stares at the Demon Lord, calmly speaking. As long as I'm here, I will never allow you to go out and harm the moral realm again. At this moment, the Demon Lord laughs even more recklessly. He boldly states that Chang Shi is merely a puppet sent by the Heavenly God Clan. In just three days, he will surely return to his former glory above the Nine Heavens. By then, there will be no one in this world who can stop me. And then you will understand, that everything you can save is nothing more than a whim of mine. Meanwhile, the Demon Lord throws the little girl who had just fallen into the abyss. Without any hesitation, Chang Shi rushes forward upon seeing the girl. Despite knowing that this is a trap set by the Demon Lord, she resolutely throws herself at the girl. As expected, the moment Chang Shi lunges towards the girl, a pitch black demonic energy pierces through her body. But the attack is far from over. Multiple black haired tentacles appear in the air, penetrating Chang Shi's body simultaneously. Seeing Chang Shi's miserable state, the Demon Lord can't help but laugh heartily. How many times have I killed you, just to save these insignificant ants? But you're reaching your limit. Aren't you? Hearing this mockery, Chang Shi grits her teeth in pain and lifts her head. As long as I'm alive, you can't kill a single person, and you can't step out of here. Then, the power representing the breath of life bursts out from within Chang Shi. With the support of her artifact and her own abilities, that green light continuously surges into the pillar sealing the Demon Lord. Seeing the seal strengthened once again, the Demon Lord shows no anger and bursts into mad laughter. No one can stop me. The war is about to begin. I'm truly looking forward to it. Outside the seal, because Chang Shi once again seals the Demon Lord, the surging demonic energy slowly dissipates under Chang Shi's power. Feeling the rich vitality, the people once again become excited, chanting continuously that the goddess saved us. And the little girl who was just engulfed by the abyss returns to her mother's side. With a dull expression, she stares at her mother. The goddess is dead, but her words are rebuked by her mother. The goddess cannot die, and the artifact has officially activated. Pure life energy flows, repairing Chang Shi's body. After sealing the demon lord once again, the ruler of Sui Ming country happily claps his thigh. In Sui Ming country, having a goddess is a great fortune in three lifetimes. 
The people are fortunate. One by one, the courtiers show flattering expressions and echo his sentiments. As long as we have the goddess, ancient demons are nothing to fear. Instead of echoing the ruler like others, Chang Shi solemnly informs him that the heavenly demon is formidable, and this success is thanks to the collective efforts of the immortal clans. Once he attacks the seal again in three days, Sui Ming country will face a great disaster. However, K Tua thinks the goddess is joking. With you and the abundant immortal power of our Sui Ming country, are we afraid of dealing with the remains of that old thing? Chang Shi tactfully reminds the ruler to prepare early. Upon hearing this, K Tuo's face darkens. Our Sui Ming country is caught between the immortal and demon realms. Our entire nation's military power guards the sealed temple. There is heavenly demon harassment in front and assignment from the fairy world behind. We work tirelessly for the benefit of the immortal realm but gain no benefits ourselves. Then, with a wave of his hand, he declares to the ministers below, I, representing the immortal realm, am willing to completely eliminate the heavenly demon spies around Sui Ming country. Even if that old thing breaks through the barrier, it will be isolated and without support. At that time, we will directly capture the demon lord. Interrupting the ruler's dangerous statement, Chang Shi speaks sternly. I hope the ruler will think twice. The conflict between immortals and demons is no child's play and should not be taken lightly, especially not something the ruler can participate in. After speaking, she stands up and takes her leave directly. As Chang Shi departs, the ruler's previously passionate demeanor disappears without a trace. He gazes at Chang Shi's retreating figure with a dark expression, a contemptuous remark escaping his lips. Such a woman only focuses on her immediate surroundings, lacking broader vision. Not long after, a carriage arrived in front of Chang Shi's mansion. At this moment, a sharp voice also rang out, for the goddess has merit in purifying the demonic energy. The ruler rewarded ten pieces of celestial brocade, a bag of spirit pills, and a peerless hand a man. As soon as those words fell, a young man with black hair confidently walked towards the mansion. Chang Shi saw the man in front of her without any reaction. She ordered the maid to escort him into the room as usual. The man with black hair looked proud. It is said that goddess likes handsome men, and I am the unparalleled beauty that appears once every four thousand years. As long as I conquer goddess, I will have the highest status under the ruler. The man then asked the woman with purple hair in front of him whether he should bathe first or go directly to serve her. Little did he know, the woman's face showed disgust as she threw him into a room, informing him that his number is 234, and this will be his residence from now on. He should get along well with everyone. Seeing the man in front of them without any surprise, the others politely said, here comes another unlucky person. Welcome. Facing a great gap, the man with black hair angrily accused the woman who brought him. I came to serve goddess. What do you mean? Mockingly, the woman with purple hair said he's just a bunch of rotten vegetables, and does he deserve goddess favor with his appearance? However, the man with black hair stubbornly and frantically banged on the door, insisting that goddess should at least see his beauty. I don't believe there's a woman in this world who is not interested in men. Upon hearing his request, the woman with purple hair revealed a faint smile. I advise you to give up your illusions and face reality early on. People like you can't even compare to half of Chinchanan's little finger. It was precisely at this moment that I, with a lecherous expression, was fondling Han Chi's softness while continuously spouting the cheesy love lines I had just made up. I completely failed to notice that I had already entered Chang Shi's room, and this scene happened to be witnessed by Chang Shi. Seeing my joyful appearance, Chang Shi said in a sarcastic tone, Have you become so audacious that you open the heavenly demon teleportation array to the goddess shrine? Junior sister, even in the face of such an embarrassing situation, I still had no intention of letting go, continuously savoring this moment. Han Shi, infuriated by my shameless behavior, blushed. Blame it on this guy's flattery and wandering hands, which caused me to mistakenly activate the teleportation to the wrong location. In order to carry out the plan of seizing the artifact, Han Shi threw me into Chang Shi's embrace. You, a freeloader, still love this foolish woman, Chang Shi? I don't want you anymore. Get lost. At the same time, she put on a look of disdain and said to Chang Shi, I don't care about a woman who has someone else in her heart. I consider our past accounts settled, while thinking to myself, I didn't expect this girl to act quite well. After saying all this, Han Shi turned around and headed towards the teleportation gate. Using our secret language from before, she reminded me, don't forget the mission. I understood Han Shi's meaning in an instant and quietly pursed my lips to indicate that it's no problem. I'll come back and conquer you once I achieve success and fame. Chang Shi looked at me, lost in her embrace, and sneered. The two of them exchanged glances right under my nose. Did they really think I couldn't see? It's all just for the sake of this artifact on my body. Han Shi, you really are ruthless. Your poor acting skills haven't improved since childhood. You can't fool anyone at all. With that in mind, Chang Shi turned around and left without looking back. 
Feeling the sudden disappearance of the softness on my face, I hurriedly caught up. My dear, you have to believe me. The truth is actually like this. Chang Shi coldly snorted. If you want to explain, do it while washing. Hearing those sensitive words, I immediately became interested, lecherously staring at Chang Shi's enchanting figure. Is it really what I imagined? When I followed Chang Shi to the hall of baths, the maids standing outside started gossiping. It's the first time goddess has brought a man for bathing. Looks like someone will be serving her tonight. Meanwhile, I had a wicked smile as I stared at the beautiful body in front of me. Goddess carriage speed is still unfathomable. Now, I'm only left with one question that troubles me. Can I scrub both the front and back? Seeing that I remained motionless for a long time, Chang Shi turned her head shyly and looked at me. Can you handle it? In the face of Chang Shi's mockery, I warned her not to play with fire. I can be very fierce. Then, my nosebleed surged. I picked up a towel and charged forward. How dare you question me? I'll show you what it means to have divine skills. As I said that, I grabbed Chang Shi's arm. And immediately, a panicked voice from Chang Shi could be heard. What is this white thing? Ignoring Chang Shi's exclamation, I swung the towel all the way down to her feet. Using milk as a medium, the process of scrubbing with milk can moisturize the skin, making the complexion of the goddess even fairer. However, these words, which should have sounded romantic, reached the ears of the maids outside the door and turned into blush-inducing love words. Even they, as outsiders, couldn't help but feel restless. When Chang Shi saw me being so skilled, she asked with a hint of jealousy, Have you served many ladies before? I replied, I've only served you. As an honest person like me, where would I get so much experience? Speaking of which, the figure of Jiang Xianchu once again appeared in my mind. I have only taken a bath with one person in my entire life. She was the most beautiful girl I have ever seen. Unfortunately, I was busy at the time and still wearing clothes. After hearing this, Chang Shi blushed. She must think I'm talking about the time we bathed together before, but now I'm beating around the bush, being smooth-tongued. Seeing that Chang Shi didn't believe me, I laughed awkwardly. This is actually true. After I finish everything, I will marry her, and enjoy the bliss of a harmonious family. However, Chang Shi thought I was proposing to her, and started imagining countless scenes in her mind. But when she saw my serious expression, her heart softened, and she shyly turned her head to steal a glance at me. Unfortunately, he am only immortal. Could I also have the happiness of an ordinary person? And my massage reached its final step, where I firmly pressed my hands onto her Yongkwan acupoints, feeling the power surging through her. Chang Shi couldn't help but twitch the corners of her mouth. Seeing her turning away, I couldn't help but worry. Did I use too much force and scare her? Then I apologized to her. I didn't know if you could handle it. Next time, I'll be more gentle. Little did I know that Chang Shi had already secretly given her heart to me. This man, how does he know such pleasurable techniques? With this in mind, Chang Shi couldn't help but look at me. I understand your intentions. It's too early to talk about marriage. The seal on the demon lord's formation has begun to weaken. In three days, the demon lord will reappear in the mortal realm. You must leave here as soon as possible. While I can still protect you, I'll send you to a safe place before the disaster strikes. Upon hearing this, I calmly replied, It doesn't matter. I will take action. Chang Shi loudly admonished me. You have no idea what you'll be facing next. There is no emotional fluctuation in my eyes. I responded to her with an indifferent expression. No matter what happens, I will never leave you alone. With me by your side, no one can harm you. The scene fell into a strange silence in that instant. Chang Shi gave an awkward yet polite smile. This guy has no idea what he's facing. He's just bragging here. But then again, if it were someone else, they would have been scared to death. After the conversation ended, Chang Shi brought me to her chamber, and while I took off my pants, she fell asleep right beside me. It seems she had accumulated too much stress and fatigue, and she quickly dozed off after I helped her relax a bit. But this is also the perfect time for me, and under the disguise of the system, I regained my true glory. I twisted my head and muttered to myself, So, you're the ancient heavenly demon, huh? I'd like to see what you're made of. After leaving Chang Shi's residence, I transformed into a stream of light and flew towards the dilapidated temple. However, as soon as I arrived at the entrance of the main hall, I heard a shrill laughter coming from inside. Such pure healing power can only belong to goddess. One of the lackeys reminded the others, don't focus on one spot and wear it out. If the seal breaks, what will we do? The lackey replied disdainfully, let it break. Don't we still have goddess? Just let her come and fix it. Where will she get new divine power if she doesn't seal it? How can our lord strengthen the country's influence? Or cultivate an undying legion? The nearby lackey agreed and burst into laughter. That woman, rather than being a goddess, is no different from a cow. She's foolishly sealing it. 
giving us a free benefit, watching their despicable and arrogant behavior, I couldn't help but feel that this kind of arrogance and baseness has existed since ancient times. Thinking of Chang Shi's forlorn appearance in the past, she was truly working hard for the entire immortal realm. But now, she has fallen prey to these parasites, and my gaze grew colder and colder. For those who carry the firewood, one should not let them freeze to death in the frost and snow. Immediately, I no longer concealed my presence, and strode boldly towards them. The lackeys, upon seeing me, mistakenly believed I was a powerless mortal, while warning me, a mere mortal, daring to enter the temple, do you wanna die? Seeing their contemptuous faces, I remained emotionally unaffected, just a bunch of ants, so much nonsense, die. At the same moment, inextinguishable divine flames ignited all around them, and piercing screams filled the air. It seems I'm becoming more and more like a true villain. The long absent system prompt finally resounded once again. Congratulations, host, for slaying the peak immortal commander. Reward, 7 million domain value and a salted fish treasure chest. Then, I picked up the staves they dropped on the ground. It seems the purpose of this thing is to transfer divine power elsewhere. In just this short time, who knows how much power it has extracted. And it was at that moment the seal suddenly shattered. Startled, Chang Shi, who was sound asleep, instantly opened her eyes her expression filled with fear towards the demon lord. In the blink of an eye, surging demonic energy broke through the seal and erupted from behind me. Immediately, a massive demonic shadow engulfed the entire Sui Ming country. Heavenly demon has been resurrected. At this moment, Chang Shi also rushed outside. How could the seal break prematurely after so many years? There were still two days left. Even Han Shi, thousands of miles away, felt the presence of the demon lord. How could this happen so quickly? Could it be that the kid really stole the artifact? And the origin of all this sin, upon witnessing this scene, couldn't help but collapse. The demon lord has actually appeared. This is impossible. Protect the king. Protect the king. I'm going to seek assistance from the immortal realm. The demonic realm is also in chaos. The thunderous shouts echoed as the entire army rallied, preparing to welcome our king. Within the seal, the laughter of the demon lord grew even more manic. I have said that no one in this world can imprison me anymore. I shall return to the mortal realm, to let terror once again shroud the entire land. The demon lord, freed from his restraints, releases the accumulated resentment of millions of years into the surroundings. Then, with a sudden forceful push from his feet, he charges towards the outside world. I am determined to dismember that girl who dared to oppose me, a thousand cuts, a heart pierced by ten thousand arrows. Raise the flag on the pinnacle of this grand hall, to proclaim to the world, ancient continent, your king has returned, but just as the demon lord is about to leave, my large hand presses against his head, emitting an unmatched intent to kill. I glare at the arrogant figure before me. If you want to leave this place, have you asked me? Go back. Seeing my icy gaze, the demon lord's heart also turns cold, devoid of any power to resist. He is struck down into the ground by my palm. As the demon lord stands up again, he no longer exudes the previous arrogance, questioning who I am, secretly wondering why the woman, who is undoubtedly the strongest here, was not my match. Why could this person press me back into the seal with a single palm? I take step by step towards him as I descend from the sky. I'm just a passerby. I fixate my gaze on the insignificant lackey beneath my feet. Though I don't know what this fellow is exactly, one thing is certain. If he were to leave, he would undoubtedly threaten the life of the goddess. Anyone who dares to hinder me from obtaining the artifact shall perish. Just then, the sound of footsteps continuously approaches. I pay no attention to it. Meanwhile, a fiery light gathers in my hand. I don't care who you are or how powerful you may be. The only thing I have to do now, is to exterminate all of you, leaving none behind. As for the reason, I feel that you all are too bothersome, and may potentially obstruct me. After the seal of the demon lord shattered, the demonic energy instantly spread throughout the celestial realm. Even the common folks in the immortal realm realized that this time was different from the past. The demon lord has emerged. Other immortal realms also sensed this demonic energy at the same time, and swiftly gathered all the powerful immortal factions to sway Ming country, to suppress the demon lord. Then, beams of golden light continuously flew from various immortal realms into the sky. Answering the call of that voice, the heavenly lord of radiant brilliance expressed some concerns. This battle is related to the lives of all beings in the world. Everyone must not be careless. But the heavenly lord of lingering brilliance didn't think much of it. Instead, she mocked the so-called demon lord as a relic of a bygone era. What is there to worry about? The heavenly lord of zealous clarity agreed with the words of the heavenly lord of radiant brilliance, once again warning all the immortal factions not to underestimate the demon lord. Otherwise, they wouldn't even know how they died. After all, the demon lord was only sealed with the combined power of the entire immortal realm. Only by working together can we stop him. 
Inside Sway Main Country at this moment, the palace built to seal the demon lord is completely enveloped in demonic energy, continuously corrupting the ordinary people within Sway Main Country, and in the mansion of the goddess, the more than 200 concubines look at the apocalyptic scene helplessly muttering to themselves, nowhere is safe anymore, the self-proclaimed number one handsome man, the narcissist, shouts, now, of course, the safest place is by the side of the goddess, at the same time, he looks maliciously at the goddess's sleeping quarters, that Chinchanan, at this moment, he might be seeking protection in the embrace of the goddess, why is it that only he receives favor, must we endure this suffering, the other concubines immediately stop the narcissist from going alone to find the goddess, and warn him that the danger is outside, so he should stay here for now, the narcissist turns back and scolds, a bunch of useless fools, as long as I have the favor of the goddess, what is there to fear about this little danger, as long as the goddess is present, everything will be resolved, also, at this moment, the immortal soldiers and all the people within Sway Ming country, continuously pray for the goddess to quickly repair the seal, in despair, the goddess answers everyone, the seal formation has completely collapsed now, with my strength alone, I can no longer do it, the immortal factions behind her shout in disbelief, some timid guards have even dropped their weapons, and fled on their own, and that guy nearby is still questioning the goddess, what does it mean to be unable to seal? Are we just going to let the demon lord appear like this? Chang Shi earnestly responds. If we have enough people to assist now, perhaps we can delay for a moment. After hearing this, one guard grabs Chang Shi's shoulder. What does a moment of time mean? Aren't you the goddess? Isn't it your duty to maintain the seal? And now you're thinking of dragging us down with you, letting the people of Sui Ming country be contaminated by the demonic energy like this. What kind of goddess are you? Upon hearing their reproachful words, Chang Shi no longer has the calmness she had before. She shakes off the guard's hand and bursts forth with a surge of energy. Her expression becomes extremely terrifying. You bunch of scum. And at this moment, the emblem on Chang Shi's chest stimulates her mind. With the help of his power, Chang Shi regains herself, and inwardly thinks, that was close. She disappointingly tells the guards to leave on their own, while she stays behind to continue purifying the demonic energy, buying the people of Sui Ming country some time to retreat. Suddenly, the voice of the country's lord comes through, calling out to everyone not to worry, he has already informed the immortal realm, just hold on for a little longer, the reinforcements from the immortal realm will arrive, to suppress the demon lord, Chang Shi loudly asks, suppress, with what power will you suppress, are you planning to use that bit of power you stole from me to suppress, if it weren't for today, I would still be kept in the dark, do you know, how many predecessors lives were sacrificed for the seal, with my protection, there should have been 10,000 years of peace, and now, it has only been 6,512 years. Do you know that once the demon lord breaks free from the final shackles, you, me, and everyone present will die? The lord of Sui Ming brushes his nose casually and asks, why has the goddess tainted others' innocence? Under my plan, the immortal realm has already emptied out and rushed here. It's clearly because you couldn't restrain the temple and failed to foresee the consequences, yet you still try to shift the blame onto me. For this person who distorts right and wrong, Chang Shi feels a murderous intent for the first time. Just as tension mounts between the two sides, a trembling man points towards the seal. Quick, look, there's no more demonic energy surging out. The people around also notice this based on the man's words. Chang Shi's expression becomes conflicted. The seal hasn't closed. Why is there no demonic energy leaking out? The Lord of Sui Ming Country, seeing this scene, bursts into insane laughter. All of this was part of my plan. After thousands of years, the seal has drained his power. It's just you, goddess, making a fuss over nothing. Following the Lord's command, the crowd brings out the thousand-mile prism mirrors that can explore every corner of heaven and earth. Although Chang Shi is greatly puzzled, she still looks into the mirror as instructed. The citizens of Sui Ming Country also stop in their tracks and look up, wanting to see what is happening in the demon abyss. With the continuous influx of immense immortal power, the gigantic mirror suddenly reacts. And within the image, it is clear that I am battling the demon lord. Upon seeing this scene, a tsunami of emotions surges within everyone's hearts. How is it possible for someone to single-handedly fight the demon lord without falling behind? When everyone sees the boundless demons in the scene, their hearts tremble once again. These are the demon king's army, known as the natural enemy of immortals. The citizens, upon witnessing this scene, don't feel grateful. Instead, they think I am ignorant of life and death within the demon abyss. The so-called righteous immortal soldiers show a gloating expression. Although they don't know the extent of this idiot's power, his evasion skills are top-notch. They can take advantage of him and hold on until the arrival of the immortals. Only Chang Shi, upon seeing that familiar figure, can't help but tremble. How could he be in the demon abyss? Within the demon abyss, I swing my arm gently, unleashing terrifying power. 
In an instant, the so-called Demon King's army is decimated by my attacks. Then, I grab the giant stone that once sealed the Demon Lord and throw it at him. Under my assault, the so-called Demon Lord has no room for resistance. The Lord watching the scene shouts with excitement, believing that I am a celestial being sent by the immortal realm. They never expected that someone in this world could stop the Demon Lord. Over 200 male lovers of Chang Shi witnessed this scene and marvel at how extraordinary I am for tangling with the ancient Demon King. The narcissistic man, after witnessing this scene, can't stop praising me. If I could gain his protection and go to the immortal realm with him, then someone like Chen Chanan, in my eyes, would be nothing more than a dog. Chang Shi, still with a terrified expression, stares at the battle in the mirror. Impossible. This man was just a bootlicking pervert not long ago. And at that moment, Chang Shi suddenly remembers what I had said to her. There is no one in this world who can rival me, Chin Chanan. And now, I am enjoying the pleasure of slaughter. After all, the last time I felt this good was in the last time. As the sound of the system domain value being credited continues to ring out, the so-called Demon King's army vanishes from the world. Then, I mockingly look at the fallen Demon King on the ground. Oh, seems like you're the only one left now. Even in the millions of years, even during the last Immortal Demon War, he was never in such a sorry state. This reversal infuriates the Demon King completely, and he bursts into laughter, talking big with a bit of strength. Do you really think you're invincible? Originally, I didn't plan to reveal my power so soon, but then I'll use you as a sacrifice. Instantly, even more terrifying power continuously gushes forth from the Demon Lord's body. My peak strength, even the Lord of your moral realm dares not stand in my way. Those who obstruct me shall die. Then, the Demon Lord's body distorts at this moment. The system's prompts ring incessantly, detecting the presence of a power surpassing the Domain Lord. Host, please be cautious, and I simply watch the Demon Lord below, allowing him to remove his own restrictions. What are you afraid of? Even if the true Demon God returns, he will only be my plaything next. To make the game more interesting, I have no intention of interrupting. I silently wait for the Demon Lord's transformation to complete. Upon seeing that blue light, a trace of amusement curves my lips involuntarily. After the transformation, you still have some style. Ha! Huh? The system's warning sounds continue to ring out at this moment, detecting a new level of power. Detection complete. The opponent's power level is Domain God. After the evolution, the appearance of the Demon Lord undergoes a significant change. The surging blue flames from within his body. Then the Demon Lord, with his crimson eyes, stares at me intently. I admit your strength, but it's still too tender to step forward for that girl. In the next moment, the Demon Lord leaps fiercely. The resulting shockwave causes the earth to crack. Then the Demon Lord appears in front of me and throws a punch, creating cracks in the surrounding space. Although I possess the peak strength of a Domain Lord, under this terrifying pressure, I have no ability to resist and am sent flying. Seeing that I remain indifferent, the system's tone becomes anxious. Opponent's level exceeds the current avatar's level. Do you want to exchange for a higher level avatar? Then calmly, I gather blue energy in my hand, and I ask the system, if this avatar is shattered, will I be sent back to the original timeline? After hearing my question, the system informs me, if you can create an avatar in this realm and time, you can continue to exist in this space. Thinking that I'm muttering to myself because I'm scared by his immense power, the demon lord smirks and says to me, you little brat, is this all you've got? I haven't even exerted my strength yet. I will torture you until you die. Then a tremendous energy explodes in the air. In the blink of an eye, he launches an attack on me countless times. The immortals outside the seal, upon witnessing this scene, each feel despair in their hearts. What is going on here? The monarch's eyes are filled with fear towards the demon lord. Wasn't the demon lord's power weakened by the seal? What's the story behind that appearance? Chang Shi curses. At this point, can't you see the situation clearly? That is his strongest power during his prime. The demon lord was born from the desires of all things. As long as desires exist in the world, he is immortal. His physical body is unbeatable. Even the gods are not confident in directly killing him. They could only seal him for 10,000 years. The seal should have eroded all of his demonic aura over the years. But why does it seem like Chang Shi suddenly realizes something? A dreadful thought emerges in her mind. Could it be that he has been nourishing these demon armies with his own demonic aura to create the illusion of his weakened state? Upon hearing Chang Shi's words, the monarch, instead of reflecting on himself, turns his accusations towards Chang Shi, demanding how she failed to notice such a thing. At the same time, he nervously looks at the scene within the seal. Now that the Demon Lord has recovered to this extent, that immortal cannot possibly be a match for the Demon Lord. After countless battles, I silently sigh. Indeed, the gap in experience and realm is insurmountable. Seeing that I still have no intention of enhancing my avatar, the system continuously reminds me in my ear. The opponent's strength far surpasses the host's. The Demon Lord, 
being entertained by my presence, appears unusually delighted, praising that I am an exceptionally strong fish. What a pity, I'm done playing, prepare to meet your demise. Then, with a forceful push of his feet, he springs towards my direction, preparing to deliver the next blow to eliminate me. I coldly smirk as I watch the charging demon lord. I've always been thinking, mirror images may appear to replicate my form, but each newly created one is always the strongest opponent I've encountered. Due to my keen observation, the system suddenly has a bad premonition, but instead of answering the system's inquiry, I ask it, little system, do you want to create something interesting with me? Demon Lord, seeing that I am still persistent, kindly reminds me, my physical body is the condensation of countless demonic auras. No immortal technique can kill me. Fear it. All emotions will be transformed into my power. I can already sense the countless fears from the outside world longing for me. When the accused monarch sees me being crushed by the Demon Lord, he can't help but shout at Chang Shi. The immortals can no longer suppress the Demon Lord, while there is no obstruction from the demonic aura right now. Is there any way to seal them? Upon hearing this, Chang Shi appears hesitant, even though her mission is to complete the seal and save everyone's lives, allowing the entire immortal realm to survive such a calamity. When she sees me still entangled with the Demon Lord, Chang Shi's heart softens. Chin Chanan is still persisting. How can I abandon him? Once the formation is sealed, he will undoubtedly die. Inside the seal, my gaze becomes serious. The game should come to an end. System, exchange the avatar. Upon hearing my words, the system promptly begins executing the command without hesitation. The avatar is under construction. Meanwhile, the seal outside unexpectedly releases endless demonic aura again, and the cracks on the ground spread at an extremely fast pace. Seeing this, the immortal family's command, Chang Shi, act quickly. Do you want to witness the immortal realm falling into turmoil and the ancient demon lord reappearing in the mortal world? Han Shi, hiding in the shadows, feels delighted. The demon lord's condition seems to be better than expected. I need to convey this information outside as soon as possible. However, Chang Shi will surely be too busy to care about that guy Chen Chang'an. Who knows if that fool will find a safe place to hide. Perhaps I can take advantage of the rampant demonic aura and take him away. Just as Han Shi is preparing to take action, a loud voice resounds. Immortal families, do not panic. Soon after, one by one, the immortal families arrive to provide assistance in a timely manner. Heavenly Lord of Radiant Brilliance announces with an unquestionable tone. For now, we will take temporary control of this place. The hearts of the immortals from the Sui Ming country finally relaxed when they saw the three individuals suspended in the air. They pleaded for the three immortal lords to intervene and save the immortal realm, to slay the demon lord. Heavenly Lord of Radiant Brilliance didn't hesitate for a moment and summoned golden chains that flew towards the seal. His majestic voice resounding through heaven and earth. Soldiers, follow me to suppress the demon lord. However, just at this critical moment, Chang Shi stopped everyone. She pointed out that there was still someone fighting the demon lord inside, and their fate was uncertain. She asked if they could rescue him first, as he had prevented the demon lord from breaking out of the barrier. Heavenly Lord of Radiant Brilliance interrupted Chang Shi, stating that no one in the immortal realm could fight the demon lord alone, and he was likely already reduced to ashes. He dismissed the sacrifice of one person compared to the millions of inhabitants of the immortal realm. He coldly ordered Chang Shi to step aside, accusing her of neglecting her duties and wondering if she wanted to compound her crimes. He remarked that despite being the goddess of spring, she acted with such frivolity when facing matters of great importance. He commanded everyone to follow him and take their positions. By this time, the demon lord had already subdued me and his expression was filled with mockery. He called me a brat wasting time and wondered if I wanted to delay him again to seal him once more. He claimed it was all in vain. Then, he threw me into the endless abyss and flew alone towards the seal. It had been a while since I heard the pleasant wailing of an immortal. Ha ha ha. As I continued to descend, the system finally announced that the avatar had been successfully generated and urged me to enjoy it. Just as the demon lord was about to break free from the seal, a familiar demonic aura appeared in front of him, blocking his path. Then, my voice, as cold as hell, echoed in his ears asking if he thought I would allow him to leave. As he sensed the terrifying aura emanating from me, the demon lord's voice began to tremble. How could it be you? I paid no attention to him. Instead, I raised my hand and controlled the surrounding demonic energy to bind him. A mix of resentment, anger, and fear surged within him, and he shouted at me, Are you insane? If when the formation is complete, you won't be able to leave. If I'm completely sealed, that girl will be useless. Do you understand? As I heard his continuous screams, 
I cast a cold gaze upon the despairing demon lord. Don't measure me with your limited perception, insignificant fish. Outside the great formation, the excited voices of Heavenly Lord of Radiant Brilliance and the other immortals resounded in everyone's hearts. The formation is complete. From now on, the demon lord will be completely sealed, with no one able to break the formation and escape. At the same time, he expressed his gratitude to the people around him. Thanks to all of you for successfully sealing him. It was only possible with the concerted effort of the immortals. The Lord of Sui Ming Country chuckled and attributed the success to Heavenly Lord of Radiant Brilliance. It was all thanks to Heavenly Lord of Radiant Brilliance's contribution. We were merely assisting. Only Chang Shi remained indifferent, hiding on the side her mind echoing with the name of that person. Han Shi also realized the gravity of the situation. If the demon lord was truly sealed, the second group of troops that arrived would face the full force of the immortal army, and it would be disastrous. Just as Han Shi was about to leave to inform the demonic army, she was suddenly intercepted by a dark arm. The person who arrived was Heavenly Lord of Zealous Clarity. He then looked at Han Shi in front of him. Since you're here, don't think about leaving. Chang Shi sensed the danger as soon as she saw Han Shi and whispered to herself. Why is she here at this time? The Immortals won't allow a demon to intrude into the Immortal Realm. At that moment, Heavenly Lord of Radiant Brilliance spoke up, addressing Chang Shi. Chang Shi, the Divine Realm entrusted you with the Divine Artifact to guard the seal of Sui Ming Country. However, now that the seal is broken, and even the Heavenly Demon is present, you know who she is, right? Without waiting for Chang Shi to answer, Heavenly Lord of Radiant Brilliance's hand slid, and a burst of Immortal Power heavily injured Chang Shi, colluding with the Heavenly Demon, what crime should you be held accountable for? The next moment, the entire earth suddenly trembled, and the surrounding pressure increased by dozens of times in an instant. The sealed entrance was forcefully opened by a terrifying energy. The immortal beings, who had just been arrogant moments ago, felt a chill in their hearts when they witnessed this scene. The new seal is broken. What's happening? After seeing their pitiful state, I sneered. Whether it's tens of thousands of years ago or tens of thousands of years later, they're all a bunch of pitiful fools unworthy of pity. Then I coldly questioned, whose crimes are you here to judge? All the people present turned their gaze in my direction. Who possesses such a powerful aura? And as they saw me, their hearts plunged into an icy abyss. They witnessed me emanating a more terrifying demonic energy than the demon lord himself. And beneath my feet stood the feared lord of 10,000 demons. The lord of Sui Ming Country couldn't help but tremble uncontrollably when he saw this surreal scene. This is the heavenly demon, even more terrifying than the demon lord. Seeing the reactions of everyone, I laughed recklessly and said word by word, system, I want to eat fish. My master, who had a dashing and imposing demeanor, was unexpectedly an adorable little being thousands of years ago. When the immortal beings saw my devilishly charming appearance, their heavenly lord of zealous clarity closest to me felt a sinking sensation in his heart. The proud demeanor he had just moments ago vanished without a trace, replaced by an expression of fear. What is this dreadful sense of oppression? The rest of the immortal beings felt the same way. One by one, they fell to their knees. The emotion of fear continued to spread. This power far surpasses that of the demon lord, causing us to struggle for breath under the pressure it brings, until the corners of their eyes caught sight of me slowly approaching them step by step. Everyone felt a wave of powerlessness in their hearts. Must we stop this monster? Lord of Sui Ming, upon seeing me calmly reveling in such surging demonic energy, began to sweat profusely on his forehead. We couldn't even stand upright. Where on earth did he come from? The three most powerful heavenly lords were determined. They simultaneously unleashed an unprecedented power at the cost of burning their own lives. There's no time to hesitate. Everyone, listen to my command. Give your all, even at the cost of your lives, to stop him here. If we let him escape, we'll face endless trouble. Upon hearing their ridiculous remarks, I swiftly swung my fist, filled with demonic energy, and struck the face of the heavenly lord of zealous clarity. Then, with open palms, I released a small amount of demonic energy. With just this level of attack, I easily defeated their so-called strongest forces. Seeing this outcome, Lord of Sui Ming, who had regained hope, fell into despair once again. In disbelief, they watched as the three heavenly lords were sent flying by a single strike. And to make them understand the gap in power between us, I erupted with a surge of demonic energy that spread throughout the surroundings. But those ignorant immortals still lacked self-awareness. The seal of the formation must have already consumed a great deal of his power. We still have a chance of winning. Those in the immortal venerable realm and immortal emperor realm, follow my lead in deploying the formation. Finally, they shouted with conviction, believing that righteousness would ultimately triumph over evil, and charged at me. In response to their childish actions, my mocking laughter echoed through the heavens and the earth. Simultaneously, 
I gathered a ball of malevolent energy in my hand. You insignificant pests. Let me show you how laughable your concept of righteousness is. And upon seeing the expanding energy in my hand, those immortals remained motionless, trembling uncontrollably. Observing their pitiful state, I chuckled and threw the ball at them. A series of delightful screams followed. Congratulations to the host for killing the triple immortal venerable realm, rewarding 50 million domain value. Congratulations to the host for killing the immortal emperor realm, rewarding 150 million domain value. This shocking scene left Chang Shi and Han Shi in utter confusion, their expressions frozen in this moment. Now, as I looked at the dwindling number of immortals, though I wanted to eliminate them all, it would contradict my original mission's purpose. Just as I pondered how to conclude things, a figure in golden armor seized the opportunity while I was lost in thought. With a sword breaking through the smoke, he charged at me. In the next moment, I grabbed the man's cheeks with both hands. The man in golden armor exclaimed, Oh no, I've been restrained. One by one, the insignificant pests panicked as they watched the man I toyed with. It's Feng Chiyun. That kid is probably going to fall into the hands of the demon lord. Young Feng Chiyun's eyes were filled with tears of grievance as he continuously shouted at me. I was wrong. I was wrong. Spare me, brave hero. At this moment, I confirmed that the idiot before me was indeed my unreliable master. With a mischievous heart, I slapped his cheeks. I never expected to uncover more of my master's dark history. Thousands of years ago, he was actually a little puppy. Then, I threw him backward with a single motion. I'm in a good mood today. Get lost. Next time I see you, it will be your death sentence. And in my heart, I thought, my foolish master, please don't come looking for death again. After dealing with that group of pests, I walked slowly toward Chang Shi. Now it's time to talk about serious matters. Then I stepped in front of Chang Shi and lightly called out, Weapon Spirit, come out. In an instant, the whole world was enveloped in green energy. For a moment, all the images froze in this instant. The Weapon Spirit shyly called out my name at this moment. Ignoring her appearance, I said to her, You've given me too little information. Right now, I've only figured out the cause of the immortal demon war and the greatest threat. I've already dealt with Demon Lord too sure, and the goddess has been saved, hasn't she? But the next words from the weapon spirit plunged me into silence. The future hasn't changed at all. Then, the weapon spirit slowly said, I can still sense that there are more terrifying things yet to come. The master still cannot escape the fate of being killed. Thinking of this, the weapon spirit anxiously covered her eyes. There is a group of monsters trampling upon us making it impossible for us to survive or die. Seeing the weapon spirit in such a panicked state, I hurriedly asked her if she remembered anything else. Could she recall who killed her? The weapon spirit continued, I only remember that in countless attempts in the past, I saved her from different people's hands. But in the end, she still died in the same way. That is something I cannot prevent. Helpless, I looked at her and said, when others ask for my help, they always explain the whole situation clearly. But you, you left me with nothing. Do you think I'm playing a detective game? After hearing this, the weapon spirit apologized repeatedly to me and pleaded for me to save her master. She had already shouldered too much burden and should not bear that cruel fate. After finishing her words, the weapon spirit seemed to have exhausted her energy and slowly disappeared. There are still two days left for the assessment. Please stop the predetermined fate. I had a face full of disbelief as I watched her disappear. Where should I go to prevent it with only two days left? Seeing the power of the weapon spirit slowly dissipating, I thought it would be enough to prevent Chang Shi's death by dealing with the key individuals. Now it seems that I have underestimated it. If they can survive until the end, it means that Tu Shi, who had just emerged, failed to defeat them. He might have even died at their hands. Although I can easily kill those annoying guys. According to the butterfly effect, it would have a huge impact millions of years later. Everything else doesn't matter, but what should I do if I accidentally make my wife disappear too? If weapon spirit is correct, then Tu Shi is just a pawn and there is a bigger conspiracy behind this. Then, I grabbed Chang Shi's waist and said, just the involvement of a goddess can lead to such a big event, that itself needs to be considered. Subsequently, with Chang Shi looking dumbfounded, I flew into the air and shouted for Han Shi, who was also stunned below, to follow. Then, with the two women, I walked towards the teleportation gate. Although the immortals and other factions witnessed the scene, no one dared to intervene and stop us. They all pushed and shoved, urging others to go forward. I sneered at their hidden intentions. They were truly a bunch of useless cowards. It's better to keep the people close to me first. As for how to find out what happens in the future, I also have a rough idea. Only after I left, did the crowd start breathing heavily and prepare to seek assistance from the higher level divine clans. The three heavenly lords in the lead also made fierce remarks. 
I knew it, Chang Shi is a manipulative woman who takes advantage of others. Surprisingly, without any resistance, they left like that. Heavenly Lord's expression turned serious as he said. Hurry and report this matter to the Divine Realm. Say that the Goddess has betrayed us, just as prophesied. Then he approached Feng Qiyun and the others. The few of you, with Feng Qiyun as the leader, form a small team responsible for tracking the Heavenly Demon's whereabouts. Find out what he is up to. Another man was about to decline due to his own insufficient strength. But Heavenly Lord of Radiant Brilliance replied coldly, I am one of the Heavenly Lords in the Immortal Realm. Sacrifices necessary for the welfare of all realms are worthwhile. Here is a communication talisman that can monitor the images within a certain range. Once you have set it up, you can return. Just as Feng Qiyun was about to argue using their exhaustion as a reason, he saw the eyes of Heavenly Lord of Radiant Brilliance devoid of any warmth. I am not seeking your advice. If you are unwilling to do it, I will punish you for treason, but if you cannot bring back anything, then never return. After giving these instructions, the three heavenly lords swiftly left the scene. The blonde man on the side mentioned rumors about Chang Shi. It is said that she and that recent witch are from the same sect, they must have gone to the demon realm together. Feng Qian listened carefully and said seriously, entering the demon realm itself is dangerous, let alone tracking a new demon lord. Meanwhile, I took them to a safe place. It seems that the two of them won't recover for a while. They were probably scared by something that shattered their understanding. Then I shouted, little system, I want to go home. The system couldn't believe it and asked me, have you gone crazy? This is a time millions of years ago when you didn't even have a home. I answered that I wanted to go back to my timeline. The system asked disappointedly, are you giving up? I interrupted it and replied, I just want to go back and find some answers. Stop fantasizing about useless things all the time. I had just returned to my original form when I was enveloped by two soft figures in front of my chest. Master, you're back. Bayou sister conveyed a message that you had disappeared. We were so worried, they said. I smiled and touched these two adorable beings. I'm sorry for making you worry, but has my master returned? I have many things to ask him. Patriarch is on its way back. I couldn't help but reveal a sly smile. Didn't expect that, did you? I can view the historical plot. Meanwhile, in a corner of the nine-state continent, cries of surprise suddenly rang out. It turned out that a man named Old Chong appeared before the surviving celestial beings. Everyone pleaded with this man, asking for his help to save them and restore their dignity as immortals. The man known as Old Chong looked coldly at them and said, The heavenly demon has emerged. There will be a battle. Returning to the ancient continent is not a bad idea. However, to go back, we need to control the Nine State Cauldron. As long as I can master Jiang Xianchu and take her body without anyone noticing, then we can control Chen Chanan's lifeline. She is the person closest to Chen Chanan. I will borrow her hand to retrieve the Nine State Cauldron and release the monsters buried beneath the Nine States for millions of years. The immortal realm has been destroyed and we are no longer on the same side. Since that's the case, let's die together. Old Chong looked confidently at Jiang Xianchu in the mirror as he continued, According to our investigation, to suppress Jiang Xuanchu's soul, Chen Chanan entrusted the Nine State Cauldron to the head of the Jiang family. The entire Jiang family has been guarding Jiang Xianchu day and night. I've tried to negotiate with them, but it ended in failure. The surviving stragglers asked, how can we get close to Jiang Xianchu? Old Chong replied, Firstly, the Jiang family is located above Cloud State, and Chen Chanan is not by their side. This is one of our opportunities for action. Secondly, I cultivate the cycle of reincarnation. This cycle of reincarnation has accompanied my practice for millions of years, possessing the power to disrupt the transmigration of souls. The method of soul snatching is extremely covert, leaving no trace in reality. I have never failed. Thirdly, all celestial beings need to seek revenge against the Jiang family and settle their grievances, carry out minor disturbances on the surface in the name of betraying immortals. Remember, the only one we need to beware of is Chen Chanan. This operation must be completed within ten breaths. Once the time limit is exceeded, flee immediately. Otherwise, both you and I will be instantly discovered by Chen Chanan and meet our demise on the spot. After finishing the instructions, Old Chong shouted and began the operation. He transformed into a golden light and entered Jiang Xuanchu's body. At the same time, the other stragglers took action and rushed towards the location of the Jiang family. When the Jiang family saw the incoming celestial beings, their expressions turned uneasy. These are the surviving immortals from the Black Tortoise realm. What are they suddenly doing here? The leading man shouted. Have you forgotten how you betrayed us? Jiang Ningran instantly shouted, Not good. Then, taking the lead, she rushed forward in advance to deal with the Black Tortoise Realm Immortals. Those unrelated, leave immediately. Listen to my command. Jiang family disciples, protect Jiang Xianchu. Jiang Xianchu is the lifeline of our Jiang family and must not be harmed. 
Then a war erupted over Jiang Xianchu, with everyone vying to seize her. On the other side, Old Chong had already found the hiding place of Jiang Xuanchu's divine soul. With a loud shout, he was ready to completely obliterate Jiang Xianchu. However, just as Old Chong's plan was about to succeed, a delicate, pink arm instantly slapped away the golden arm. Old Chong was startled by this sudden protection and shouted, who is it? When Old Chong recognized the person, his uncontrollable anger surged. How could you be here? However, the Jiang family's master paid him no attention and kicked Old Chong away with a single kick. You have no right to speak here. Get out! Feeling the strength of this powerful attack, Old Chong instantly understood everything. The intensity of this spiritual attack. I never thought you would stoop to such a level. Willing to be threatened by Chen Chaman to protect Jiang Xianchu, willingly binding your own divine soul with this girl. I thought you still had some defiance in your heart, some of the pride and dignity of an immortal, waiting for the day to strike back. But everything you have done now truly disappoints me. Are you that afraid of him? Simultaneously, Old Chong created a blue vortex that severely injured Jiang Ningren's divine soul. Then Old Chong's aura began to rise continuously. Do you know that compared to me, your true power falls short? In actual combat, you have no chance of winning. Yet, you are willing to give up millions of years of cultivation to condense a powerful divine soul just to hold on to this girl's remnant soul in my hands. You really are beyond redemption. Jiang Ningran did not change her position due to Old Chang's provocation. When it comes to settling scores, I am better at calculating. Only with Jiang Xianchu and our Jiang family can we have a way out, so you can forget about having any designs on her. At the same time, a strong burst of flames erupted from Jiang Ningran's body. Old Chang's expression became panicked. Burning your divine soul? Are you insane? But then the flames engulfed him, swallowing him along with his final words. Subsequently, two divine souls exited Jiang Xuanchu's body and Old Chang's divine soul suffered considerable damage from Jiang Ningran's self-destruction. He cursed, today, I will surely destroy your Jiang family. Jiang Yuchang supported the heavily injured Jiang Ningran and asked, What happened to you, master? Soon, several celestial beings arrived at the scene. The Jiang family disciples, in a disadvantaged position, shouted at the surrounding celestial beings, are you really going to slaughter our Jiang family? At this moment, Old Chang's expression turned dark and gloomy. Before Chen Chanan arrives, I still have time to deal with these people and seize Jiang Xianchu. Jiang family, Jiang Ningran, today I will let you see how it feels to have your painstaking efforts of thousands of years destroyed in an instant. Upon hearing Old Chang's threat, Jiang Ningran struggled to break free and engage in a desperate battle with him. But Jiang Yuchang grabbed hold of him. Master, you can't. Then, the small team formed by Old Bull and the others arrived on the battlefield and protected Jiang Xianchu in the center. Old man, as long as Old Bull is here, you won't get near her even by half a step. When Old Chong saw that these were nothing more than insignificant ants daring to speak so brazenly in front of him, his murderous intent soared, tinting the surroundings with a touch of blood. Bull, sensing this murderous intent, was instantly terrified, his face turning several shades darker. He stuttered, is this the immortal emperor? We are no match for him at all. Has the master been fighting against such enemies all this time? Thinking of this, Bull lowered his head in fear. This time, we're done for. Master, I will be loyal to you in my next life. However, after a few breaths, old Bull, with a terrified expression, looked up at the old man. Why haven't you made a move? I'm waiting here to die. Old Chong, who had just been magnificent and unstoppable, now seemed as if he had aged thousands of years. His body trembled uncontrollably. Then, gritting his teeth, he spoke word by word. They are nothing more than a group of insignificant ants. In the past, would you dare to stand in front of this emperor? On what grounds do you dare to confront this emperor now? Everything has changed. Is it you who is laughable, or is it me? I, as an immortal emperor and one of the leaders of the immortal realm, with cultivation of millions of years, find myself restrained by a group of ants. It's all your fault, Chen Chanan. And now, I have arrived at this place, quietly watching everything happening in front of me. Everyone became extremely vigilant upon seeing my figure. How did Chen Chanan come here? Wasn't there still 10 seconds left? My expression darkened, and I let out a sigh. Cloud state is quite chaotic today. Immediately, all the immortals, except for Old Chong, dropped dead on the spot without exception. Old Chong, the mastermind behind it all, trembled uncontrollably. The system prompt also sounded, congratulations, host, for killing a triple immortal venerable. Reward, 50 million domain value. In the next moment, I heard a thud. The lofty old Chong was finally defeated by fear. With a gloomy expression, I walked towards the old man who had lost his fighting power. Harming my wife is a capital offense. How do you want to die? Feeling the terrifying aura emanating from me, 
The old man, who was tens of millions of years old, was reminded of past memories. This was even stronger than the heavenly demon encountered millions of years ago. He immediately fell to his knees, hoping I would spare his life. The chief of the white fox clan behind me was also astonished. The lord of the state is so powerful. Even the world-destroying immortal emperor kneels before him. Old Bull, witnessing my formidable display, started to fantasize. If I could reach this realm in my lifetime, he. However, I had no intention of letting him off. At the same time, I placed my hand on his head. You should have thought of this outcome before you acted. Give me a reason to delay killing you. Old Chong hastily shouted, I do. I'm willing to reveal all the secrets. Hearing him rambling on, I immediately interrupted him. Talk about the events of the ancient continent period. But the following words he spoke were still of no substantial help to me. Seeing that I was about to erupt, Old Chong immediately seized the key point. I also know where the immortals and heavenly demons come from. Moreover, I also know who the heavenly demon woman that appeared a few days ago is. Her name is Han Shi, the saintess of the heavenly demon clan. It is said that she has been leading the demon army in search of someone for millions of years, but we are not sure who that person is. On the surface, she occupies various realms, but those are just the outward appearance of the heavenly demon army. Upon hearing something useful, I signaled him to continue. The first time I saw her was millions of years ago. The immortal venerable above sent me and a few colleagues to investigate a demon leader. I even saw her with my own eyes. In less than half a day, we found their location. Then, I instructed Feng Qian to keep an eye on them while I went to a secluded place to transmit information. However, even if that demon leader was sleeping, he was terrifyingly powerful. At that time, my cultivation was still shallow, so I was afraid and didn't dare to act rashly. Later, I told Feng Qian to stay there while I left with the others to report back. When we came back later, they had disappeared without a trace. Old Chong anxiously asked Feng Qian, where did the heavenly demon go? Feng Qian felt somewhat guilty and rubbed his head, apologizing repeatedly. I was too far away at the time and didn't dare to approach. In a moment of carelessness, the witch took the opportunity to use spatial magic to teleport away. Judging from the trajectory of the spatial magic, they should have headed towards that dark and dense forest ahead. After hearing this, Old Chong angrily grabbed Feng Qian's collar and reprimanded him. Why didn't you stop them? You can't even handle a small matter. Do you know how much importance is placed on it above? But before he could completely absolve himself of responsibility, he was interrupted by the arrival of God's envoy. Forget it. If that heavenly demon is as powerful as you say, if we rashly intervened, all we would see now is corpses. Then, he comforted Feng Qiyun, your judgment was not wrong. Knowing their location is enough for now. Feng Qiyun, upon hearing this, excitedly fell to his knees and thanked God's envoy for understanding. To be honest, I have never seen such a powerful heavenly demon before. As long as I get close to him, my body trembles uncontrollably, suppressed by fear, unable to move. I can't imagine how many people would die if someone like him were to initiate a war. We must find him and seal him, no matter the cost. After hearing this, God's envoy removed the cloak from his head. We, the God's envoys, have come out this time to receive orders to subdue this new demon leader. And it's not just me, even the master of the Divine Maiden has mobilized. Upon hearing the earth-shattering secret revealed by God's envoy, Feng Qian was filled with shock and fear. Are you saying we have alerted that person? God's envoy didn't answer Feng Qian's question and continued, Although finding people is easy, this forest ahead is filled with countless extremely evil high-level demons. It will greatly hinder our search progress. Forcing our way in may not yield good results. The key is that these beastly demons have high ranks, and the only rule among them is that the strong are respected. They fight and devour each other all day until a soul king emerges. Any cultivator below a mortal venerable who enters will be torn to pieces by the demons. With the strength of those two girls, intruding on their own is undoubtedly seeking death. Then, one by one, figures in black robes leaped up, while the demon leader remained silent at the moment, planning who knows what. Although the demon leader is the strongest existence surpassing all heavenly demons, even so, even if it's like entering a dragon's den or a tiger's lair, we have to go in and strangle this beast. On the other side, the two girls were moving through the forest, and all the surrounding demons were as gentle as little cats, showing no signs of the legendary ferocity. Chang Shi and the others couldn't make sense of the situation. Han Shi suddenly recalled her previous experience of coming here alone where she was completely toyed with by them. But now, she clearly felt that they had developed a profound respect for her. Chang Shi spoke up to explain, the demons are born from the desires and sinful thoughts of the primordial gods. 
Although they are fierce and combative, their rules are also extremely simple. They instinctively respect the strong. Their original king was the demon lord Tushur, but now it should be the one we're carrying. Hanshi stood still in astonishment after hearing this, then stared straight at me, who was sleeping. It seemed like something strange in her mind suddenly clicked. Immediately, Hanshi threw my body to Changshi, and Changshi blushed as she caught me. She loudly asked, Hanshi, what are you doing? But in the next moment, Hanshi ran towards the demons who had once bullied her. You guys like to chase after me, right? Come on, come on, bite me, you idiots. I have an incredible memory for grudges. Changshi shouted, Hanshi, come back. I can't carry him by myself. But the demons didn't fall for Hanshi's bluff and opened their bloody mouths, ready to tear her into pieces. Hanshi panicked and hid behind my body. When she saw that the demons didn't dare to approach, Hanshi imitated my voice and whispered to the demons, I'll slaughter you all. The low intelligence demons became scared and ran away with their tiny short legs. After seeing the demons leave, Hanshi let out a sigh of relief, trembling. That scared me. If it wasn't for Big Brother, I might not be here right now. Hanshi's actions finally ignited Changshi's anger. She fiercely punched Hanshi on the forehead and said, Stop playing around. Until nightfall, the two girls finally found a relatively safe place and leaned against a giant rock, breathing heavily. It was at this moment that Hanshi found a creature shaped like a buttock from somewhere. This creature had a rapid reproductive speed and would release odor and noise when stepped on, making it suitable for alerting enemies. After completing all of this, Hanshi cautiously surveyed the surroundings. Although she was mischievous on ordinary days, she could still be relied upon in life-threatening situations. After confirming that the area was safe, Hanshi took a step towards Changshi. What should we do now? The Heavenly Demon Clan despises you to the core, and now even the Immortal Clan has dispatched elites to hunt you down. I never expected that you, who are called the goddess, would be in a worse situation than a lowly heavenly demon like me. If we need to escape, we can do it on our own. Why did we have to bring him along? Isn't this just asking for trouble? Changshi scolded Hanshi, saying that she had grown up but still had no brain. Only when he is present, will immortals show concern. They wouldn't easily approach us. Besides, he looks exactly like Chen Chanan. Don't you want to know who he really is? Hanshi turned her head somewhat guiltily. I don't want to know. It's definitely not that lecherous idiot lackey. Chang Shi suddenly expressed her doubts. Two days ago, I felt like he suddenly became somewhat different. I took the opportunity to examine his origin, and the result was quite unique. But now his origin is the same as before. I can't tell if he's a celestial being or a demon. The only thing I can confirm is that with the energy he currently contains in his body, if unleashed, it could destroy heaven and earth. I can be sure that there's no one in the immortal realm who can match him at the moment. He carries too many secrets that we don't know. Hearing Chang Shi's explanation, Han Shi felt her scalp tingle. After he wakes up, will he kill us and turn us into firewood? Chang Shi jokingly replied, He should be killing you, right? Han Shi shouted loudly, That's unfair. Why only me? Seeing Han Shi's reaction, Chang Shi wore a smug expression. Have you forgotten how you treated him before? I blushed just from seeing those inappropriate actions you took. And you were trying to get close to me just to steal my artifact. You two are so heartless. It hurts my heart, mom's heart. Han Shi, like an angry little cat, screamed. Go to hell. You know everything and still pretend to play with us. Chang Shi smiled and said to Han Shi, Is it not possible? It's been a long time since you had a good conversation with your senior sister. You're always running around for no apparent reason, pretending to be busy. Han Shi retorted angrily, I am busy. Those old folks in the clan are constantly flattering me. Chang Shi chuckled and tapped Han Shi's head gently. Stop acting tough. I know you're accustomed to laziness in your daily life. You can't stick to anything for long. You dislike fighting and killing the most. So, don't get involved in the upcoming events. I will personally explain the sealing matter to the immortal clan. As for Chin Chanan, he's a special case. He doesn't possess the nature of a demon or the aura of an immortal. His appearance has shattered everyone's understanding. Moreover, he could have unleashed a massacre at that time, but he chose to save me. Most importantly, I discovered that he can communicate with my artifact. Upon hearing Chang Shi's analysis, Han Shi's gaze became vacant. Then Chang Shi continued with a speculation that she herself found hard to believe. He is likely from the future. Although I don't know his purpose, I'm certain that he is not an enemy to both of us. He clearly possesses the power to destroy everything but has been pretending to be weak. And I even flirted with him before. Now, the conflicts between the immortal and demon realms are becoming irreconcilable. As long as either side gains Chin Chanan's support, war could break out at any time. Our master accepted you as a disciple to set an example for peace between the two realms. 
but this peace didn't last long. I cannot let this peaceful time be eroded by war, so we must not hand over Chen Chan'an. Hearing this, Han Shi was filled with fear and immediately questioned Chang Shi if she had gone mad. What can we do? What are our capabilities? Chang Shi ignored Han Shi's retort and continued to discuss the next plan. I will go and intercept the pursuit of the god's envoy. You take the sleeping Chen Chan'an and find a hidden place to hide. Once everything settles down, I will contact you. I will go back and explain the situation to our master. She will definitely help me. Seeing Chang Shi's determination, Han Shi reluctantly bit her lip and agreed. Meanwhile, Chang Shi intentionally exposed her aura to attract the arrival of the people from the immortal realm who were searching for her. At the same time, several figures noticed the spatial fluctuations emanating from the forest and looked in that direction. Found it, exclaimed one of them. On the other side, Han Shi turned back reluctantly to look at Chang Shi. Remember to let me know when you're safe. Just as Han Shi was about to enter the teleportation array, a purple figure suddenly flew out from behind Chang Shi. The man in golden armor shouted loudly, Goddess Chang Shi, you let the demon head escape. However, Han Shi's figure hadn't completely disappeared into the teleportation space. In order to ensure her safe departure, Chang Shi reached out and touched the mark of her artifact on her chest. Artifact, assist me one more time. Immediately, a green light instantly froze the entire world. At that moment, both the God's envoy and the pursuers came to a halt. Then Chang Shi spoke in a low voice, God's envoy, please atone for your sins. The goddess of spring is here to stop you. I only hope that the God's envoy will allow me to see my master, the God's envoy of pure virtue. However, in the next moment, the frozen space unexpectedly shattered. Immediately, a cold voice sounded in Chang Shi's ear. Chang Shi, you have disappointed me greatly. But before Chang Shi could explain, the person waved their hand and dispelled Chang Shi's spatial magic. I entrusted you with the duty of guarding the heavenly demon sealing stone and the artifact. How did you manage it? The seal broke early, allowing the heavenly demon to bring calamity to the world. At this point, you still refuse to repent and continue to associate with the heavenly demon. Then, with icy eyes, the person looked at their former disciple. Take her back and imprison her in the sealing place. I will personally deal with her. Seeing the cold gaze from her master, Chang Shi helplessly knelt down on the ground, pleading for her master's forgiveness. Demon Lord Tushir's breakout from the seal has hidden motives. I beg my master for an opportunity to explain. However, the woman ignored Chang Shi's plea and coldly told her to go back and speak later. I will make my own judgment. Meanwhile, to the god's envoy who came to capture Chang Shi, she said, I will take this person with me. You continue tracking the newly emerged demon lord. It must be sealed before they reach the heavenly demon clan. Upon hearing the woman's command, the others readily agreed without hesitation. Then the leader spoke to the group, the heavenly demon is still in the dense forest. Everyone, split up and confirm the location of the heavenly demon, we will seal him together. After assigning the tasks, everyone dispersed in different directions. Feng Chiyun, who was walking in the forest, anxiously asked the man in golden armor, do you think we can successfully seal that guy? However, the man was extremely confident about it. We have so many gods envoys. They are the closest beings to gods in the immortal realm. If they can't handle it, unless the gods themselves descend, no one can restrain that heavenly demon. In the dense forest, a blue teleportation gate suddenly opened in the sky. Shortly after, Han Shi, with my clone, fell out of it. Noticing that the teleportation gate appeared near the edge of a cliff, Han Shi exclaimed fearfully, where the hell is this place? Their landing on the ground happened to interrupt a monster in the midst of defecating. The noise caught the attention of the god's envoy who was tracking Han Shi's whereabouts. They immediately halted and said, over there. Han Shi angrily stared at me, who was still drowsy, and said, he can't even be awakened by such a big commotion. When is he going to sleep until? Han Shi, who broke free, forcefully dragged my clone along. It's impossible to run fast with this guy. The distance we can move is getting shorter. Not only do we have to evade pursuit, but the positioning is also becoming more and more off. If this continues, no one will be able to get out. Suddenly, excitement flashed in Han Shi's eyes. Without hesitation, she pushed my clone aside and next to the monster. I'm leaving this man to you. Take good care of him. After dealing with the burden, Han Shi's face relaxed, and she whistled as she left alone. I'm sorry, they're after you, and I can't endure the suffering. So, I'm sorry to inconvenience you. Immediately after, Han Shi opened a teleportation gate and waved to the monster behind her. I won't bother with this thankless task. After Han Shi left, the sound of hurried footsteps suddenly came. Upon seeing my figure, the approaching individuals stopped in their tracks. 
The leading god's envoy gestured to the others to hide, but when he saw me sitting there, a sense of foreboding arose in his heart. Not only are there monsters present, but as he not only subdued them but also turned them into his servants, she wondered, and why are his eyes closed? Could he be deliberately pretending not to have noticed us, and planning to catch us off guard? Soon, she noticed the chilling aura emanating from me. Fear replaced her expression. He knows we're here. He's deliberately pretending not to have noticed us, waiting for the perfect opportunity to capture us all. Quickly making up her mind, she realized they couldn't get any closer. Otherwise, not only herself but everyone would die at his hands. She ordered the others to quickly retreat in the opposite direction. After they left, the dominant monster in the forest stood guard in front of me, wagging its tail. In the next moment, the monster sensed a strange aura and looked in that direction. Han Shi walked out of the teleportation array with a worried expression on her face. I'll still be merciful and help you find a safer place, she said. The monster recognized her and showed a terrified expression, continuously protesting with growls. However, Han Shi paid no attention to its reaction and walked towards the teleportation array with my clone, explaining to me along the way, I didn't intentionally abandon you just now, I was just going to scout the area. On the other side, the god's envoy who discovered my trail had already joined the others. I've found the demon lord's tracks. Although he hasn't made a move, I'm certain he's lying in wait. He must have realized my presence, but I saw through his trickery. However, our situation is quite passive at the moment. The enemy is in the dark while we are in the light. Let's wait until all reinforcements arrive and catch him off guard. Just as Han she made up her mind, she heartlessly threw my clone near the edge of the cliff, calling it sufficiently concealed here. Then she opened the teleportation array again, preparing to leave quietly. Although senior sister said you're important, I currently don't have the ability to take you out. In any case, I can't let those perverted gods' envoys catch me, or else I'll face cruel torture. On the other side, Feng Qian protested against the gods' envoy. What if the demon takes the opportunity to escape while we wait for reinforcements? Besides, this might be a deliberate deception by the demon lord to mislead us. The god's envoy shook his head and pointed at Feng Qian, saying, Youngster, you're still too naive. We're familiar with the nature of the heavenly demon. They're wicked, cunning, and adept at ambushes. Once they find an opportunity, they will tear your body apart like a venomous snake. As he spoke, the god's envoy couldn't help but tremble. Seeing the reaction of the god's envoy, the blonde man expressed his agreement. Perhaps we fell into the trap set by that demon the moment we entered. They won't let such a good opportunity slip away. The god's envoy, hearing his analysis, continued with a lingering fear, he must have hesitated to attack us directly, perhaps he wants to test how many people we have, he's truly a despicable and vile creature, when the three members of the second team of god's envoys arrive, we'll strike back together and annihilate him, however, as soon as the god's envoy finished speaking, he noticed a figure appearing on the opposite hilltop, and at that moment, his whole body couldn't help but tremble, when did he arrive? Or was he already observing us there, he wondered. Not good. Our plan is exposed. The god's envoy, without caring about his image, screamed in terror, run. The blonde man, seeing my figure again, felt his heart sink to the bottom. Why is he everywhere? We're surrounded by him. Immediately, everyone turned around and rushed out of the forest at the fastest speed. Feng Qiyun, in the midst of escaping, suddenly noticed figures emerging from the trees. Something is chasing us. The nearby god's envoy immediately gathered two strands of thunderous aura. It's an ambush. Luckily, Granny noticed it early. That demon must want to exhaust us with these beasts. In the next moment, the man released a powerful technique to repel the approaching monsters. With me here, I won't let you succeed. The defeated monster happened to fly towards Han Shi, who had just walked out of the teleportation array. If I hadn't heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't dare believe that this group of lofty gods envoys could be so embarrassed in front of Chen Chanan while he was asleep. Thinking of this, Han Shi returned to my side and took me along into the forest. Then, she slapped my back and suddenly a blue magic array lit up. Han Shi spoke with some solemnity. I don't know if this method will work, let's give it a try anyway. In the next moment, Han Shi's arm passed through the teleportation magic array, and then her whole body entered into mine. Immediately, my tightly closed eyes snapped open, but there was a hint of confusion in my gaze. It turned out that Han Shi had successfully controlled my demonic clone through some method. Han Shi, thrilled with her successful possession, burst into laughter. She then walked towards the cliff and looked down, 
the next thing to do was to play a good prank on those people. The god's envoy, who was frantically fleeing through the forest, suddenly realized that Feng Qian and the others had accidentally lost track of them. The leading god's envoy expressed indifference, saying, as long as we god's envoys are alive, the immortal realm won't fall. The disappearance of those two useless individuals just happened to distract that demon. This operation has put us in a passive position. We have to wait until everyone is gathered to deal with that demon properly. Her bold words had just been spoken when a familiar figure appeared before her. Han Shi looked at the scattered god's envoys, who were scurrying about, with a hint of amusement. She warmly greeted them, saying, hello there. This action also put the god's envoy and the others on high alert. Don't make any rash moves. He has no intention of fighting us. He's just playing with us like caged birds. If we take action now, there's only a dead end. We must retreat with all our strength. Then, Granny, with a nervous expression, transmitted her voice to the people beside her. We shouldn't have split up from the beginning. Wherever we go now, he can find us. There's no denying that we're completely surrounded by him. All we can do now is to escape from this place. Immediately, the group fled in the other direction once again, and on their faces, there was no longer any intention to resist. Only endless fear appeared on their faces. After running for a while, Granny exclaimed with joy, it's an exit, we're saved. Until the few of them had left the dense forest, the fake demon lord, controlled by Han Shi, didn't launch any attacks. In the next moment, Han Shi controlled my body and burst into laughter. You fools, what a bunch of idiots. I didn't expect it to go so smoothly. Chin Chanan, oh Chin Chanan, even in your unconscious state, you can scare the other party shitless. You're truly amazing. I, Han Shi, did get a big advantage. I only pretended and scared them away. Self-rescue succeeded. However, I can indeed feel the immense magical power filling this body. The only drawback is that there's something awkward between my legs. Sensing the movement of that foreign object, Han Shi involuntarily tightened her legs. Just as Han Shi was immersed in her thoughts, a loud shout came from behind. Die, demon lord. Upon seeing the incoming person clearly, Han Shi nervously raised her hand to shield her face. It was the god's envoy from the second group. This is bad. At the same time, she shouted, wait. The man who approached saw that the demon lord was just a weakling, and he was overjoyed. Why wait? We must claim this credit before granny does. Dying in the hands of the three of us, the god's envoys, can also be considered. Before they could finish their words, a powerful energy burst forth from Hanchi's hand. It was an accidental release of power, but it split the dense forest in half. The expected attack did not materialize. Han Shi, filled with fear, slowly opened her eyes. She witnessed the renowned forbidden forest of the demon race being destroyed by this single strike. Its gates obliterated. The man who survived nearby was filled with terror. With just one strike, it killed Old Lee and Old Chin of the Domain Lord realm. The demon lord with such terrifying power had never been seen before. Perhaps only the god's envoy of pure virtue could contend with a demon of this level. The man then threw off his outer robe. Everyone, forgive me but I can no longer roam the world with you. I must stay here and use my true form to probe the enemy's true strength, making a final contribution to our cause. No matter what you say, I will make you shed a layer of skin. In the next moment, the man transformed from a normal human body into a twisted demon. The transformed demon man rushed towards Han Shi with full force. Demon Lord, your shoelace is loose. Bow down and check it. Seeing that Han Shi was unfazed, the man coldly snorted. No flaws indeed. Han Shi, who possessed power and control, didn't hesitate this time and struck the approaching monster with a lethal punch. In the next moment, the monster was torn in half by this strange force. Just before dying, the man shouted unwillingly, Damn Demon Lord. After dealing with the pursuers, Han Shi arrived at a secluded valley. In the center of this treacherous valley stood an inconspicuous little house. It was one of the few places that could be called home for Han Shi. However, Han Shi had already dispelled the possession spell and knelt down on the ground, coughing up blood. Once she regained her senses, Han Shi forced herself to stand up, but unexpectedly, she stumbled and fell heavily. Coincidentally, she fell right beside me. As the long night passed, there were suddenly several pieces of clothing next to the bed. Han Shi finally woke up, feeling a splitting headache, whether it was due to the side effects of possession or something else. Next, she realized something was wrong. She was completely naked as if something indescribable had happened with Chin Chanan. It turns out that she had given herself away unknowingly. Han Shi covered her already blushing cheeks with her hand. What on earth happened? How could I have done such a thing? Looking at his appearance, could it be that I accidentally had sex with him? It's probably because of the long repressed desires. During my unconsciousness, I must have released myself completely on him. Then Han Shi closed her lips tightly and pondered quietly. After all, senior sister entrusted me to protect him, but I couldn't help but turn him into my man. 
However, when she think about how her injuries healed quickly during the intercourse and there were signs of a breakthrough, Hanshi's gaze became blurred again. Anyway, it's already like this. If we do it again, it wouldn't be excessive, right? After all, if I'm not in a good condition, I won't be able to protect him, right? Then, strange sounds kept coming from the little house. Inside the palace of Sui Ming Country, the ruler of Sui Ming Country turned to the generals next to him and made a brief report. Goddess is indulging in promiscuity with male companions, causing a depletion of the formation's divine power, which allowed the demon lord to break the seal. Generals, you must kill her to protect the people. The heavenly lord of radiant brilliance responded coldly to the request of Sui Ming Country's ruler. We have no authority to decide. Everything will be based on the words of the god's envoy of pure virtue. She is known for her strict justice. We will wait for instructions and carry them out accordingly. The most important thing now is to track down the demon lord's whereabouts. Once he returns to the demon realm, war is likely to erupt again. Sui Ming Country should be prepared for war. With that, they transformed into three rays of light and disappeared into the sky. After the others left, a man stepped forward and reported to the ruler of Sui Ming Country. Heavenly Demon has been preparing for war for many years, waiting for the Demon Lord to lead them back. Upon hearing the report from his subordinate, the ruler of Sui Ming Country immediately spoke out, no longer in a submissive manner. You fools were supposed to steal the divine power, but you actually shattered the formation. How did I instruct you back then? Now that you've created such a big mess, are you in such a hurry to die? He then ordered everyone to come up with a reasonable plan to elude the pursuit of the immortals within three days. If not, they should just clean their necks and wait for death at home. The leader of the group, a chubby man, immediately spoke up. We provided so many male servants to Goddess for her pleasure, all for today. As long as we firmly claim that Goddess was obsessed with men, thus delaying the best opportunity to seal the demon lord, she will become the target of everyone's criticism and unable to defend herself when the war between immortals and demons breaks out. Upon hearing the reminder from the chubby man, the ruler of Sui Ming Country felt delighted. It's the brilliance of my advisor's mind. Indeed, this was our original plan. Only when the immortals and demons are fighting each other can we reap countless benefits. And on the other side, God's envoy of pure virtue stood with a gloomy expression, arms crossed. I already have a general understanding of the situation. You, your crimes deserve death. The thunder prison that imprisoned you for a thousand years and the heavenly fire that scorches bones are just the beginning. I have repeatedly instructed you that sealing the demon lord is a matter of utmost importance. It will affect the three realms and all living beings. Even I find it difficult to intervene and save you in the current situation. Immediately, hands tightly gripped Chang Shi's cheeks. This foolish girl should have sought me earlier, feeling the familiar touch. I was wrong, Chang Shi replied, simultaneously defending herself. Master, you were traveling through the realms. How could I find you? God's envoy of pure virtue retorted angrily. Don't you have my voice transmitter? Chang Shi became even more aggrieved. I only see you once every few hundred years, and every time you say you'll give me, but you always forget as soon as you turn around. I even suspect that you have some wild man outside and you're too lazy to care about us. Upon hearing Chang Shi's words, God's envoy of pure virtue blushed. As a beauty like me, which stinking man is worthy of me? Men only slow down my sword drawing speed. Reluctantly, Chang Shi agreed with her master's words. Indeed, the disgusting men in this world cannot catch the attention of my beautiful master. After a moment, Chang Shi couldn't help but bite her lip and said in a low voice to God's envoy of pure virtue, Master, I really missed you after not seeing you for so long. In the next moment, God's envoy of pure virtue embraced Chang Shi tightly. My precious disciple, it's useless to miss me. This matter is difficult for even your master to handle. Witnessing God's envoy of pure virtue's actions, Chang Shi couldn't help but think that her master was quite straightforward. Subsequently, Chang Shi brought her master to the seal. But when she saw the demon lord's corpse, even God's envoy of pure virtue, who had the highest combat power, was astonished. Who could have done this? The birth of Tushar originated from the fear and malice in the world. The immortals cannot completely kill him, not even the heavenly god clan can do it. Seeing her own master in such a pathetic state, Chang Shi said, the one who killed Tushar is Jin Chanan, the servant of Han Shi. Now he has surpassed Tushar and become the strongest heavenly demon. Currently, he is being taken care of by Han Shi. I'm sure the news will spread soon. As long as Jin Chanan is not found by the heavenly demon army, they won't rashly start a war at this moment of their military strength. I have interacted with Jin Chanan, and he is not an evil person. He even protected us. He doesn't belong to this time and space but is doing things beyond his responsibilities. If it's him, perhaps he can prevent the so-called war between immortals and demons. However, God's envoy of pure virtue rejected this naive idea, 
saying, you can't even protect yourself, yet you're concerned about these major matters. What a fool you are. Anyway, this is an opportunity to redeem yourself. While the heavenly demon army hasn't found Chen Chan'an yet, you and Han Shi should bring him back, and I will take over. Your guilt will be lessened. Then, in a soft voice, she added, either he becomes one of us, or we seal him for eternity. On the other side, after a night of uninterrupted passion, Han Shi finally satisfiedly got up from the bed. You mustn't wander around. Wait for me to finish my work and come back for more, she said. Subsequently, Han Shi used a teleportation array to arrive above the headquarters of the demon clan. Feeling the lightness in her body, Han Shi's face showed a rosy complexion. It seems that the best way to enhance one's strength is to engage with a man. I've decided, I'll make him my exclusive servant from now on. Then, Han Shi looked towards her own headquarters from a distant cliff, hesitated for a while, and decided to go back and take a look first. However, as she passed by the dueling arena, she suddenly became attracted by the cheers coming from within. Driven by curiosity, Han Shi indeed entered the arena. Unexpectedly, it was even more lively inside, and the disciples inside shouted in unison. Tonight, all heavenly demons above the demon monarch realm are participating in this competition. It is said that even the four heavenly kings are among them. Just then, the clan chief loudly announced, I have two pieces of good news. First, we have always been suppressed by the immortals. But now that our demon lord has appeared, our era is about to come. Then, he threw out Feng Qiyun and said, This immortal was caught by us during our patrol. He was abandoned by his companions and left for us to do as we please. Upon seeing Feng Qiyun's face, the demons shouted that they wanted to chop him up and make soup, not even sparing his bones. Immediately after, the clan chief revealed the second piece of news. The winner of this competition will have the mating rights with my niece, Han Shi. Upon hearing this, the cheers in the arena became even more exaggerated. I've had my eye on that little girl for a long time. I dream of having something with her. She belongs to me, someone said. In order to make the competition more intense, Han Shi's uncle shouted, even the top five will have a chance. As the person involved, Han Shi heard these words as soon as she entered and instantly turned to stone. Her own family, whom she had always been proud of, regarded her as a tool for pleasure. To stop this farce, Han Shi quickly approached Aruko and shouted loudly, I disagree. This is an utterly ridiculous competition. Your revelry has nothing to do with me. How could you treat me like this, uncle? Aruko, however, remained unfazed and replied naturally, Han Shi, your deceased father's last wish was to entrust you to me. Naturally, I have the right to control you. Moreover, not only did you fail to complete the task of seizing the artifact, but you also delayed our grand plan for the demon clan. Without obtaining the artifact, you are a worthless failure as a heavenly demon. Fortunately, your looks are decent, so you won't be executed. And to help you, uncle specifically designated you as the prize for the grand competition. This way, your crimes can be forgiven, and everyone's desires can be fulfilled. Isn't this a win-win situation? Now, everyone is impassioned and ready for bloody battle. This is the momentum that our heavenly demons need to maintain at this moment. We need to cultivate stronger warriors, and you are an indispensable asset. By giving birth to several offspring with special abilities for our clan, you will be serving the clan, won't you? Faced with Aruko's moral coercion, Han Shi shouted loudly to the crowd, Serve? Bullshit! Why don't you let your old lover be violated by them? Upon hearing Han Shi's retort, Aruko's face darkened. But before he could respond, he was interrupted by the bloodthirsty heavenly king standing beside him. Her opinion doesn't matter. We'll do what needs to be done, he said. The ruthless war heavenly king also expressed his agreement and ordered the heavenly demons below to start fighting. How boring, said the other two heavenly kings on the side. Stop this pointless argument, we just want to enjoy the frenzy brought by the battle. Faced with the oppression of the four heavenly kings, Han Shi's face was filled with resentment. Her low voice spread throughout the entire arena. Don't even think about controlling my destiny. I will definitely stop you and show you. In the next moment, laughter erupted in the arena. This trash actually wants to stop everything. It's hilarious. She's just a waste in the demon king realm. What else can she do besides pleasing men? She must be so scared that she's talking nonsense to comfort herself. Her strength is nothing special, but she's good at bragging. If you could actually do it, would you be so embarrassed? Have you lost even your self-awareness? Are you starting to think like an animal? The mocking voices in the arena continued without end. Han Shi left the arena without looking back. After Han Shi's departure, Oruko raised her staff and loudly announced the start of the competition. As the competition began, Feng Qiyun was also mercilessly abused as part of the spectacle. Just as Feng Qiyun was about to have his head chopped off, a beam of blue light suddenly flashed in the sky. Before anyone could see clearly what it was, a terrifying wave instantly enveloped the heavenly demon in front of Feng Qiyun, and in an instant, the heavenly demon turned into a burst of blood mist, exploding in the arena. 
the heavenly demons turn their gazes towards the direction of the explosion, only to see a dark figure slowly emerging from the smoke. The person was none other than Han Shi, who controlled my clone once again. Although the side effects were significant after this time, requiring me to roll around with Chin Chan on many times to recover, she can't swallow this anger right now. Then, Han Shi took a deep breath and shouted to the crowd, Han Shi is my woman. Whoever is not afraid of death, come on. Faced with such provocation, the crowd's expressions darkened as they scrutinized this shameless person to find out who they were. Then, a few lackeys swung their heavy fists and attacked the figure in the arena. Who do these insignificant pests think they are? How dare they be so arrogant? Han Shi sighed lightly in the face of this provocation. Then, with a calm wave of her arm, a powerful pressure instantly crushed the attackers into minced meat. Suddenly, the arena fell silent, and the backs of the heavenly demons were covered in cold sweat. Did anyone see what she just did? Those were three heavenly demons at the demon monarch realm. They were obliterated in an instant. Then Han Shi pointed up at the stands. Yi Feng sensed the hostility from Han Shi. He responded disdainfully. Where did this rat come from? But Han Shi didn't waste time with words and erupted with intense killing intent. Come down here. I'm going to slaughter you. The heavenly demons laughed even more recklessly. Did this fool not know who she was provoking? Just because she defeated three demon monarchs. Does she think she's invincible? Yi Feng is the strongest existence in our clan. Yi Feng, fueled by Han Shi's provocation, instantly appeared on the platform. This ignorant fool has no idea what's coming. You won't have a chance to beg for mercy later. Another heavenly demon, excited by the situation, shouted out, Yi Feng is going to have some fun. Do you recognize that ignorant heavenly demon? Aruko shook her head after hearing this. It's possible that he's a wanderer. Otherwise, he wouldn't be unaware of the gap between us. Then, a blue electric current condensed in Yi Feng's hand. You've never seen someone like me before. I'll make you understand the difference in power. Before Yi Feng could finish his arrogant speech, a large hand had already reached his face. In the astonished expression of Aruko, the palm firmly grabbed his head and slammed it towards the ground with force. The entire demon continent trembled for a moment, and a powerful aura instantly swept across the entire land. The heavenly demons who were still spectating were filled with fear. This is our clan's strongest. How could he kill a heavenly demon king in one move? In the face of this incredible scene, fear was written all over Aruko's eyes. Who is he really? The four heavenly kings, who were considered the pinnacle of combat strength, were also shocked. How could that kid have such power? This doesn't look good. He actually made Yi Feng suffer a defeat. This has never happened in a thousand years. Han Shi, who was controlling my body, seemed to sense their gaze and cast a fierce look at every heavenly demon. The next moment, a bone-chilling voice suddenly emanated from Han Shi's hand. Damn bastard. I'm going to make you suffer. But Han Shi didn't give him the slightest chance to resist, relentlessly smashing his head against the ground repeatedly. May I ask, Lord Heavenly King, how does it feel to be held by the head and beaten up? Han Shi then showed a contemptuous expression. How's that? Can I still control my strength properly? Is your little brain still functioning properly? The other three Heavenly Kings also felt a tremendous provocation and erupted with a powerful aura as they attacked the arena. Sensing the killing intent coming from behind, a bad premonition rose in Han Shi's heart. Despite having a powerful body, Han Shi, who was only in the Demon King realm, couldn't unleash his full strength. Moreover, he was now facing the four great heavenly kings, known as undefeated for a thousand years. However, Yi Feng didn't appreciate this outcome and shrugged off the arm of the heavenly king next to him. He then shouted at Han Shi, if it weren't for you ambushing me before I finished speaking, do you really think a lowly creature like you could succeed? Blood slaughter heavenly king interrupted Yi Feng's words with a displeased expression, saying, save your complaints for later. The intimidation and status of the four heavenly kings are not to be trifled with. This situation is no longer just about you. Han Shi, within his body, felt an immense pressure. Hopefully, things won't go completely completely wrong. The other two heavenly kings, holding absolute advantage, mocked, little fly, you've lost your last chance to escape. Once the four heavenly kings join forces, even the god's envoy of pure virtue would be wary, let alone a small heavenly demon like you. The small fry in the arena was also excited. The four heavenly kings actually teamed up. This is the first time in hundreds of years. Yi Feng heard their banter and sneered. At the same time, a mysterious killing formation condensed in the air. Stop the pointless talk. Let's attack him together and kill him. In the next moment, the formation emitted a brilliant blue light, and countless sharp thorns rained down on the defenseless Han Shi. Faced with this desperate situation, Han Shi deeply regretted it. Although vending just now felt great, it also confirmed that my possession ability is not strong enough. If I could unleash the full power of this body and kill them effortlessly, it would be a piece of cake. But now, the side effects of possession have appeared, and the longer I possess, the greater the consumption of spatial loss. 
although I have a strong resonance with spatial laws since birth and am proficient in soul communication spells, allowing me to directly invade and control others' bodies, this method is not easily controlled, and it's self-created. Using it lightly harms myself greatly, but in order to survive, I can only give it my all. Han Shi then began to constantly seek opportunities to escape under the siege of the others. However, this action only made the long hair heavenly king more excited and accelerated the attack on Han Shi. At this moment, Han Shi became extremely miserable, and the sensation of side effects grew stronger. Moreover, he was unable to use powerful techniques, and his fighting experience was nowhere near that of the four heavenly kings. Resistance was absolutely impossible. The only option was to create an opportunity to escape from this place. The motionless furious war heavenly king suddenly burst into maniacal laughter as a violent lightning power gathered above his head. It seems you've experienced thunder before. Now, taste mine. Sensing the terrifying power, Hanshi's heart tightened. This is the end. In an instant, a lightning force spanning dozens of meters struck Hanshi. The raging power was undoubtedly displayed in the arena. Seeing this, the furious war heavenly king sneered coldly. None of those who have taken this move from me have survived. When the lightning dissipated, Han Shi was already on the verge of collapse. The coordination of the four heavenly kings is truly terrifying. Even strong individuals in the domain lord realm cannot resist, let alone me, who cannot unleash Chen Chanan's full power. It seems I've played a little too much. The damage this body has endured is nearing its limit. If I continue, I might expose myself, and there's a chance Chen Chanan's body will disappear as well. The small fry in the arena saw Han Shi in dire straits and the mocking and cursing voices continued. How dare you speak disrespectfully to the heavenly kings? This is your fate. Being tormented by the four heavenly kings is considered the greatest honor. The blood slaughter heavenly king approached Han Shi from behind preparing to deliver the final blow. You ignorant wild seed, what use are you? I've been waiting for you to perish. Just when Han Shi thought she was about to meet her end, I suddenly grabbed the incoming hand, surprising the halted blood slaughter heavenly king. What kind of power is this? Han Shi inside his body was also bewildered. This is not my doing. The body moved on its own. Could it be that Chen Chanan has returned? As I regained control of the body, I wore a mocking smile and forcefully tore off the blood slaughter heavenly king's arm. Let's play a game. Immediately, the pitiful voice of the blood slaughter heavenly king echoed within the group. A strong sense of crisis spread through the hearts of all the heavenly kings. Wasn't he just unable to continue? How did he manage to tear off the blood slaughter's hand? And after taking over the body, waves of violent demonic energy continuously gushed out from within me. Then, with great interest, I looked at the person in front of me who was screaming in agony. Feng Qiyun, who was cowering in the corner, began to tremble all over upon sensing this familiar aura. It must be him. There's no mistake. That familiar oppressive aura. I must escape from here as soon as possible, or else there's only a dead end. Cold sweat continued to flow down the face of the furious war heavenly king. Could it be that he was deliberately hiding his strength to have fun with us? The other heavenly king expressed a similar sentiment and said we should be cautious. However, Han Shi within my body saw this as a good opportunity to escape and urged me to leave this cursed place quickly. The elemental power within my body was no longer sufficient to sustain us, but it was as if I didn't hear her. I didn't move a step. Sensing my change, Han Shi harbored a terrible thought. Before she could dwell on it further, the four heavenly kings erupted with their peak power and attacked me attempting to eliminate the future threat before I could strike. The small fry in the arena seemed oblivious to the situation, as they not only showed no intention of fleeing but even acted as cheerleaders. The heavenly kings are mighty. Kill him. However, I only revealed a gaze filled with killing intent, and then I gently waved my hands, grasping the power of lightning that swept across the entire arena. Then, one by one, those who were hailed as the pinnacle of combat power, the heavenly kings, perished under this immense force. They didn't even feel any pain before facing annihilation. Aruko's eyes were filled with endless despair as she saw the blood mist drifting around her. The small fry who were just filled with enthusiasm moments ago now emitted squealing pig-like sounds due to fear. Hanshi at this moment felt her body enveloped in a strange sensation and let out a peculiar cry. You're depleting my elemental power. I can't take it anymore. But I had no intention of stopping and condensed a purple halo in my hand. Sensing this familiar posture, Hanshi suddenly shouted, Wait, are you going to annihilate the heavenly demon clan? The next moment, a purple-red mushroom cloud suddenly emerged over the entire territory of the heavenly demon clan. The camps of the heavenly demons were also swept away by this destructive aura. The heavenly demons who hadn't reacted yet turned into ashes in the endless blaze. Then, a blaze illuminated the entire night sky causing Hanshi's body to become hot due to the exhaustion of her elemental energy. 
and she emitted mysterious sounds. In the depths of the forest, a group of heavenly demons were madly rushing towards the headquarters of the heavenly demon clan. The information they obtained from the exploration this time was of great importance. Unexpectedly, the demon lord was killed by an unknown heavenly demon. Now, the group is leaderless. We must quickly report this matter to the heavenly kings and discuss whether to appoint that unknown heavenly demon as the new demon lord. The next moment, fear covered the previously panicked faces of the heavenly demons. The tribe, which originally had billions of demon kings, turned into boundless desolation. The leading heavenly demon shouted in anguish. What happened? Were we celebrating? How did it turn out like this? Meanwhile, at the center of the heavenly demon tribe, a figure that had been burned to charcoal appeared. This person was Aruko, the chief of the heavenly demon tribe. Her vitality was rapidly fading, and her eyes were filled with a complex expression of fear and shock. How can there be such powerful heavenly demons in this world? They raised everything to the ground with a flick of their finger. Over 80% of our powerful demons have been annihilated. Is this the end for our heavenly demon tribe? Meanwhile, in the nearby dense forest, a figure in golden armor was swiftly moving through it, luckily escaping ahead of time. Otherwise, I'm afraid I would be buried in it too. We must quickly convey what has happened here to the Celestial Clan. As night falls, strange sounds emanate from a dark valley. Hanshi, at this moment, is covered in sweat and accompanied by rapid breathing. On Hanshi's bed, there are two jade feet and two dark feet intertwined. The only one who remains conscious, Hanshi, is speeding down the highway. Hanshi's mouth continues to moan, her body depleted. She must keep moving to restore her physical strength. As time passes, Hanshi's expression becomes increasingly blurred, and I faint once again. I am being used as a pitiful tool. However, Hanshi shows no mercy towards me and increases the intensity. She doesn't feel any pity for me because of my fainting. As the movement on the bed becomes more intense, Hanshi's tail becomes more agile. But Hanshi is not satisfied with this and leans down to kiss me deeply. Three or four hours later, Hanshi has already regained her full strength and shows signs of a breakthrough. Chin Chanan, I think doing it again for you is no big deal, right? Since you're not saying anything, I'll take it as your consent. Who allowed you to be so audacious towards me just now? Outside the house, the vultures are affected by the extremely wild sound and start the great project of building birds. The next day, news of me destroying the demon clan spread throughout the entire celestial realm. Even the sacred hall, known as the highest authority, became aware of this news. However, all the immortals unanimously believed it to be a rumor. They thought it was a trap set by the demon clan. Besides, the whole matter is too absurd. Let's wait for the results of the second investigation. Before long, the second investigation team has returned. Then, a man in armor kneels in the Great Hall and reports, reporting to the Celestial Lord, the matter of the near annihilation of the Heavenly Demon Clan this morning has been confirmed. Upon hearing this, the Heavenly Lord of Radiant Brilliance immediately broke out in a cold sweat, a never-before-felt fear rushing over him. The Heavenly Lord of Radiant Brilliance couldn't believe it and confirmed once again, are you saying that the Heavenly Demon Clan was truly annihilated by one person? How is that possible? With just one person, they overturned the entire foundation of the Heavenly Demon Clan. Who on earth possesses such incredible power? This unheard of event will surely shake the entire ancient continent. We must immediately investigate for more detailed information. I wonder if the newly born Demon Lord is among these unfortunate souls. However, after this calamity, the Heavenly Demon Clan has no chance of regaining their strength. This person has actually done us a great favor. Such an extraordinary individual can only be trusted if they stand on our side. At this moment, the Shrine of the Gods is radiating holy light, and the sound of sacred chants resonates with immense power. On the side of the Divine Path, all beings kneel, the Divine Realm opens, the Heavenly God descends. Below the Shrine of the Gods, a gathering of God's envoys has long awaited this moment. Each one's expression is filled with awe as they respectfully welcome the arrival of the Heavenly God. Suddenly, within the beam of light, a figure dressed in white appears, and one person is seated on the throne, looking down upon the crowd below with a contemptuous attitude. This is the second son of the Dragon family, a member of the three great families of the Heavenly God. If one can curry favor with him, then promotion to a divine status is within reach. At this moment, one of the attendants beside Long Lu waves his hand and releases a purple light. How dare you! They are nothing but lowly servants, yet they dare to have designs on our Lord. The bodies of the two individuals who attempted to curry favor start to disintegrate. Despite being God's envoys, they have no power to resist. After dealing with those two scum, the man then points to the leading God's envoy of pure virtue. As a God's envoy who serves the heavenly God, you should show them what it means to follow the rules. In the face of such disdainful words, the dignified God's envoy of pure virtue simply acquiesced and deeply bowed her head to the ground. As the divine God is above, 
May I ask for your command? Long Lu saw that the people finally showed a hint of humility and began to explain the purpose of this visit. I have come to recruit fighters for the preparation of the Stellar Domain Tournament. This person must be known as the strongest fighter on the continent, and they must have significant achievements in participating in major wars. The gods' envoys below, under this invisible pressure, became embarrassed and disheveled. A divine oracle has such power, my cultivation is actually rapidly declining. Then Long Lu considerately gave the people one day's time, and the god's envoy reluctantly agreed in fear. She knew that any trace of dissatisfaction would turn to ashes and disappear from this world in the next moment. Then the god's envoy of pure virtue cautiously inquired, Why does it have to be someone who has participated in wars? I can find the strongest fighters. But as for the wars, upon hearing Pure Virtue's words, Long Lu's expression became more ferocious. Don't you think it would be interesting to have fighters with the title of war heroes participating in the Stellar Domain Tournament? Other fighters are known as the Destroyer, the Rakshasa. How can my fighters be any less? Hearing Long Lu's dissatisfaction, Pure Virtue felt a wave of fear enveloping her entire body and quickly apologized. According to the recent news, the Heavenly Demon Clan has almost been wiped out. Over 80% of the powerful individuals have died. It seems that a war may not be possible. Then Long Lu's cold voice suddenly sounded. How can there be no war? Does ancient continent still have a reason to exist if it can't even fulfill my slight interest? As long as we use the space-time artifact to resurrect them, isn't that enough? Don't forget, we kept this puppet precisely because we were worried about unexpected incidents. Unaware of this, Chan Shi continued to shuttle through the woods. Han Shi, that girl, is mischievous on regular days. I wonder if she has taken good care of Chin Chanan. Now that it has come to this point, as long as I bring Chin Chanan back and explain to Master, everything will develop in a positive direction. Inside the cottage, after a night of struggle, Han Shi felt that time had passed too quickly. She felt like she could fight for three days and three nights but the sensation of power flowing through her body was amazing. She thought it was already good enough to replenish her depleted vitality, but unexpectedly, her cultivation had also improved significantly. I didn't expect Chin Chanan to be so amazing, making me stay up all night without a break. But when she think about what she have to face next, Han Shi, who was originally eager and excited, suddenly stopped. The Heavenly Demon Clan was wiped out by you, leaving me wondering where my future lies. Even though they never looked at me with respect and used me as part of their plan, treating me as a pawn. Just because I was sent to the immortal realm when I was a child, they didn't care about my life or death. Come to think of it, since I was nine years old, they made me steal secret techniques from the divine clan, almost leading to my execution. And when I was ten years old, they made me instigate internal conflicts within the other two tribes, each time bringing me to the brink of death. It seems that nothing good ever happened to me. Now that they are all dead, I'm relieved to some extent. Then Han Shi fell into my arms again. Now I am finally free. Can we elope together? Just you and me. We can go anywhere. As Han Shi was fantasizing, there was a sudden urgent knocking at the door. Chang Shi, with an anxious expression, called out to Han Shi inside the room. Junior sister, open the door quickly. I have something to tell you. Upon hearing the familiar voice, Han Shi's heart tightened. What should I do now? Long Lu's mocking voice echoed in everyone's ears. Since the space-time artifact has chosen Chang Shi, it is destined that he will be a plaything of the heavenly god, the puppet that keeps the cycle of war running. I remember that the artifact has three stages. The first resurrection has a limit of five seconds, and each subsequent resurrection accumulates gradually. Long Lu, who was manipulating his fingers, quickly grew tired of counting and laughed loudly towards the mirror, saying, as long as I find her and kill her, after she has died thousands of times, it will trigger the third stage of temporal reversal. Hearing Long Lu's perfect laughter, Pure Virtue's eyes flashed with deep fear, and she lowered her head deeply. If all the demons are resurrected, I'm afraid the divine power won't be able to sustain it. Using the puppet body at such high intensity might cause it to be destroyed. The next moment, a powerful pressure swept over the crowd. Do you think I care about the life and death of a mere star domain? Heavenly God replied. Do what you can, and if you can't, then get lost. I don't need one more servant planet like you. Hearing Heavenly God's response, pure virtue quickly begged for mercy. Heavenly God, please calm down. I'm not questioning you. Long Lu, impatiently, interrupted directly. If you want to live, fulfill my demands. Otherwise, my precious pet in the heavens will have a feast. Upon hearing the word pet, a deep fear flashed in everyone's hearts. Even that terrifying creature has come. It's not something we can contend with. If we let it attack Ancient Continent, it won't even bother attacking us. Ancient Continent is merely a snack in that creature's eyes. By then, no one will survive in the monster's mouth. Pure Virtue trembled uncontrollably at the thought. But soon, Long Lu interrupted Pure Virtue's thoughts with a snap of his fingers. Find me the fighter I want and then put that person into this coffin. 
the coffin will capture his soul and everything about him. It can manipulate its own existence. In the end, a loyal dog obedient only to me will be born from this coffin. After all, not every dog is loyal to me. Think carefully about how to do it, how to serve me. I'll only stay here for one day. Upon hearing Wan Lu's final declaration, Pure Virtue fearfully agreed to the matter. Looking at Pure Virtue's appearance, Long Lu's eyes were filled with disdain. I played around too much before and forgot to collect fighters. Now I can pass this task to them and have a reason to shirk responsibility. Afterwards, Long Lu headed towards the continent in the distance. This trip happens to be a good opportunity to find a few fairy slaves to vent my anger. Upon hearing Long Lu's words, the guards behind him congratulated him one after another. Master is merciful. After Long Lu left, Pure Virtue unexpectedly coldly told the people behind him, Chang Shi will bring Chen Chan on back. Do you know what to do? On the other side, Chang Shi kept knocking on the small hut where Han Shi was hiding. Seeing that Han Shi refused to open the door, Chang Shi became extremely anxious. Junior sister, open the door. What are you doing inside? I heard strange sounds coming from inside. Inside the hut, Han Shi covered her mouth tightly upon hearing this. She must be here to take Chen Chan on away. As long as I stay quiet, she will naturally leave first. Then, with a resentful look, she glanced at me, who was still asleep. Damn stinky man. It's like attracting bees and butterflies. And I remember that Chang Shi seems to like Chen Chan on too. Thinking of this, Han Shi snorted coldly and quietly observed Chang Shi's actions through the crack in the door. Just as Chang Shi turned around to leave, she suddenly turned back and shouted into the house. I found the woman who had an affair with Chen Chan on before. How should we deal with her? The next moment, the previously tightly closed door was kicked open by Han Shi. Where is that bitch? However, the only one in sight was Chang Shi. Why are you, the mighty heavenly demon, so concerned about someone else's love life? Even the foolish Han Shi realized she had been deceived. Chang Shi, standing aside, casually said, What were you doing in the room? I've already taken care of everything for master. I came here now. Before Chang Shi could finish her sentence, the heavy sound of the door being shut interrupted her. She realized she was being shut out again, and her expression turned gloomy. You stupid girl, you're doomed. After closing the door, Han Shi grabbed my pants and rushed towards me, shouting outside the house, You wanna take Chen Chan on away? Don't joke around. I finally have someone to accompany me. Why should I give him to you? Chin Chanan can't help you. Just go and accept your punishment. Anyway, you have the artifact, so you're not afraid. As long as you don't die, I'll come back to see you every year on this day. However, despite Han Shi's attempts, she still couldn't put my pants on me. Just as Han Shi was about to open her eyes, she suddenly realized that I had already woken up at some point and was looking at her with surprise. After reacting, my brain instantly short-circuited. Han Shi, what are you doing? Before I could continue speaking, Han Shi covered my mouth. Don't make a sound. Feeling the softness of Hanji's body, I whispered to her, you seem quite skilled in sitting on me. How about another round for me to experience? Upon hearing my shameless words, Hanji instantly panicked. You pervert, get up quickly and leave with me. Once we settle in a new place, you'll still have to listen to me. I have the final say in how many times we do it, understand. But Hanji, unusually flustered, seemed to be worried if I had been pretending to sleep all along. I smiled and asked her, aren't you curious about who I am? Yet, you're willing to elope with me like this. Hanji chuckled and replied, not curious at all. You're my servant, always have been. Hearing her response, I turned my head towards her and said, he, just at this moment, the system suddenly popped up. Host, I'm doing this for the first time, automatically tracking the clone's actions and reporting them in real time. Where did you come up with this idea? I replied somewhat absent-mindedly. It came to me in my mind. Han Shi, who was activating the teleportation array next to me, heard what I said and asked, what's wrong with your mind? I ignored her and instead walked towards the door. Little system, we're capable of anything. Whatever I can think of, we can do it. Then, in the dumbfounded expressions of the two women, I forcefully opened the tightly closed door. The clone itself is a product of the system, and the two are inherently connected, sharing information. By utilizing this, I can use the system to observe the world on my behalf, conveniently avoiding major disturbances to history. Moreover, it allows me to intervene at the right moment, much better than blindly stumbling around like a headless fly. After hearing this, the system remained silent for a moment before saying to me, returning in this form is not impressive enough, not handsome enough. Looking at the two women in a mess, I replied, system, do I have to wait until everyone is on the verge of death before making an appearance? 
I don't think that's the most heroic way to save the day. After all, that's what happens in fantasy dramas and superhero stories. But I'm not one. Then, scenes from the past flash through my mind. Since I am invincible, why should I let tragic events happen again? Then I grabbed hold of the systems panel and said, don't just sit back and watch. Shake up your backstage. There must be a random mission at a time like this. Sensing the threat of death, the system quickly agreed confirming the presence of a mission. Prompt after prompt popped up, guiding me to help the goddess Chang Shi resolve her fated dilemma and obtain the artifacts, with a reward of 500 million domain value and two time roll cards. Furthermore, by successfully completing a special mission and becoming the ruler of the ancient continent planet, I would receive a reward of 1 billion domain value and unlock the new system function, Star Realm Leap. Upon hearing the system's introduction, I quickly planned my approach. To save Jiang Xian Chu, I needed the artifacts, and to obtain the artifacts, I had to resolve Chang Shi's predicament. The final task was to become the master of the ancient continent. Considering the events of the past few days and the future situation, I had already guessed the ins and outs of the situation. With one more day remaining, it would be enough. The two women behind me stopped their playfulness upon hearing my words, and their mouths repeated my words incessantly. I realized that I had accidentally revealed too much. I smiled at them and said, are you planning to return to the immoral realm? How about taking me along as well? While the two women in front of me suspected each other, vying for my innocence, I remained calm. The system informed me that I had gained trillions of domain value while I was asleep. Seeing the world filled with system pop-ups, I couldn't help but be amazed. Just how many people did this girl kill while I was asleep? But soon, I laughed happily. Hanging out like this is really enjoyable. Is this the taste of freeloading? Then, I began to organize in my mind the events that had taken place during this time. The system reported to me all the information, including the near annihilation of the heavenly demon clan while Han Shi fought using my body. According to logic, the future heavenly demon clan should not reappear. But in my current time and space, when I see the increasing quantity of heavenly demon instead of decreasing, I immediately understood that someone had resurrected them during this time. And the only one capable of doing this was Chang Shi's temporal artifact, the triggering of the third phase. Even eliminating the heavenly demon clan won't resolve Chang Shi's predicament. There must be a higher entity controlling everything. He advocates killing Chang Shi in an attempt to resurrect the heavenly demon clan. Based on the current information, this is the temporary analysis. However, if we don't quickly figure out who is behind all this mischief, it could lead to many complications and hinder our actions. We might end up being helpless. While I was contemplating, a blue light beam appeared in the sky. In an instant, the attack passed by me and headed straight for Chang Shi. But when Chang Shi realized what was happening, the blue blade was already close to her head. Seeing this, I remained calm and beckoned with my finger. With a swish, a golden light beam instantly deflected the blade and transformed into a barrier in front of Chang Shi, shielding her from harm. Han Shi, witnessing her sister being attacked, swiftly protected Chang Shi by her side. Whoever is secretly attacking must show themselves. Chang Shi, who had recovered her senses, murmured softly, Chin Chanan, luckily you're here. At that moment, dark shadows emerged from both sides of the gorge, their faces filled with hostility. We found them. After briefly glancing at those insignificant pests, I ignored them. They were nothing more than insignificant bugs that couldn't cause any trouble. It seemed like they heard my mockery, and more and more shadows surrounded us from all directions. Seeing so many pests gathering here, I knew that things were developing in the direction I had analyzed. They must all be here for Chang Shi. Shortly after, a majestic voice echoed in the valley. Heavenly God has issued a command. All forces in ancient continent must join forces to eliminate the criminals. It concerns the survival of ancient continent. Goddess Chang Shi must die. Irrelevant ants, leave immediately. Following that, a shadow swiftly appeared in the center of the battlefield and unleashed a blazing yellow flame towards Chang Shi's location. In an instant, the flame engulfed an area of a hundred meters around it. Witnessing this scene, the shadow burst into excited laughter. I succeeded. I got the first kill on the goddess. However, when he saw me safely bringing Chang Shi out of the flames, he couldn't believe it and cursed in disbelief. You actually managed to dodge it. It was quite an impactful strike just now. Then, an angry voice resounded from within the flames. You bastard, Chin Chanan, what kind of suffering have I endured? Han Shi came to my side and angrily berated me, scumbag. You heartless jerk, you saved the wrong person. Once you're done playing, you just abandon everything, right? You ungrateful scumbag. Faced with her accusation, I disdainfully picked my nose and stated the facts. You could have easily avoided it just now. Upon hearing my response, Han Shi's face turned frosty. You straight guy, I deliberately let him hit me. I didn't expect you, Chin Chanan, to be so fawning over Chang Shi in front of me. Are you planning to betray me behind my back? 
the flying pests in the air, upon witnessing our bickering, erupted in anger, feeling the bitterness of being single. You damn lot, even at the brink of death, you still have the audacity to flirt here. Soon, everyone, take aim and give that woman a harsh beating. Heavenly God said that only when the artifact on her activates the third phase. Just as I was about to have a heart to heart with a few pests, Chang Shi reassured me, don't move. I need to figure out what's going on first. Soon after, one by one, the black-robed god's envoys emerged. Surrender peacefully, and if you have an ounce of mercy in your heart, don't resist, they said. Upon hearing this, Chang Shi became furious and exclaimed, Are you saying you want to resurrect the heavenly demon clan? Have you all gone mad? Do you know what that means? The leader of the god's envoys coldly replied, War may be dreadful, but it is still better than the despair of a destroyed planet. Only by your death can we survive. Although we have received the favor of the goddess, since you are the goddess, help us once again. Chang Shi looked at the individuals before her in astonishment and cried out, You are from the spirit realm and the beast man clan. The two recognized individuals apologized, saying, Don't blame us. It's Heavenly God who wants you dead, and we have no choice. Heavenly God wants to witness a battle between immortals and demons for entertainment. If we don't satisfy him, the monsters in the star domain will devour us. This matter has spread throughout the entire ancient continent. Even if we don't kill you, there will be other clans and powerful beings coming to avenge you, goddess. You cannot contend against the entire world. In order to make Chang Shi aware of her situation, the god's envoy flipped his palm and summoned a skull. Even your master, as heavenly god's executioner, cannot save you this time, he said. Upon seeing the familiar and shocking face, it felt as if Chang Shi's heart had been struck by lightning. Just an hour ago, pure virtue, in order to save his beloved disciple, reached out to his friends from other immortal realms to see if there was any way to escape this calamity. However, on the other end, they refused, saying that no one had been able to successfully rescue someone from heavenly God's grasp since countless eras ago. The only thing they could do was to fend for themselves. However, pure virtue did not give up and continued to plead, Dear friends, I have traveled the starry seas for many years and have had the privilege of meeting and assisting all of you. I do not ask for your immediate intervention, I only hope that you can provide pure virtue with more methods and help me save my disciple. But the figure could only sigh helplessly. Pure virtue, I can grant you anything except defying heavenly God, we truly have no power in that matter. The neighboring Doling continent recently offended other heavenly gods and was annihilated, not even a trace left. I advise you to give up on that goddess. Heavenly God's plan is already in motion. She is destined to die. Pure Virtue's eyes became unfocused upon hearing this, and he recalled the words he had once said to Chang Shi many years ago. The greater a person's abilities, the greater their responsibilities. It's a pity that Master has done many wrong things and will never have the chance to become the people's beloved. However, at that time, Chang Shi responded with words that surprised Pure Virtue. Don't we still have me? I will protect everyone and inherit Master's wish. Thinking of this, Pure Virtue's gaze became resolute, and she let go of the communication jade tablet in her hand. Dear friends, let us part ways here. However, a voice of urgency came from the jade tablet behind her. Don't do something foolish. Yet, yeah, Pure Virtue ignored it and silently vowed in his heart, Chang Shi, I will definitely save you. Meanwhile, billions of light years away, a man in a black robe quietly watched the ancient continent surrounded by demons. Pure Virtue has severed contact. I suspect she's about to do something foolish. Ancient continent may not last much longer. Let us witness this final spark together. In different timelines, several shadows bowed in the direction of the ancient continent. Respect to our friend. On the other side, when pure virtue and the gods' envoys emerged from the teleportation array, the crowd asked in unison, what is the purpose of this gathering? Pure virtue then pointed to the depths of space on the other side of the teleportation array. Fellow immortals, please look. In the vast sea of stars, there is a small planet that heavenly god has never discovered. It is called the Nine State Continent. After multiple on-site investigations, I can confirm that the spiritual energy here is abundant. The surrounding starry seas have crystalline rocks that can block the probing of divine power. For many years, this place has been ownerless, a haven that can escape heavenly god's search and not become a slave planet. It is a good destination. Upon hearing this, everyone's heart shook. Pure virtue, god's envoy. Are you planning to migrate? Pure virtue, the god's envoy, nodded in agreement. Now our lives are at the mercy of the unpredictable heavenly god. If we continue like this, one day we will be eliminated for losing our usefulness. So before we migrate, we must seize the opportunity when he is unprepared. A crimson killing intent erupted in pure virtue's eyes. Kill him. Upon hearing this, fear appeared on the faces of the others, as if they had heard a tremendous joke. God's envoy, this is no joking matter. If we fail, it won't be as simple as life or death. Deicide is a supreme crime. Even if we succeed, where do we go from there? 
After hearing this, pure virtue smashed his fist into his chest. Everyone, there must be people who are unwilling to be slaves. Only then can our descendants have a chance to live without the terror of domination. If we never take action in our lifetime, the future for your children and families will be even more miserable. Are bowing, tribute, and groveling not enough? Yet look at the situation we are in now. The words of pure virtue moved the others, and they were willing to embark on the path of hope. Deicide, ah, we are willing to join you. Chang Shi, master will protect you. As if sensing this distant hope, Chang Shi found tears streaming down her face. However, the god's envoy responded coldly, do you think heavenly god can be shaken by ants like you? The two of them saw their master's decapitated head, and their voices choked up. But the god's envoy looked at the head beside him with disdain on his face. Well, it seems the assassination plan was exposed early. It didn't harm our beloved heavenly god. Otherwise, this piece of crap wouldn't have lost just its head so easily. The divine generals behind them burst into laughter. I've been annoyed by this woman for a long time. Not only did she dare to plot the assassination of Lord Heavenly God, but she also dared to stop us from waging war against the goddess. This idiot deserved to die. If Heavenly God had any mishap and those monsters in the sky found out, they would never spare ancient continent. Offending Heavenly God would mean death, not just for those in the Domain Lord realm, but also in the Domain God realm. No exceptions. And also, this woman blamed herself before she died, apologizing. I guess she was begging for forgiveness from Heavenly God. But how could Heavenly God spare that foolish woman? I really want to know what she was thinking at that moment. Then, the God's envoy forcefully threw the head in his hand into the air, his eyes flashing with a hint of fierce red light. The fate of sinners is to completely disappear. Sensing the violet aura emanating from the God's envoy, Chang Shi and the other woman hurriedly rushed forward, shouting at him to stop. Just then, a dark purple light suddenly appeared above them. Feeling the oppressive force, a flicker of fear crossed the god's envoy's eyes. Immediately, he shouted anxiously to his companions, get out of the way. The next moment, the violent power swept everyone into it. Just then, I landed steadily behind Chang Shi and the other woman, catching the lifeless head in my hand. A sense of empathy surged in my heart as I looked at the head. In the next moment, Chang Shi rushed towards me and held her master's head in her arms. Unable to stop sobbing, your master sacrificed herself to save the world, even in death. Her lingering soul deserves eternal respect, and we will never allow the profanity of the wicked. Chang Shi, in the current chaotic and unpredictable ancient continent, the principles of heaven and morality no longer hold. Given your compassionate nature, it's inevitable that you will be swayed by them, sacrificing yourself for this so-called peace. Make a choice now, fight or hide. Hearing my words, Chang Shi, with a cold gaze, shouted in anger, everyone is wrong. Even if the planet is destroyed, I won't let heavenly God succeed. Then, the system's voice suddenly rang out, stating that Chang Shi's dire situation had changed and progressed by 50%. And upon hearing her response, I couldn't help but smile. It's going to be a battle. Then I said to Han Shi, set up a teleportation array immediately. The more precise the location, the better. Han Shi was momentarily puzzled and asked, now? But she quickly realized and said, preparing the formation will take a long time. They won't give us a chance. The onlookers who overheard our conversation mistakenly thought we were planning to escape, and they all charged towards us as if they had been injected with chicken blood. At the same time, they shouted to their colleagues, don't let them escape. Attack together. In the next second, I flashed in front of one of them and punched his head into the ground. Then, with a cold gaze, I scanned everyone in the field. Escape? Impossible. I'm going to slaughter that heavenly god. After I uttered those words, the entire battlefield seemed to freeze. His words reverberated heavily in everyone's hearts. He said he's going to slaughter heavenly god. Upon hearing my arrogant statement, the crowd showed mocking expressions and burst into laughter. Just the three of you? It's truly laughable. In the tens of millions of years, you're the first to dare utter such words. Han Shi, who was nearby, was greatly shaken. Even the former strongest heavenly demon Tushar couldn't accomplish it. Although it was an irrational statement, it happened to buy me some time. Following that, as the envoy of heavenly god in the mortal realm, I absolutely won't allow any threats to heavenly god's safety, even if you insects buzz around heavenly god's ears. At that moment, the miscellaneous fishes activated their strongest techniques and launched attacks towards the field. Seeing the overwhelming barrage of attacks, Hanshi's heart trembled. Chinchanan, you must hold on. However, I paid no attention to it. I raised my arm high, and in an instant, the attacks vanished into the purple vortex I summoned. Upon seeing this scene, the miscellaneous fishes exclaimed in disbelief. How is this possible? How can all the celestial techniques be completely nullified? Then I gathered all the energy in my hand, and a cold voice echoed in the valley. Today, not a single person will leave here alive. After saying that, I detonated the accumulated energy in my hand. 
In an instant, the entire valley was dominated by the massive energy sphere. God's envoy trembled in fear. This power, it's impossible. Who exactly are you? I observed him before, and he didn't possess this level of strength. Seeing the desperate expressions on the group of immortals, a laughter escaped my lips. You wanted a battle between immortals and demons, right? Well, here I am, killing all of you. Upon hearing my words, God's envoy erupted in a desperate scream. Don't let that energy sphere fall, or we'll all die. Upon hearing God's envoy's warning, the miscellaneous fishes no longer dared to hold back. They erupted with even greater power at the cost of burning their own lives. Watching them go crazy, I remained in place, showing no intention of making any moves. Just as the blades were about to reach us, I suddenly opened my eyes and swung my hand forward. A surge of scorching energy swept through everyone in the field. However, some of the trapped fish managed to escape this disaster. A knife swung towards the back of my head, but sensing the presence behind me, I swung my hand backwards. It seems like there's a fly buzzing around, isn't there? In an instant, that figure was cut in half, and even the small mountain behind him turned into dark clouds at that moment. Witnessing the scene of corpses strewn about in front of me, the surviving god's envoy was filled with fear. No, no, this attack shouldn't be like this. We need a war of attrition, a strong assault won't work, we need to maneuver, we need tactics, we must. But before he could finish speaking, I controlled the giant energy sphere to descend slowly. Seeing this, they couldn't help but curse under their breath. Beasts, that sphere doesn't give us any chance, he has already blocked our variables early on. Then, I beckon with my finger towards those ants who were still alive. Who's next? Immediately, a man wearing a scarf summoned countless millions of green fireflies. As those fireflies continued to gather together, they eventually transformed into a green millipede tens of thousands of meters long. Seeing this, Changshi nervously shouted to me, This is the deceptive art of the bird-dwelling tribe, the illusion bug technique. Before I could respond, the creature quickly opened its large mouth and swallowed me whole. At that moment, the miscellaneous fishes in the field revealed expressions of triumph. Heavenly demon, ha, taste the sensation of losing your cultivation with the thousand-foot bone piercer. This move can even suppress that demon too sure, let alone you. The next moment, the giant creature suddenly became restless, and then its head exploded like a firework. Following that, I gracefully descended with elegant steps. The immortals who summoned the giant creature were instantly dumbfounded. They could only hold me for less than two seconds. Afterward, I patted off the remnants on my body. It's just an itch. No big deal, blame that disgusting thing. Then I revealed a wicked smile. This unique technique is quite interesting. I'll accept it from now on. As I spoke, I resurrected the creature and grabbed hold of it, throwing it towards the group of miscellaneous fishes. A cacophony of miserable sounds filled the air. At the same time, the sound of domain value being credited echoed in my ears. This despairing sound mixed with the system's prompts truly is the most beautiful melody in this world. Faced with an unbeatable enemy, even the gods' envoys who usually held high positions chose to submit. Spare us from the fight, we just want to survive. Heavenly God is too powerful. No one has ever been able to kill Heavenly God. Everything we have done was out of desperation. Please forgive us. Watching them reveal their ugly nature, my eyes were filled with contempt and disdain. So you're innocent, huh? They mistakenly believe that they have gained my trust. The leading God's envoy was full of excitement and summoned a green light. This is the nine-state continent that Pure Virtue God's envoy found. I hid it when the gods executed Pure Virtue. We can cooperate, and to prove what he said is true, he quickly turned to Changshi beside him and said, You also want to fulfill your master's wish don't you? Just at that moment, a sinister smile appeared on the face of the god's envoy. Fell for it. Then he poured all his power into the energy sphere. Open for me. The next moment, concentric circles of green light appeared beneath our feet, forming a magical array. Then the god's envoy pointed in our direction and shouted, seal him in the nine state, along with that world, as an offering to our great god. The gods will see our loyalty. We are betting our lifelong cultivation on this divine slaying formation. Seeing the green tentacles entwining around us, I cooperatively pretended to look helpless, showing them my powerless appearance. Just as I was about to be consumed by those tentacles, a smirk appeared on my lips. You guys really know how to act like dogs. I never said I would spare you. With these words, I revealed the oppressive aura of the Demon King. What can this flimsy seal actually seal? In an instant, their proud sealing formation shattered into pieces. Everyone was heavily injured under this terrifying pressure. The God's envoy looked at his dead colleagues behind him, his heart turning to ashes. Impossible, the formation that even Domain God couldn't resist. Why did it break with one strike? Then, 
I approached and picked up what he called the Nine State. This thing is not the Nine State at all, it's more like a navigator to get there. In other words, the heavenly god you mentioned knows about the existence of the Nine State. The god's envoy looked at my devilishly cold expression, filled with despair. Please spare me. Pure virtue was killed by heavenly god. Everything we did was under his instruction. Upon hearing his deceptive words, I directly interrupted him. But how are your actions any different from his? The future of the world doesn't need you. You will be the first to go to hell and report to him. I will personally break his bones and send him on his way. The moment my words fell, the unstable energy ball in the air began to rapidly descend. Finally, the surviving small fry quickly fled into the distance, seeking their last chance of survival. Words of remorse and begging for mercy echoed around the battlefield. Please, I am willing to submit and surrender. Spare us. Chang Shi, who was beside me, felt the suffocating energy and shouted in worry, Chin Chanan. The next moment, I appeared beside them. Are you ready? We're about to depart. Upon hearing my voice, Han Shi finally snapped back to reality. I accidentally lost focus and got distracted. The formation can only accommodate two people now. Give me five minutes. No, just one minute is enough. And you looked so cool when you sent that old lady flying. It would be even better if you threw a few more punches at her. I'm speechless about her actions. Is she really the future queen? Immediately, I moved next to Chang Shi and lifted her up. We don't have time. Seeing me taking Chang Shi away without even asking, Han Shi shouted anxiously at the teleportation array. What am I supposed to do if you leave like this? As the shrinking teleportation array came into view, Han Shi was filled with despair. I can't get in. It's over. This damn dog of a man. In the face of crisis, he only thinks about Chang Shi. I've given my sincere heart to the dogs. As the approaching energy drew near, Han Shi lowered her head as if resigned to her fate. You don't even look back at me. Forget it. I've already slept with him anyway. It's worth it. Just as she was preparing to face her death, she suddenly felt a reliable arm behind her. Then she saw me smiling at her. How could I abandon you? Chang Shi, who finally realized what was happening, shouted, Why did you come back? But I ignored her and threw her into the teleportation array. As she was still speaking, I made a funny face and warned her not to act rashly and to wait for me obediently. Then I turned around and walked straight towards the glowing ball of light. Chang Shi and Han Shi jumped out of the teleportation array and immediately looked towards the previous location. They saw a massive purple ball of light appearing thousands of miles away. In the next moment, the blinding light illuminated the entire world, and the terrifying energy engulfed the entire heavenly demon continent. Seeing this apocalyptic scene, a chill ran down Chang Shi's spine. This is his true power. He might really become the person who can change this planet. Han Shi, who regained her composure, asked Chang Shi, what do we do now? Anxiously, Chang Shi replied, as long as the war doesn't start, heavenly god won't stop. The people of the entire world will consider us enemies. We have no way to retreat. If we continue fighting, we might end up harming Chin Chanan. We can only find an opportunity to go to the Nine State Continent. Perhaps there's still a chance to salvage this situation. On the other side, I looked at the bottomless pit in front of me and said to myself, it's time to chase after them. After dusting myself off, I sensed their presence is over here. Then I forcefully stepped forward and found that the teleportation array was quite effective. However, this distance would likely take some time. In an instant, I flew thousands of miles away. Just as I took off, several dark auras suddenly appeared behind me and closely followed. Seeing this, I stopped in my tracks and coldly looked back. What is this? I saw those dark shadows quickly flying towards me. I shouldn't die. I shouldn't die like this. It's unfair. Faced with this unexpected situation, a blazing surge of heat gathers in my hand. These lingering spirits are seeking death. I'm running out of time. In the next moment, I realized something was wrong. These lingering spirits are not the ones I had eliminated. I saw a vengeful spirit dressed in coarse hemp clothes shouting at me, Mighty Heavenly Demon God, please save us. We are the people who have lived for generations in the ancient continent. It was because of your battle that we were able to escape from that abyssal purgatory. In our lives, we once fought under the instructions of the Heavenly God, until our bodies turned to dust, but our souls remained bound to the earth. However, this god never extended a helping hand to us. He continuously extracted the essence of our souls to maintain his control over world. Many of our compatriots have already disappeared. Please, you must save us. Hearing their story, I felt regret in my heart. Chang Shi's master didn't make a mistake. The consequence of unlimited obedience is being exploited until there's nothing left. If she doesn't take a stand, there will be no voice of resistance. Then I assured them, I will go and kill the god you mentioned. I still have two friends over there. The vengeful spirit had a dumbfounded expression upon hearing this. He couldn't believe how lightly and casually I spoke of killing a god. Just as I turned to leave, the man suddenly called out to me and pointed in the direction I came from, saying, 
the shrine where the god resides is in the opposite direction, you're going the wrong way. Hearing this, I couldn't help but sigh at Hanshi's incompetence. One day, I'll surely be deceived by this woman. On the other side, Heavenly Lord of Zealous Clarity, leading a group of people carrying a red coffin, knelt before Heavenly God. They said, we have found the strongest heavenly demon, Long Lu, with a grim expression, suddenly erupted with a terrifying pressure. What I want is a battle between immortals and demons. What about the goddess? They are just deceiving me here, one by one. Feeling the wrath of Heavenly God, Heavenly Lord of Zealous Clarity gathered the courage to explain. The team sent to capture the goddess has been completely wiped out. There is a formidable heavenly demon protecting her. The final message we received was that he intends to kill you. Upon hearing these audacious words, Long Lu burst into unrestrained laughter, as if he had heard an amusing joke. Kill me? A lowly creature wants to kill me? You are nothing but insects on this planet, not even worthy of being pets. Pay him no mind. His fate will be the same as pure virtue's fate. Heavenly God, your wisdom is unmatched. We have turned the realm discovered by pure virtue into a divine slaying formation. We will seal the target there and bring them back to offer to you. Long Lu, filled with disdain, responded, A mere pocket realm, a barren land lacking in spiritual power. It's not even enough to amuse my pet. What use is it to him? But you remind me that there may be other insects like pure virtue causing trouble, ignorant of their own insignificance. Today, I will sever the aspirations of this group of insects. Suddenly, the giant monster responded, releasing a burst of energy that sealed off the entire ancient continent. Perceiving that the ancient continent is within grasp, like a possession in hand, Long Lu laughed excitedly, everyone in the ancient continent is my toy. They cannot escape, cannot run. If they want to leave, let them try. I will capture them all without leaving a single one. Outside the ancient continent, Pure Virtue's friends watched the surrounded planet with deep concern. This is the locking domain formation. The ancient continent has been completely sealed off. Pure virtue has ultimately failed, they whispered. The other two individuals remained indifferent, as they had long anticipated this outcome. Although I had hoped for a miracle, pure virtue is the most powerful and outstanding god's envoy in history. Yet, destruction remains the final fate of this planet. The man shrouded in a black robe crossed his hands in front of his chest. As friends, let us send her off on her final journey. On the other side, I looked up at the sky in surprise. The nearby spirits saw my puzzled expression and began to explain, this is the god's declaration of sovereignty over the planet. No one can interfere with what happens here. Once this formation is activated, no one, not even immortals, can leave this continent. They will be trapped in this hell for eternity. Hearing their words of despair, I had no intention of paying attention. If we can't leave, then how did the crazy old man go to the ninth state? I thought to myself, wait, he mentioned that this ceiling formation didn't exist at that time. It must have changed along with Chang Shi's fate correction. I then grabbed the leader among them and asked, where is the shrine of the gods that you mentioned? Sensing my killing intent, the man stuttered in his response, it's in the heavens to the west, the highest place. Hearing this, I casually tossed him aside and stomped my foot, soaring into the endless void at a speed surpassing the speed of light. It was at that moment I understood everything. It seemed that only by dealing with the god who created the seal could the seal in the sky be resolved. After all, if no one went to the ninth state, the future would be completely altered. That stubborn girl, Han Shi, chose the opposite direction, probably prepared to escape. It would be even more dangerous to follow me into battle. After I left, the young spirits looked helpless. Who would have thought that one day we would have to rely on the evil heavenly demon to save us? One of them remarked. The old man angrily retorted. What else can he do? Do you want our descendants to experience the same despair as us? We have been waiting for this day. As long as he can save everyone, even if it's a heavenly demon, we are willing to bow down. In the dense forest, Chang Shi gazed at the barrier in the sky, feeling a sense of powerlessness. The gods have sealed the star domain. Can we still go to the ninth state? She wondered. Han Shi interrupted Chang Shi and said, None of that matters anymore. Let's find another place to hide. Chin Chanan said he wants to kill the gods. Those snitches in the immortal realm will definitely report to the gods. I initially wanted to take him with us to lay low and deal with him later. Then, grabbing Chang Shi, who was still in a daze, they ran in the opposite direction. Since he worked so hard to get us out, let's not go and get ourselves killed. On the shrine of the gods, a wave of ominous green aura erupted, and a powerful pressure spread indiscriminately in all directions. However, Long Lu's face was full of disdain as he looked around with a contemptuous gaze. The immortal army in the arena was terrified, unconsciously retreating backward. Then, the demon lord, Tu Shur, broke the coffin. Tu Shur stood up from inside and turned to look in Long Lu's direction. The onlookers noticed something unusual and shouted nervously, Quick, protect heavenly god! 
However, Heavenly Lord of Zealous Clarity was frozen in fear and couldn't move. This terrifying power belonged to Tushir during his peak. In the next moment, Tushir knelt before Long Lu, loudly proclaiming, Servant Tushir pays respects to the master. Seeing the reactions of the crowd, Long Lu smiled with satisfaction. Not bad, not bad. From now on, you are my servant, my warrior. Upon hearing Long Lu's praise, Tu Shi immediately vowed to serve his master faithfully, stating that he already knew what his master desired and had a plan to fulfill it. Long Lu's mouth showed signs of mockery after hearing it, responded, It seems you already have a plan. Go ahead and do it. I've got your back. Tu Shi, who received Long Lu's promise, had a triumphant glint in his eyes. That insolent fellow who offended your dignity, I will make him endure the hatred and curse of the world. I will make him the target of everyone's arrows. I will tear him apart a thousand times, feast on his flesh, and drink his blood. Then, looking coldly at the immortal beings who had once been enemies, he said, move out. Upon receiving Wang Lu's permission, the demon lord Tu Shi's first action was to spread fear throughout the entire ancient continent, awakening the terror that heavenly demons had crushed mountains and rivers thousands of years ago. In Swaming Country, the people watched in panic as teleportation gates suddenly appeared in the sky. What is this? Is doomsday upon us? The once arrogant lord of Sway Main Country trembled in the palace. Then, blue light bodies emerged from the high altitude portals, the demonic army created by demon lord Tushir. The curtain of endless slaughter was now drawn. In the mortal realm, at the Hundred Flowers sect, the same teleportation array is also found everywhere here. The sect leader loudly commanded, Defend with me. Do not let any heavenly demon cross the mountain gate. Today, we will avenge our fallen comrades. In the next moment, a monster opened its mouth and bit towards the sect leader's head. As a spine-chilling chewing sound rang out, the people recovered from their fear. Sect leader? Scenes like this played out in every corner of the world. 99% of humanity had become food for the demons. It was an unequal massacre. On the other side, Chang Shi rescued a child from the demon's mouth. Helpless, Chang Shi shouted. Weren't the heavenly demons already dead? Han Shi looked at the endless horde of demons in despair. Clearly, I couldn't have initiated such a war. Chang Shi quickly noticed something amiss. Where are the immortals? Where are the guardians of the mortal realm? Why can the heavenly demon clan easily appear in the mortal realm without a single immortal showing up? Meanwhile, people around the world desperately prayed for protection from their deities, but the gods remained silent. Hatred and rage spread wildly on this blood-soaked land. Seeing this scene resembling a human purgatory, Long Lu, who usually didn't show much emotion, burst into laughter. Well done. Well done, this is exactly the effect I wanted. If we want to create heroes, the suffering of the masses is essential, and it needs to be even more exaggerated, making them crave our salvation even more. However, the immortal beings, who had always been dedicated to upholding justice and protecting life, remained indifferent, standing in formation and watching demons ravage the mortal realm, bringing calamity to the people. Even if their own family members and relatives were in the mortal realm, they showed no concern. The demon lord looked at the scene beneath him and laughed recklessly. The demonic soldiers looked more excited as they watched the pleading of the people. Praise the demon lord. Praise Chin Chanan. We obey your orders to slaughter the mortal realm. We will indulge in this moment. Chin Chanan, did you see that? We can do even better. You are our king, and we will follow you forever. Chin Chanan. Feng Qiyun, listening behind the screen, tightened his nerves. Jiang Mingran furrowed her eyebrows, utilizing his demonic subordinates to massacre the mortal realm and then shifting the blame onto another heavenly demon, all to propel himself onto the stage and change his identity. The immortal beings on Shrine of the Gods looked coldly at the scenes displayed on the disc. Heavenly Lord of Zealous Clarity couldn't help but speak when he saw the horrifying sight of this human purgatory. Can we intervene now? Tu sure responded disdainfully, you immortals lack foresight. What's there to lament about the insignificant mortals? Let's appear as saviors when they are at their most desperate, showcasing our divinity. Besides, Chin Chanan hasn't appeared in the mortal realm yet. This grand spectacle of slaughter carried out in his name cannot be stopped. In the mortal realm, Han Shi heard a terrifying rumor from fleeing refugees. All of this chaos is under the command of Chin Chanan. It's all nonsense. How cunning! The world doesn't know that these heavenly demons are actually the demonic army of Tushir. Unable to obtain divine artifacts, they resorted to such despicable means to start a war. These guys are all pawns. It seems their goal is to force Chin Chanan to come out and face another multi-sided siege. After understanding the truth of this matter, Han Shi looked fiercely at the sky. Damn bastard! How dare you slander my man! This situation is too complicated to explain with words. Chin Chanan is my man. 
However, Chang Shi seemed to be oblivious to her words, looking at the glowing green orb in her hand. Master is right, we must take everyone and leave this place. Han Shi, who was standing beside her, was astonished by her response. This is a landmark of the Nine State region. Chang Shi nodded lightly, indicating her agreement. Chin Chanan intentionally gave this to me during our spatial travel. This thing can save mortals. Since Chin Chanan comes from the future, he must have anticipated these events. But Han Shi's attention was not focused on this. Her mind was filled with the weight of Chang Shi's words just now, emphasizing the term intentionally. Before she could argue with Chang Shi about my belonging, the dim night sky suddenly erupted with a dazzling light. Even the heavenly demon, who was immersed in slaughter, paused their actions. And within that golden radiance were the immortal beings who once protected the world. The previously hopeless people suddenly became excited and shouted with joy. They're divine beings. They're here to save us. They're riding on colorful auspicious clouds to save us. I believe in divine beings again. Please, kill the heavenly demons. Kill the mastermind behind them, Chin Chanan. However, what awaited them was not redemption but despair. Kill! As that cold voice resounded, the immortal beings behind them burst forth with fierce killing intent and charged at the defenseless people. Tu sure looked at the wailing figures on the screen and laughed maniacally. How ironic. After a while, I will transform and throw myself into the moral realm to bring peace to the chaos. Never did I expect that Tu sure would have such a day. Whether it's initiating slaughter or quelling chaos to save the dawn, it may sound contradictory, but the taste of controlling everything is truly delightful, and all of this is thanks to my master. Just then, Long Lu reminded him not to forget about that goddess, stating that although she is useless now, the divine artifact should not be left unattended. Tu Shur respectfully replied, I have already arranged for someone to track her whereabouts. I will personally pass judgment on her. Chang Shi, Chin Chanan, since I can be resurrected, I will personally let you experience the taste of death. Just when Tu Shur thought his plan was about to succeed, the entire shrine of the gods suddenly erupted with a powerful tremor. Immediately after, eerie purple energy enveloped the entire place. Sensing this power, Long Lu's face showed a hint of surprise. The shrine of the gods is actually trembling. But soon, Long Lu noticed something amiss. It's not just the shrine of the gods shaking, it's the entire upper realm. The next moment, a massive explosion came from the front of the shrine of the gods. Witnessing this, Long Lu's expression turned to great shock. Someone has broken the seal of the upper realm. Tu Shur, standing beside him, was equally surprised, staring intently in the direction of the explosion. Even the giant bug was astonished by the tremors it emitted, gazing incredulously at this fragile planet before it. On the other side, from my elevated position, I looked down upon the so-called heavenly god. Seeing their panicked state, I couldn't help but chuckle. There are quite a few guys to slaughter, and what's even more crucial is that there are familiar faces among them. In the next moment, Demon Lord Tu Shur condensed a blue orb of light in his hand and swiftly flew towards me. I wish I could tear apart that stupid face of yours, Chin Chanan. In an instant, Tu Shur appeared before me, gathering all his fury into his right hand and smashing it towards my face with the utmost power. The tremendous power even destroyed the shrine of the gods beneath me. The entire world paled in the face of this immense power, and I looked somewhat surprised at this individual whom I once casually toyed with. This is the fusion of heavenly demon and divine power. But even so, for me, it's only slightly more challenging. Tu sure, seeing me being blasted away, felt ecstatic and launched a series of attacks at me without pause. Arrogant brat! Are you scared? Does this power make you see the vast gap between us? The pain I endure will be returned to you a hundredfold, a thousandfold. When he continued his incessant verbal barrage, I reached out my hand and grabbed for his head. In an instant, the situation turned around. Too sure, who had just seemed like a demon descending to earth, was instantly suppressed by me, once again experiencing the might of my power. Memories of his previous death flooded Too sure's mind but I had no intention of giving him even a moment of respite. A blinding light akin to a nuclear explosion condensed in my hand, and within a few seconds, Demon Lord Tushur endured over a hundred blows. When the pressure building in me was about to be released, I suddenly reached out and tightened my grip around his throat, meeting his terrified gaze. Despair and fear filled Tushur's eyes as he asked, Why? I fused with the power of the gods. Why is the outcome like this? I didn't answer his question and asked him contemptuously, you mentioned the vast gap between us, right? With that, I grabbed his head and ruthlessly smashed it into the ground. Thus, Demon Lord Tushur perished once again. Heavenly Lord of Zealous Clarity, who had been watching the battle, recognized me as the Heavenly Demon from that day. He then realized, in fear, that his body was trembling uncontrollably and he couldn't move. Just then, applause suddenly rang in my ears. Long Lu, looking at me with disdain, started to laugh. 
putting aside the matter of you offending me, you indeed have the qualifications to become my servant. Submit to me, and I'll spare your life. Upon hearing his words, I felt like I heard the biggest joke. You're the heavenly god, do you provide food, shelter, internet, and even find partners for people? Upon hearing my response, Long Lu squinted his eyes. What are you saying? I don't understand. In response, I gave him the friendliest middle finger gesture I could muster. I'm just like you, but unlike you, I find it disgusting to treat you like a dog. Even if he didn't understand the meaning of my finger gesture, Long Lu understood that I was mocking him. His expression became extremely ferocious. I'll kill you. When the immortal cultivators descended to the mortal realm, they didn't follow the orders of the heavenly god and instead stood in front of the heavenly demon with murderous intent. The leading heavenly demon looked at their bloodthirsty appearance and sneered. This is hilarious. Do you expect me to let them go? Before the immortal cultivators could respond, sharp laughter came from behind. It was the demon holding a woman captive. Lord Ashen Demon, we haven't had enough fun yet. Upon hearing this, Ashen Demon's eyes were filled with mockery. The bodies and spiritual roots of human female cultivators are excellent supplements for us. They greatly contribute to our cultivation. Release them? Only you idiots with wooden heads would think of that. Jiang Ningran looked at the individual called Ashen Demon and felt a chill run down her spine. This was an immortal monarch realm heavenly demon. Were all of Tu Shi's subordinates of this level? However, Feng Qiyun, who possessed a sense of justice, did not back down because of this. I'll say it again. Release them. Lord Ashen Demon, listening to his cold voice, mocked him as if he heard a joke. Is he impatient? In human terms, your face can be called hypocrisy. Afterwards, he took large strides toward Feng Qiyun. You immortals could have intervened earlier to stop us before the situation became so dire. Instead, you stood by and watched. You're waiting for us to destroy this world and then pretend to be righteous. Even if you want to be heroes, you'll have to beg us. Then, with disgust, he walked past them. Don't forget, this game is hosted by the Heavenly God. You and I are just pawns. Do your own part. If you want to stop us, ask the Heavenly God if he agrees. If you have the ability, go kill him. At this moment, Feng Qiyun felt immense humiliation because he once again heard these words coming from the evil mouth of the Heavenly Demon. Killing the Heavenly God, such an existence, how could anyone in the world possibly shake him? Just a word, a thought, what difference is there between sentient beings and ants? Indulging in unforgivable chaos, granting him supreme power to harm sentient beings. That is the god we have been worshipping all along. But what are we in his eyes? A obedient dog? Or insignificant ants not worth mentioning? Whether we are alive or dead, we have no dignity. At this moment, Feng Qian couldn't help but start fantasizing. Oh heavens, if you have any sense, send someone to kill that god, whoever it may be. Then, the man who had always lived by the rule of obedience finally swung the fist of fate. I can't bear to watch this hell any longer. With Feng Qian's strike, nothing changed. It only severely injured the heavenly demon closest to him. Laughter echoed around him. What can you, a mere immortal king, change? But what he didn't expect was that the immortal cultivators around him all acted at this moment. Feng Qian, you idiot. If you get me killed, I won't spare you. Cover him. Even the person who had once been afraid of death now activated his powers. What an idiot. The opponent has a demon monarch. Despite their curses, without exception, they all made the right choice at this moment and joined the battle against the heavenly demon. Ashen Demon looked at the temporarily retaliating immortal cultivators in surprise. It seems that those weaklings have unexpectedly gained some backbone with the help of their comrades. A burst of red light erupted from Feng Qian's eyes. Your sins must be repaid with blood. After a brief moment of distraction, Ashen Demon regained his composure and threw a punch towards Feng Qian's face. You hypocritical kid, can you do it? You will regret it. Until the cries between heaven and earth ceased, this battle between immortals and demons finally came to an end. One by one, the saved fallen girls ran up to them and sincerely expressed their gratitude before leaving the area. At this moment, Chang Shi and the others arrived at the place where the battle had erupted. Upon seeing Chang Shi, Feng Qian weakly shouted his name. I didn't expect to meet you again. Can Pure Virtue's plan still continue? If possible, can you take us along? This battle was a victory for the immortals. Chang Shi looked at the corpses of heavenly demons scattered all around and couldn't help but sigh. Did they kill all of these? Then, without hesitation, Chang Shi took out the marker that pointed to the Nine State Continent. The marker to the Nine State Continent is in my hands, but the ancient continent is sealed by the heavenly god. I haven't found a way to break the seal yet. Hearing this, despair filled Feng Qian's eyes. We have lost this last opportunity. If we had listened to the advice of the pure virtue god's envoy before the god became aware, but before they could continue speaking, a terrifying sound erupted from the once gloomy sky. That dazzling light instantly illuminated the darkened land. Chang Shi turned his head in disbelief and looked towards the source of the radiance. It was the shrine of the gods. 
Could it be him? Seeing the terrifying power, Heavenly Lord of Zealous Clarity's heart sank to the bottom. It's all over now, the god is truly furious. At this moment, Long Lu, with a cold expression, declared a sentence against me. Disrespecting divine beings is a capital offense. Everything on this planet belongs to me. As long as I will it, everyone's realm will be suppressed. In my territory, no one can stand before me. It is the innate talent of every god. We are born supreme and do not need cultivation. Since birth, it has been destined that we are superior to you inferior beings. Now, I will give you a chance to grovel at my feet like a dog and lick my toes, repenting for everything you just said. Heavenly Lord of Zealous Clarity beside me is shocked. Just one oracle is enough to render people powerless to resist. Realms fall like tides, but the power that brings despair to them has no effect on me. I only wear a mocking expression and continue to watch his performance. At this moment, the system prompts, detecting the Dominion Skill Oracle, Realm Suppression capable of suppressing the realm attributes of subjects within the jurisdiction. However, as the host is not a person from the ancient continent, the influence has been nullified. Oracle Analysis in Progress progress, 60%. Then, I laugh at the absurdity of Heavenly God, who resembles a clown. Long Lu also realizes that something is wrong and is filled with horror. Why wasn't he affected by the oracle? Just then, I hear the system announcing the completion of the analysis. I smile and look at the man sitting on the throne, issuing my first command to him in a cold tone. Kneel before me. The next moment, Long Lu, who was originally on the throne, suddenly falls from the chair. His nearly thousand-pound obese body kneels in front of me with a loud thud creating a tremendous sound. The current Long Lu no longer bears the appearance of a strategist, but rather an incredulous expression. It's impossible. How could he impose an oracle on me? The power disappears from his body, causing immense pain. On the other side, due to the disappearance of Long Lu's power within his body, the once impregnable barrier suddenly reveals the first crack. But I didn't let him off because of that. I walk slowly towards Long Lu. How come this heavenly god is kneeling on the ground like a dog? Long Lu looks at me and shouts, you bastard. I don't understand why the oracle didn't work. I don't intend to answer his question. Instead, I gather a thread of lightning energy on my right fist. You think you're some precious thing just because you've been in the heavens for a long time? Heavenly Lord of Zealous Clarity, who is observing from a distance, is filled with fear. He can hardly believe what he is seeing. But before he has time to think, my fist smashes into Long Lu's face. With an extreme force, his fat face contorts. Immediately after, the shrine of the gods collapses with a loud rumble, turning into countless debris. At the same time, cracks appear all over the barrier, and even the gigantic insect guarding it becomes extremely panicked. The several black-robed figures witnessing this spectacle are also filled with shock because they know that the barrier should never shatter unless someone challenges the heavenly god. I never thought I would live to see the day when the ceiling star barrier breaks, one of them says. Has the power of the gods become unable to sustain the barrier? In the mortal realm, a bright red vortex suddenly explodes in the sky, and at its center is the lofty heavenly god. The immortals also notice this and point to the sky in astonishment. That figure is... Chang Shi's attention is also drawn by the sound, and she looks up as well. They see their greatest nightmare, the heavenly god, now in a dying state. It's not until his obese body slams heavily onto the ground that everyone reacts from their shock. The heavenly god has actually been defeated. Then, in a panic, Chang Shi looks up and shouts with a trembling voice, Chin Chan An. Immediately, they realize that the barrier that was controlling them has disappeared. Just as they are still immersed in this sudden victory, dozens of purple souls appear in front of them, urgently warning them, do what you need to do quickly. The mighty heavenly demon will take care of heavenly gods matters. On the other side, the massive insect also senses the disappearance of its master's presence and bursts into a maniacal, high-pitched laughter. Just as it is about to destroy this world that made its master vanish, it suddenly senses a hint of danger. In an instant, a purple figure appears before it at a speed surpassing light. Feeling my presence, the once restless giant insect becomes considerably quieter. 